What is up, my dudes and dudettes? Welcome to the live stream. I'm Ardvark Otto. We're gonna be playing Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. We're gonna be trying not to die whatsoever, taking down all 40 Juan bosses. Yeah. Quite the, uh, quite the undertaking, quite the undertaking. We're gonna be doing broadsword only. Not a single other weapon being used. So it's gonna be crazy. Yo, Artorius, good to have you here. Right out the right out the gates, right off the rip, it's Artorius! Hell yeah, man, good to have you. Good to have you. Welcome in, welcome in. Perhaps you've seen Maybe in a dream. Let's get the cell phone out of my pocket. Get that cell phone out of my pocket so I don't have to feel that the whole time. Alright, alright, alright. Hey there, hi there, ho there. Alright, uh, boss list, just get it off the screen for now. I mean, it's there, but whatever. Whatever. I forgot. No, it's Dark Souls 2. I gotta press the touchpad to skip stuff. Weird. <laughs> I don't know why it's like that. It's the only one. It's the only one where they flipped the touchpad on PlayStation. There's this big stupid fucking touchpad. It's the only one where they switched switched that and the. Uh, well, now it's called options. The start button and the touchpad got swapped for Dark Souls 2, which is kind of a damn shame. Dark Souls 2 grind, I see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Artorius wondering how my day is going. My day is going good. Is it, uh... Even showing messages on the chat or anything? I My dumbass always forgets to do this before starting my stream. It's not supposed to show any messages except for Twitch, but I don't think it's even showing those right now. Which is no good. My day, my day is going good, though. I went to an interview early this morning, so I'm a little bit tired, because I've been staying up late recently. Uh, so it was a little hard to sleep last night. I was excited for the interview that I thought was going to go well, and it did go well, so my thoughts were correct. But I had to be there at 8 this morning. It was a 30 minute bike ride to get there. So I had to be out the door by a little before 7.30. Alright. My name will be Farty Arty. Alright. Oh, good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, at least you know your own name. That's what she said. So, I like playing as ladies, because in Dark Souls 1, the dudes go, ooh, and I've just been copying. I've just been copying my stuff from Dark Souls 1 ever since. I like picking the first homeland here, making the hair have the... the. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Just like that, Artorius. That's why I don't pick the dudes. Have the hair, have the curtain. I go, I go with the... Uh, I go with this dark one, and then I lighten it up like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, cool enough. And then uh, we go over here. We go to overall two. Nope, we go to overall one. We go to skin color two. I go one, two, three, four. All right, all right, all right. Um, I'm not gonna f with the eye color. To hell with it. We're gonna start as the knight, because the knight starts with the broadsword. Broadsword only, and we got a broadsword! Hell yeah! Healing wares is tempting. Homeward bone? Or healing wares? I think the healing wares are actually more worthwhile. Homeward bones are like, what, 500 a pop? That ain't squat. That ain't squat. It's just one homeward bone. Let's do the healing wares. And yeah, that's, that's, that's my true self. Always cracks me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All people come here for the same reason. So wait, wait, wait. Is it showing on the show? All right, cool. We do have we do have the um, on-screen chat happening. Good, 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 good. Just wanted to make sure. I didn't see it until now. Make sure I get this bonfire because I'll come back here later for a. Uh, I'll come back here later for a Estus shard. I'll get this torch as well. Sometimes it's kind of hard to come across torches. I almost forgot. We need to take these off, we need to take these off, change them to the imported trousers. Not really that important, because we're going to be changing off of that in a moment. Yeah, I haven't played Dark Souls 2 in like two weeks. So we'll see. We'll see how my skills hold up. Holy crap, there's no death counter on the screen. I'm sorry. It's probably going to show deaths when I bring it up. Yes, we do not have eight deaths. I forgot about that. Uh, right here, I think, is the text file. Indeed. I change it manually these days, because when I had it set to a hotkey, it was always friggin' up, and I don't want it friggin' up. And slip that right here. 
All right, cool, 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 cool. Sorry, sorry for the sloppy stream beginning. But it's all good. Try to keep that death count at zero. Um, I'm a little bit nervous. To tell you the truth, three. My personal best is three. That's a pretty intimidating number to try to beat. 41 bosses, a lot of tough areas, three deaths only. Trying to trying to do better than that. Hopefully keeping it at zero the whole time. Yeesh, man. And I'm tired on top of it, which I'm pretty sure the last time I attempted this playthrough, I was also tired. If memory serves. What's with me always playing Dark Souls 2 when I'm tired? Same thing kind of happens to Dark Souls 3. You know, Dark Souls 3, I'm always like, I'm always like having a bad day, and then I play Dark Souls 3. And then I'm always tired, and I play Dark Souls 2. It's like, god dang. God dang! Uh, okay, so we made it to the bonfire. That's good, because I have, I have a habit of sometimes not sitting at the bonfire. Which is no bueno. Alright, she gave me an Estus shard. Hell yeah, you may level up by the power of the Emerald Herald. sha na 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 lot Um... Yestus. Yestus to the Yestus. Alright, there are a couple of things I want to do around here. First of all, life gem in the tent. Hey, let me in! Let me in! Life gem in the tent. Now we got 21. Damn, boy, that's a lot of life gems. Don't you usually start with like five? It's the healing wares I started with. Oh, break my fist punching that rock. But we got this Estus flash shard. Estus flask shard for it. Why they chose to hung a guy, hang a guy in the well? I couldn't shoot. I couldn't tell you. Somebody's poisoned the water hole. We're gonna steal this guy's armor because soul gains. He's not very happy about it, but I don't care what he has to say. Smack him! Smack him! Okay, he's gonna get up. He's pulling out a weapon. He's got a weapon. He's got a towel. I completely missed. Off to a great start. Okay. Ew. Down he goes. Give me that set. Give me that Seldora set. Hell yeah. Got that Seldora set. Boop. Boop. Uh, boop. Boop. Hell yeah. 23.3% is our equip load. That ain't nothing. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. I don't know why I just tried to punch it as if I was testing if it was a mimic. I know this isn't a mimic, so why I tested it. I don't know. Alright. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I tried this last playthrough and it was fine, so I'm gonna do it again. Crestfallen up there. He has a ring that it. <coughs> <coughs> he has a ring that I'd like to get from him. Hey, lady, let me talk to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to do at all. Alright, upgrade the Estus. Give you the Estus flash shard. Now we have two Estus flasks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. Alright, so up here is uh, Crestfallen. There's always one of them. Boom! Oh, I missed. Try that one again. Boom! Mm, not as much damage as I was hoping for. He's He's saying no, no, no. Really now, stop that. Okay, he's pissed. Smack him, smack him. He's got, looks like, bastard sword, I think. Oh, he can parry me? With that shield, I have a feeling he's... Ooh, okay, his damage is pathetic. Cool, 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 good to know. That roll away, though. Hey, 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 no flasks. Oh shit. I just don't want to get parried, honestly. That's what I'm scared of. Hey, dude, I was trying to drink a flask over here. You're being really uncool. Ow, hey. Smack him. Smack him. Smack him. Smack him. So the fight's not going that great, but... He does really, really, really bad damage. So I'm not too worried anymore, and... Gets stunned real easy. He's still alive. Down he goes. Okay. Extra souls for killing him, which is nice. And we got the Ring of Steel Protection for even more resistance. Still got my equip load nice and low. We're barely above 25%. Alrighty then, alrighty. We are off to Forest of the Fallen Giants. And away we go. I go for some water right about now.
That's the stuff, man. Give me that earth sauce. My shirt says, uh, I am Kenuff. In case you were wondering, that's the shirt today. So I am Kenuff. That's one slow door. God dang, should have drank my water then. Glug, glug. Okay, don't fall off the edge. I don't think there's anything worthwhile down there. It's like a, it's like a human effigy. We don't need no stinking effigies. Forest of the Fallen Giants. We're just gonna keep on booking it. We don't need that bonfire for anything. It's not a very useful bonfire, so. Just keep on moving, 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 though they're disapproving. Keep them doggies moving. Oh no, I'm in the ganky spot, and I'm running straight for the fog wall. Rut row, not in Dark Souls 2. Wow, that was so hard. Alright. Keep on running. All these guys are going to be chasing me, and it gets pretty bonkers pretty quick around here. So I'd rather not deal with any bonkers bananas. I'd rather just... Get up! Oh, oh shit, we're in trouble. Okay, okay, well... We're gonna have to do some dancing. I wanted to get right on I wanted to get right on the ladder. But that guy pulled out the dagger and I had no poise. Stopping me. Stopping me like the pro he is. He shot me. He shot me right in the torso, I guess actually it was. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ouchie mama. We're good. Let's keep on rolling. Open the door, yo. Open the door quick, yo. Open the door quick, yo. Alright. Going up here, because there's going to be dudes chasing me. Get my HP nice and tip-top shape here. There's the guy chasing me. What you want, punk? Got nothing. Whoa, that back step was huge! Heavy attack, or follow, light attack, followed by a heavy attack. Down he goes. You do not need a key to open this door. You can just break it down. What's up, Titanite Lizard? Let's try not to let it get away. All right, cool. Got the Titanite Lizard. Two Titanite shards off that Titanite lizard. That is the stuff, man. That's the good, good stuff. Alright, alright. Now that I'm here, we'll light the bonfire. Hey, Ruben, good to have you here. How you doing today? I was to talk for a new job. It was great. It was great. I got hired. I start April 1st. Uh, it's for a grout cleaning job. I've never done that in my life. I've worked, like, I've worked in, like, fast food, and I've worked... Uh, at grocery stores, and I've worked in restaurants, and I've also worked in a hotel now, but I just worked in the restaurant of the hotel. Um, so I'm excited to do something new, for sure. And it pays, it pays well. I'm super, super excited. Alright, alright, alright. So I got that there Leningrass key. Yes, right? Just double check, just double check that you got that there Leningrass key before I go murdering people. Alright, we got the Leningrass key. Ah, nice. GG, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's very exciting for me, for sure. Pretty sure she does not fight back. You're dead now. Rip Grandma. And uh, we got the Silver Serpent Ring for more souls gained. Don't mind if I do slap that bad boy on. We're still got a decent uh, equip load percentage at 27%. Okay. Um... At this point, we're gonna go get the Mansion Key off of... What's his name? Kale? With a C. I have to go quickly to your mom's house. You're gonna leave your screen open for the view. Hey, I love the lurk, Ruben. Thank you so much for the lurk. I'm looking forward to seeing you later. All right, so we will proceed then. Fog wall. So tough to get through the fog walls in Dark Souls too. my goodness. All right, all right. And we jump. Hell yeah. Keep it running. There's going to be some dudes who want me dead. Um, sometimes it can be easier just to keep them, or to kill them, but nope, they're not really messing with me too much, so we're just going to bail. Keep on running. Alright, there's going to be a boulder that rolls. Halt! Alright. Go, go, go! What's up, Kale? Kale? No, it's not Kale until it's uh, Elden Ring. Elden Ring, it's Kale. But this is just Kale. Give me the key, damn it. Give me the key, damn it. Hey, thanks for the key, damn it. 
All right, let's move. Boom, ba boom, boom, boom. I got 2012 souls. What a year, what a year, what a year. People thought the world was going to end. Don't know, you check out the live action roll avatar. It, roll it, roll it. Hey, roll one hand it, stance. Roll it, roll it. Yeah, um, no, I watched all of it, and, yeah, no, I, I, I liked it quite a bit. It's, like, it, it moves as, it moves, it, the timeline's a little messy with, like, when characters show up. It seems like characters show up a little earlier than they should. Most notably with that, uh, what do they call him, the Tinkerer? The guy who makes, like, the, the guy who makes, like, the war balloon? He shows up in Omashu, which is, like, that's way earlier than that guy is supposed to, sh supposed to show up. But, um... No, it was really I it was it was well done. It was, I liked it. They did they did a really good job with all the effects and all the like bending and stuff. They did a good job. They changed some little things here and there. But it was it was done for the most part it was good. I'd give it like an 8 out of 10. Rah, how's it going? It's going good. One hand stance is going good. Um all right, so we need to go back to Mahula now. I know it's Majula. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know it's Majula. All right, all right, all right. So let's open the door for Leningrad. Boom, door open. We can return to the bonfire and get him into his blacksmith in position. Yeah, it's going. It's going real good. One hand stance. How are you doing? How's everybody doing? If I didn't ask you, feel free to share. Yeah, 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 Leningrass. Woo, don't be buying stuff. That's what I get from Mashin X. Reinforce that broad sword. Reinforce that broad sword. That's what I'm talking about. I'll be around if you make it back. That's great. Thanks, Leningrass. All right, so we have the key. We have the power. So we can go open up this door to the Majula Mansion. We'll do exactly that. Roll through the door, man. I love doing that. I miss I miss that every time I play in any Souls game that isn't Dark Souls 2 and I'm opening a door. I'm like, man, I wish I could just roll through this. Unfortunately, I can't. It's only in Dark Souls 2 that you get that endorphin release. All right, this skeleton can parry me. So let's be a little cautious. It's broadsword time. Ard Ardvarkado before broadsorting all over him. Hell yeah, broadsword all over their faces, dude. Ooh, yeah, skeleton a little deadly. And I can get parried, so keep that in mind. Ow! Holy crap, he's a little... Oh, okay, could you... He scares me. I'm scared of this skeleton right now. Hi there, how you doing? Hit him with the heavy leap! Hell yeah, try to parry that. Parry this, you casual. Hit him with a backstab. That's a lot of damage! Alright, so cool. Don't need the human effigy, but he gives me a thousand souls for killing him while I'm wearing this ring and this armor set. It's awfully dark in here, huh? There's nothing in that. What did I come down here for? This. That's what I came down here for. Alright. Cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. Another Estus Flask Shard. We'll be able to get three Estus Flasks. A little lost for a moment there. Messing it all up. Sorry. I'll shut up now. I'll shut up. Alright, lady. Let me talk to you. Let me chat at you for a moment there. Hot stuff. Alright, so. I will get that ADP up to the agility up to 88. And then, I don't know, a little bit more HP, I guess. Cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. Yeah, very good. Very good, treble six. Okay, I can upgrade the Estus. I'm giving her an Estus Flask Shard. Hell yes, brethren. Alright, so now we have three... Now we have three Estus Flasks. I've got a few more uh, I will hydrate. It was redeemed by Trouble Six, so I'm drinking that water. Um, Broadswords plus two. Got the plus two broadsword. We got 88. Uh, the shuffle not on. It's playing nothing but Animal Crossing music. Yeah, shuffle's not on. That's what I thought. Got the 88 agility, which means we have one more iframe per dodge roll than we started with. 
and we're, we're moving, we're moving. We're off to Hyde's Tower of Flame, or Heidi, maybe. The hell if I know where it came from. Not hell if I know the pronunciation, sorry. Um, <laughs> Animal Crossing music reminds you of PS1 era Crash Bandicoot music for some reason. Ooh, maybe I should look into those games for music. I haven't really thought about doing that. Is this, this is like, that's yeah, a broken thief sword, I'm pretty sure. That ain't nothing good. Okay. We move on. So, we will not be cheesing any bosses, including Dragon Rider. Which I feel, I don't know, I don't know why I feel the need to laugh about that, but it seems kind of laughable to me. We actually don't need that bonfire. You missed Funk. All three times you missed Funk. He's a couple slashes away from death. Does this full little three swang combo. Swang on him. Alright. Darsha blows. This guy right here is a little tougher. But everything should be fine. Because I can dip. Smack, smack, smack. Duck! Woo wee! Come on, kill him. Nice. Clean. That's what I like to see. Alright, I want to take this guy out as well, because we need to kill him. I want to I want to pull the lever. And then we'll have a larger area for fighting Dragon Rider. I can fight Dragon Rider instead of making him fall off the edge, because I'm not into cheesing bosses during my challenge runs that I actually take seriously. Even though I didn't even put, like, cheeseless in the title or anything, but yeah, I ain't doing no cheese, man. I ain't doing it. Okay. Regular enemies, maybe. I don't, I don't know if there's any times I cheese regular enemies, though, to tell you the truth. All right, off to Dragon Rider we go. Whoa, whoa. I'm a little bit nervous, to tell you the truth. I'm not great at actually fighting Dragon Riders with this low of adaptability. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's also a soul, I think. What is... What's also a soul? Oh, the thing that I said is a broken thief sword? Yeah, maybe I should have grabbed it just for the... Just for the soul item that came with it, perhaps? You might be right, because I do, I do believe, I do believe it is more than just broken thief sword. See, he hit me with the very first attack out the gates. That's not good. That's not good, people. Let me get my shit together. Oh, oh, I did hit him. Oh, he hit me again. I do have like 20 life gems that I can utilize. Dude, don't get my ass beat. Run! All right. Ooh, he scares me, man. He scares me. Woo! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Dodge him! Hell yeah. Hit him! I don't like how close he's getting to that ledge, man. Hey! Hey! Smack! Smack! That's right. That's right. What you got, punk? Hey! Hit him! Oh shit. He's got the moves. He's got the moves. It's a stun. Got an extra hit. Used all my stamina. I usually don't like using all my stamina, but because I got the stun, I went for it. He's trying to get me. Trying to get me again. Got no stamina. Give him a smack anyway, because now I have enough. He ain't done with that combo yet. He still ain't done with that combo. Haha, -ha, he'll probably die right here. Boom. Dragon Rider goes down. Started off a little sloppy, but then we got my crap together. We killed it. Dragon Rider goes down, decent amount of souls gained with the attire I'm wearing, plus the Silver Serpent Ring plus one for killing Melentia. Not to mention, you can also get even more souls by popping his, this thing. Popping this thing right here. Boom! 6,000 more. Okay, this bonfire I actually do want. We'll be teleporting to this bonfire much later in the playthrough, and before I forget about it... Dragon Rider is dead. Down he goes. All right, cool, 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 cool beans. Hey, lady, she doesn't like it when you bop her. So you bop her, and you bop her, and you bop her, and you stay right here. She should be pissed at me now, and she should get up. I bopped her three times. I bopped her three times. She ain't pissed. Okay, now she's pissed. She didn't like the, the fourth time was the it was the trick. She stood up. Just keep bopping her before she one shots me with wrath of the gods.
Ooh, I almost fell off the edge with her, dude. I almost fell off the edge with her. I was peeing my pants. Almost poo my pants. Alright, so, um... We're off to get to the bone dust. Bone dust is ready to be collected from the route to the wharf. Bum -ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum -bum -bum. Okay, what's this? Anything good? Anything good? I don't know why I waste my time. Monastery charm. Sometimes I'm just curious, you know? This lady is so hard, I just avoid her and let her invade me. You just shove her off the edge, uh, Lotric style though. I'm gonna get rid of the boss checklist because it's been up for a hot minute. Hey, Matthew Cohen, talking over from YouTube. First time I watched you was during a Dark Souls 2 stream years ago. Feels like home being back here, my dude. Hope you've been well. Uh, it's been, it's been an arduous journey, as a champion of the Covenant might say. I mean, I'm not in the Covenant of Champions. I meant to say campion, Covenant of Champions, not Champion of Covenants, but... But, I'm, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. I'm actually, I'm doing way better than ever before, currently. Good to have you back, Matt. Good to have you here. You so real for that reference? Is it bad that I immediately forgot what I said? I'm like, I'm I'm always spouting so much BS, I couldn't even tell you I couldn't even tell you what I said. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm like this. I just say things, I don't remember what it is that I say. Was it the bone saw is ready joke? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I've been doing that a lot lately. It works a little better with Bone Shard. Bone Shard is ready! But why not Bone Dust too, you know? I was saying that more in I was saying that more in Dark Souls 3, because it's Bone Shards in Dark Souls 3. So I'm just carrying the joke over. I'm just reusing the joke again in Dark Souls 2. Hell yeah, man. Spider-Man. The Tobey Maguire Spider-Mans. I'm totally prepared for this stream, so it's probably going to take me about nine hours to get through the entirety of this game. We're going to be doing it all today. I've got two peanut butter and jellies. So we're ready to fucking go, man. We're ready to fucking go. Come on, elevator. Need some elevator music. The music came to a stop right as I start going down the elevator. Need that elevator music. I did get the bone dust, right? Yeah, I grabbed it. I grabbed it. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It's on the far right. Bum -ba -bum, we keep it running. I'm just coming here. We're not gonna be going through the wharf quite yet because I need to go back and spend my thirty thousand souls. And also, we're gonna we're gonna go to Forest of the Fallen Giants before I go through No Man's Wharf. But I just wanted to get here now because we get that bone dust. I can get the bonfire, and then we can teleport back here later, which is be fantastic. I did not mean to get back up so fast. Wait, what's happening? Oh, I'm traveling? What? Hopefully it's taking me back to Majula. Before the next fight, maybe you should rest and drink some jasmine tea. Alright, alright, Uncle Iro. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. So we interact with this to burn the bone dust. Yes. Cool beans. Okay. Now, before I do any leveling, I'd like to upgrade the weapon to plus three. When we upgrade the weapon to plus three, we'll no longer need regular Titanite. But this guy, this guy, this guy right here, he do be selling some Titanite. So we'll spend a little bit of souls on three Titanite. I'll be around if you make it back. And then we, I don't know why I like saying that line every single time. I don't say other people's voice lines, but I say his. Okay, and now we can do some leveling. Level up, up, up. Adaptability. Bum 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 bum. I'm gonna go all the way to 99 on the ADP right now. Do it, do it up. Hell yeah, dude. Dark Souls 2, man. Level up so much. I love it. I love it. Cool. So now I have 99 adapt 99 agility. I don't know what my adaptability level is. I don't pay attention to the adaptability level. I just pay attention to what the agility is doing. Because that's that's why you level adaptability. Is to increase your agility. Alright, we're going to go back to Force the Fallen Giants. Uh, there's an Estus Shard I want to collect. And we'll fight the Pursuer early. In the exact same spot that the Estus Shard is at. And then we'll be off to the last giant. That's the plan. Mans and womans. 
Man's got all the iframes. Hell yeah. Hey, Jelly J, man. Well, I've never seen a Dark Souls 2 stream on YouTube. Good luck on your run. Thank you so much, Jelly. A lot of people watching over from YouTube today. Hello, hello to all y'all. Alright. I'm booking it. I'm booking it. I do, I will say, I do consider myself a Twitch streamer first and foremost. Um, but with the multicasting, I stream to YouTube at the same time. But I'm a lot more, I'm a lot more like Twitch focused than YouTube focused to tell you the truth. Full disclosure. Alright, here comes the Pursuer. He's coming around. Nobody's following me up the ladder, are they? Good. What's up, Pursuer? How you doing? You take the first swing. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Uh, okay, he's quick, though. I keep missing with my second swing. Oh, somebody did follow me up the ladder. You dick. You need to go. My god, I can't hit a damn thing. Pursuer, do something so I can kill this guy, huh? Perfect. Boom. Down goes that sucker. It's just me and Pursuer now. Smack him. My damage is amazing. I'm just kidding, by the way. But it just looks really bad. When you consider that as, like, usually there's the big health bar along the bottom. So the damage I'm dealing isn't really that bad when you... Pretend that that health bar, it must be Justin. That, that ain't Justin, I'll be surprised. Yup, Midwest lifts. Always with the troll toll. Paying that troll toll, trying to get in this boy's hole. I said no! <laughs> Smiling about it. Ooh, I'm about to get smacked. Nope, he did a really delayed attack, so I did not get smacked. Even though I... Whoa, okay, that, that one was quick. Missed, big boy. Missed again, big boy. Smack him. Smack him. Smack him again. I used all my stamina. Not the wisest thing, but got away with it anyway. Oh, damn. That's what I get for attacking that late. Completely missed. He completely missed. Big whiffer. That's a stun. Hell yeah. I got a bonus hit. Oh, I might get hit again. Nope. Aha! Reach my face here. Get my stamina back. Smack him for that one. You trying to stab me, boy? I'll roll right into it and I'll smack you twice. I'll smack you twice for that one. Stepping back, stepping back. Oh, he's not doing the big triple triple combo spinny attack on the end. Still no triple spinny combo attack. I'm waiting for it. There's the one. The infamous triple combo with the spinny attack on the end. Trying to stab me. I think that's actually the infamous one. Alright, down goes the pursuer. Uh, let's grab this. That's this flash shard. Get the hell out of here. Ow, hey dude, I'm trying to get the hell out of here. Alright, cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. I'd like to drink one of these, please. Panda, please. And we'll keep on going. Alright, uh, Silver Cat Ring I don't have yet, but this drop isn't really that bad. A little bit of fall damage, but we are okay. Intense music, because it's still intense. Yeah, I could have got exploded there. Then the guacamole exploded. And then, and then it expl- Ow! Ow! Not cool, dude. What do we got here? What's this? Ooh, life gem and homeward bone. Well worth it. Crank a flask. Getting the heck out of here. We got four dudes chasing us. Let's get through that fog wall. Let's get through that fog wall. Let's get through that fog wall. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, Dark Souls 2. It's so difficult to get through the fog walls. I don't know how I managed to do that without dying, man. Uh, This is a little scary. We're just going to go down to the last giant, I think. Because there's like a lot of dudes around here. And Did you move, elevator? Thank you. I like how that guy couldn't get any closer to me. That was a little weird, wasn't it? So I've got these 22 life gems, plus the one Estus flask still remaining. I could go level up, which probably would be wise. But we'll be okay. Hmm, I'm thinking maybe I kill this guy. Wow, that's a lot of stabs with that rapier he just did. Light attack followed by the heavy. He goes down. Gotten a lot better at this game, dang. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no, I've gotten a lot better. I, I used to only be good at Dark Souls 1. I was trash at all the other ones. I've been trying, I've been trying in recent months, maybe even longer than that, I don't know. I've been trying to get just as good at all these other games as I am at Dark Souls 1. Not quite there yet, though. Just you wonder how I'm doing? I'm doing really good today. Thank you for asking. As always, when I'm trying one of these Dark Souls 2 challenge runs, I'm a little bit tired today. But that's how it goes. I forgot to cross out Pursuer, I'm sorry. Pursuer's dead.
His order is wrong. Why does it say Dragon Rider Last Giant Flexile Sentry Pursuer? That's just... That's just wrong. So let's fix that now. Let's fix that. Fix that right freaking now. I know why it's wrong. There might be some in the future that are wrong as well. Alright, so Pursuer is dead. Sorry that I had the order incorrect, but it should be right now. Last Giant, Flexile Sentry, Ruined Sentinels. It might be right. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not so sure. Sorry for the mistakes in my list. It's not a huge deal. Probably matters more to me than anybody else. Alright, 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 alright. So, I'm gonna get rid of this before I forget. We're gonna fight to something else. Hell yeah. This is the type of track I like to fight to. Bring me back to my childhood gaming days. Getting good at Legend of Zelda. Majora's Mask. Is he gonna stomp with the other foot? He didn't. Last Giant, you ain't got squat, man. You ain't got squat, man. Slice him up, dice him up, slice him up. He's probably gonna rip the arm. Yep, you ripped the arm. Jeez, man. That is visceral stuff. Now he's he ripped his own arm off and he's not even using it. What a what a sucker. One more hit ought to kill him. I probably could have done it right there, but I was trying to play it smart, so I did not hit him one more time. Kill him. Alright. I got myself hit, unfortunately. It's all good, doesn't matter that much. Doesn't matter that much at all! Alright, cool beans. Got even more souls, and uh... Play something a little bit more peaceful then, eh? I deserve it, I think. And last giant goes down. Saka ain't got nothing. Nothing but... Nothing but death. Nothing but death, that's what he's got. Alright, so we also have two boss souls now. And I have an Estus shard as well. Dope. Diggy, 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 dope, dog. Alright. Hell yeah, we have 54,000 souls. My god. Dark Souls 2, man. Dark Souls 2. It's so many souls. I love it. I love it. Can't even, like, hear this track. I don't know about you. Apparently it's from Apex Legends. Season, season 7 lobby music. Cool. This place, is this place is cleared out a little bit. It was con and contested with dudes. So we went down to Last Giant. Took him out. Came back up. Not contested with dudes anymore. Which boss in Dark Souls 2 do you find the most challenging? I'm curious. A Abritus. I'm sorry. Wrong game. Uh... Ooh, that's a good question. Um... Including the boss run or not including the boss run? Because including the boss run, it definitely comes down to... I, th I think it's kind of a tie for me. Between, uh... Between Lud and Zalin in Frigid Outskirts, and then also in the same DLC, you have Ivory King. The Ivory King fight itself isn't really all that challenging, but, like, getting there... Oy, 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 oy. The two cats, yeah, that's Led and Zolan. Justin, you want to keep playing Arch Thrones? We really want them to come out with the dang balancing, balancing patch already? Do you think it's going to happen? Do you think it's going to happen? Are they planning on doing that? Or are you just crossing your fingers that it happens? Okay. Uh, we're talking to the lady. Hey, lady! Yeah, 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 yeah. Upgrade the Estus Flask. They said they're working on it? Oh, okay. Okay. And we'll do some leveling. So I definitely think it comes down... I mean, like the, I think the two hardest boss fights... Well, I don't know. That's including the boss run. If you include the boss run, I think the two hardest boss fights go both to a Laum Lois. With Ivory King. Or Lud and Zalin. Kind of, kind of hard for me to pick one between those two, to tell you the truth. Um... I can get my agility to 105 already. Hell yeah, dude. Get that agility to 105. So I believe that's 13 iframes. We will eventually get it all the way up to 14 by getting my agility to... I think it's 111. I should probably double check that at some point today because I don't know if I have to go all the way to 111. It's like it's 48 ADP I'm pretty sure I need. Bridget Outskirts had me deleting this game at one point. Dear Lord, just no. I got a pretty good strategy for it at this point. Because at first I was like, really, dear lord, no, like, broadsword only, trying to no death through frigid outskirts, what in the hell is that? But, 
but I got a strategy for it where we kill the first... We kill the first pain deer, and then we pop a Elizabeth mushroom and run the rest of the way, and it works pretty good. You're just enemy health souls received and enemy move sets. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, what's coming up next? What am I doing? We are going to No Man's Wharf. Wharf. That word cracks me up. I don't know why. Wharf. It's just a funny word. Wharf. I got the Ring of Blades? I didn't even notice. Hell yeah. Put that Ring of Blades on. Damage increased, dude. That's for Killing Pursuer. I got that for Killing Pursuer. Off to No Man's Wharf we go. There is a fragrant branch of yore I need to grab here. I don't need to, but I like to. It's a little scary. It's a little scary. We should be okay. I could get a different one, but I it's it's kind of like, I don't know, I think I think this one's least risky. Okay, actually, give me something that isn't from F and Animal Crossing. Hey, 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 watch where you're shooting, buddy. All right. Um, if we don't include the boss run, that makes it a tougher question for me to decide which one I think is the hardest. I almost want to say Sir Alon. Then also, like, I almost want to say... I almost want to say Dark Lurker. But also, last playthrough, I got killed twice. I had three deaths, that's my personal best. From the last attempt of doing this, I died three times. I died twice to Blue Smelter Demon. No way is Blue Smelter Demon the hardest boss in the game, though. I don't know how I managed to get myself killed twice there, man. Just scrubby stuff. They had me hot and bothered. People we were talking smack about Dark Souls 2 and praising Sekiro. That's not right, man. All right, all right, all right. Uh, we're gonna try to go quick. Sometimes it doesn't go that well, but we should be able to adjust on the fly. Shit, yeah, it went poorly. Iframes galore, though. Who said Dark Souls 2 doesn't have iframes? They were wrong. I got myself poisoned. We're gonna book it, though. I don't want to deal with all those guys. I have a poison fix. We can also just pop a life gem. Okay, let's keep going. Um, I'm a little scared to walk on these planks with my menu up like this, but we can move and use, we can move and use the, the thing that cures the poison at the same time, the green moss clump or whatever that thing was called. Sick. Sick, 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 sick. Real, real men don't need iframes? Yeah, whatever. Tell that, tell that to frigid outskirts, because that's one of the main reasons. I'll get it all the way up to 14 iframes because of frigid outskirts, dude. What's up, Flexile Sentry? You missed. You missed again, punk. Bring up Branch of Yore. Saw someone call it an F-boy, and that's now what I call it. Fragrant Branch of Yore, F-boy. I like that. I like that. I usually just call them Fragrant Branches, because I don't want to say the whole thing. I don't know. F-boy, though, people are not going to know what the hell you're talking about, so I'll probably keep calling them Fragrant Branches, just so people know what I'm saying. Smack. Smack. Dodge. I'm used to doing this fight with way less adaptability than this. I think I'm used to doing it with 88 agility. We have 105 agility right now. That's a lot more. We're not gonna be leveling. We're not gonna be leveling adaptability for a while. Hopefully, I don't regret not putting my HP higher. Because honestly, I probably could have been fine with like 99 uh, agility for now. Smack, smack. I gotta sneeze, dude. I can feel it. Make my eyes water. I got sneeze. I think it's gonna pass. I think it's gonna pass, and I'm not gonna get the satisfying satisfaction of blowing my load, unfortunately. Yeah, no sneeze for me. Flexile Sentry goes down. Got 20,000 souls for that bad boy, plus the soul itself. Leveling adaptability is crutch, a crutch, basically cheese. Shut up, Justin. Saying, huh? You know, sneeze? I didn't get to sneeze. <laughs> passed. I should have looked up at the bright light. Okay. We have made it here to No Man's Wharf, but we're not gonna be... Oh, this isn't No Man's Wharf. This is Lost Bastille. We're gonna get the bonfire, and then we're actually gonna... We're gonna go teleport back to Majula, do some leveling, and then we're gonna teleport back to... Uh, we're actually gonna go back to Forest of the Fallen Giants, and we're gonna access Lost Bastille from the other side. You know what you did? I'm innocent. I don't know what you mean. Alright, Flexile Sentry, do be dead. 
Scooby Dooby Dooby dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Scooby Doo is okay. I was just trying. I just said Dooby Doo. Dooby Doo, and it made me think of that. Pip pip doodly doo. So, Ruined Sentinels. Is that really what's next? Yes. I think so. We're going to be doing a lot before I fight Ruined Sentinels, though, so don't get. Don't get a big dick about me going after Rune Sentinels right now, because you're just gonna be edging for a while. Uh, we need to, we need to, uh, we need, to, we have, we have a lot of business to attend to before I go fight Rune Sentinels. We're gonna be, we're gonna be a little overpowered by the time we get to Rune Sentinels. To tell you the truth. Let's go level up some. Justin, you're down four pounds on your cut. Effing hype. Hell yeah, Justin. Nice job, my guy. Nice job. All right, we're gonna get rid of the boss list because I don't know, it doesn't matter that much. If you want to see it, just say so. I'll bring it back up. This is not how you level up. This is an inferior Souls game where we cannot level up at every single bonfire. Dark Souls 1 and Elden Ring. The greatest of all time. <laughs> Welcome, son. Okay, maybe I should start getting some endurance at this point. When did I hit a soft cap? I don't get it to 30. Endurance, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot more endurance we just got. But HP, HP keeps us alive. Endur endurance keeps us killing, but HP keeps us alive. Uh, wait, did I have anything good? No. Okay. So, we need to go to Force of the Fallen Giants. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hmm. <sighs> We're going to be fighting a Pursuer here just, just to get some souls from him. I think you get like 9,000 souls with the, with the current setup that I have going with the Seldora set as well as the um, Silver Serpent Ring plus one. We'll be getting, we'll be getting like 9,000 souls just shy of that, I think. We're getting just shy of 9,000 souls off of killing the extra Pursuers that spawn. We actually, we'll actually be fighting two of those, come to think of it. I could fight three if I really wanted to, but one of them's kind of in a scary spot, so I don't usually fight all of them. Yeah, there's a couple. There's there's like four. There's four pursuers in Lost Bastille. We're going to be fighting two of them. Somebody shot me. He shot me right in the leg. Do-ba-do-do-do. All right, all right, all right. Soldiers swanging on that giant. I am teleporting. Yeah, that's an amazing cutscene. I get picked up by a bird. Burb. Baggy. Okay, great. I am here now. Hooray. So it's in this one. What we got? We got something good? It's like the Dole Ember in one. I think that's the only one that's got something I care about. This one I don't think has anything I care about. This is like a human effigy or something like that. Yeah, two human effigies. Typically I'd say, dope, boys, what's up? But, um, not when we're doing a no death run. I do not care about the human effigies. No longer. We gotta be a little careful here. A little scary. A little precarious. Alright, cool. Radiant Life Gem, Large Titanite Shard acquired. I'd like to step in here. Kick down the barrel. Murder. That was unexpected. Alright, murder the guy. Who's the guy? There's still a dog alive. Oh, I missed and I busted open the door. Dog's shoving me out the door. It wants to gank me with Pursuer, I guess. Alright. Get the HP topped off. Gonna book it out here. Open up the chest, yo. Stuff's getting intense. Goofy ass banjo kazooie music. Appropriate for Pursuer. You got nothing. Slap! Slap! What you got, big boy? Show me. Oh, it's the several jabs? No, it's just one jab. Okay. I expected several. We did not get several. Is he gonna do the big spinny? Ooh, I probably should have dodged, eh? Thought he was gonna do that one, and then when I saw it wasn't that one, I thought he was just doing two swings, and then he did some third swing that I really wasn't expecting. Swanging on him. He's trying to stab me. I don't think so, bud. Swang on him. Dodge that one. Slice. Dice. Slice. Dodge it. Ooh, he's got another one, and I used all my stamina like a scrub. We're gonna drink one of these. 
just hit me twice. I'm doing worse against this pursuer than the first one I fought, and I have better, better, better iframes. Pretty sure better damage as well. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't remember for the broad. I think the broadsword was plus three already for the last pursuer I fought, but this one seems to have less HP than the one that I fought over by the Estus Flask shard. That's a stun. I missed with my extra swing. I'm pretty sure. What the hell is he doing? Okay, that was just... I didn't recognize the animation from the angle I was at, so I I dodged at the wrong time because I wasn't really sure what was happening. Yeah, he hit me three times, man. Not cool. Not cool, man. Not cool. We'll go ahead and pop the life gem, and we'll get rid of this Banjo and Kazooie music for Pete's sake. Twinkling Titanite I shall never use. I didn't pay attention to how many souls I got, but I'm pretty sure it was nine. It's like, it's like 8,900, I believe, I get for taking him down. With my items set up like this. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Need to run over here. Don't shove me off the edge, dude. Okay. 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 Hopefully he's not too quick. It can take a little bit to open this door. Because it's not a push door. It's a pull door. So I can't roll through it nice and quick, unfortunately. Alright. This guy up here. Also kind of scary. There's ledges near him. And he'll cause a he'll cause a explosion. He's going to cause the explosion. See, I don't like that. Every time I get shoved around by that explosion, I'm never happy. Whoa, who the hell is that guy? Where do you come from? He looks like he's not so sure he wants to follow me. So we're just gonna proceed. So I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna get the H I'm gonna keep the HP topped off. Yeah, that guy's de-aggroing. Let's kick the barrel before this dude explodes it. Hopefully it blows up on the wall. Sometimes it fucks up and doesn't. Yep, fucked up and didn't. That's really a shame. Alright, let's take out the dogs then. Hey. Pooch pooch. Ouch! Get over here. Alright, we need to get homie. We need to get home skillet. Ouch. We need to get him to blow up the wall for me. That looks like a good swing to do so. Boom. Nice. He blew up the barrel. Blew up the wall. Let's murder him while we're at it. One more of them, please. Down he goes. Alright. Cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. And I believe there's two large Titanite shards in here, if I'm not mistaken. Hell yeah. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Calls me an imbecile, and then I have to give him something. I love when everything works fine with my controller on Steam, then the next time I play, everything just stops working with your controller. PC Master Race. <laughs> Sorry for being an asshole. Uh, yeah, no, that's frustrating. That's frustrating. Um, I feel like I feel like issues like that are what brought me back to PlayStation. Oh, okay. Um... Did I buy three Titanite shards and then never upgrade my weapon to plus three? I did, didn't I? I've been fighting with a plus two weapon. It could have been plus three this whole time. Wow. That's crazy. That's a lot of upgrades I just acquired. Um. Okay. Uh, I have souls how much how much does it take to buy don't tell me it's th four thousand a piece how much how much you how much you sell in large titanite charge for 2500 buy three more of those please and then i can reinforce the weapon again we now have a broadsword plus six we're already off to acquire we need titanite chunks it's wild to me we've killed what three bosses four bosses we've killed four bosses i'm already i'm already at titanite chunk territory it's wild to me to tell you the truth Oh, I fucked up. There's a large shard I'm going to get over by an Estus shard on the other side of... Uh, on the other side of McDuff's workshop. I could have saved myself 25,000 souls! What a waste, man. What a waste. Oh, well. Hey, Big Curry. Good to have you here. How you doing? Now it's randomly working. Effing PC. Now, I'm sorry to hear about your troubles, Justin. I don't... Um, I don't have any... I don't have anything to tell you that could help. Because, I don't know, I, I suck at troubleshooting. Troubleshooting is the worst. Everybody, fuck troubleshooting. All my homies hate troubleshooting. Alright, killed the man. Didn't mean to break the tow tower, but we broke the tower. There's a lot of bow wow wows, if yos, if yays. We need to take them down. Their accuracy is uh, a little questionable. Alright, we took down the dogs. Bow wow wow, if yos, if yays. We probably could fight the pursuer here just for shigs. That's shits and giggles, in case you needed to know. Yeah, there's. I'm pretty sure there's a large Titanite shard in here with the Estus shard. Just saw your Sekiro second run. How did you like old Ishin? 
It's better than I was expecting. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and the the buttery feet that Lady Emma has. Those feet were buttery, man. Holy crap. Doesn't Pursuer show up here? Where's Pursuer? Pursuer's not showing up. I wanted to kill him again just for shits and giggles and 9,000 souls, but he's not he's not showing himself. I'm like, I'm over here like, show yourself, Bagotis! Cheering with 10 bits! Thank you so much, Bagotis. You know I appreciate that generosity. Sorry for the late reaction. They were gentle. <laughs> Your buttery feet. Surprised she wasn't barefoot. Fucking Miyazaki, dude. That's how you know Dark Souls 2. Miyazaki didn't have as big of a play in it. There's not so many bare feet in Dark Souls 2 as there are in all the other games. Okie dokie. So... I shall travel now. To Majula. We have an Estus shard. So I can upgrade my Estus. And then... Um, we're actually off to Rosabeth. Good luck on the run today, bro. I'm at work, but might be around if you're still streaming three to four hours. I should be. I should be. I'm going to be streaming probably to like 10 p.m. Eastern time zone today, to tell you the truth. That's how long we're going to be going for today. That is indeed a shard I found, lady. I didn't mean to level up. Do I have the souls to level up? Don't even have the souls to level up. Didn't think I would upgrade the Estus flask. I think I just have the one shard. It should be just the one shard. That's what I thought. Okay. And I don't have any more bone dust. I'm always, like, hot to trot on, uh, on the flask upgrades. Okay. We're gonna be heading off to Rosabeth now. Do I have two fragrant branches? I have two fragrant branches. I don't know where the hell I got the second one. No, wait. Where the hell did I get the first one? How do I have two fragrant branches? One of the bosses I kill? Oh, now I remember. Okay. I got one in... No Man's Wharf, and then I got another one over by that optional Pursuer that I fought. It was that chest that I opened up. That was for the Fragrant Branch of Yore, if that makes sense. Okay. I, like, I don't even remember where I got the two of them. I'm all over the place with the notes. I'm sorry. I'm a little tone deaf, if you can't tell. I'm horrible when it comes to music. Alright, we can lessen this gank, because we're about to get ganked pretty hard in this room by all these well-endowed men. So in order to not get overwhelmed by their several girthy crotches, I'm gonna um, take out a couple of these guys who are locked away in these cells, but you can, you can bust down the door and come and kill them first. I like how that piece of wood's like stuck like that. That doesn't always happen, that's pretty cool. Have you read Berserk? I have not. I have Berserk 1 and Berserk 2. They're actually like sitting right out of frame over there. But I've never read them. I've opened up the first page and saw that he was effing a lady who turns into a demon. That's about as that's about as much Berserk as I've read. I saw I saw that he was porking a lady who turns into a demon. Rosabeth, hey. Rosabeth, hey. Get up. She's gonna talk a lot. But we should be able to buy stuff off her, I think, here, right now. If I'm not mistaken, we just keep talking to her. And then I think we can start buying stuff. Yes. Nice. Alright, so... Um, this is gonna sound silly. I'm buying the Thunder Quartz Ring so we can wear it in... Frigid Outskirts. I'm buying it now. Yes, I've looked into the Thunder Quartz Ring plus one, plus two, and plus three, and decided that none of them are worth the risk or time to get. I'm just gonna wear this one. I know it's the worst Thunder Quartz Ring in the game. She said, be safe, Veranox. That's, um, most people probably don't know that line. That's, that's the Dark Souls one thing that, uh, what's the lady dressed in white named? Ooh, there's still three of you? Boom. Was not expecting that. Okay, we need to like. Why are they going so crazy? Did you see that guy running at like a thousand miles per hour against the wall? That was wicked. Wicked. Did you chill out, dude? Thank you. All right, we didn't get ganked too hard because I thinned out the crowd before the gank started. We do not need the old Akalar bonfire. There's no reason for me to come back to old Akalar ever. So we're just not gonna get that bonfire. Hey, Ruben KN, welcome. 
call me by my dead name. How dare you? I'm just kidding. It's fine. I go by Ardvarkado nowadays. I didn't know you still streamed. Good to see you still around. Heck yeah, man. I still be out here streaming. I actually, I don't know. The only, the only time I stopped was in 2021. I didn't stream during 2021, but, um, hmm. I wonder how long I was off of YouTube for. Because I, like, messed around some stupid website called DLive for a while. The reason I'm on YouTube again is because I'm multi multicasting. I actually, I, I kind of focus more on Twitch than YouTube, but, um... You're free, you're free to watch from YouTube, you're free to talk to me on YouTube, but I think I think Twitch is a little bit more fun with like the channel points that you earn, and then also um, you get your messages on screen when you chat. And then speaking of things, I meant to do this right at the beginning of the stream, but we'll do it now. It's just as good. We can we can do predictions. You guys can gamble your channel points that you earn for watching on Twitch. So we're gonna start a prediction. We're gonna start a we're gonna start a gamba, as they call them. So, will I die before collecting the four Lord Souls? Is it too long? Oh, that's too long. Will I die before collecting four Lord Souls? Oops, not dollar sign. Four Lord Souls. Third time's the charm. Will I die before collecting four Lord Souls? Um, actually, hmm. I'm going to change the phrasing on that. No deaths before collecting four lord souls question mark no deaths before collecting four lord souls no no deaths no deaths comma four lord souls collected question mark kind of weirdly phrased but i like i like making yes be the positive answer and no be the negative answer otherwise people mess it up so no deaths, four Lord Souls collected? Yes. Four souls, no deaths. Outcome number two, no. You will die. All right, we are gonna give you 20 minutes to submit your answers, start the prediction now. You got 20 minutes, place your bets. Hey, Ruben Ken, thank you so much for following. I think that, that you came over here to Twitch and followed me. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, all right, all right. Uh, what is this? What's in my face here? How come I can't see my chat? Okay, there we go. We're back in business. We're back in business. Bidsness, as I was saying yesterday. What am I doing right now? I got the Estes Shard at Akalar. Did I sit at the Akalar bonfire? Okay, good. I didn't. I went to Ruin Forked Road. Cool, 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 cool. So, uh, I got the Estus Flash Shard. Nice. I don't feel like going back to Majula yet, just to get a sixth Estus Flask and come back. I don't feel like going through the loading screen, so we're just gonna carry on. Hey, bro, can you do a game other than Soulsborne or Soulslike every once in a while? I want to see you have new experiences. I'll be playing Armored Core 6 sometime in the near future, um, but I do consider myself like a Souls streamer. I don't, I don't have a, much interest on streaming games outside of Souls games, to tell you the truth. Um, I do, I do want to play the Dead Space remake, but I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely like, I don't know. I'm all, I'm all about Souls, and I like, I like, I like being, I, I like be, people being able to rely on like no, knowing what to expect from my content, and I'm just, I don't know. I'm bad when it comes to doing variety the right way. Other variety streamers will like. They'll, like, kind of go through, they'll, they'll, like, cycle what games they're playing. So they'll, like, play a, one game one day and play another game the next day. And then when the next week rolls around, they'll, you know, play the same games the next week. But they're, like, just changing games every live stream. When I did Variety, I was terrible at that. And I would just, like, play the same game for three months straight, get sick of it, and then never play that game ever again. And... I was essentially just shooting myself in the foot over and over again. I don't know. I don't... I, I like... I kind of like sticking with one thing more than doing variety, to tell you the truth. But I do plan on playing Armored Core 6 and streaming it. And that'll be new. That'll be a new experience. The only other game I can think that I might want to live stream would be the Dead Space remake, but I don't even own that yet. This... Animal Crossing song is the best, not clickbait. Forgot that part. What? I mean, that's such a great start. You get a badass protagonist who claps demon cheeks in both meanings. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about Berserk. 
Variety also can also cause burnout too. I feel like usually you hear the other thing around. Lack of variety is usually what people say will cause burnout. But I mean, like, I used to play nothing but Dark Souls 1 over and over and over and over. And now we're playing six Souls games plus Sekiro. And we're doing it the same. We're doing it like how I used to do Dark Souls 1. But instead of it being one game, now it's seven games. Okay. I... Uh... Grabbed the Chloranthi ring, but I didn't put it on yet. I grabbed, I believe it was Sublime Bone Dust. Or is it even Sublime? Yeah, Sublime. That is the name. We have this Chloranthi ring to wear. I am going to drop. I'm going to drop the Covetous Silver Serpent ring because I have the Covetous Silver Serpent ring plus one. There's no point in me having both. Both of them. Thank God I just found Claymore and Arch Thrones. Hell yeah, Claymore's where it's at. The not clickbait thing is a poke fun of YouTube. Hey, Fading Decoy! Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Hello, everybody. I am Ard Varcado. We are playing some Dark Souls 2. I'm trying to take down every single boss without dying whatsoever. My personal best is three deaths, and it's going to be broadsword only. So the weapon I'm using right now is the only weapon that I have been using so far, and it's the only weapon we're going to be using for the rest of the playthrough as well. Hell yeah. Um, oh, nice. Dark Souls 2. Yes, yes. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. Oh, thank you. You beat me to the shout out, I assume. Midwest Lifts. Thank you for shouting out Fading Decoy. Fading Decoy is a cool guy. He's the only other person who I've spoken with who also has every single weapon in Elden Ring. I don't know if yours are upgraded or not. For, for my for my PvP character in Elden Ring, I have a level 1 character who has every single weapon. I mean, I muled the weapons to him, to be honest. But I did collect all the weapons manually. And then I upgraded, I upgraded them using some save scum muling stuff I, I i did some exploits to get them upgraded but i had to collect them all legitimate and then um i gave them to my level i have a level one character who's got every single weapon fully upgraded they have every single spell and incantation incantation that i'm interested in using whatsoever in pvp and it's a level one character with a crap ton of runes on it so i can essentially spec into any build and then when i'm done playing as that build i can use a cloud save to overwrite go back in time to when that character was level one again and i essentially have a infinite respec ready to go with all sorts of gear to turn into any build that i can imagine it's freaking sick honestly oh god i'm gonna have to do that in the when the DLC comes out, I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to do level one stuff. To be honest, I the last boss I killed solo at level one on that character was Fire Giant, Godskin Duo, and 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 Melania and all that. I I summoned people and had them help me. To be honest, thank you so much for the follow though, uh, Stoner Jesus. I appreciate the follow, Stoner Jesus. Lodgy Bear, real panda. Dude, that's awesome as hell. It's very awesome. You should do that for the DLC too. Hey, Lodge Bear, thank you for following. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna be. I don't know. I, I'll be. I think my plan is I'm gonna play through the DLC using Claymore. Hobo Dino also following. My goodness, guys, thank you so much for all the follows. This is awesome. This is awesome. Thank you. I love all Souls-like games. I play pretty much nothing but Souls games here, uh, uh, here on Twitch. So. This is the place. This be the place. Hype, hype, hype. Indeed, Hobo Dino. Indeed. Okay, so, uh, hold up. I'm falling behind here. We need to go speak with Grandall. Yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm on 11 on my main and 6 on my side. I'm a little confused about what you're talking about with those numbers. Currently playing Dark Souls 3 myself. Dark Souls 3 is solid. I had a hard time enjoying Dark Souls 3 until I played Elden Ring. I bought Dark Souls 3 back in 2016, but I always kind of struggled to have a good time with it for some reason. And then when Elden Ring came out, I was actually really nervous because I was like, this is essentially one giant Dark Souls 3. But I learned to love it, and now I go back to Dark Souls 3, and I feel like I'm just... It's like, it's like I love Dark Souls 1, and Demon Souls feels like Dark Souls 0.5. And I love Elden Ring... And Dark Souls 3 feels like Elden Ring 0.5. So I'd be loving Dark Souls 3 these days. Baby Decoy, you're gonna grab some food though. Hey, no problem with the raid and run. I completely understand and I appreciate your raid. 
uh, even with the run, I still appreciate it. And you're leaving me a lurk as well. It's very awesome. Definitely going martial arts on my first DLC playthrough. I can't wait. Wild. Wild that that's going to be a thing. NG plus 11 on Elden Ring and 6 on your side character. Oh. I think it just maxes out at NG plus 7 though, doesn't it? I don't think it gets any harder after the 8th playthrough. I believe it stops there. Alright, alright, alright. Definitely agreeing with Dark Souls 3 being 0.5 Elden Ring. Yes, yes, yes. Say, bro, you know, you technically look like a stoner Jesus. No offense. I need to get a haircut, to tell you the truth. I got a new job I'm starting at the beginning of April, and I, I want to I wanna, I wanna cut my hair a little bit. Yeah, at the end of 7, that's the hardest. Indeed. Indeed. At least you know, though. Still fun. Abyss Watcher's fight is so good. It's, it's, it's a really well done multi-boss, that's for sure. One of the best multi-bosses in From Software history, I think. It's just, like, so cool seeing them fight each other. I wanted to upgrade my Estus Flask. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's Ruin Sentinel's time. Alright, so we're pretty early this uh, playthrough. We have zero deaths still, but we've only killed four bosses, so I better be at zero deaths, because all we've killed is Dragon Rider, Pursuer, Last Giant, and Flexile Sentry. Ruin Sentinel's is coming up next. Um, But, honestly, we're pretty powerful with the... Do I, I only have six Estus? I guess that makes sense. With the 6 Estus at plus 2, I've got 23 life gems. Good god, man. Plus, my broadsword is already plus 7. Goodness gracious, we've only killed 4 bosses, and I have a plus 7 broadsword. Holy mackerel, man. Hating DK, you haven't played this game in so long. I love me some Dark Souls 2. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm a little bit more... I, I enjoy the slower Souls games a little bit more than the faster Souls games. Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, and Dark Souls 2, I think, will forever be my favorite. They're just like, I don't I don't know exactly how to describe it. I think they're just like, they're a little bit less stressful. So I can just kind of play the game and have a good time and not be as stressed out. Because I, like, when I'm trying to do good. Because I'm, I have this dream of doing a melee only all boss demigod challenge run. So that would be seven games, Demon Souls, the Dark Souls trilogy, Bloodborne, Sekiro and Elden Ring all seven games all bosses no ranged attacks whatsoever nothing but melee attacks the whole way through and um, And not a single death the whole way through either if you die if you die five games throughout If, if you're five games deep into the demigod challenge run and you die Then you got to start all the way back at game one, but I'm not good enough to try that yet my personal best in Dark Souls 2 is three deaths. My personal best in Bloodborne is uh, also three deaths. My personal best in Dark Souls 3 is 13. We have a lot of getting good to do left in Dark Souls 3. Sekiro, I've only beat Sekiro twice in my life. The second playthrough, we used no resurrections. So I used no resurrections, and it was also katana only. I didn't I didn't use any prosthetics, so no prosthetics, no resurrections. Uh, I, I didn't count my deaths, because there was a lot. There was a lot of deaths. So we have the most getting good left to do in Sekiro. And then in Elden Ring, uh, my personal best is 20 deaths. And that's for melee only, all bosses in all of them. And, and in uh, Sekiro, I do all bosses and all mini bosses as well. Who killed you in Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 the most? Um, I don't know if I died multiple times in Dark Souls 3, to tell you the truth. To like one boss, I don't think I died multiple times. Oh, there's a few more of you than I thought. Uh, let's see if we can get through the fog wall. I want to say Gundir. Gundir, I suck at Gundir. So like I think I don't think I died multiple times to any boss, but I know I I know I died to Gundir. And I know Gundir is the one that scares the shit out of me the most pretty practically. I know I died to Midir as well. Gundir killed me, Midir killed me. I don't remember other bosses that killed me. Um Bloodborne Abridus is the one I'm most worried about surprisingly. It's it goes to it's either a breed like honestly I think I'm better at Kos Orphan Orphan Kos I think I'm better at Orphan Kos than I am at a Breedus. I I suck at a Breedus. I don't know I need to do like a Blood Level Four playthrough or something maybe because I know people always are getting good at a Breedus by doing Blood Level Four playthroughs. Which Gundir? The Champion Gundir. Come on, man. You gotta ask. Yeah, he's hard. I struggle with him too. He's just so bendy and so drunk and so he spins and his. 
His hitboxes were kind of bad, to tell you the truth. At least in my opinion, that's how I feel. I feel like he's got some bad hitboxes. But, like, that's just my opinion, man. Alright, um, I'm gonna not be peeking at the chat for a moment, because stuff's getting a little bit intense here in this boss fight. I got Alessia halfway down. Try to finish her off. This is Riche, or whatever the pronunciation is. Don't ask me, because I don't know. Smack, smack, smack. Cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. Plus seven broadswords doing work. Big ol' slam -a jam Another big ol' slam -a jam but in a different style. Alright, one more smack on Alessia ought to be it. But of course she's got the shield up. They're actually, they're just, they're golems. There's not actually people. Hey, throw in the shield. Love to see it. Then you can't block my attacks anymore. So they don't, they're, they're, they're kind of, I guess, androgynous. Uh, because they're just golems. They're not actually people. They're named after people. They're named after, like, saints or something like that. I can't remember exactly the lore about ruined sentinels, but I, I remember that they're not actually, like, living beings in Bloodborne. Um... No, I'm definitely most worried about Abritus. In Bloodborne, I'm most worried about Abritus, and then e after Abritus, it's like, I'm most worried about Abritus killing me, and then after that, probably, like, tied for Orphan and, and Lawrence. I'm a little concerned about those guys, too, because who wouldn't be? Who in their right mind wouldn't be? I mean, I don't know. Never seen you play Dark Souls 3, and by the way, you talk about it, you sound like you suck at the game, so forgive me, but I don't know what to expect. 13 deaths isn't that bad. I mean, it's like, in comparison to how good I want to be, 13 deaths is not good enough, but 13 deaths isn't that bad. Give me, give me, cut me some slack, Jack. 13 is good, exactly, exactly. Especially considering I do pretty much broadsword only in all of them. I say melee only for Dark Souls 3. I don't, I don't say broadsword only for Dark Souls 3 because at the beginning I start with the long sword and I actually, I fight, I fight Unix Gundir with the um with the long sword and then I kill a couple enemies on the way to the broadsword. So I feel like I can't say broadsword only because it's not truly broadsword only. Like Dark Souls 2, I can start with the broadsword and not ever attack anything with anything other than the broadsword. So I could say broadsword only. But I can't do the same for Dark Souls 3 because you can't start with the broadsword. Much to my chagrin. I died more than that against Nameless King. Nameless King, he's one of my favorite fights in the game. I think my I think my two favorite fights in Dark Souls 3, this is going to sound kind of weird. Old Demon King is tied for favorite of mine with Nameless King. I don't really know why that's the case, but that's that's how I feel. Don't ask me because I don't know. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Still need to play Bloodborne. Bloodborne's so good. Bloodborne is really cool. I, I find the play I find the gameplay to be a little too punishing in my personal taste. Uh, but it's the coolest one. Not a single one of these games are as cool as Bloodborne. But if we like remove the coolness factor and we just focus on the gameplay. I I my my two favorites is Dark Souls 1, tied with Elden Ring, tied for the number one spot. Behind those, I think my favorite is Dark Souls 2. But I don't know, Dark Souls 3 has been moving up, and I, I honestly, I have a hard time favoriting them. I have a hard time putting favorites on them, because I love Demon Souls, I love Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3 I've been starting to like more and more as I think of it as if I'm just playing Elden Ring, and Elden Ring's tied for my favorite with Dark Souls 1. Uh, Oh, Bloodborne's so cool, man. How can I rank Bloodborne underneath Demon Souls? But but Demon Souls is like Dark Souls 1, and Dark Souls 1 is my favorite. I don't know, man. I like them all the same. They're all 10 out of 10. Uh, except for Skiro. That one's like 9 out of 10. <laughs> oh, again, just my opinion, man. I prefer the RPGs. I like playing these games the way I want to play these games. And trying to play Sekiro not by the rules... It's a little, it's a little harsh. Doing, doing katana only, no prosthetics, no resurrections in Sekiro. I don't know. I don't, I don't find that gameplay to be as enjoyable as all these other From Software titles included in the Demigod run. But Sekiro is really good as well. Sekiro is a great game as well. 
Just because I'm an idiot who doesn't use the tools that the game gives me. So some of the fights get kind of tedious. There's like a lot of gank that you have to deal with that you don't really have an answer to if you're not using certain prosthetics or certain like ninjutsus and stuff. Sekiro is your favorite. I feel bad saying it. Don't feel bad for saying it. A lot of people, a lot of people have Sekiro as their favorite. All right, all right, all right. I forgot to cross these guys out ages ago. We killed Rune Sentinels. I've been very distracted. I was, I was like going, 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 making progress. But it got busy up in here, and now I've been chatting up a storm. All right, what's going down? We're just going after Lost Internex. Okay, I'm doing literally nothing between here and there. That's crazy. You know what we are going to do, though? We're going to go spend these 70,000 souls on some level ups. Only boss you didn't beat in Dark Souls 3? What's that, Sister Freed? Sister Freed's pretty dang tough. With her three health bars. Sister Freed's solid fight as well. She's a good fight. You can jump him together. Are we talking about Dark Souls 3 on 800 by 600 resolution? Lowest graphic hits different. You don't know how the F you fall off a cliff. Hey! God dang! Getting rated by Root Brews. Thank you so much for the rate. 87 people. Holy shit. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. My name is Ard Varkata. We're playing some Dark Souls 2 today. Trying to use nothing but the broadsword. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Appa Yip Yip. Hell yeah, I love that name. I love that name. Uh, we've killed, was that, six bosses, five bosses? Kind of hard to see, I'm sorry. Dragon Rider, Pursuer, Last Giant, Flexile Sentry, and Ruined Sentinels are dead. We'll be going off to the Lost Sinner in just a second here. My personal best is three deaths. Hoping to not die whatsoever, but if I can be, if I can be two deaths or less, I'll be happy with the playthrough today. Goodness gracious, though, Root Brews. Big thank you for that. Um... I don't know if I have a moderator around to give you a shout out, so I will do it myself. If you guys don't know Root Bruised, go check her out. She's really fucking cool. Somebody already beat me to it, I guess, by 30 seconds. Thank you, Justin, I assume, or maybe Dishonor Ninja. Um, what were you playing today? I know you were... The last time I saw you streaming, you were playing Animal Crossing. I love me some Animal Crossing. That's like... I think it's my third favorite series ever. Dark Souls games are my favorite series, followed by Ratchet and Clank games. I love Ratchet and Clank games. And then I think... I think I don't have a third favorite series besides Animal Crossing, so it's got to go to Animal Crossing. Solid, solid games. No Sekiro today? No, not today. I finished my second playthrough just the other day. Uh, we didn't use any resurrections. Thank you so much for the follow, Andy. Didn't use any resurrections. Didn't use any prosthetics. Didn't use any ninjutsus. I hate myself. Can you tell? Goodness gracious. Yeah, big ol' Root Raid, Andy. Big ol' Root Raid. Ratchet and Clank are amazing. I love them. God damn. Yeah, I didn't count the deaths, though. I, I started the playthrough, and I was trying to count the deaths, but it was just pissing me off. I was getting all pissed off, dying. So I was like, I can't count these deaths. I'm not good enough at this game yet to count the deaths, so I don't know the death counter. But it was high. It was a high amount of deaths. All right, where am I trying to go? We're trying to go after Lost Sinner. That's the one. That's the one. I'm gonna get rid of this boss checklist. Unless somebody wants to see it, I could bring it back up for now, but I, I don't like leaving it up. It's kind of obnoxious. Eile Fox, hello. Gold Exile, hello, hello. Good to have you all here. Star Snacks, hi. Sorry I missed all your messages. Uh, there's a lot going on. It's a busy, busy day here for me in this stream. I'm not used to this many people being here. Fatal Frame is one of your favorite games. You thought you knew all the jump scares, but you were wrong. <laughs> Sounds like a good time over there. Sorry, I missed it. Getting spooked by jump stare. You thought you thought you knew the game. Probably makes the jump scares even scarier. When you think you know them all, and then you get surprised by them. It's popping. It's popping, indeed. All right, all right. This gate opens. Then the next gate opens. It takes its dandy time. I gotta say, I'm not into this track right now. I'll listen to something else. It's nothing but gaming music that will have planned during the streams. I have a peaceful playlist and I have a battle playlist. I switch between the two of them. But it's all music. It's all music I took from video games. Uh cuz I don't know, the whole like I'm 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 scared shitless of copyright strikes to tell you the truth. So, I just don't I don't fuck with that. <laughs> Get away from me, dude. Oh, what? I was so far away from you. It doesn't matter. This is why I don't do hitless playthroughs cuz I play like a jackass. Oh god, run. Run. I'm a little scared. We can chug a couple flasks, though. We'll be alright. They're decently far behind me. Dodge the bolt. Oh, he shot a second one awfully quick. God dang. Homie's got sleight of hand pro. I don't remember what the pro part of sleight of hand does. I think it makes you use equipment faster. 
so tough to get through fog walls in this game. <laughs> I'm like a, I like to defend Dark Souls 2 a lot. There's a lot of people who talk a lot of shit about Dark Souls 2. And I really think that there's like only one valid complaint about Dark Souls 2, and that's, there are definitely a higher number of bad hitboxes in this game compared to the other Souls games. I mean, there's bad hitbox examples in all of the Souls games, but Dark Souls 2 has the most examples of bad hitboxes. But all the other complaints I hear about Dark Souls 2 are like, it's like, get good, scrub. That's how I feel. Okay, uh, sometimes I get here, I just run in circles. No, that guy's getting on the elevator. Never mind. Okay. I don't like being on that elevator with that guy, so we'll just spend our time here to kill off these two, and then we'll send the elevator back up, and then we'll ride the elevator back down. My guy, you need to learn how to play stuff. Rest in peace, demigod run otherwise. What do you mean? I'm doing plenty good. I'm doing plenty good. We'll do good. We'll do good. The only ones that I've beaten without a single death is Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1. We have a long ways to go before I'm good enough to ever do a demigod challenge run. I've only beaten Sekiro twice for Pete's sake. I died 13 times in Dark Souls 3. I died 20 times in Elden Ring. That's a long ways off. I'm not really thinking about that goal so much as I am thinking about I just need to complete a no death run all bosses in um, every single one of these games individually. And then once I have at least one, probably maybe even met multiple, I don't know, but at least one no death run in all seven of them, then I can start to think about Demigod Challenge Run, but I'm a long ways off from that, my guy. All right, all right, all right. And also, like, I'm gonna play the way I wanna play. There's only, there's only, there's only so many ways to be safe using nothing but a broadsword or nothing but melee attacks. I'm not gonna be, like, using a bow to clear out areas before I walk through them. That's just not my style, and I'm not gonna do that. Uh, you never know what the Souls games, you could die to the stupidest shit, despite being a god at the game. Challenge accepted. Alright. Lost Sinner is here. Let's do this. Yeah, 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 cutscene. Bug goes crawling in her eye. It's the, uh, it's the, it's the Isolith bug. You know how, like, when you kill the Bed of Chaos in Dark Souls 1? It's that bug that you have to kill? It's the same bug that crawls into the Lost Sinner's, like, eyeball at the beginning of the cutscene, or halfway through the cutscene. I don't know, I always skip it, so I don't remember exactly when it happens. Ouch! He does, like, no damage, I gotta say. I'm gonna drink one of these anyway. Filthy safer. Call me a filthy safer if you want, but that's kind of more of a RuneScape thing. Alright, slapping, slapping her up, my bad. No problem. Lost Sinner ain't got nothing, man. Lost Sinner ain't got nothing. And with this plus seven broadsword, these early game bosses don't stand a chance. It's crazy that the broadsword is already plus seven, when plus ten is where it's going to be maxed out at. Swanging and missing. Big ol' swangs, big ol' misses. One more hit ought to do it. Bop. Alright, down she goes. Easy peasy. What can I say? What can I say? I'm used to fighting her in NG+. In NG+, she gets, like, these two little pyromancer dudes that show up and help her throughout the fight, and it makes it much more tougher. Alright, chest opened. Got another Fragrant Branch of Yore and Elizabeth Mushroom. Always nice to have. Make sure I interact with every single one of these primal bonfires. If you don't interact with the primal bonfires, then Aldia never shows up. If Aldia never shows up, then you don't get to fight him at the end of the playthrough, and while that wouldn't be much of an all-boss playthrough, then would it? Lost Sinner is dead. So we'll cross out Lost Sinner now. Scorpion S. Najka is coming up next. Lost Sinner's dead! Boom! Cross that out. Okay. I have 74,000 souls, and we're going to get even more by popping some soul items here real quick. 79,000. This is going to bring me up to like 99,000, isn't it? Even more than that, we're at 104,000 souls. Holy night, Hodrick, man. That's a lot of freaking souls. All right. Um, I do like some endurance. Ooh, I should probably do a little vitality. I don't know. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me take a peek at what my equip load is looking like real quick. I didn't even think about, when I put the Claranthi ring on, I might be heavier than I like. I am heavier than I like. I like being under 30%. I didn't even realize. I've been wearing that Claranthi ring for a little bit now. So a little bit of Vitality. Let's just get it to like 10, I guess. 
Maybe, I don't know. Let's just let's get it to like 10, I guess. I've got too many levels to level up with. I'm overwhelmed with the options. Okay. How's the equip load looking now? 28.3%. That's more like it. Alright, we're wearing the Seldora set for extra souls. We're wearing the Silver Serpent Ring plus one for extra souls. Ring of Steel protection for extra... Extra defense. Ring of Blades for extra damage. Chloranthi Ring plus one for extra fast stamina recovery. Alright, what the hell's coming up next? Najka, I said. Scorpion S. Najka. So we've already been to... Shaded Ruins. I talked to Grand all already, so there's nothing for me to do here at Shaded Ruins except for just go fight Najka, which is what we gonna do. Then we get to Skeleton Lords. Ooh, it can get a little scary getting on my way to Skeleton Lords. It can get a little scary on my way to Skeleton Lords, but we'll be alright. Appa! Yip yip! <laughs> I watched I watched all of the live action Avatar. I I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. There's like some stuff that they they changed around a decent amount of stuff from the original animated series. But um other than that gripe of like kind of breaking the timeline a little bit, they did they did a good job. I'd give it like an 8 out of 10 as somebody who's a big fan of the original animated series. I I'd give that I'd give that Netflix adaptation like an 8 out of 10. All right, Scorpion S, Najka, bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Can't really do any damage while she's in the ground. She's also not going to stand a chance to the plus seven broadsword. So, are you doing good looking? Slapping her up. Get into the other side of the tail whip. Smack, smack, slice, dice. Get into the other side of the tail whip. She's making this easy for me. She's making this easy. She's not even doing anything I have to worry about. And a stun just like that. Happened at an inconvenient time when I was completely out of stamina. Ouch. Get myself poked in the booty. This is, this is how much of a filthy safer I am. Again, the runescape term. I'm sorry. But I'm, I healed. I healed when I had like no HP missing. Oh. So the homing crystal soul ma or the homing soul mass attacks are some of the harder ones for me to deal with in these games. There's so many different bosses that have different types of homing soul mass attacks that I can never really keep track of what boss's homing soul mass does what. So those are kind of one of the trickier ones for me to deal with because I never really remember exactly what's going to happen with one boss's homing soul mass compared to a different boss's homing soul mass. There's so many different variants. Anyone else playing through Arch Thrones currently? Yeah, Justin, M Midwest Lift has been playing through Arch Thrones. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I might, I might do some Arch Thrones tomorrow. I don't know. My brother is moving to a new house tomorrow. So I might get caught up helping my brother move tomorrow. Um, but I definitely want to play, I definitely want to play that Arch Thrones mod for, P for Dark Souls 3 sometime soon. Dishonored Ninja, you were thinking about trying out Arch Thrones? You know, I, I want to try it out too. I'm usually not into modded content, but that mod sounds really cool. Like, what's that one? Um, shoot, I'm never gonna remember the name of it. Rekindled? No, I don't. I don't know. I cannot remember the name. There was some mod that came out like a while ago, and I think it's for Dark Souls 3, and they added like a lot of new stuff. But I was like, eh, I don't know. I don't really feel like doing that. But Arch Thrones, for some reason, has my interest, even though it's. Kind of in the same vein of that one that I had no interest in. I just, I'm not usually like a mod kind of guy. I play on PlayStation, first of all. So, to play on PC, I kind of have to go out of my way. I own all of these games on PC because before the PlayStation 5 came out, I was more of a PC gamer. But, I don't know, I got kind of fed up with the PC gamer lifestyle, and I got myself a PS5. I had a PS4, but like, like, like I've always been a console boy. I was huge, I, I, I was in love with the PlayStation 3, but the PlayStation 4 was like, I don't know, it's not that great of a console, honestly. So I like kind of, I shifted to PC during the PlayStation 4 era. And then now PS5, and I got a PS5, and I love the PS5. Other than you can't shut off the goddamn motion controls. That's the one thing I hate, dude. This stupid gyroscope and accelerometer inside of this controller. And there's no setting to shut it off. And I even looked into trying to take apart the controller and remove the gyroscope and acceler accelerometer myself. Just remove it entirely from the controller. That's, like, impossible. So, 
I'm just stuck with it, I guess. That's the only thing I don't like about the PS5. The controller. The controller sucks, man. It's insanely good, but you really need... You feel really underpowered in it. Devs are working on a balancing patch. Finally found Claymore, and it feels a little better, but we'll see. I mean, I don't know. I'll just think of it like a challenge run, I guess, you know? What's up next? Skeleton Lords? Okay. Um, I'll get to the next bonfire now. Because we're not going after the scary... Uh, it's Royal Rat Authority is the one that's here in Doors of Pharos. We're not going to be fighting Royal Rat Authority yet. We save we save some of those optional fights for way later in the playthrough. I do nothing but mandatory fights until we're way later in the playthrough. And then I'll knock out some of the optional ones. Um, like Belfry Gargoyles and Dark Lurker and Royal Rat Authority. Even the Chariots. I save all of that stuff for later in the playthrough. Just because it's less risky if I do it later. So why take an extra risk by doing it earlier? Heck no, I don't want to do that. Um, um, oh, we're still playing battle music? My bad. I was supposed to switch it over to peaceful music. It was like not that battle-esque of music, though, to tell you the truth. Maybe that track that was playing should be in the peaceful playlist. I completely lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. I was talking about something. It's gone now. I have no idea what I was talking about. We're going to get rid of the boss checklist because it's been up for a while. and I don't like leaving it up for long. I find it kind of annoying. Think about Arch Thrones like a challenge run. Yeah, I don't know what I was talking about, to tell you the truth. Okay. Again, I've got my order wrong here. This is actually kind of pissing me off. I don't know why this is like this. It says I'm going, it says I'm going from Najka to Skeleton Lords for you guys. That's not true. We're gonna go to Prowling Magus next. Something's different between between the route I have planned and the boss checklist. There's some slight differences, and it's upsetting me. I need to fix that one of these days. So we're gonna go kill Prowling Magus or Magus, whatever the pronunciation is, and then we'll be off to Skeleton Lords. Tough boss fight, man. Tough boss fight. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, this track's nice. I love the Stray tracks. The tracks from Stray, that, that game's got some good music. Who doesn't love Kitty Cats? That guy just wrecked himself with his own boulder. Gotcha! With your own boulder! I don't know why I'm picking up the stuff. Alright, so I like to like kind of bait these guys into attacking, and then I run away. So they'll get hit by boulders. Boom! Only two of them got killed? Alright, well, whatever. I'll take it. Nice try. Bozo. Now you're dead. Another guy's gonna come dropping down when I proceed forward. Let's just kill him now so I don't get flanked. Because I don't want that going down. Now we have a pack of dudes coming up. Just around the corner here. Ah, uh, it's nice not to be an NG+. Plus. I always get attacked by Freyha here, and I don't want to get attacked by Freyha here. But it ain't NG+, plus, so I'm not getting attacked by Freyha. Feels good, man. Feels good. Alright, just one more of these peasant dudes. Slash, slash, slash. He do be dead now. Open the dough, yo. Dough opened. Yo. Hell yeah. It's a nice track. Wander. That's the name of this track. This name of this track is Wander. All right, all right, all right. Oh, my favorite part of Dark Souls 2 is coming up right here. Being able to roll through the doors. Oh, man. Endorphins every time. Endorphins every time. All right, give me the most intense battle track that I have. Wait, where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? I'm trying to I'm trying to DJ here. Hey, DJ. Change the music. All right. Let's do this. I did not pick my most intense track, by the way. I was just being just being stupid. I do a lot of that. I do a lot of just being stupid. I'm about to get lightning bolted. Haha, -ha, he shot the pew. He pew pewed the pew instead of me. I am like surrounded by them. Okay. Uh, we're managing this horribly. I, I just gotta say. I'm not I'm not doing good at all so far. <laughs> Let's just kill some of these little chumps so there's not so many dudes. That was scary for a moment there. I don't want to... You can... With zero poise like I have... Well, I don't know if I have zero poise. That's, actually, I know for a matter of fact. Dark Souls 2, I do not have zero poise. Because you get poise just from, like, leveling up. 
I think it might be endurance. I can't remember what gives you poise. Maybe it's just all levels give you a little bit of poise every time. We need to get rid of that healer. Cool. Wait, you're still alive? Ow, I got myself zapped by a lightning bolt. Not cool. Chug. All right, let's go get the other healer. Smack, 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 smack. Cool, down he goes. No healers left. There's just a few chumps and then Magus himself. But he doesn't have any poise either, nor does he have any HP. Missed with your little dark dart that you just shot at me. He's dead. We got a couple of dudes crawling around. Slap at them. Oh, it's still you. I was about to say, who's still alive? Down they go. All right, now I get a Titanite slab for that bad boy. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do 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 do. Prowling Magus is dead. Magus? Magus? The hell if I know. All right. Skeleton Lords is next, but we're going to be... We got some bidness to get down to before I take down Skeleton Lords. So. There's a Flask Shard I want to get here in Seldora. And there are four Titanite chunks I would also like to get here in Seldora. Chill out with the Age of Empires music. All right. Do I have boss souls? Ah, weird. No boss souls. Okay. Whatever. It is what it is. Okay. Um. I think I would like some Homeward Bones. Just equip those bad boys for now. Okay. Isn't there a Titanite Lizard? I don't know if I've ever gotten that Titanite Lizard. Mm, yeah, that's way too close to the edge. I'm not messing with that. That's big risky right there. I don't want to... I don't want to do that. That's scary. That's scary stuff. Roll through the door. I love doing that every time. Ah, oh, feels good every time, man. Alright, we're getting rid of this boss checklist. For now. I'll bring it back up later. What's up, not so friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? Knock you off the edge. Don't go off the edge with him. Oh, that was scary. I should have swung only once. My silly self swung twice, and I gave myself a little bit of a panic attack. We're still fine. Oh, does this work again? There's like, I need to get down there. Oh, I messed up already. I already messed up. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just do this side. Oh, the Titanite Lizard's gone. Whatever. All right. All right. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed that that Titanite Lizard's gone, but it, that Titanite Lizard's tough to get any, every time, so it is what it is. Maybe I can get it when I'm coming back here for Freha. I'm going to take out this not-so-friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. He hit me, and then he died. What in the world? All right. Whatever you say, Dark Souls 2. So, this is like Flame Butterflies and Titanite, isn't it? Oh, it's torches. Okay, ow. I need to move. Not the not the wisest thing I've done, grabbing those torches. I didn't really need them, but I took them anyway. All right, this is why I wanted to have the Homeward Bones equipped, so we can get the hell out of here. So I'm not going after Freyha yet. We need to return, though. I... I forgot. I forgot where the Estus Flask Shard was. We were supposed to get the Estus Flask Shard first, but it doesn't really matter which one we get first, really. So I got four Titanite chunks, right? Right? Where are the rocks again? Four Titanite chunks. I have two Titanite slabs already? What in the world? How do I have two Titanite slabs already? My goodness gracious, Dark Souls 2. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm so close to the ledge. What do you drop? Titanite chunk. Nice. We got another Titanite chunk. I'm pretty sure we can get our weapon fully upgraded now. That is jacked up, dude. That is... That's just not even right. Of my weapon fully upgraded for skeleton lords? My goodness. My goodness, man. <laughs> that's... <laughs> wow. That's what I have to say about that. That's what I have to say about that. I'm having a hard time finding my mouse today for some reason. Okay. So we're going to be off to Huntsman's Copes, Huntsman's Cops next. I don't really know the pronunciation. But that's where we're going next. There's a bone dust there. There's a flask shard for me to get. Uh, was it called Estus Shard? I believe it's called Estus Shard. I wrote F Shard when I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be E Shard. So. We'll head there, get the bone dust, get the Estus Shard. I believe I have an Estus Shard right now, don't I? I do have an Estus Shard right now. Yes, it is a shard I've found. sha na 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 lot Sorry, I kind of, kind of, kind of biffed it and got stuck in the na na na's. Um. What did I do? HP and stamina. HP and stamina. All right. HP and stamina. It is. 
Killed the boss. Yay! Congratulations, Midwest lives taking down your first boss in Arch Thrones. Was it with was it with Claymore? It was all about that Claymore, wasn't it? Got to get that. Got to get that Claymore. Okay. I don't think I upgraded my flasks. I spoke with her and I leveled up, but I did not upgrade the Estus, right? I did not. Go ahead and upgrade that Estus. Yeah, Claymore made a big difference. Good, good. Yeah, Claymore. Claymore gets it done. That's my get it done weapon, Claymore. Um, I do have the Rotunda Lockstone, right? I killed the lady. Oh, I didn't sit at the bonfire after killing her. So her stuff should still be sitting... If it's not down the stairs of Majula, then it should just be sitting over here in Hades, Hides, Tower of Flame, whatever the pronunciation is. If it's not sitting here, then I know it's in Majula, but it should be here. Yeah, that's it. That's it right there. Forgot to grab this earlier when I pushed her off the edge, but that's okay. We got it now. Teleporting around. No big deal. I got Lucy pregnant. No big deal. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's from Trailer Park Boys. Randy says it. And it's just funny because... How could you say you got somebody pregnant and then say no big deal in the same <laughs> sentence? <laughs> it's kind of funny to me. We can get my weapon fully upgraded. What am I doing? Why am I, why am I walking away from Leningrass? I don't know if I have enough souls to pay him. Frigid Outskirts yet? No, we're not going to Frigid Outskirts yet. You got your mind? That's like one of the last things I do in the playthrough. Friggin' Aleum Lois. I think, I think without a doubt, Aleum Lois is the toughest DLC. So we don't, we don't go there, we don't go there until like the end of the playthrough. Yeah, I don't have nearly enough to pay him. Damn. All right. Uh, I don't have any other souls to pop really other than this dinky one. What a shame. So we'll have to come back to Leningrass to get my weapon fully upgraded because my foolish self spent them all on upgrading or leveling up instead of upgrading my broadsword, which upgrading the broadsword is arguably a lot more important than leveling up a little bit. By the way, in case you didn't know, the shirt I'm wearing, I am enough. Tell yourself that from time to time. Keep your mental health up. Pretty sure that's nothing worth it. We'll just run past. I pick it up like every playthrough and then I'm like, why did I waste my time? So this playthrough, I can't remember what it is. Just like every playthrough, I'm running past there. I can't remember what that item is, but I remember that it's not worth my while, at least. It's like... Ru Ru Rogue water? Rouge water? I, one of those? I, th I think that is what it is? I can't really remember, to tell you the truth. Sometimes I kill this guy for extra souls. Just because I can. He's here. And you can kill him. And he gives you souls. So why not, right? Dark Souls 2 enemies don't attack you. Or NPCs, I should say. Dark Souls 2 NPCs don't attack you until you hit them three times. I'm trying to hit him with a heavy leaping attack and I'm failing every time. So we'll smack him with just three regular heavy attacks instead of doing the heavy leaping attack. Okay, now that he's halfway dead, he's pissed. Okay, he's doing some type of pyromancy. I'm a little scared. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he did firestorm, it looked like. All right, took him down. Got 2,600 souls for doing so. Um, it's still not going to be enough to pay Andre. Oh, why did I light the bonfire? No, we don't need that bonfire. It's going to congest my teleport screen. It's not really that big of a deal. I'll be just fine with my teleport screen, even with that extra Huntsman's hopes, hops, bonfire. But what? whatever. Took this chump down. Hey, you were supposed to drop your torch. He did not drop his torch. I'm upset. Up the stairs we go. I think we get followed. We do. I knew it. Take this punk out because I don't feel like having him directly behind me. Now what I like to do is I like to run up, touch this door, walk away from the door. That dude breaks it down. Break it down! Kind of surrounded by enemies here. This guy's shoving me and I just broke that boarded up window. That was interesting. Okay. Navigating my way around all those chumps. Whew, I was afraid I was going to roll and be dangerously close to the edge. We'll be able to light this bonfire, but it's not going to let me sit at the bonfire until we kill this guy. Boom. That was really tough. All right. Now he's dead. Um, I know I'm going to need like 6,000 in order to pay Leningrast to upgrade my broadsword 
from plus 8 to plus 10. Hey, dude, not cool. These guys aren't giving me a lot, but it adds up. And they were being kind of annoying, so they got they got to they got to get giddy and off here. Okay. What's up, dude, with the torch? Give me that torch. Give me that torch. Hey, no torch drop? What the heck, man? I'm killing you for a torch. You didn't even drop it. I like to pull the lever to the bridge and then do other stuff. Estus shard. Ah, it's the one it's the one in the cave with the skeletons. I'm kind of scared of that cave with the skeletons, to tell you the truth. But I really want that Estus shard. So we're gonna go in there and get it, despite my fears. What's up, dude? Doing a good job guarding that thing? Fantastic. I don't like to do the heavy attack on him because it takes quite some time to do the heavy attack and I've got enemies on the way. So I like just hitting him with, well, I, I hit him with the heavy attacks, I meant to say, instead of, instead of hitting him with a backstab. Ooh, we need to get out of this room. Or I could just kill that guy, honestly. Oh, he's got a friend. Ow. Okay, let's get out of this room. I could probably finish him off in here. I would stop getting sliced and something I'm trying to heal. Alright, let's just bail back up around. Oh, hey, how you doing? You're dead now. Here's what I am here for. This is bone dust. Yeah, that guy just turned around. I'm not surprised. So does his friend's dang. <laughs> okay. Homie, you gotta go. Okay, that guy's dead. Now you're dead. Are you guys all dropping? Hey, flame butterfly. I'll take those. Full moon sickle. Not really that interested. Soul spear. Also not really that interested. What is this one? Poison moss. I'll take the poison mosses. I think I've got six of those now. <clears throat> I have enough souls at this point to pay not Andre. What's his name? His name is Leningrast. I have enough souls to pay Leningrast. So we're going to go do that. We're going to go we're going to go get my broadsword to plus 10 and then we'll come back. We'll grab the Estus shard. We'll fight skeleton lords. And we'll be off to the hardest boss in the game, Covetous Demon, after that, I'm pretty sure. Unless I do some funky order. I wouldn't be surprised if I do some funky order. That sounds like something I would do. Uh, no, I fight Covetous Demon after Skeleton Lords. And then I go up to Ma Mytha, even. So we're going to kill Covetous Demon, make our way up to Mytha, and then I'll be back off to fight Freha. What's up, dude? Uh, I'd like to reinforce... Boom. Bam. Probably a little overkill on the soul count, huh? Yeah, I've got 4,000 souls left over. I only need, like... I only need, like, 4,000 less than that. I need, like, 3,700. And I got... 7.7k. Okay. Where are we going? Huntsman's, Huntsman's, Huntsman's. This one right here. Bridge approach. Plus 10 broadsword against, uh, skeleton lords. They should get slapped. Pretty good. I'm actually more concerned about getting the Estus Shard. Obtaining obtaining the Estus Shard sounds a little scarier for me than fighting Skeleton Lords. you are dead now, you drop a torch? How come you guys aren't dropping torches? I know I already have like four or five torches, so I don't really need any more than that for the rest of the playthrough. But like stocking up if I can. Give me your torch! Damn it! You didn't. Elevator has already been lowered, because I already pulled the lever. What are you running, dude? Dang, he's quick. Whoa. Alright, let's just keep moving. Let's just keep moving. Nice and fast, like. bum bada bum bada bum bada bum Running up the handrail. Jumping. Okay, I got stuck anyway. What a scrub I am. Hey, who's this guy? Stop slicing and dicing me. It's my job to slice and dice, not yours. I'm still getting followed. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a dog. Wow, 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 yippee yo, yippee yay. Down goes the dog. Okay, uh, I just, I, I don't know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like slicing these guys today. I don't know why. Usually I just run past all these guys. I'll, I'll start running past these ones, I think. I don't feel like fighting all these dudes now. Hmm, maybe I should. We're gonna get invaded by Merciless Rowena. We can just fight Merciless Rowena at her spawn location. Oh, she's already here? Surprising. Uh, we're gonna hold on to the Estus by popping the Life Gem. It's not enough HP for me to warrant a... Estus Flask before the boss fight. Alright, yeah, that plus 10 broadsword doing work, man. Holy crap, those are some big hits. She goes down. Easy peasy. Sometimes she drops her helmet. I probably wouldn't wear it even if she did, but... Still upset she didn't drop her helmet. 
Got the Undead Lockaway Key, which is the bonfire closest by to this boss, but I don't usually use that bonfire, to be honest with you. We just grab the Estus Flask Shard, and then I, and then I go. Go to the boss. I'm scared, though. I'm scared. Grabbing this Estus Flask Shard can get a little dicey in here. There's all these skeletons, and they don't stay dead if you kill them, because the Necromancers, I'd have to kill the Necromancers, too. Oh, I killed the skeletons in one hit. Alright, let's go get the Necromancer. I killed the skeletons in one hit. Oh, God damn it! I bopped the wall. That is not good. Where the hell did the rogue come from? We need to get out of this tunnel before I get surrounded by skeletons and stun-locked and killed. Okay, drink one of these, please. Don't hit me before I drink the flask. Thank you. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is why I didn't want to come in here. This is why I didn't want to come in here, man. Get out, get out, get out. I'm gonna fucking die like that. Dumbass! Dumbass, dude. I hate myself. Oh, I'm so mad. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I die like that. I knew I shouldn't have done it. We should have just grabbed the fucking Estus Flash Shard. I've died like this before. What does it take for me to learn my lesson? What does it take for me to learn my lesson? You've gotta be kidding me. <sighs> well, we've got one more death left in the playthrough for it still to be a new personal best. I can't believe it, man. How how many times do I have to die that way before I don't try that anymore? I know it's stupid every time, but I'm like, oh, I kill the skeletons in one hit. I should be fine. Guess what, bozo? You weren't fine. All you had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. It wasn't that hard. Oh, Jesus. I just had to grab the Estus flask shard. That's it. I don't know why I don't know why I fucked around with the necromancer. I don't have to do that. It's a death trap. How many times do I have to die that way to learn that that's a death trap? I already knew that was a death trap. And guess what? I did it anyway. I'm so mad at myself right now. I am so mad at myself right now for that. That was the stupidest thing. I've learned that lesson in the past. I've already learned the lesson of don't mess with that necromancer. Just grab the Estus Flask Shard and run. <sighs> that sucks, dude. That sucks. You get a death that early? I'm... Uh, I'm so mad at myself. I'm so friggin' mad at myself. Get away from me, rogue. Congratulations, what'd you get for chasing me that far? Because look, now we're going to do this no problem. I'm just not going to mess around with the guy. He's... He, what is he doing over here? Are you kidding me? What a spit in the face. He's like, yeah, I'm in this death tunnel. But this time, I'm not going to be in the death tunnel. Look at that. Look at that. Look how manageable this is. Look how easy that was. That's all I had to do. That's all I had to do. But no, I went and got myself killed in the goddamn death trap tunnel. Trying to get the necromancer like an absolute bozo. Oh, I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm angry! I'm really angry! Alright, let's try to make one the personal best. Let's try to make one the personal best. Maybe, may, hopefully not two. Hopefully we'll make one. If that's the only death for the whole playthrough, well then I'll really remember. I will really remember to not do that in the future. If that's the only death. Lessons learned. Lesson learned with every death, but the problem is I already died that way, so... Learning a lesson again that I already learned. I guess sometimes, you know, I like to think I'm a fast learner, but I guess sometimes I'm a slow learner. I don't, I don't freaking know, man. Alright, they're gonna turn into more skeletons. They're crawling up off the ground. We got the, uh... We got the scimitar boys first. Slash up the scimitar boys regular bony boys coming to life as well now so we kind of got a mix of the two but it's all right they won't stand a chance against this broadsword plus 10 ow thanks for that rape your boner bony boy not not boner boy i don't want to almost what i said that's not what i meant not what i meant at all backstab i wasn't expecting a backstab but you know what i'll take it all right backstab hey hey leave me alone there's still a scimitar guy kicking around? I'm surprised. Boner? I hardly knew her. You know what I... The only thing I am worried about is getting a boner. Two skeletons left. Hi. 
It's like... I don't know, man. If this playthrough didn't take me nine hours, I'd probably restart because of that one death. But whatever. Jesus, what it is. I can't believe that happened, man. I can't believe that happened. I'm so mad. But, you know... I don't know. If it, if it hadn't happened in the past. The fact that I died that way in the past. And now I died that way again this playthrough. I mean, it just hammers home. It hammers home the lesson even more, I guess. That's always a spot that I'm kind of nervous about. I, I think now I know I don't really have anything to be nervous about. Like, I just go in there, I grab the Estus Shard, and I get out. It's not that big of a deal. Especially if I have a plus 10 broadsword. Or even if it's only plus 9 before, I guess plus 8. If it's only plus eight still, it should even be fine. Cause it's not really like, I don't even really have to fight anything there. I just have to go in, grab the Estus Shard and get out. Like, what's the problem, dude? Angry. Angry. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Yeah, I don't know. Twice is too many, if you ask me. Appropriate sound. I'm gonna get rid of this boss checklist. So we do not need the Titanite chunk on the right side over there, because I already have a plus 10 broadsword. We don't need nothing. I don't need nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and get this fragrant branch. We're gonna go ahead and get the hell out of this little cave. Hey, dude, don't smack me on the hiney as I'm exiting. <sighs> Just get over it, man. It's alright. If I could have my personal best be one, that'd be pretty sick. It'd be pretty sick to have a personal best of one. I mean, it wouldn't be as sick as being able to say I accomplished a no-death run, but that's already out the window for today. Because I'm a bozo who has to die twice in the same way to learn a friggin' lesson, apparently. But, it's good. It's, uh, it's... Ouch. It's good, um... reinforcement of what not to do there. You know, I could very easily I could very easily see myself making that mistake. If I if I didn't die like that just then, I could see myself making that mistake sometime later in the future. And it would just sting. It would probably sting even more, honestly. But now that I've died twice that way in the same manner, like I know for sure don't do that. You're gonna die. There's like no hope. Even if my weapon's fully upgraded, there's like no hope. You just get so stuck in that tiny little... Tiny little tunnel filled with skeletons and necromancers and... Me hoi, me hoi, man. Oh. Still crushing, nevertheless. Still crushing, nevertheless. I have eight Estus Flasks upgraded to... Plus two. I thought I grabbed a bone dust. That is only the second bone dust, isn't it? So when did I come back and burn? Did I burn it just now? Did I not grab the bone dust out of the chest? I'm pretty sure I did. I think that's only the second bone dust. Let me let me, let me check. I get the bone dust from the wharf route, and I don't think we get any more bone dust until that one. What about shaded ruins? Bone dust, shaded ruins. Yeah, bone dust sh from shaded ruins. So what the hell happened to the bone dust from Huntsman's Copes? Dude, what is even happening? What is even happening? I'm falling apart, ladies and gentlemen. I'm falling apart. I should have. I should have a third bone dust. And I. Pretty damn sure I got the one in No Man's Wharf. Well, on the way to No Man's Wharf, more accurately. Why didn't I grab the one over here? I killed the dude. Did I just not open the chest and grab it? I remember I looted all the items on the floor. Did I loot all the items on the floor but not open the chest? I'm pretty sure the guy who's guarding stays dead. Yeah, I just didn't open the chest and get it. I'm big brained. I'm I'm real big brained today, to tell you the truth. Big miss, big miss. Man, I'm just full of whiffs. Grab the item, get the hell out of here. Blind bone dust is mine. Thanks for the slicing and dicing, dude. I appreciate it. Oh 
Okay, are they all over the roof of this? Oh yeah, they're all over the roof of that. Okay, we're probably just gonna homeward bone now because I wanna go spend that anyway. So let's get the hell out of here. All right, cool. If you hear a bunch of crazy noises, it's my coffee machine going. I gotta, I gotta stop thinking about that death. Oh, the shame. At least it wasn't Royal Rat Vanguard. What would I rather have my death, my first death of the playthrough be? Royal Rat Vanguard or dying that way? Like I said, it only stings as bad as it does because it's the second time I've died that way in one of these attempts. But it just reinforces that idea more. Don't go after the stupid necromancer. Just go grab your Estus Shard and get the hell out. But I knew that already. I knew that already. I just, I thought maybe I was like, oh, I saw, I saw that I killed the skeleton in one hit, and I was like, oh, oh cool. Let's go kill the necromancer. Dumb idea. What were you thinking, man? What were you thinking, man? All right, that's enough of that. Sorry, sorry if that was disturbing to you. <laughs> All right. Uh, what the hell is coming up next? Covetous demon. I'm gonna die to covetous demon next. That's how I feel right now. That's how I feel. What? I didn't pour any coffee? I heard it making a whole bunch of noise back here and I didn't pour anything. What the flip, chip? What the flip, kip? Eat all the freaking chips. Covetous demon coming up. Got the weapon fully upgraded to plus 10. Hey dude, you're kind of like blocking the whole bridge. It's really uh, super inconvenient and just... Kind of rude, honestly. This guy's gonna poison himself, breaking through the vase. Pause, if you want to be fancy. We just run around him. I like to hesitate to do so, otherwise you'll get covered in poison yourself. And no thank you. I don't want to do that. We do be booking it. Scoobert Dubert. All right. How you doing, Covetous Demon? How much damage per hit? That's a lot of damage! He's gonna flop. I'm gonna walk over here so I don't get flopped on. Hey, he still flopped on me with the tail? He's gonna flop big time now. Alright. Broke a poison vial. But I guess he doesn't get poisoned? I don't know. Interesting. Couple more of those. He ought to be dead. Boom. Down goes Covetous Demon. Hardest boss in the game. My adrenaline is pumping. Can't you tell? By the monotone nature of my voice. Yeah, if you'd use that soul, that'd be great. How many did he give you when you pop it? 6,000? Yeah, that's, that's appropriate. That's an appropriately shitty amount. I like my coffee machines are freaking loud today. That's the stuff. <clears throat> I had equipped the homeward bones, right? Yes. Yes. I don't like having three things equipped. My maximum that my brain can handle is like two. And even then, I still prefer to have just one. This can be a little scary right here. <sighs> Almost rolled off the edge. Let's get these guys out. Throwing the darts. Missed. I mean, I guess they're knives, not darts. Hey, not cool, dude. Watch where you're throwing things. Ow. Okay, we need to get up the- Oh, I'm poisoned too. You gotta be kidding me, dude. This is just a slop fest. This is just a slop fest today. Drink a couple of these, would ya? Nice. Alright, get up the effing stairs, man. What are you doing? Go, 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 go. They're l it's a ladder, not stairs. Ouch. Not cool, dude. Who threw that? Who throws a dagger? Honestly. Hey, Evil- Evil- Evil Dua? Is that your name? Is your name Evil Dua? Say greetings, greetings, and salutations. I'm poisoned again. I'm getting really sick of myself right now. I gotta say, man, I'm playing like absolute slop. This is not good. And I already died once. And the, the most upsetting part of that is I died in a way that I've died in the past. So it's like I died that way in the past, and apparently I didn't learn my lesson the first time. I had to die the same way a second time. Ugh. Yes, sir. Nice, nice. 
I like it. I like the name. Evil Dua. Alright, so we're going to light this bonfire, but we're not going to sit at the bonfire yet. We're going to light the torch. Torch is lit. It's fucking lit, man. Ignite the greasy pole. It's all, you know, they, they greased it up with oil. That's why it's flammable, right? 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 Please tell me I'm right. Okay. Um... So, before I head off to Mytha, we're going to go get myself a couple more flask shards. They're called Estus shards, not flask shards. Just, I wrote F shard a whole bunch. <laughs> I don't know why I wrote F shard. It's definitely E. E shard. So, we are going to go back to things betwixt, because, wait, how many? How am I doing on fragrant branches? I have two fragrant branches? Only, only two, and we're going to go do this? I don't know. I... I I don't think I have to use Fragrant Branches for the rest of the playthrough, do I? Whoops, I went back to Medulla. My bad. My bad. But yeah, we can get we can get an Estus Shard from Things Betwixt. I can get an Estus Shard from the route to No Man's Wharf. I'd actually like to go backwards from No Man's Wharf to get that Estus Shard. It's a little bit quicker. And we'll have more flasks. Not that I really need more flasks for Mytha and Freha, but I want to get these eventually, and I have the... I have the fragrant branches to use them, or to get them now anyway. So I might as well. Might, might as well. Dude, I swear, I, I should probably add a note to tell myself. Don't kill the necromancer, because that's what got me killed. And I've died that way, it wasn't the previous attempt, but I think it was the attempt before that. I died attempting to kill the necromancer on the way. He's like in this, he's like, he's like facing you as you pass by, but you can't get to him until you go past the boss fog that is Skeleton Lords. When you pass the Skeleton Lords boss fog, uh, you can make your way into this cave, and there's an Estus shard over there. And my dumbass has now died on two separate attempts. To the necromancer. It's not really the necromancer. It's more the skeleton. I go try to kill the necromancer so I can permanently kill the skeletons. And then you, you just you get trapped in this tiny little cave. And you got necromancer killing you. And skeletons killing you. And you can't move anywhere. You're just stuck. And I've died twice that way now. Not today. But I've died once that way today. And I've died once that way in a different attempt. Alright, let's get rid of these things. Or get petrified by them. Alright, this is where the Estus Shard is. That is a raw stone, which actually, we should probably go use that. Make my broadsword raw. That would be great. I'm going to kill this dude, and we're just going to homeward bone. Homeward bone. There it is. Cool, 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 cool beans. We're going to go get the Estus Shard over by No Man's Wharf. We'll get our weapon upgraded to raw so it does more damage because I like never upgrading I, I like never upgrade the scaling stats I got issues where am I going no man's wharf unseen path to hide that would be the one that would be the one gonna go there that's where we gonna go so my personal best is three so we're still on track to beat my personal best which would be an accomplishment for sure Man, I want this no death run so bad. And oh, we gotta pay out the gamba too. Choose a prediction. Nope, I died before I got the four Lord Souls collected. There's there's two people who voted that I would get no deaths before collecting the four Lord Souls. There's two people who said no, I will die before collecting the four Lord Souls. But the two people who voted yes, no deaths. 1,200 points gambled. The two people who gambled, no, you will die. 10. 10 points together. And they won it. They won it. They won it. That's just, that ain't even right. That even that ain't even right. We're going to start a new prediction. Submission period, 30 minutes. All right, it's going to be base game complete, only one death, question mark? 
Outcome, yes, only one death. Outcome, no. More than one death. All right, you got 30 minutes to submit your prediction. Yes, I will not die before completing base game, or no, I will die again before completing base game. I feel like I'm playing like trash today, man. I'm playing like trash today, but I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I just died in that one stupid way because I'm a big Dumbo doink. You guys stop smacking me so I can smack you. I'm going to go one-handed. Hey. You're not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to do that. Whoa, the way that guy's body spun. Can I do that again? That was sick. He spun so much when I smacked him. How did I do that? Can't make it repeat. Oy, 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 oy. Get out the way, yo. Get out the way, yo. Got Nestus Shard to grab. This kind of takes the wind out of your sails a little bit. I'm doing a no death run, and then you, and then you, and then you die. I used to, I used to um, delete the character. Back, in, back when I first started doing Dark Souls 1 no death runs, I wouldn't set personal bests. I would just delete the character as soon as I died. That's how I used to do them. Which is pretty, it's pretty intense doing it that way. Quite intense doing it that way. It really is. Okay, so... I believe, um, I don't think Leningrast can make it a raw broadsword, so we're gonna have to go to McDuff, even though he called me an imbecile, because he's a jerk, so we will, um, we will get our weapon raw, which will make it do more damage, because I have, like, no strength or dexterity, and I don't plan on getting any more, to tell you the truth. Infuse the weapon... Broadsword plus 10. Which one's raw? This one's raw. Goes from 240 damage to 276 damage. So we're getting 36 more damage per hit out of it. Not bad. That's a decent percentage increase. Alright, coming up next is Mytha, the Baneful Queen. Did I ever cross out Covetous Demon? I think I forgot to cross out Covetous Demon. Sure did. I mean, I could do it now, but... Honestly, I probably should have just waited until I killed... See, why does it say Freyha then Mytha? That's not right either. This is so jacked up. The boss list... The boss list that I have compared to the the route I actually take... I need, I need to correct this, because there is a lot of mistakes in here. And I'm not very happy about it, I must say. Okay, so we are going back to Earthen Peak, Central Earthen Peak. I'm going to go after Mytha. That's the plan. Man. Or maybe woman. Alright, that's enough of that boss list. Hello, Earthen Peak. How you doing? I'm running. I'm stepping on traps, but getting out of the way of them. Did it kill you? Hey, it killed one of them for me! Hell yeah. That's what I was hoping would happen. Most of the time, it does not happen. But it happened that time. Very nice, very nice. Just keep it running. Don't worry about any of these chumps. Maybe, well, that chump we're going to have to worry about, but he's going to follow me up here, and then we can worry about just that chump. Bonfire behind this wall. I hesitate... Oops, got myself poisoned. I hesitate to call it an illusionary wall, because there's nothing really illusionary about it in Dark Souls 2, but just like secret wall, I guess. I don't know what to call it. All right, rest up. Um, I have a ton of flask upgrade materials. We'll be okay. It's just Mytha. We'll, we'll upgrade them after her, because I want to do some leveling up after I kill Mytha, too. So we got to, like, bait and attack out of these guys in order to make it through the fog wall in time. We still might, might not make it, because I baited the attack really early. Nope, 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 we're good. Made it to Mytha. Hell yeah. She's screaming at me. The boss I'm at is giving me effing conniptions. I'm sorry to hear that. No, that's it. Arch Throne sounds tough as nails, man. It sounds tough as nails. The damage I'm dealing, holy moly, man. But I mean, we're we're early game all the way. So in no head. 
Yeah, no, no head on Mitha. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm glad you played that. I was hoping somebody would play that right now, and I'm, I'm glad you did. I appreciate that. Um, we're, we're base game all the way, all the way until the four Lord Souls are collected. We're base game. Sorry to the believers. Had to, had to pay out to the doubters. And the doubters were being pretty scummy with the, uh, with the low balling, the gamble amounts. So the, the doubters. First of all, they doubted me, jerks. Second of all, they barely put up any points whatsoever for the gamble. And they won 1,200 points. Apparently there's four bosses in the first archstone. I've found three, and you've killed one. Dang, boy. Dang. That's kind of cool that they have, uh... Um... It's not, it's not like Demon Souls in that sense, then. Where you have to kill one boss before you can get to the next one. You go on the one Arch Throne. And you have, like, several bosses that you can access. Here at Iron Keep, I believe Mythos gives us. Oh, she give me a bustle? Isn't this like? Do I get? Mm, she's only, it's only giving me like twelve thousand, isn't it? How much do I get for this? Ten thousand. Ah, okay. I was gonna say eight thousand, but eight thousand didn't sound enough, so I said twelve thousand, and it turned out to be right between those two at ten thousand. I have a lot of flask upgrades, and I can level up as well. So we're gonna go back to Mahula. Yep, it's a, it's a shard I found, all right, lady. Upgrade the Estus Flask, do the little animation. Amazing. All right, upgrade the Estus Flask, do the little animation. Once again, absolutely amazing. Okay, and now I can burn a bone dust. Yes. Got the flask upgraded to plus three, hell yeah. Plus five is the maximum, so we only got two more bone dusts to go speak with you again. Probably should have done this the first time instead of speaking with you over and over again like this, but whatever. I don't know what I'm doing with these levels anymore, man. I'm just dumping them into HP and Endurance. I'll probably get Vigor up to 50, and then it's just going to be like Endurance from there. Oh, we need to get Adaptability up to 48 eventually, actually. But, um, that's... We got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. Okie dokie, Freyha's coming up next, so that means we need to make our way to Brightstone Cove Seldora. Yep, Chapel Threshold, that would be the one. I have to pee real bad, so I will be right back, because I have to pee real bad. Excuse me while I slurp down some coffee. That's just stuff. Okay. My vitality has been restored by the coffee. Binks is coming to take play, make a visit. Binksy boy. Binks boy. It's Kitty. This kitty. Hello, kitty. Show your face to the world. You're so cute. Look at how cute this void boy is. Look at how cute this void boy is. He's one adorable little guy. 
He's one adorable little guy, he is. Alright, Mitha. We're not taking a torch with us because, I, I don't know, I've got issues and I'm like, the torch is cheese! I call everything cheese, so... We're not using the torch, because I have issues. It's just how I like to do, you know, keep, keep people on their toes for the... Failed no death run. So I died. Died to the. Died to the friggin' skeleton cave! Oh, 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 dude, why? Why, man? Why did I do that? There's a kitty. There's a nice kitty right there. He's an awfully handsome boy. He's an awfully handsome boy, oh. Okay. Nothing like, nothing like some nook's cranny to listen to. I'm getting invaded by Forlorn right now. Oh, this is great timing. This is great timing. Thank you, Forlorn, for showing up right friggin' now. Um, we don't necessarily have to fight him, but I, I don't know. This might be pretty hairy, scary territory. He's a great sword, Forlorn. I'm good. I'm better against the Forlorn great swords than I am against the uh, Scythe Forlorns. So this shouldn't be an issue. We'll just kill him, I guess. I am getting petrified. That's a lot of spiders. Okay, we're just gonna bail. Ouchie mama. Listen to the goddamn DK Isle. Little bit peaceful for the action that's happening. Okay, Forlorn's on his way. I don't know if Not So Friendly Neighborhood Spider Man is gonna notice an exit or not. Yeah, see, he didn't even notice. You have to, like, get closer, and then he notices, and then he exits. Getting slapped up by spider after spider right now. That was not good. Hey, okay, we're making a nice wide turn all the way back to the ladder. Nice. Up another life gem. I probably don't need the whole 10 Estus for the boss, but you never know. I'm taking fall damage like a real pro. Let's drop right here. Boom. Drop again right here. Boom. Up again right here. Boom. Let's run. Left side of the fog wall I like better. And it is Duke's Dear Freyha time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Nice. One-handed one -handed broadsword swing. Kills the spiders. Unless they're stacked up like that. They take reduced damage for some reason. Something about sweet spots, probably. I think the tip of the broadsword does less damage than the broad part of the broadsword. Slice. Dice. Don't get stepped on. That was close. Really close to me getting stepped on. Get over here, little baby spiders. Come on. Dang it. Did not mean to bonk Freyha's leg. I was trying to kill the freaking baby spider. Take it down. Alright, down they go. Me and Freyha herself. Slicing. Dicing. Slicing. Dodging late. That's what it's all about. I'm just going to stay nice and topped up. Definitely didn't need all the flasks. Waste of my life gems, but whatever. I don't really care that much about the life gems, to tell you the truth. It was just before I entered the room. I wasted the life gems a little bit on my way in. But I've still got plenty. I've got 18 of them, for fuck's sake. Not to mention better life gems than that. I still have. Trying to step on me. She just lose her head? She just lost her head. Hell yeah, we can play some soccer after the boss fight. I'm excited about that. I love playing. I love playing some soccer with Freyha's head. Always a good time. Always a good time. She's just spewing all over the place, man. Ow! Goodness gracious. Watch where you're stepping, huh? Stepped right on my toes. Stepped right on my torso. Oops, dear Freyha goes down. We have to make sure we interact with the weird little thing that appears, like, right here, doesn't it? Boom. Great soul embraced. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Freyha is down. Easy. Easy game. Except for the fact that I died once already like a noob. But that's because I made a silly billy mistake. I made one silly billy mistake. Got myself trapped and killed. That's all it takes. It's a silly billy mistake to get trapped. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Culey. Culey. Talking over from YouTube. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Come on, come on. I'm really, I'm really struggling to play some Freyha soccer here. Dang it. Well, that's looking good. That's looking good. Come on, bank shot, bank it in. Goal! Hell yeah, man. I'm gonna fly around with airplane arms. 
How do I do airplane arms in this game and still run? Yo, Duke. I brought your dear Freyha to ya. It's a good thing you've lost your mind, so you don't even know what the hell's going on anymore. Alright, take him down and get a fragrant branch that I'm probably never gonna use. I'm not gonna use any of that stuff, but maybe I'll use the fragrant branch. I don't think so, though. I'm pretty sure I'm done with fragrant branches for the playthrough. Alright, we've made it to the second primordial bonfire of the playthrough. It's a shame. I can't believe I got myself killed, but whatever. It is what it is. Still on track to beat the personal best, despite the fact that it's another failed no death run. My personal best is three. So to have one death, well, we could potentially we could potentially set our personal best as one death today, which would be pretty sick. That'd be pretty sick if I could do that. I would be very happy with myself. I mean, I'd be upset that I died, but whatever. While I'm thinking about it, give me a second here. Skeleton Lords, okay. Eshard Copes. Run for Shard. Get out. I'm actually going to change that note. I'm just going to make it say, Don't kill Necromancer. Mm. Uh, necromancer equals death. I like that better. I like that better. Because that's what caused my death. And it's the second time I've died during one of these no death run attempts because I was over in Huntsman's Copes and I wanted to kill the I wanted to kill the necromancer that keeps the skeleton alive and you, just, you gotta go in this skinny little cave to kill the necromancer and then the skeletons follow you and they trap you in the skinny little cave and and that was that I was dead very upsetting very upsetting but it should never happen again it should never happen again all right so I believe I get 25,000 souls from the soul of the Duke's dear Freyha hell yeah 25 G's we're gonna spend some souls before we go jumping in that hole. I don't have any flask upgrades. I didn't think so, I was just checking. Do some leveling. Yeah, 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 lady, whatever you say. Is my HP at 50 yet? Get the HP to 50? Ah, oh, not quite making it. Once the eight once the once the Vigor gets to level 50, we're gonna start dumping it into ADP again until adaptability hits 48. At that point, we'll have 14 iframes per dodge roll. All right, I'm wearing that silver cat ring. I'm not wearing that silver cat ring. Okay, slap on that silver bad boy, and let's be precarious with our steps. Oh! Can I not sit at the bonfire? I should have ten Estus, shouldn't I? I, don't, I guess I just didn't sit at the bonfire. It's, it's okay. There are those lock stones I'm probably, like, never going to use, but... Whatever. This is where I'm trying to go, right? Yeah, that's where I'm trying to go. Hey! Cool, 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 cool. More poison moss. I think I have like nine of those now. I have exactly nine poison moss, yes. Cool. Got here safely. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Grave of Saints. Uh, yeah, we'll replenish here. I don't know. Won't really junk up our screen that much anyway unless we click grave of saints then we'll just be two it's all right it's all right worrying about junking up the teleport screen is a stupid thing to worry about anyway i just i don't know i like to keep it with as few bonfires as possible oh my god the boss you just found if you find this boss tomorrow you're gonna lose it what is it a souped up version of champion gun deer <laughs> what other boss do i hate osiris i don't know Roy the Explorer is here. He is not naked or anything. He's just got invisible weapons. We're not going to deal with him. You want me to tell you? Nah, 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 nah. Don't tell me. I'll, I'll discover all the I'll discover all the pain on my own. Okay. I have died against this boss before. Believe it or not. But that was because I didn't know the difference between curse and petrify. So I thought these rats dealt curse. These rats deal petrify. Which is way higher of risk of death than Curse. Curse doesn't kill you in Dark Souls 2. Petrify kills you in Dark Souls 2. So I didn't know that until I got petrified by these friggin' rats. Because I thought it was Curse that was building up, but it was Petrify. 
But see, like, that happens? That's scary. That, that freaks me out when that type of stuff occurs. Waiting for Big Boy to show up. Dude. I'm gonna let this petrified die down. It just, it takes so long to go down. That's really what this boss is about. It's not really about risk of getting killed by rat bites. It's risk of getting killed by petrification. Hey, they're kind of trapping me. It's a little scary. Alright, main one's showing up. He usually plops down over here. There he is. Whale on him. 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 That's it for the fight. Hell yeah. So as long as you make sure to manage your petrification, that boss ain't nothing. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. Sorry. It's it's from, uh... <laughs> it's from Dracula Flow. Dracula Flow is, like, pretty old video and really, really stupid. But... I was watching some other streamer react to it. I was watching Tired Boy. Spelled like Turd Boy, but with a Y instead of a U. But it's supposed to be Tired Boy. Uh, uh, he was he was he was reacting to it while he was he was waiting for I think Bloodborne to download because he finished he finished like I think oh, what did he play before Bloodborne I I can't remember. Maybe it was Demon Souls. I think he beat Demon Souls and then he was moving on to Bloodborne. <laughs> This shit ain't nothing to me, man. Okay, so... The one with the explody boys... I don't remember which side is which. I think on the right has the, uh... Bone dust. No, that's the explody boys. Bad call on my part. Alright, moving around over here. Listen to Stardew Valley music. Got explody boys on the way. That guy's doing a really good job guarding this chest. Explody boy trying to get me. Damn, I thought I'd get iframes just in time to not get exploded. But no, he's exploded all over me. That's a damn shame. This dude now being an issue. He dies in three swings. Tough, tough, tough. Still early game, though. We're still early game for a while. Some more sublime bone dust. Cool, 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 cool. I crossed out the bosses that I killed recently, right? Oh, Royal Rat Vanguard. It just, it's over so quick and it hardly feels like a boss fight so i kind of forgot i kind of forgot to cross out royal rat vanguard but royal rat vanguard has been killed and we're off to the rotten i've got the bone dust so we're just gonna head straight to the rotten i think i might kill an invader or two i might kill both invaders am i right um bonfire before Rotten, kill both invaders. It's a really long note. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna. I'm gonna write kill invaders, not both invaders. Now I know. I know about Woodland Child Gully and Woodland Child Victor. So I don't really need to write both. I'll see that it's plural, and I know the invaders I'm talking about anyway. So it doesn't have to be super duper detailed. All right, got more splody boys. He went kaboom. This other dude also went kaboom. And I've still got that silver cat ring on, so we can just plop. We can just plop. We can just plop. And we're fine, because the silver cat ring is amazing. I was wearing this ring of steel protection. Put that bad boy back on. I'm dark. Oh, how did I forget about the gutter? <laughs> I completely forgot about the gutter. I was like, yeah, we're going to go through here. We're going to be down in, uh, we're going to be down in Black Gulch. Are you fucking kidding me? We're just going to Homeward Bone. Not happy at all that I fell down that. Leave me alone, dude. I'm trying to Homeward Bone out of here. Thank you. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do that again. We're going to do that again. Cause I don't, I don't want to be down in that pit. We're gonna slap that silver cat ring back on before I forget about it. All right, I got the bone dust. Yeah, there's really, there's really nothing for me in the gutter that I can think of. There is an Estus shard there in the gutter, but I could not tell you where it is, so I never get it. I don't know where it is, and the gutter is. Pretty dang confusing. I always struggle to know anything extra when I'm in the gutter. 
I just know the route that I need to take. And I don't really know that much else, to be honest with you. Okay. Everything's fine. Take the left. It's completely opposite from what I remember. Wait, is this the wrong way? God damn it. Yeah, it was the right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is there still a splody guy alive? They all... Oh, they, they respawn. For some reason, I thought these guys didn't respawn. But they do indeed respawn. Okay. I guess I was mixing it up with the fact that they, you know, attack and they, they despawn themselves just by attacking once. Alright, now I can do this fun stuff again. Bizarre. Bizarre. It's always a scary fall. It just seems longer than it should be. It's like, you sure you're going to survive that dude? And then I, I survive it because I got that silver cat ring on. Okay. Let's try this again. This time we'll make sure we don't fall in that damn hole. Ouch. Thanks for the poison buildup. I appreciate it. Alright, dang hole is even more obvious this time because I already fell through it once. Cool, 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 cool beans. I have bone dust. Um, how many souls do I have? <laughs> how many butts did she have? I think we'll just proceed. I don't really have that many souls and one bone dust. Like, I'll, I'll be okay waiting for the rotten to be dead before I uh, pop that bone dust. So we'll just continue on. It's like darker in here than I remember, man. It's friggin' dark. Drop your torch. I said drop the torch. Hell yeah. Torch. I definitely don't need more torches. I'm doing plenty fine on the torches. Don't cut the corner too sharp. I'll fall to my death. Worry about that dog. Worry, worry, worry. But we're good. Dog can't climb ladders. So we're good now. Cool, 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 cool. And we're booking it through. We're listening to Animal Crossing music while we're in the gutter. Totally fitting track. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get away from me, freak. Okay, that was scary. But we're fine. Things, ouch. Things can get scary again over here by this fog wall. We gotta move quick. We gotta move quick, because there's dudes after me. I don't really know where they come from, but they can they can make things scary there. Um, okay, well, I'm poisoned, so we'll go to the bonfire then. I was about to say, I think I'm just gonna skip the bonfire, but then I got poisoned, so frigate, man. We're going to the bonfire. So I don't want to deal with this poison. Also, it'll de-aggro some enemies out, out, off of me, I believe. It's a good thing, always. Alright, Bonfire Liddy, Bonfire City, hopping off Itty, and we shall continue. Could you stop hitting me in the face with that poison? I'm getting real sick of it, I gotta say. Slide down under. What's that guy doing laying there? Oh, he's getting up. That's what he's doing. I'm bonking the thing that you can light on fire. Okay, still wearing that silver cat ring. Sure am. Ooh. Okay, wait, no, just drop down. Ooh, that guy. Get the hell away. Silver cat ring for the dub. Um. Okay. There's stacking up in numbers on me here. Let's take all the stuff off. Alright, all the stuff has been taken off. We can roll through the acid pots with no repercussions when I'm not wearing any gear. Fragrant wretch, you're acquired. I think we're getting followed. So I'm going to keep on booking it. There's really nothing between me and the next bonfire. We should be fine to put my stuff back on. Like, I just walked off the edge, I'm pretty sure. Yep, I got souls for it. 130 of them. Saldora's set. Make your return, please. Okay. And I got this raw broadsword. Kicking ass. Ranthi ring. Ring of steel protection. Ring of blades. Silver serpent ring plus one. Boom, bada, boom. Bidness. Okay. Um, I don't really need this bonfire on the left. Probably just go without it. Honestly, I don't know why I'm breaking these. Just book it, jump. Uh, you know what? I want this bonfire because I'll come back here later. I'll come back here later for Grandall, and I want this bonfire for Grandall. So we'll get this bonfire for Grandall later. I'm not gonna be doing Grandall right now. We'll do that later. Um, but that's why that's why I want to kill the two. I want to kill the two invaders right now. Fucking forlorn shows up instead. You would, Forlorn, you would. Thanks for that. Could you get out of my way, you giant worm? Okay, it's just another uh, great sword, Forlorn, though. We could send him home by just going in here. I should get a decent amount of souls. Whoa, whoa, oh, there's more enemies than just him. Okay, shit, shit, shit. Um, 
Okay, I'm kind of in a bad spot here. And I'm poisoned. We're gonna go into the fog wall. Fuck this. Fuck this. We're going in the fog wall. Should have just done it. I forgot about the extra enemies. If it would have been just me and Forlorn, I would have been like, I right, let's do this. Fucker. It's quick. This is bad. This is like actually really, really fucking bad. Do you stop with that shit, please? Heal before Forlorn comes smack the shit out of me. Ouch. Okay, cool. He's a quick bastard, man. I can only hope he gets hit by one of these statues, maybe. Come on, second tries the Woo! I thought that thing was gonna stop me this time. I was about to be pissed. That was an inconvenient time for any invader, and there would have been an invader, even even if it wasn't forlorn, there would have been somebody else. Yeesh, dude, yeesh. That was too close to being a second death right there, I gotta say. Only got five flasks for the rotten, but we have a plus ten broadsword. We'll be okay. Also, I have 18 life gems, not to mention even more life gems if I open up my inventory. And this boss is slow enough that I could walk away and open up my inventory and equip new stuff if I needed to. Slice. Nice. Heck. The power of 13 iframes. He's hacking, he's... Oh, he's gonna explode. Get away from that. It's kind of a rare one, I feel like. You don't see that that much. There's a lot of bosses in this game with rare AoE attacks like that. I think the one that... Okay. I think the one that's the rarest is, um... How much damage is this gonna do? I'm kind of scared. Oh, that's it? Okay. I'm not scared anymore. Um, Throne Watcher. Throne Watcher has an AoE attack that she does. Boom, his hand fell off. Whoa, whoa, it drops an item? What? Pharaoh's Lockstone. I got a Pharaoh's Lockstone for chopping off his arm. I ain't never seen that before. We got 70,000 souls for that? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. What do these guys drop? Large Titanite Shards? Not worth it. Rest in peace, Chonkers. Down he goes. Now, um, I, I want both the invaders dead here. Because I'll be returning here later. And I don't want to deal with invaders when I'm here later. This is kind of a precarious spot to be. This guy takes ages to come to life. Come on, dude. Animate already. Alright, he's dead, so we can get in here safely. Alright, so if I rest at the bonfire, we should get invaded again. There'll be two invaders here. There's Woodland Child Goli, who shows up first, and then Woodland Child Victor will show up again. We have so many Pharaoh's Lockstones. My goodness, how many do I have? I have five. I plan on using, like, one, and that's just to fight Belfry Gargoyles. That's the only Pharaoh's Lockstone I use, is the one to fight Belfry Gargoyles. So we should... Yeah, there's an invader on the way. See how the fog wall's back? Fog wall's back because we have Woodland Child Goli here. Yup, 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 yup. Destroyed most of the pillars. So we can have a nice fight with him without the pillars spewing all over the place, all obnoxious. You missed, chump. I was gonna backstab him, but I guess not. Poisier than I was expecting. He almost backstabbed me, I feel like. Okay, I actually got hit by that. Backstabbed him, though. While he's down, I'll just chug safely. Hit him with some heavies. And down he goes. Okay. So now we have, we have an identical fight coming up after that. Woodland Child Victor will invade in this same location, and he has the exact same setup. I don't know if his stats are the same, but it, his equipment, at least, he has the exact same equipment as Goalie. So we're just going to have another rematch, essentially, against a guy who's exactly the same as that. So I'll return to the bonfire. We'll rest. Because the area did not reload, everything's still broken. That's why I was breaking statues. The statues stay broken as long as you don't leave the area... As long as you don't die. What the heck was that? Oh, one of them is intact on the ground. Alright, and there's Woodland Child Victor. Victor. Bring it on. Bring it on, Victor. What you got? What you got? Big Whiffer. Get him with a backstab. Decent damage. He's getting up. I got heavy attacks for him. Ooh, roll, rolled it out. Nice job missing, punk. Smacking him up now. Okay. Okay. Do a little bit more of that. He's standing still. I'm going to try a heavy leap. But he backed up. Uh, nice nice play with the backup like that. He got me. Alright. Woodland Child. Victor goes down. 
Not many extra souls, but a few extra souls, and um, now I don't have to deal with those guys. When I come back for Grandall, I don't have to deal with those guys now. That's why I wanted to do that now, because we're not we're not done with Black Gulch. There's the Forgotten Key that I still need to acquire, and I need to I need to speak with Grandall here. So the battle music's still playing. I thought we were on peaceful. Okay, there's been so much Animal Crossing music popping up today. I just want to listen to something else. Um. But yeah, Grandall, I think this is the first location I speak to him in. No, it's the third. This is the third location I speak to him in. Yes. We have a lot of freaking souls. And I think I have a bone dust. I'm pretty sure I have a bone dust. So we can have our flasks upgraded to plus four. And we can do some more leveling. Even though the leveling is going to be pointless for a while. I don't think I have an Estus flash or do I? No, I didn't think so. Thought I'd check, but no, I don't, I don't have that. We're going to start dumping it into ADP for 16 more levels. I want to get agility to 111. So, we're going to get my agility all the way up to 111. I'm going to have 14 iframes per dodge roll. That's a lot of freaking frames, man. That's a lot of freaking... To get my adaptability almost to 50. But it's worth it. It's worth it basically just for frigid outskirts honestly i don't really need it anywhere else but frigid outskirts i i love having them 14 frames all right so um i killed the rotten i think i forgot to cross it out my bad i got this boss checklist and i'm like god awful at using it but the rotten has gone down smelter demon comes next we're heading off to iron keep things can get a little scary in iron keep mostly there's this jump that i make i don't fight my way all the way through smelter or through uh iron keep I do this jump, and the jump is the scary part. And I, I kill like four, maybe five enemies if I'm unlucky. And then we're at the fog wall. But the scary part is the jump. The four, maybe five enemies ain't got nothing compared to the uh, the the puckering that that iron keep jump gives me. I guess I kill I kill the first Alon knight, so I guess I kill five. Every, I kill five. If I'm unlucky, I kill six enemies on the way. And I always forget to count. I always forget to count this first dude. I'm scared of this jump, though. I'm always scared of this jump. It's almost tempting to, like, fight more guys off than I do so I can have more time setting up the jump. Because one of the things that's scary about doing this jump for me is that I have to do it quick. I got guys on my ass because I run past them like a crazy person. So... I gotta be quick with that jump, and so far, I've always made it, so I haven't stopped doing this method, because I always make the jump. But this guy is, like, hot on my ass, and he's not the only one, there's another dude around here. Hey, my stamina is too low, come on, run, jackass. <sighs> Ooh, scary every time, dude, scary every time, but we made it, we made it no sweat. I mean, a little bit of sweat, a little bit of sweat. We made it no death, is more like what I meant to say. You can't stab me, fool. Hey, I'm here to stab you. Why am I missing? God damn it. God damn it. Would you leave me alone? Oh, what the fuck is going on? Bro. That was way too close for comfort. That was not supposed to play out like that. But we're fine. That's what happens when you miss your attacks. How did that not hit him? Thank you, Dark Souls 2, for that one. He'll be dead with a backstab, though. Alon Captain's dead. Alright, we're gonna proceed forward. Alon Captain drawing his bow. Me and this Alon Knight stabbing each other. He's still alive. I cannot seem to catch a break today. I'm just getting shot by everything. Drawing the bow again, so we're just gonna go ahead and enter the fog wall right out the gates. Oh, fucking A, I got shot. You've got to be kidding me. I got shot by the archer in the distance. That, like, never happens. Running all the way over here was kind of unnecessary. But I got a little freaked out. What can I say? <laughs> I suck today, dude. This is bad. No way I'm going to get through the rest of this game with just one death. Playing like this? Playing like this? I think I'm going to get through the rest of this game with one death? Yeah, right, dude. Yeah, right. What's up, Smelter? Good to see ya. Smack. 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 Hack. Slash. Whack. 
Hey, he's self-buffing. I believe he explodes as well. Oh, or not. He just he takes reduced damage. It's not really worth hitting him. Swanging. Swanging. Okay. Smacking him. Smacking him. Get out of there. He might swing again, so just roll again, even though it was kind of unnecessary. Pretty sure he would have missed. But I don't I don't trust Smelter Demon hitboxes, to tell you the truth. This boss has got some pretty bad hitboxes. I'll defend Dark Souls 2 all day long, but I won't I won't deny that there are some bosses with some janky hitboxes, and Smelter Demon's, I think, the worst offender. It's burning, he's burning, he's burning for me. Hey, big swang and a miss. Get some nice damage there. This is the one that's got the jankiest hitbox. He can get you from so far away with that downward stab. It's not right. It's not right at all. Here he is with that attack again. I hate that attack. He might explode. He's exploding. Boom. Get in there. Hack him. Whack him. Slash him. Scary bad hitbox attack. He's going to go kaboom again. And we're not going to be able to finish the fight here. Maybe. If I would have hit him one more time, but I was too much of a pansy. Okay, we can go finish the fight now, though. Boom! Smelter Demon goes down. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Scarier getting there than fighting him. That's for sure. Definitely scarier getting there than fighting him. Same kind of goes for this upcoming boss, but honestly, I'm less scared of the second half. The second, the second half coming up, the second half of uh, Iron Keep here freaks me out less than the first half. So we should be fine. Probably would be wise to go level up, but I don't know. I'm always one impatient bastard who doesn't do things in a wise way. I do things in an impatient way. Hacked and whacked. Probably an unnecessary flask chug, but whatever. Keep it topped up. This guy's trying to break the floor, but as long as we move nice and quick, it doesn't matter. And if he does break the floor, we can just jump it. But I prefer to come pull this lever without having Big Man here to stop me. Okay, lever pulled. Floor lowered. I ran through the flames, but I didn't get burned. Okay, whatever you say, I'll take it. Dark Souls 2 error in your favor. Hey, don't shoot me in the ass as I'm climbing up a ladder. That is highly rude. Why would you do that? So, it's always in my mind to run past these Elan Knights instead of fighting them, but that's just the NG Plus player in me. I feel like it's way easier to run past these guys than to fight them in NG Plus, but when we're on the first playthrough, like we currently are, easier to just murder them, climb up the ladder. There's an invader who shows up there if you hang around too long. But I didn't hang around very long at all. We just booked it right on up the, right on up the ladder. It's a little scary right here as well. We just gotta make sure we go nice and quick. So we don't get shot, and if we do get shot, I want to be like against the wall like this, so I don't get launched off the edge. We're doing, we're in, we're in good hands. We're in good hands. Cool. Okay. Made it through that section, no problem. Got a drop down here. No problem. Another drop down, but that's even less of a problem. Here's this dude, but he barely even reacted to me being here. Murdered him. I don't think I have to go murder that second guy. I just want to see. If I drop down here, I'm pretty sure he doesn't do anything. His trigger is earlier up the staircase, not further down. Yeah, all right. Got to take out one of these chumps. Just got to dodge him well. I've got 13 iframes. So it's not that hard. And I've got practice, which is the world of the difference. All right, down goes that punk. Pull this thing. There's another one of those punks, just like the one we killed. He's going to be around the corner here. Stamina back, please. Cool. Down he goes. Four swings. Raw broadsword plus 10, boys and girls. Through the fire and the flames, we carry on. Probably chill out with the intense music for a moment. This is the one that's all... Oh, 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 this is like the... I'm gonna skip that track too. It was the Dark Souls 2... Um, credits music? I don't really feel like listening to the Dark Souls 2 credits music right now. Give me some of that vitality juice, aka coffee. I don't really need this bonfire right now, but I'll get it anyway. Get my flasks regained. But we're going to want this bonfire later when I'm coming back here to um, to go to the old Iron King DLC. Am I wearing that silver cat ring? Slap that bad boy on real quick. 
I think you just sprint. Yeah. <laughs> don't ask me why I don't just take the ladder. The ladder's literally like right there, and I'm like, what if I just didn't take the ladder for style points? Do it for do it for style points. I've got issues. I don't know how many times I have to say that, but I say it a lot because it's true. Jalm? Shouldn't have taken that silver cat ring off so soon. Look at that fall damage I took. It's unacceptable. Let's drink another flask. We got eight more where that came from. That'll be fine. Save the life gems that I'm never going to use. All right, old Iron King. Thought you would take damage from dropping on the statue. I was wearing the silver cat ring, so I don't take. I don't take. I take significantly less fall damage. It's actually tougher if you bring old Iron King over to this side, like I just did. But I just, I just like doing it. I don't know. Again, I guess for style points or something stupid. I find it tougher though, it, compared to compared to where he usually goes. If you hang out in like the you know wider part of the boss fight, but it's old Iron King. I'm really not that concerned to tell you the truth. I'm getting hit by his dang AOE, the aftershock of his swings keep getting me. Hey, he's breathing fire. I can hit him in the pinky. Aha, sucka. Got 13 iframes, we're all right on through it. I'm just gonna be a filthy safer and probably get karate chopped for doing so. Nope, is he gonna swing again? Oh yeah, he's swinging again. That should be it. Hit him in the weenus with this sharp object. Okay, he's doing a big ol' swing. Following up with a big ol' slam. Right in the forearm. How do you like that? Bring it to me. Sock it to me, baby. He's probably not done. Oh, he, that's it, just one punch. Usually he combos. Well, Old Iron King goes down. Tough, tough, tough boss fight. Great soul embraced. I feel like I haven't been interacting with these primordial bonfires. I have! Good! Aldia's here. Thank goodness. I'd be upset if I had to backtrack to them all and make sure, like, which one did I miss? But Aldia's here. Good, 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 good. What's up, Aldia? Nobody can understand what you're saying unless you have subtitles on, but I've got the dialogue muted so we can only understand you because I have subtitles on even more so true this time around. All right, cool, 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 cool. Drang Lake Castle time it is. So, gonna homeward bone. And take me back up to the bonfire. We're just gonna leave here though. We're gonna head back up to, we're gonna head back out to Majula. Um, this is not how I, I just I just want to level up a bit, so that's why we're going to Majula do some do some leveling. I don't think I have any Estus upgrade materials, right? Nothing, nothing. Cool beans. Well, not cool beans, but fine by me. Twenty-five thousand more souls. We got hundred and seventy thousand souls to spend. We'll be able to get that ADP to forty-eight. I'm pretty sure. Hell yeah, we still got some souls to spend. Get the HP all the way to 50, because I like it at 50. And at this point, we're just going to dump it in stamina. I'm just going to be leveling up endurance for the rest of the playthrough now. Call me crazy, because I might be. Uh, let's see. Oh, these are the rings I want to be wearing. Yes. Yes! What am I doing? We are going to Ruined Fork Road. Ruined... Shaded Ruins. Ruined Fork Road. Not Shaded Ruins. Ruined Fork Road. Okay. And we're off to Drang Lake Castle. Cool, 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 cool. It's the left path? Yeah, it's the left path. How you doing, dude? Nice, nice, uh, nice to see you, too. Trying to murder me like that. What a jerk. What did I do to him? Same with that guy. Why do they got it out for me? Two bosses down, two to go in the first area. Hell yeah, Midwest lifts. Making through it, making it through, making it through. Getting through it. Killing it, killing it. Killing bosses quite literally. Gonna have to hang out here and wait while the door opens. Getting chased by a falconer. How tough are these guys? Oh, that's it? Okay. In my mind, they're tough enemies. It was not, it was not a tough enemy. Slap those suckers down. I don't have... I don't want to go to a lamb loist until much later in the playthrough, and also, uh, I don't have the frozen flower yet, so we definitely ain't going to a lamb loist right now. Hey, man! Hey, man! Watch where you're swinging that thing! Crazy how this mod made you want to play Dark Souls again after years. It really feels like a new Souls game. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. No, I'm excited to check it out. 
like I said, I don't know. I don't know if I'll have time tomorrow. I might. I don't know how long helping my brother move into his new house is going to take. I would like to stream Arch Thrones starting tomorrow. Um, but, like, you know, like I keep saying, my brother, my brother's moving into a new house tomorrow and I'm helping him. So I might get caught up doing that for long and then I don't know if I'll have time to stream. But if I have time to stream, I'll probably play it. And then if I don't play it tomorrow, I'll play it the day after tomorrow. Say the move set sets are familiar but still all new areas and layouts is sick yeah from the trailer i watched it looked like i don't know i saw i saw some elden ring move sets which was interesting to see in a dark souls 3 mod but i guess it makes sense all right um i'm not feeling the animal crossing music while it's this intense i was gonna say but then this music's okay so i i don't i don't know man i just wasn't i wasn't feeling the minecraft music for that moment for some reason Alright, those two punks go down, or one punk went down, the other two punks showed up. That guy's weak, and he's got the sword out, but he'll probably switch back to his crossbow, yeah. Son of a bitch. I don't want to get too close to him, it's going to make the... What are they called? There's a name for them. The knights. The knights in the gold armor. Why can't I remember it? Oh, it's Cyan with an S. I don't want the Cyan Knight coming to life, so we're just not even gonna- we're not even gonna bother with that guy, because he's right next to the Cyan Knight that comes to life. Doors should open. These dudes keep spawning. I think they keep spawning until the door actually opens. It takes its dandy time, though. Hey, he moved away. Nice, we can murder this guy then, instead of dodging his arrows over and over again. I guess they're technically bolts, not arrows. Cool, 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 cool. I don't think there's anybody chasing me. I don't have any souls to buy them now, but I'm going to get through all this guy's dialogue so I don't have to do it later. Because later on, I would like to buy repair powder off of this dude. So we're just going to go ahead and go through all this dialogue, because this guy has a lot of dialogue. So it's annoying when you have enemies in the area, because they're following you up here, and this guy talks and talks and talks. He doesn't stop running his friggin' yap. So... We exhaust all this dialogue. I think that's what they're adjusting in terms of movesets. The Sekiro movesets are way too fast for Dark Souls 3. They got Sekiro stuff in there as well? That's wild. I didn't know that. That's really wild. Okay, guard break them. Critical them. Forlorn? Forlorn's been... It's, it's been a Forlorn heavy playthrough today. I gotta say, man. I don't usually see Forlorn this much. It's Forlorn with a scythe. The scythe ones freak me out a little bit. Let's get him out of this room before another Cyan Knight comes to life. Okay. Onet? Not while I'm fighting this dude. This guy scares me, actually. It should be fine, but he can get you in a combo, and you're just, like, stunlocked by the combo, and it's some scary stuff. Well, I got him stunlocked as well, so it's just a, it's a battle of who stunlocks who. I mean, I should be fine. Even if I do get caught up in the combo, I have enough HP, and I'm wearing that ring that increases my physical damage resistances, the steel plate ring. So I should be okay, even if he does get me. You missed, fool. Ooh, that backstep, though. You see him backstep my attack? He he iframed my attack by backstepping it. That's some pro stuff right there. Good on you, Forlorn. Why is he 360 in like this? That's right, you better run, punk. Okay, he's like one hit away from death. Boom, there it goes. Alright, Forlorn wasn't too much of an issue. Ones with the scythes freak me out, though. They just do. Roll through the door. <sighs> Feels good every time. I love doing that. I love doing that. Alright, well, that's enough of the attack music. Sublime bone dist. We're not going to run through this room. We're going to go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Because um, there's a bunch of cyan knights that'll come to life, and I don't feel like fighting a bunch of them. I can just fight this dude. And he is... <laughs> How did that hit me? Whatever. I guess he kind of did like a spin around his back type feel. Oh, he's still alive? Whatever. Let's just go through the door. Roll! I love doing that. I love doing that. It makes me, makes me smile on the inside every time. When you're smiling on the inside, it's hard not to smile on the outside. My broadsword's decently worn down. It's like more than halfway worn out. No bueno. Bonfire lit. This guy here to stop me from sitting at it. A couple of swings and he's dead though. Bonfire sit. Don't mind if I do. Okay. 
continue on into this room. The ones that come to life are slightly different color than the ones that don't come to life. They're like a little bit lighter in color. Slash that dude. There's another one I should bring back to life. Yep, that guy with the shield. Come a little closer. Here come the hyenas now. Three bosses down, let's go! Damn, Justin, you got Claymore and now you're tearing it apart. Okay, that guy like didn't react at all when I hit him with the guard break. I thought he would stun or something, but he just didn't even react. Cool, it went to the door. I was worried it might go to the torch, but it went to the door, not the torch. That's good. What's up? How you doing? Fall through the floor. Boom. Don't ask me how people who don't know this is here are supposed to know this is here, but I've seen I've seen a lot of blind playthroughs of Dark Souls too. People accidentally find this pretty often. We'll speak with Grandal, but we're not going to be fighting Dark Lurker until much, much later. We'll speak with Grandal for the second time. I'll have my third encounter with him down in Black Gulch later. I could have done it already, but save it for later. It'll be aight. It'll be aight. Okay, so now we need to teleport back up to King's Gate. K -k -k King's Gate! Spoke with Grandal. I need to make sure I grab the Frozen Flower, because sometimes I forget. And then we'll be at Twin Dragon Riders. Twin Dragon Riders, it should be fine. These dudes come to life. Boom. Door should open now. Ow. Hey, watch it, buddy. Door taking its dandy time. I guess we'll kill this guy while we wait. Alright. Door is open. Proceed. Frozen Flower is just randomly here on the floor for some reason. I don't really get why that's the case. Kind of a weird spot for a key item. I know it got added into the game later because the DLC didn't exist at first, but still, they couldn't have put it in a, they couldn't have put it in a chest or something. No, it's just a corpse on the ground. Here is the key that gets you to the toughest DLC in the game. It's wild to me. Another one of these doors. Roll on through it. Oh, I love doing it every time. I love doing that every time. Another one. Yes, roll on through it. Ah, oh, satisfying as hell. Satisfying as hell. Here's the Nishandra poster that curses you. A little bit of, little bit of foreshadowing. We're just booking it. We're just booking it all the way to Twin Dragon Riders. Because I'm not really too concerned. What's up, Nishandra? How you doing? I guess I'll chug one of these. Completely unnecessary, but whatever. Why not be, why not stay tippy top? You know what I'm saying? All right. So what I like to do, you can get the red Dragon Rider to knock the blue Dragon Rider down. Boom. And the blue Dragon Rider has much less HP, and he tries to get you with a bow until his HP gets lower. Get the blue guy separate, bait, or red guy separate from the blue guy. Get the red guy attacking. And go over here and murder blue man. Alright, blue man has been dead. And now it's just a single Dragon Rider. Just like that, it's no longer a duo fight. Boss is definitely a little too easy. For this location but i don't know i don't know maybe they wanted to like give players too much confidence or something i don't know can't touch this i don't know if he's gonna get stunned before he dies maybe maybe he'll get stunned before he dies i don't know though kind of surprised that one didn't hit me to tell you the truth there's the stun got one extra swing amazing could have got more than that, but my stamina was out. And that's it for the Twin Dragon Riders. Tough boss fight, man. Tough boss fight. Gotta say. Bonfire. Lit. Bonfire. Sits. Hey, d d Bros, welcome. How you doing? You wonder what's up? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, I've got a lot of my, a lot of stuff that was causing me anxiety in my real life. Um, AKA, I, I was, I was worried. Like, I had a job, but it was like a crappy one, and I wasn't that excited to start it. But I was still looking for jobs, and I went to an interview yesterday, and they were offering even less money. I was like, okay, well, I don't want this job then. But this morning, I went to a job interview. And I got the position, and it's more money than I've ever made in my life. So I'm super excited for that. I'm going to be cleaning grout, which I've never done. Uh, and I'm excited to do something I've never done. 
because, um, I don't know, all the jobs I've had, I've, like, worked in fast food, I've worked in grocery stores, I've worked in restaurants, and I haven't, like, you know, they've paid the bills, but I've never really been, like, happy doing it. So, I'm excited to try something new that I've never done before. Dude, I'm so happy for you, that's awesome. Hell yeah. Shout out to D&D &D bros, by the way. These two guys are sick, and I say two guys, because they're always streaming together. You got Dungeon Master Devin and Dungeon Master Dustin, and they are on there streaming side by side. They're sitting there at the desk together, doing like co-op, doing like, doing like kind of like a co-op stream. It's not really like a co-op stream though. It's more just like a dual host live stream channel. It's sick, man. Uh, McLe McLeod, I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry. I mean, there's not really a tough boss in the base game. Maybe Dark Lurker. Dark Lurker, yeah. Dark Lurker's tough. And um, I mean, Vendrick can, you can slip up on Vendrick and end up dead. But he's like, I don't know. He's just like, you just have to not slip up. He's not really tough. He's, I don't know. Um, I would say um, Throne Watcher and Throne Defender as well. Throne Watcher and Throne Defender is pretty... Throne Watcher and Throne Defender. They're pretty tough together. Ancient Dragon. Yeah, yeah, you gotta come, you gotta come prepared. If you're not gonna risk death against Ancient Dragon, then you gotta come prepared with fire resistance. He might not get you. I mean, Ancient Dragon, it's not a good fight, but he can get you. He can get you, he, he'll hit you twice with one fire attack, and that's what you'll be dead from. If it, if it hits you once with the fire attack, and then you get back up, and the fire attack is still going, you get hit by it a second time. If you don't have your fire resistance proper, you could be dead from that. But yeah, I would say Dark Lurker is deadly. I would even say Royal Rat Authority is deadly, honestly. I'm scared of Royal Rat Authority. Um, Belfry Gargoyles aren't bad if you go to them late, which I plan on going to Belfry Gargoyles late, but they could be pretty scary. Uh, let's see. Other than that, eh, looking, it, things can get pretty hairy against Looking Glass Knight, but again, I already have a fully upgraded weapon, so Looking Glass Knight shouldn't be too much of an issue, because I got the weapon fully upgraded. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't know, there's not that, there's not, that's, not, that's about it, probably. I would say Ancient Dragon can be tough. Yeah, no, like, there's, there's a chance, there's a chance that Ancient Dragon won't burn you at all, but if Ancient Dragon does do the burning thing and it hits you twice, if you don't have your fire resistance right, you'll be dead. I forgot about this guy. Congrats on the new job, thank you, thank you. Not gonna lie, you kind of miss Dark Souls 2. I love me some Dark Souls 2. I'm really upset that I died, because I've died, this is, I've died now twice, on two separate, on two separate no death run attempts. I've died the same way, and it's such a silly mistake. It's on the way to Skeleton Lords. There's that necromancer who can, like, shoot you across the gap. So you have to, like, go around and pass the boss fog, and then you have to, like, go through this narrow tunnel to get to where the necromancer is. And I don't know why I had to learn my lesson twice. Learning my lesson once wasn't good enough. I had to learn it again today that killing that necromancer is a huge death trap. You get surrounded by the skeletons in that tiny little tunnel. And then you got all these skeletons slashing you up. And then and the, and the necromancer is right next to the ledge. So killing him is kind of scary. And if the necromancer doesn't die and the skeletons get on you, and there's no way to like kill the skeletons permanently, and I just, oh my god, I literally wrote a note for myself that says, Necromancer equals death. If only I had written that the last time he killed me, but this time he killed me, and I literally wrote myself a note now that says, Necromancer equals death. So hopefully, the next time I'm trying this no death run, I won't try to kill this freaking necromancer like an idiot. You literally just have to run, grab the Estus shard, because there's an Estus shard in that cave that I'm interested in. That's the only reason I even go in that cave near uh, Skeleton Lords, is for the Estus shard. So I just need to run, grab the Estus shard, and then run back out. And it's a little bit scary when you do that, but if you're quick enough, it's no big deal at all. I take it this is also a melee only run? Yes, broadsword only, specifically. I believe it says that in the title and in the tags, but I understand sometimes that's not the easiest thing to see while you're actually watching the stream itself. It's more something that's easier to see before you click it. But yes, it's broad broadsword only. Started with the broadsword, I think it's the knight? The knight starting class? I don't think it tells you in this game what you started as. Uh, player info. Oh, it does, yeah, knight. 
So I started as a knight who starts with the broadsword, and I've just been using the broadsword and nothing else ever since. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep my HP topped off, because they're mannequins, and they're kind of scary. Kill off the first one. Second dude will just weaken him, and then take him to the other room. I backstab him. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, cool. I didn't mean to backstab him. Yeah, it does. On mobile, so some of the title gets cut off. Fair enough. Yeah, no no worries. I understand how it is. I've been I've been watching live streams before and then asked a question just to realize that, oh, it's literally in the title and I didn't bother to read it. So I understand. Alright. So, um, the elevator is getting lowered, so I'll be able to access looking last night soon. However, there's an Estes flask shard I want over here. There's also some repair powders and flame butterflies in the same room. Oh, I love this about Dark Souls 2. Roll through the door! Ah, oh, feels good every time. These ladies are just as deadly as they are sexy, so we gotta be careful because we might get exploded. She's not dead. Got her. Alright. Cool, 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 cool. We're not out of the danger zone quite yet. Smack her. Oh, she tried to get me with that fan, but we took her down. All right, cool, 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 cool. That was actually nice. Usually I get hit. Usually I get hit, and it's kind of sweaty there from I start sweating a little bit. So I get smacked the way I do. All right, so that was the Estes Flask Shard I just acquired. Repair powders, flame butterflies, those will come in handy. Got the Desert Sorcerer gloves and the Desert Sorceress. De Desert Sorceress. Desert Sorceress gloves and the Desert Sorceress skirt. Ooh. 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 Show off a little thigh, you know? Wait, I can't see anything because of the top. Never mind, we're not showing off any thigh. I just wear the Seldora set the whole game anyway because I've got issues. Roll through the door. Man, I love doing that. I love rolling through the door like that. Every time I'm playing any other Souls game and it's a singular door that you're pushing open, I'm like, man, I wish I could roll through it like you can in Dark Souls 2. That was the coolest thing. Okay. Made it back around to the bonfire. Um, I'll go back to Majula after looking last night. I've got... I have a Estus Shard and a Sublime Bone Dust. Dang, I've got two Estus upgrades. But we'll be fine against looking last night without it. I've got the 60,000 souls, so we could go back, level up a little bit, upgrade my flasks a little bit, but... <clears throat> I'll just wait until looking last night is dead, and then I'll have even more souls to level up with. This is the longest elevator ever. I don't go back down this elevator, I use a Homeward Bone. <laughs> using a Homeward Bone is so much faster than using this stinking elevator. So, I ain't doing that. In NG+, there's this red phantom in here, and he is deadly. It's so difficult to skip him as well. Trying to open one of these chests while the red phantom is in here is so difficult to do. Alright, we got the key. I'm just gonna Homeward Bone up out of here. And then, uh, it's looking glass nighttime. Give me some of that vitality of life, aka coffee. It's that good stuff. That's that good, good. You speak the true, true. Double doors, so unfortunately I can't roll through them. But it is what it is. These guys, uh, it reminds me always of that meme with Shaq. You know, the, the I sleep, I sleep. Real shit meme. See? <laughs> Cracks me up every time. Their eyes their eyes glow red and they wake up. Alright, alright, alright. Looking glass knights. Sometimes I call them mirror knight, and then I wonder, wait, was he supposed to be called mirror knight? And then they just translated it poorly and called them looking glass? I don't know though. It's not just a mirror though. I mean he summons dudes out of it. So looking glass, I guess. I don't know. Like, I just, I feel like it, there's a possibility that's just a poor translation from Japanese. The fact that he's called Looking Glass Knight, not Mirror Knight. He's already halfway dead. A little intense music. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't know, the damage was so sad, though. We're putting this guy to shame, honestly. Big miss on his part. Hacking and whacking at him. A couple more of those, he ought to be dead. Wow, he didn't even try to summon anybody. That was quick. Good lord, man. And by lord, I mean Gwyn. Alrighty. That was quick. 
I don't need a Lord Vessel. We're not going to be respecting, and I don't need... I don't remember what else is in that chest besides the Lord Vessel. I think it's some type of spell. I don't need the spell. I don't need the Lord Vessel. So we're just going to go right down this elevator. You see how my shoulders have that sparkly effect on them? It's because I'm in the rain. You see, it's raining, and I'm on this elevator, but we're going all the, all the way down the elevator. Now, the rain has stopped, but the sparkly effect on my shoulders still exists. I always like this little detail. I always, I, it's like I still have the effect of being rained on, even though I'm all the way down this hole. It's like I'm still getting rained on, and it'll stop as soon as I step off the elevator. Boom. See? Now I'm out of the rain, and I don't have that effect on my shoulders anymore. I don't know. It's a, it's a little thing, but little things make life good. Spell Quartz Ring, I think. Ah. Yeah, I'm not really too worried about any bosses that deal magic damage. I... What do I do for fire resistance? I don't wear the flame quartz ring? I probably get a flame quartz ring plus one or something. Yeah, I remember now. I get a, I get a flame quartz ring from uh, down... Down... Down by where you get the heavy iron key to access the old Iron King DLC. You can get, you can get like a flame quartz ring plus something or other out of a chest down there. All right, we're going to go back to Mahula. I know it's Majula. Don't worry. We're going to be leveling up. We're going to be upgrading our Estus. Demon of Songs, the next boss coming up. There's an Estus shard for me to get here, and I don't have that written for some reason. E shard. Halfway through... What's it called? Shrine of Amana. I don't really need that reminder, because I know it's there, but whatever. I'll make the reminder anyway. You never know what I might forget, depending on the day. Alright, so we can upgrade our Estus. We now have, what, 11 of those? So we'll have 12. I always thought 12 was the maximum you could get in this game, but there's there's an Estus shard that you can get in the... Uh, in the... Not the depths. What is it called in this game? Before Black Gulch, you have to go through... I can't remember the name right now. It's before Black Gulch, though. And there's an Estus shard in there that I never get. <sighs> That's some good earth sauce. I don't have any souls to pop, but we do have an undead... Oh, I'm sorry. Sublime Bone Dust to burn. It was called an undead bone shard. This ain't no Dark Souls 3. I think there's still one more of them to get, right? Or am I at plus 5? Oh, we're at plus 5 Estus, so the Estus are as good as they're going to get. Cool. <clears throat> Off to Shrine of Amana we go. I've got no worries about Shrine of Amana. I got used to NG plus Shrine of Amana. And NG plus Shrine of Amana is even tougher. Not just because the enemies deal more damage, but because there's more of them. There's more Shrine Maidens. There is a Red Phantom Pyromancer. And then there's more Arch Drake Knights as well. So I got used to Shrine of Amana on NG+, and now when I do NG Shrine of Amana, I'm like, people complain about this? But I know, uh, I've got issues and I've played these games way too much. We running. We running it. I'm probably going to skip the next bonfire. That bonfire is not really worth it, because I have these, I'm going to have these three homies chasing me, these Arch Drake Knights right here. These three Arch Drake Knights will chase me all the way to the next bonfire, and I'll be able to light the bonfire, but I won't be able to sit at it unless I fight them, and honestly, I don't need that bonfire, so frig it. How is the HP compared in NG+. Plus? Like, the, the enemies, how are the enemies HP compared in NG+. Plus? I mean, it goes up, I... I don't know, that's a good question, I, I don't... I don't really think about that part. I just notice my HP gets depleted faster. But I don't really kill that many enemies here, like the Shrine Maidens. I don't kill Shrine Maidens, ever. Uh, okay, I'm getting blasted. Off to a, after a, off to a bad start, but we'll do better. We'll do better. I could probably use one of these, honestly. Hide behind the pillar and keep on rolling. Jump it. Okay, I'm, I'm getting the shit blasted out of me. I was like, it's no problem. Shrine of Amana is easy. Look at me, I'm almost fucking dead. Oh my god. Holy piss, man. Talk shit, get hit. Uh, how do I not know this lesson yet? Every time I say something, the opposite happens during my live streams. I need to stop saying things. I'm just going to become a silent streamer. 
No word side, are you fucking kidding me? No, that's what happens. That's what happens when you say, oh, it's easy. I'm not gonna sweat this place at all. All the time when I'm live streaming, I eat my fucking words, man. I usually annihilate Shrine of Amana. I'm so mad right now. <sighs> We're still in personal best territory. My personal best is three. I was hoping to set the personal best as one. That's what happens. That's what happens when you say, I, you know, I don't worry about this tough area at all. You end up dead, man. God damn it. Stop laughing at me. <sighs> Next boss, I mean? Demon of Song? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Dude, if I die again, I'm gonna be so pissed. Like, this playthrough. If I die again this playthrough, did I just miss the death or was it gravity? How about the first? I don't want to talk about either of them. I don't want to talk about either of them. I died in a cave on the way to Skeleton Lords. Because I got trapped by a bunch of skeletons because I was in a tiny little tunnel that I should have not even have been in. But I went in that tiny little tunnel thinking, I'm gonna kill the Necromancer. And then I got surrounded by skeletons and they were beating me up and I don't have any poise. So I died there. Early in the playthrough. And then I died to Shrine of Amana. Dude, I never die to NG Shrine of Amana. Like, what the hell? A lot of times I damn near hitless my way through. It's because I didn't do this. That's, that's the problem. I do that, like, every time, but I didn't do that last time. And that's what went wrong. See, now look at me. Now look at me. Now look at me. That's the secret. You have to jump up on the slope. If you don't jump up on the slope, then you'll get annihilated. This is how it's supposed to go. This is how it's supposed to go. This is easy, man. This is easy. How did I die? How did I get myself killed like a scrub? I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed, because look how capable I am. Look how capable I am. God damn it, dude. I didn't get hit at all. I didn't get hit at all. That's the way you do it. Why didn't I just do that the first time? All you had to do was follow the damn train, CJ! Is three your all-time best? Yeah, three is my all-time best. So, we're still, we're still in personal best territory, but I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. I wanted to set that personal best as, you know, if not zero, I was hoping to get it as one. Hey, Valkyrie Tahoe on a five-stream streak. Hell yeah, my friend. Nice, unscrubbed. Yeah, that's how I usually do it. That's how I usually do it in Shrine of Amana. But I don't know. Like I said, when I, when I, when I live stream... I like to jinx myself. It seems like I jinx myself a lot while I'm live streaming. And if I say if I say something is like gonna happen easy peasy, if I don't die, I'll damn near come close to dying. I always eat my words while streaming. I need to I need to not jinx myself like that, man. I just need to go into every place being like, this is scary, we might die. That's what I need to say. Every every new area, this is scary, we might die. Just to like reverse jinx, you know? I don't even really believe in jinxing, but when I'm live streaming, I sure as hell believe in jinxing myself, because I've just experienced it way too many god dang times. I don't know if I have to kill this troll, to be honest. I've never tested it out. Trying to go over here and get the Estus Shard with the troll alive. Also, this lady. Oh yeah, she does notice me, so let's, let's murder her. Boom. Alright, let's make sure we don't slip off the edge here. Estus shard getting over here is kind of precarious. I I don't know. At times I debate skipping it. But if we just play it slow, we play it smart. I won't fall off the edge. And we'll get the uh, Estus shard no problem. Sliced and diced. Bonk. Okay. Very carefully now. There's another Ponk. It's the first one to hit me this whole time since I left the bonfire, I think. That's not true. I already drank an Estus. I think I got smacked by an Arch Drake Knight. I think that's what got me. That was close. I thought it was going to hit me. I was willing to just, like, absorb it. He's so close to the edge. Woo! Okay. Is this the shard? This is the shard, isn't it? Yeah. The other thing is, like, it's one of my favorite buffs. It's Sunlight Blade. But I don't level Faith whatsoever. We have a raw broadsword. 
Which I guess a raw broadsword, you probably still buff. I don't know. I actually don't know. Friggin Mikolash. What a absolute chad. Okay. We back in business. Got the 12th Estus Shard or whatever number. And now we can proceed. Now we can proceed. Hopefully only die two times. We'll see though. There's a lot of deadly stuff still left. Oh, this guy already noticed me. That's kind of surprising. Down he goes. What would you drop? Twinkling Titanite. Wow, this is worthless. I'm just kidding. To me it is, but it's not worthless to everybody. Alright, I'm going to make sure the HP is tip-top. Um, yeah, an NG plus. At this point, there are four Arch Drake Knights instead of three. So, you get this first Arch Drake Knight killed, and then you see how there's two of them over there? In NG plus, there's three of them. And the third one is closer than either of these two guys. And they all three aggro at the same time. So when I'm standing here in NG+, I would have already had these two guys plus a third one trying to murder me. I have this tactic where I run back to a safe spot. Um, I don't usually use it in NG+. It can be pretty scary though, even just with these two guys. There's there's the shrine of them. There's the there's the shrine maiden right there, and she will she, this one over that way, over that way. She will heal these two guys. So it can be kind of scary because you'll think one of them's almost dead, and then they get their health back, and I'm not that into it. But if we kill them nice and quick, nice. Now there's just the one. Significantly less risk when there's just one of them alive, and killed them before the lady tried to heal them even. So no sweat, no sweat, but it's always, well, a little sweat. It's always a little sweat, because it's just scary. It's just scary, man. All right, um, at this point, I take off everything. Apparently, you can't take stuff off while you're going through the fog wall. You learn something new every day. We take everything off besides the broadsword at this point. The broadsword's got some decent endurance, and I do have repair powders, so if I have to use a repair powder, I could. Um, but there's these, all these enemies that deal this acid attack just slash him out the way. Ow. That one didn't do an acid attack, but Big Boy here does much acid attacks. We can kill him pretty quick. And look, I didn't do too much damage to my broadsword at all. Alright, at this point, I'm gonna slap back on that Saldora cap, Saldora robe, Saldora manchettes, Saldora trousers, Loranthi ring plus one, ring of steel protection, ring of blades, and this here's silver serpent ring plus one. All right, all right, all right. Now we're not gonna mess around here at all. We'll get invaded by a Peculiar, what's his name? His name's something weird, Peculiar something. I can't remember exactly what it is, but we'll get invaded by a Peculiar. He is a little scary because he can do Dark Bead. I think it's actually called something else in Dark Souls 2, but I'm a Dark Souls 1 fanboy. Peculiar Kindler, that's his name. He'll do, he'll do, it's called, it's called something else in Dark Souls 2, but it's called Dark Bead in Dark Souls 1. It's like the Dark Magic Shotgun Blast. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to fuck with that, so we're not fighting that dude, because I don't want to get dark, I don't want to get dark beaded. Alright, we made it to, we've made it to Demon of Song. I was a little bit slow because I was healing, so I didn't get to attack it before it went back in the hood. Smack him. Okay, run away, because that combo will keep going longer. If we're in range, he will do like a four swing combo. If we get out of range, he just does that little two swing combo that you just saw. Pretty easy to deal with. Oh, he's trying to grab me. Okay, beat on him since he failed the grab. Demon of Song is already like halfway dead. Hopping back out the hood. Trying to grab again. Failed again. Just wail on him some more. Got plenty of stamina. Raw broadsword plus 10 doing some nice damage. He keeps trying to grab me. This is kind of funny, actually. I've never seen him do this so many times in a row. Dang, dude. He's a couple hits away from being dead, if not one hit. That's got to be the fastest I've ever done Demon of Song. <laughs> That's got to be the fastest I've ever done that. That was way too easy. Alright, down he goes. Cool beans. Pop his soul. Give me some extra souls. 12,000 only. Yeah, that's... That's a fair amount. 
Not a lot, but... Oh, I'm going backwards. Went out the wrong hole. My bad. It's a weird looking boss room when the fog wall is not there. When you can see into the room, when you see into this boss room without the fog wall, it's different looking than I was expecting it to look like. Okie dokie. So now we proceed down into the... Why do I want to call everything catacombs today? It's the crypt. Down into the crypt. This guy's guarding it. He's really good at his job. See how good he is at his job? Really, really good at it. Alright. Down into the crypt we go. My butt kind of hurt. Not gonna lie. I'm pouring myself more coffee. I have my coffee machine right behind me. So my lard ass doesn't even have to get up to pour coffee. I think, though, I need to refill my water bottle because this water is about to go in the coffee machine. So I'm gonna have more pof I'm gonna have more coffee pouring. I need to get myself some more water. I also could use a bathroom break, so I'm just I'm gonna walk away for like probably less than two minutes here. Fill up my water bottle, take a quick pee, and I'll be right back to the action. Oh jeez, slamming my chair into stuff. All right, all right, all right. That's just been my that's been my words today. I just keep saying all right, all right, all right, like I'm fucking Matthew McConaughey for some fucking reason. I don't know why. Okie dokie. We shall proceed into the crypts. We need to make sure we interact with Aldia. It's an all boss. Oh, I have I been crossing off bosses? I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot all about that for a while now. Holy crap, that's a lot of bosses that I've killed since the last time I remembered. Four bosses went down, and I forgot to cross off... Is it five, actually? It's five. Five bosses went down, and I didn't cross off any of them. I'm sorry. I'm doing such a good job with this live stream today, making sure I cross off bosses as I kill them. Five bosses have been killed since the last time I crossed them off. Down they go. I died for sure. Alright, Aldia, you're here, right? Good. Would not be an all-boss playthrough if we weren't fighting Aldia. So down he goes. Velstat's coming up next. Was Velstat Guardian Dragon? Yeah, it goes fast. Velstat Guardian Dragon. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. Talking up a storm. Doesn't matter what option you pick. You don't have to worry about accidentally selecting the wrong thing. It's not like it's not like Fromped from Dark Souls 1 where you're skipping through all the dialogue and then you accidentally say no and he's like, I'm out of here, see ya. And you're like, no! I wanted to be friends with you, Fromp. We're gonna get rid of this boss checklist. Velstat's coming up next. Then we'll be off to Guardian Dragon. Sorry. Proceed. What's up, dudes? Get out the way, please. Hey, that hit me? Not cool. What about this guy? Get out the way, dude. Shit, move! Get the fuck out of the way! Come on, fucking move! You fool, move! So 
I get for swinging on him that much, using all my stamina the whole time. I didn't even rest at the bonfire, but that's okay. We had our interaction with Aldia, that's the important part. Alright, all the big humanity projectiles got hit up, hit up against the pillars, so we can just run now. Whoa! Almost got me with that lightning bolt, but I wasn't quite in the doorway. This guy's gonna be all, human, do not produce light. I'm actually interested in, um, I don't know, I think you just talk to him, and then he sells you stuff right away. I don't think there's a prerequisite, is there? To buy things off of him? You just gotta talk to him a whole bunch, I'm pretty sure. Usually I don't buy things off of him until later, so I'm not sure he'll sell me stuff now. He's selling me stuff now, though. So I'm interested in just having some Elizabeth mushrooms. Um, we don't really need many, but I'll buy a few. That's just for frigid outskirts. You won't see me pop the Elizabeth mushroom until I'm running through frigid outskirts. That's what that's for. So I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, it's not like I can't use Elizabeth mushrooms. I just. I mostly just use the Estus flasks. Um, but in frigid outskirts, I'll pop a. I'll pop a. Elizabeth mushroom. Kind of like cold. It's cold in here today, and I feel it in my feet mostly. I live on the bottom floor of an apartment building. And it's like extra cold this this entire week. I live in Michigan. It's just been cold this week. I don't know. I think I'm gonna put it. I don't know. I'm I'm literally wearing two pairs of socks already, so I, I don't know what putting on a third pair is gonna do for me. Maybe I should just do it anyway. I'm wearing a third I'm wearing two pairs of socks and I wear these like slip-on things. They're not they're not they're not slippers, but they're sandals. And I just wear them to give me a buffer from the cold concrete slab that's underneath my carpet in this apartment. Um, but my feet are still freezing. So, hmm. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna like have a hoodie on the floor where my feet are so that there's even more of a buffer between me and the cold floor. I think I'm gonna wear a hoodie too. I'm kind of. I, I had a feeling I'd be a little bit cold in this T-shirt today, but usually it warms up. As I as I as I stream in this room, usually it warms up in here. But I'm not really feeling that. I'm I'm cold. I'm cold. I don't want to wear a hoodie. I'm cold, man. I don't feel too good. Look at me. I'm. Look at me. Look at me. I'm. The bearer of the curse now. Zip, zip. Okay, so it should be a little warmer. Okay, what am I doing? I already sat here. Get up. Bomb. bomb. Oh, um. Eh, we'll go back to Majula after I kill Velstat, I guess. I don't feel like going back right now. I don't like going to Majula every time. Well, it's one of the reasons Dark Souls 1 and Elden Ring are my two favorites. Just being able to level up at every bonfire is huge. Alright. Made it through all those gravestones very respectfully. Now we come across these guys who are going to be blocking the way again. That ghost came out extra aggressive. Just wasn't expecting it. Swang on him. Swang on him. Swang on him. Pretty sure it's unnecessary for me to swing on him like that. I just like doing it. Feels extra disrespectful. Okay. We drop down. We take a left. It's the floor that's got a stripe on it. I don't know why it has a stripe on it. Maybe just to signify that it's different than the other routes? I don't know. It doesn't seem to have any purpose other than indicating that it's the right way to go. Alright. Opened up the shortcut so later when I come back here to fight Vendrick, we'll have the shortcut to take. Don't really need it right now for Velstat. I usually like going back here the way I take to get to Velstat, because there's that fog wall, there's all these dudes who pop out, there's these chumps, take a swing, okay, baited his attack out so he didn't chase me all the way to the fog wall and stop me, we made it through, it's Velstat time, Velstaddy, bring it on Velstaddy, big whiff, Velstat's one of my more favorite fights in the game, um, I do wish he was a little tougher. It's kind of like medium difficulty, I feel like. But, 
regardless, he's still one of my favorite fights. He's got more HP than it seems. He gets more resistance when he goes phase two. So you you think that the fight is like halfway over when you're only you're actually only like one third of the way through the fight when he's at half his health bar. Because then he goes phase two and his resistances increase. But I like Velstat. I just maybe I just wish he was swifter. He's kind of sluggish, which makes him easy to deal with. When he does stuff like this, you can just really wail on him. I wish he was just a little bit more swift. Kind of like Pursuer, maybe? Pursuer, or, I don't know. There's some swift ones. Sir Alon is the one that is really swift. Uh, but maybe if he was more like Pursuer-style speed, he'd be tougher. I don't know. I just, I like him a lot, and I wish he was more challenging. That's all. But he's decently challenging enough on your first playthrough, I guess. But like I said, he's kind of more of like a medium difficulty boss. More than he is a hard difficulty boss. But his resistance going up. Always, always unexpected. Makes the fight last longer than you would think. Dodge that bad boy. That's a stun. Get some bonus swings while he is reacting. Or, you know, getting stunned. Bonus swings for me. I almost wish you got a stamina regeneration bonus while standing completely still. <laughs> like, your stamina regeneration is just as fast while walking as it is while standing still, and I almost wish that wasn't the case. It feels extra... I don't know... badass, I guess, for lack of a better word. When you're just sitting there still, waiting for the boss to do the next thing. Got some nice souls for that one, we sure did. Vendrick, we won't be fighting right now, I'm just here. The King's Ring, watch this. Watch the top of the staircase. Whoa, why is that guy there? That's not what I was talking about. Watch the top of the staircase up there. Whoop. <laughs> kind of hard to see. She's far away and it's dark in this room, but you pick up the King's Ring and she just appears out of nowhere. It cracks me up. It cracks me up quite a bit. 30 viewers, let's go. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Unfortunately died twice, but we're still in personal best territory. Try not to die another time for the rest of the playthrough. I've got high hopes. High in the sky, Apple. High hopes. So Velstat has gone down, and we're done listening to battle music. Guardian Dragon is up next. Guardian Dragon ain't got shit. Guardian Dragon ain't got shit. Oops, watch it. What happened? Alright. Bellstat has been taken down. He is dead now. Alright, we're gonna go back to Mahula. We're gonna go back to Majula and do a little leveling. Uh, upgrade my upgrade my flasks for the final time in the playthrough. I will not be getting all 13 flask shards. Because I don't want to get that one out of the gutter. That's what it's called, the gutter. I couldn't remember the name earlier. I was like, the depths? No, that's Dark Souls 1. Okay, uh, I just dump it all in Endurance. I'm happy with my Vigor, I'm happy with my Adaptability, I don't care about any of the other stats except for Endurance. So, Endurance it is, because Endurance, you keep getting more stamina in Dark Souls 2, all the way to level 99 with Endurance. It's actually kind of redonkulous. Okay, uh, upgrade Estus Flasks, and we gotta head back to... The second most popular bonfire in this game, Ruined Fork Road. Let's go back to Ruined Fork Road. And I have the King's Ring now, so we can get to Aldia's Keep. Aldia's Keep. I'm not really going to be doing anything in Aldia's Keep other than just heading for Guardian Dragon. Uh, so let's just slap on any old... And swap out any old ring for that King's Ring. Head on up this way. What's up, weird monkey thing? How you doing? That's right, you better run, punks. You better run. They're running back to their big brother. There's their big brother. He's a little ugly, but that's okay. Uh, his mother still loves him the same anyway. Alright, alright, alright! Yeah, I just keep saying that today. I don't know why. I can't stop myself. How you doing, Cyan Knight? These guys are the best at what they do, man. They're really good at guarding their posts, I gotta say. They definitely aren't easy to kill whatsoever. That's the secret to me not jinxing myself. I just need to be sarcastic all the time. Jinx doesn't know the difference between being genuine 
and being sarcastic. I ain't gonna get that bonfire. Fuck that bonfire. All my homies hate that bonfire. I'm just kidding. I've been saying that a lot lately, too. It's fun to say. What can I say? I'm not gonna get any of the bonfires here. We don't need an Aldi's Keep bonfire. There's nothing for me here. Hey, Mara, uh, Aslatil. I was trying to say Astel. Astel, Stars of Darkness from uh, Elden Ring. And I misremembered his name is Aslatil. And I was talking about it in somebody's live stream and other viewers in the chat were like, what are you talking about? It's like, Aslatil, Stars of Darkness. They're like, Astel? Oh, <laughs> right. Aslatil is that guy from Dark Souls 2. My bad. My bad. Honest mistake. Choo! Choo! Aslatil goes home. The door opens. Alright, so there's a nice little slick trick that... I don't know how I discovered this, to tell you the truth, but just years of playing Dark Souls 2, I guess. I, I don't know. I'm sure there's other people out there that know it. Especially speedrunners. But you just like, you hug this spot right here on the door, boom, you don't get hit. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know what's up with that. It definitely doesn't seem correct. But it works. You just hug this spot on the right right here. Boom. I'm pretty sure you have to be in motion. I think if you're standing still, you will still get hit by the door blast. But if you're like walking against the door, you don't even have to be sprinting. Like I, I was sprinting against the door. That's overkill. I'm pretty sure you can just be walking against the door, and uh, you don't get you don't get hit by the troll as he breaks through. Break on through to the other side. That song is definitely about taking psychedelics until you are no longer in reality. Is what that song is about. I have no doubts. What it means by break on through to the other side. Guardian Dragon, one of my least favorite fights in the game, to tell you the truth. It's kind of annoying. It just flies away from you the whole time. You just gotta wait for it to land. I know it's a dragon and all, but fuck off with the flying! That's how I feel when I'm fighting this boss. See, he's flying away again. Obnoxious. It's like that fish from Finding Nemo. I'm obnoxious. Some intense destiny music. A little bit of toe cutting, foreshadowing for Ancient Dragon. What's his name? Ancient Dragon? Yeah, Ancient Dragon. I always think that it's Ancient Dragon as well in Dark Souls 3, but it's Ancient Wyvern. And I like to say Wyvern, but I've been saying Wyvern lately because I know it's right. And I've known it's right for years, but usually I just say Wyvern anyway because I don't care. I'll say it the way I want to say it. Uh, I think it's going to breathe fire down. I'm going to fail. That was, that was a correct call. It was a collect call from Guardian Dragon. You're gonna jump up in the air again? Fuck you, man. Come on now. Stay grounded. I'm sick of this. This entire boss fight's just waiting. What are you doing now? You're gonna plop down? Good. Thank you for plopping down. Smack you in the face twice. Down goes Guardian Dragon. Tough fight, man. Tough fight. Did it take bonus damage hitting it in the face? I didn't think that boss took bonus damage when you hit them in the face, but that seems like bonus damage. As much as I love this Smash Bros. music, it's a little dramatic for what's currently happening. There's a lot of Animal Crossing music today, I gotta say. Guardian Dragon goes down, though. Tough fight, tough fight. Next one's Ancient Dragon, but I have a... I have a, I have a few pit stops before we fight Ancient Dragon. So we're not going to be heading straight for Ancient Dragon couple of things I'd like to get. But, Guardian Dragon's dead. Nice and crossed out. I'm gonna scroll the boss list up at this point. Alright. There we go. That's the rest of the boss list. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, I'm still stepped on the button. I was like, come on, open the door. But I was still stepped on the button. Hey, I didn't take the long way around this time. Typically, I like to take the long way around. Like the fool that I am. Pop that Guardian Dragon Soul. We're about to get my favorite item in all of Dark Souls 2. The Aged Feather. Infinite Homeward Bones. You know how much I love Homeward Bones. Then you get this Infinite Homeward Bone in Dark Souls 2. Ah, oh, it's good stuff. And in Sekiro, it's nice that you get the Infinite Homeward Bone right out the gates in Sekiro. Problem is, it takes like a year and a half 
to use the homeward idle in Sekiro. That doesn't that doesn't sit that well with me, to tell you the truth. Alright, um, probably get rid of the boss list in a second here. I don't like keeping it up for long. We're going to get all the way up to the uh, Dragon Shrine bonfire, though. For the longest time, I didn't know this zipline existed. I didn't know until somebody who watches regularly, Artorius, told me about it. I would always use a fragrant branch and I would always run all the way through Dragon Airy as if we were playing the original Dark Souls 2. Because apparently that zipline is a Scholar of the First Sin edition. A edition with an A. Which is news to me, but hey, I'm fine. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I don't mind that zipline whatsoever. It's always a pain having to run all the way through Dragon Airy. Alright, Aldia should show up in his little pipsqueak form. Boom, Aldia is here, he's just small now. It's so funny to me that they just made him small. It's like, eh, yeah, we're gonna put him in this we're gonna put him in this bonfire where he's in a room that's not big enough for him. What do we do? Uh just make him smaller. <laughs> what? What? What the hell? Okay. So Got that aged feather now. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Happy to see it. I'm gonna go to Majula and level up a few times. I can only level up a few times, I'm sure. But I'll do it anyway. It's just gonna be more stamina, though. I don't know, honestly. It could wait. It could wait, but whatever. I'm here now. Hey, lady, could you get up? I mean, you don't have to get up to talk to me, but you do anyway every time, so... Get up! And I can level up three times, yeah, if I'm lucky. Boom, bam, boom. More stamina. Hey, my HP went up by three as well. Nice. Nice! Three more HP. <laughs> oh, Alright, so at this point, we are going to go to Force of the Fallen Giants, back to Cardinal Tower. There is a flame stone plate ring that I would like to acquire. So we're going to go get that. While we're down there, we're also going to get the Heavy Iron Key. The Heavy Iron Key is what you use... Was it Old Iron Key? I thought it was Heavy Iron Key. Pretty sure it's Heavy Iron Key. And I wrote Old Iron Key because I'm a, little, I'm a little bit of an idiot sometimes. Pretty sure it's Heavy Iron Key, not Old. Doesn't really matter. I know exactly what I'm talking about when I see it, but I'll like, get the name right. Okay, so I'm a bit of a jackass, and I like doing this. Zaw! Boom. I was not wearing the silver cat ring, was I? Holy shit. Yeah, I could have died from that. If I would have fucked that up... I survive if I F it up and I wear the silver cat ring, but I'm not wearing the silver cat ring. So, that was actually riskier than I thought it was. Because, if I, like I said, if I would have messed that up without the silver cat ring on, I would have died. Which would have been a hell of a third death. Ruining my track to beat my personal best. My personal best is three, and we're at two, because I died like a noob. So far, I died... Come on, man. You can't be dying in base game. You can't be dying in base game. What are you doing? You got that Flame Quartz Ring plus one. Like I said, while I'm down here, I guess we can slap that bad boy on. It can help with these enemies' damage. Slap that bad boy on. Help with the Flame Resistance just for while I'm down here. And let's proceed. Ooh, I could also upgrade the armor. Shit, I didn't think about upgrading the armor. Damn. I should have done that. I don't have any souls unless I have a Guardian Dragon Soul, but I don't think I have a Guardian Dragon Soul. Heavy iron key, yeah. Get me out of here, please. Cool beans. Just go in here. Unfortunately, it's a pull door, not a push door, but that's okay. Made it in anyway. And go ahead and get out of here. Yeah, oh, I'm a little nervous, actually. I didn't upgrade the armor. Usually my fire resistance is higher than this, because I've upgraded the armor by now, but I forgot all about doing that, and I don't have any souls to really do it. I don't think I have a lot of titanite either to do it. That's bad. That's not... That's not good news. That's not good news at all. I almost want to go to a Lamb Voice early and go kill Ava. Get some souls to upgrade my armor for Ancient Dragon. Because I don't know, I... When I tested it out, I'm pretty sure I was wearing armor upgraded. And I'm scared now. Fire resistance barely increases. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. 
The fact that the fire resistance barely increases when we upgrade this armor set makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. We just wear something that has more fire resistance. This has decent fire resistance, this hollow soldier armor. Just like slap that on. Compared to this Seldora set that has shit fire resistance. Maybe we just wear better armor for it. That could be wise. That could be wise. Cyan's legs have good fire resistance. Alon Captain Armor has really good fire resistance. How about like the Desert Sorceress stuff? Pretty decent, and that's nice and lightweight. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's the play, I think. We just wear different armor for the fight. Because I forgot to upgrade this armor. We'll just wear different armor for the fight. I like the sound of that. Still upgrade this stuff, just because why not have more resistances. See, I was cold, and I put the hoodie on, and now I'm hot. Ay -ay 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 -ay. It's a hard knock life, man. So, like, hat. Yeah, like, this stuff. This Alon Knight stuff. Crazy good fire resistance. I don't even, like, need to worry about more... Honestly, it makes me a little heavy. We're not gonna slap. I just want. I was just checking out the fire resistances. We're not really gonna wear this stuff. I don't think until we're there. I'm looking at the right stat. I was not looking at the right stat. Desert sorceress and royal swordsman has the same fire resistance. We'll definitely be all sorts of fire resistance out. My dodge rolls will be sucky, but dodge rolls don't matter that much against. Uh, Dodge rolls don't matter. This is some A-plus fashion, don't you think? I'm like, I'm a sexy-legged Alon knight. Dang, man. Dang. Getting a little... Whew, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Uh, so yeah, let's throw this stuff back on for now. Not until I walk into the Ancient Dragon boss fight do I need to slap that armor on. That's a, that's a good quick fix, though, since I forgot to upgrade my armor. Even though I think it doesn't really matter in the long run... All right, all right, all right. So, the only thing I'm going to do now, before fighting Ancient Dragon, we're going to get the third Dragon Ring. I'd like to have the third Dragon Ring. That's exactly what we're going to do. I'd like to have music that's a little bit more intense, because things get a little scary around here. I don't fight my way through. I just run. Things get a little dicey sometimes. We'll be okay, though. All right, so instead of running all the way around to the top, when I'm access, when I'm trying to get to the third dragon ring, I like to jump this railing because they don't know how to follow you. If you jump this railing, their AI is like what? Okay, but this guy, this guy scares the piss out of me. I'll tell you the truth, that shield bash, yeah, man. I always try to dodge, but I'm always too late to dodge. He scares me. This guy is scary. I do not like him. We should be fine though, despite my fears. Need to swing to kill him that shield bash, though, dude. It's so quick. And the stun. The crazy long stun that happens when he shield bashes you like that. I thought he fit through the door for a second. I was like, what the hell? That never happens. Woo! Tried to shield bash me again. Coming around to hit him a couple times. That's no shield bash. He's doing... I thought that was going to be a longer combo than that. But maybe he stopped it early because I was out of range. Usually he goes for longer, I thought. It'd be something different than I'm expecting. Seems like he's not doing a good job of guarding my attacks. I gotta say, but I ran out of stamina. Okay, he went down. That was actually less scary than what it typically is, to tell you the truth. That was uh, pretty well done on my part, I must say so myself. Third dragon ring is right behind this door. So we can grab that, but we won't be able to homeward bone because we're going to get invaded by Dragon Fang Villard. We're going to have to go up top, kill Dragon Fang Villard. And then I'm going to homeward bone at that point. And then we get to run to Ancient Dragon. <laughs> Just keep the HP tip top. I'm not too worried about ancient. Uh, I'm not too worried about Dragon Fang Villard. He is fully armored, but his poise sucks anyway. So we can just like stun the crap out of him, even even with just a straight sword, like just just a straight sword. It's a freaking broadsword, man. And he gets stunned by every single swing. It's kind of crazy for somebody who's wearing full armor. You really don't have any poise at all. It's just wild to me. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and get the hell out of here. Leave. No, 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 no. Use. Use the Homeward Bone. Just using the Homeward Bones, even though I have the Aged Feather. 
use up the homework bones. <laughs> Alright, so now we have to get to Ancient Dragon. This can be a little bit scary. I'm going to take off the Silver Serpent Ring in favor of the third Dragon Ring. Feels kind of weird wearing the Ring of Steel protection still, but whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Alright, 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 let's do this. We've got some running to do. So I have a similar strategy as what I just did in order to get through the door. Because the scary part of running to Ancient Dragon without fighting anything, well, as long as the fog wall's not there. If the fog wall's there because you died against Ancient Dragon, then it's really hard to get through that fog wall without fighting anybody. But, um... There's this door right behind that guy with the greatsword, and that's a difficult door to get through. What I like to do, kind of round these fellas up. Okay, there's like four of you. Two of Ow, I forgot about the big knights. I forgot about the big knights. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll drink a flask. We'll be okay. They're coming for me. We're going to drop down. I want to make sure they don't do that plunging attack on me, though, because they'll try plunging attacks on you if they can. Okay, so we got them down here. Baiting them around. Just baiting them down here. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's book it. Oh, I forgot they chase me. I forgot they chased me all the way up the stairs. So I don't know why I waited around for as long as I did. That was kind of a mistake on my part, but we should be fine regardless, even though these guys are crazy quick up these stairs, man. But usually once I go plopping down, I don't really see them anymore. Plop down like this. Bait and attack out of homie here. Okay, I wasn't supposed to get hit by it, but we should be able to get through the door. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice, got through the door. Let's run, let's run, let's run, let's run, let's run. We're not safe yet, we're not safe yet. Open the door. Roll through it. Turn around. Close the fucking door. Close the fucking door. Yeah, I didn't see anybody behind me, but now we're now we're good. Okay, honestly, it's less of a risk for me to fight this guy. I can run past this guy, but there's a chance I'll get stuck on the enemies right before the boss room. So we are going to fight this guy. He's kind of like Dragon Fang Villard, where he's a total poiseless punk. He's got more HP, I think, than Dragon Fang Villard, but we can just wail on him like this. Just like we did Dragon Fang. So it's a little bit longer of a fight, but it's essentially just as easy, just a little bit longer. That's the only thing that makes it tougher, that he's got more HP. But it's pretty much just Dragon Fang Villard again, with the complete lack of poise, except this guy's, you know, power stancing instead of... I think Dragon Fang has the same weapon, but only one, maybe? I don't really know. Dang, he rolled out of there. Get myself some stamina so I can do the same. Bye. I'm back. Bye. I'm back. Oh, he said bye this time. No, I said bye. Alright. Swang on him. Swang on him. Ooh, nice roll. Nice roll. Can't get me with that power stance attack. You crazy? You crazy? You can't get me with that power stance attack. You crazy? Ooh, that was a close one. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. That was close. Big swing and a miss on my part. I wonder if this guy has infinite stamina. Kind of seems like he has infinite stamina. He's doing, like, power stance attacks use a lot of stamina. And he's doing a lot of rolling and a lot of power stance attacks. Doesn't seem like the type of guy who would, who would have infinite stamina. Yeah, fighting him, I feel like fighting him is less of a risk than trying to run past these guys. Mouserva! With another raid! This two days in a row, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Showing me all sorts of love. I appreciate it so much. Welcome in, raiders. I'm Ardvarkado. We are... Unfortunately, we failed the no death run already, but we're on track to beat my personal best. If I don't die a single time, my new personal best will be two deaths instead of three. My personal best of all bosses, broadsword only. We're only using the broadsword to attack. Nothing else. Not allowed to fight with anything else besides the broadsword as my weapon. Donner Ninja was in both streams again. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, so, it's broadsword only. I have died twice. Why is my weapon so broke? Whoa, whoa. I'm glad I caught that before we were in the middle of the fight. Use some repair powder and fix up my weapon a bit. Mousy, you got a raid and run again, but have a great stream. Hey, I appreciate the raid, even with the run. No problem. Thank you so much, Mousy. All right, all right, all right. So, Ancient Dragon, um, I kind of messed up. I was supposed to have my armor more upgraded. So, instead of having armor upgraded, we're just going to wear armor that has higher fire resistance. Um... Yeah, that's correct. So we're, we're, we're peak fashion right now. I'm like, I'm the sexy-legged Alon knight. But that's that's just for this ancient dragon fight. I want to have my fire resistance nice and high for this fight. 
because there's a chance there's a chance that ancient dragon will fly up in the air and breathe fire down and if that happens i can get hit by it twice you'll get hit by the fire and you get knocked down and the fire lasts for so long that you'll stand back up and then get hit by the fire and knocked down again and if that happens and i don't have my fire resistance high enough i will be dead so i made sure to have my fire resistance nice and high usually i usually i just upgrade different armor but i don't know it's kind of it's kind of funny just wearing the armor that has the highest fire resistance my dodge rolls are not as good as i'm used to now but that's okay that's okay got the broad broadsword plus 10. let's get to work let's get to work let's do this Ooh, actually before i do it let me make sure i have a homeward bone ready to go so i can get the hell out of here once the fight is over Raw and broad. Yeah, yeah. Peak fashion as well, if I've ever seen it. We're hacking, we're slashing. This is like my least favorite fight in this entire game. Ancient Dragon... It's a bad fight. It's a it's a bad fight. It's just a giant health sponge. So you gotta sit here and wail on it, and this toe cut method is... This toe cut method is the most successful method for putting your wrist against this boss to a minimum but it's still a risk because it ancient dragon can whip out one of those fire breathing from above attacks out of the blue bad dragon you need to say calm down vike all right roll we're just slicing toes we're just slicing toes ancient dragon's like my toes my toes just keeping an eye on what Ancient Dragon does. If we're lucky, it won't do anything but foot, sma foot slams. That's if we're lucky. Usually other things happen besides the foot slams, but not always. Not always. I'm hoping nothing else happens besides the foot slams, to tell you the truth. But we'll see. We'll see. Fight's more than halfway over, though. So far, this is all we've gotten. So this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad so far. Toe cut method is working fantastically. Get the hell out the way. Ooh, I'm surprised I didn't get stepped on. All I'm saying is I understand Vike's play. Oh god. I want I, Do they How do they seriously still sell a seed tentacle or is that discontinued? I feel like I feel like that's gotta be discontinued by now. I was gonna get one and just put it in a showcase. I'm not supposed to be standing in the middle here. Let's see if we get another foot stomp. I was standing in the wrong spot while I healed, but we just got another foot stomp. I was like, bro, I want I want a seat tentacle. That sounds sick. I'll just put it I'll just put it in like a showcase box. You know, a glass box. we will be like, what's that? Oh, that's that's a, that's seat tentacle from Dark Souls 1. Don't ask me where I bought it. And I don't want to get a used one. A pre-owned? I don't want a pre-owned Seath Tentacle. No thank you. No thank you. But honestly, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of buying stupid things. Whoa! Broadsword's at risk again? Jesus, this fight is long. I thought the one repair powder I used was going to be good enough. This is an amazing fight, isn't it? This is why it's my least favorite fight in Dark Souls 2. It's just, it's just tedious. This isn't fun. It's just tedious. It's like... Never mind, I'll keep it to myself. I was gonna I was gonna throw some shade. But I I've been I've been I've been I've been pissing people off enough lately, so I don't need to do that. Alright, this might be the end right here. Boom, ancient dragon goes down. What a fight. What a fight. Alright, so we need to get the hell out of here, because I'm pretty sure we're gonna get rushed by all those dudes. Oh! No! Oh, the dudes are just chilling. Sick. They used to rush in here and try to kill me as soon as Ancient Dragon was dead. So I'd always make sure I had the Homeward Bone ready to go so I could get the hell out of here nice and safe. Alright, stop with the ridiculous armor then. Go back to the Seldora set because that's not less ridiculous at all. Uh, but we get bonus we get bonus souls for it. Now I don't need the Flame Quartz Ring either. And go back to... Oh, I wasn't wearing the Ring of Blades. I definitely should have been wearing the Ring of Blades. That's on me. Uh... I guess maybe we call it quits on the Silver Serpent Ring. That hurts. That hurts for me to do. But I feel like all of these are more important than the Silver Serpent Ring. I, I don't know, man. Maybe not the Ring of Steel Protection. 
which which band-aid do I rip off? The ring of steel protection or the silver serpent ring? I don't know. Seems like it was removed. But you did find Dwayne the Rockhead for pleasure. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Is you know, I missed out missed out on that opportunity. I'm sure they weren't selling that many of them, so they probably stopped producing it. Uh missed opportunity. But you know, like I said, I don't like wasting my money on stupid shit, so probably probably a good thing. Probably a good thing. Alright, anyways, that is it for Ancient Dragon. We're getting pretty close to DLC time. We still have a decent amount of base game bosses. Still got a decent amount of base game bosses. Bring up the boss list. Can never see it at all when I'm in Majula. It's always looking god awful. So I like to get the water. It's like, it seems like the water is the thing that has the best. So Ancient Dragon goes down. Dragon Lord is coming up next. Did I mix that up? Ancient Dragon's dead, Giant Lord's coming up next. That's what I said, right? I'm pretty sure that's what I said. Boom, bada boom, bada boom. Cross that bad lad out. Ancient Dragon is dead. Feels good, man. Feels good. Oh, just happened. Oh, I actually brought up my menu. That's what happened. A little whack, a little bit whack, yo. Alright, so I can go ahead and level up some. We're just dumping it all in endurance these days. You get more and more stamina. The same stamina gains all the way to level 99, I'm pretty sure, in this game. I'm pretty sure it's the same stamina gains all the way to level 99. Pretty bonkers stuff. Alright, we're going to go back to Cardinal Tower, because it's Giant Lord time. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of this boss checklist. Bye bye. All right, we're going after Giant Lord. I'm gonna get five Giants memories actually. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, sick dude. Really good at combat. Archie blows. Ring in here is always tempting as well. It's a nice ring. You get your. It's the health regen ring, isn't it? In that chest. I love slow health regeneration. People act like it's for noobs. I don't really understand why you would think that. I actually, I understand why people would think that, but then if you use it, it could be such a lifesaver. Alright, Hollow Knight. Could you stop? Swanging on him. Swanging on him. Okay, I keep missing with the second swang. But he's also missing with his swangs. Down he goes. Alright. Another door opened with the King's Ring. We can take that bad boy off. That Mikolash sound, man. That freaking Mikolash sound. Alright, alright, alright. What am I wearing? I got the silver super ring on. I got that silver super ring on. Let's roll. Into the memory I go. Did I said the bonfire? I did, right? Doesn't really matter either way. As long as my broadsword's in good uh, condition. In the memory of. One cannot reside within the memory for long. Gotta go faster. Where's Pursuer? I'm supposed to be fighting Pursuer here. Where's Pursuer? Look at that head roll. Uh, I can't see a fucking thing. Ooh, still dodged, still dodged Giant Lord, despite the fact that I couldn't really even see. Pro, pro strats right there. Not bad damage per hit. Have a lot of stamina, so we can swing a lot, and I have that Chloranthi ring plus one on, so we get my stamina back nice and quick as well. Stomp! Whoa, that foot! That was a weird stomp. It like lifted up in the air on the platform, doing a sword swang. I'm all the way back behind his ankles already, so the sword swang missing. Giant Lord, just a little sluggish. Giant Lord's just a little bit sluggish. And you gonna stomp? I'm gonna swang. Boom! Wait, he's not dead? Oh, he's dead. Tough fight, man. Real tough. Plenty of souls, plenty of souls. Don't mind if I do. Got the soul of a giant as well, and we're out of there. That was it. That was it for Giant Lord. Homie ain't got squat. Homie ain't got squat. He dead now. Boom. He dead now. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, is there soul of a soul of a? Yeah, he does give you a soul. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. That's enough of that. All right. 
167,000 souls. Don't mind if I do. We gotta travel around anyway, so I might as well go to Majula. I guess I don't have to travel around, but it's probably just easiest for me to go back to Forest of the Fallen Giants and do the memories from there. Thanks for stopping by the streams. Help me, helps, me, helps make me feel less alone. You're talking to, talking to Bogotus, I'm sure. I'm sorry I don't stop by more uh, Dishonored Ninja. Feel bad. I feel bad. Alright. Endurance! I love stamina, man. I love stamina. A lot of souls spent on stamina all at once. <laughs> Alright, we've got memories to access. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I would like to get all five giant souls that I can get in order to lower... In order to lower Vendrick's resistances down to... Uh you know, what they're supposed to be. Not to get rid of all multipliers. To get rid of all multipliers of Vendrix resistances, I would like to have five giants memories. Giant souls? Five giant souls, yes. Yeah, I feel bad, bitch. It's not like you have a life or anything. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of, like, job hunting lately, but luckily that's over. I got a job that I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a better one uh, with ease. And I want to, I want you know, I'm happy, I'm, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I was honestly enjoying that one. That teacher is an effing scumbag. <laughs> Sounded in his last live stream. Dang, I'm missing out. JK, of course, I appreciate when you drop by, but I don't expect it by any means. Ard. But Godus was making me feel bad the other day because I could have raided you and I raided somebody else instead. And I was like, I was looking for somebody to raid and he was like, Dishonor Ninja. And I was like... Shit, I just said I was going to raid this other person. You're right, I should raid Dishonor Ninja. I'll do it next time. Next time next time I'm in my stream and I catch you live, doesn't matter. it doesn't matter who else is streaming. I gotta raid my, I gotta raid my boy Dishonor Ninja. Alright. Uh, ew, he like puked in his hand and threw it at me. What the hell was that, dude? Trying to spread his sickness. Only needs to go to the doctor. You got the job you wanted? Dope, congrats. Hell yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I got it. It's, uh... Ooh, wow, I didn't expect to get clobbered like that. I can't go between this guy's legs. Get me that! What the fuck? Run. Run! I'm dead, aren't I? Holy shit, I'm still alive. Oh my god, I thought I was about to die. I didn't expect that fireball. Where the hell did that fireball come from? That was so scary. That was so scary. Almost almost got set back to three deaths, which at that point wasn't even the point of continuing, other than practice, I guess. But if I'm not if I'm not setting a new personal best, man. I'd be upset. I'm gonna be so upset if this playthrough I don't set a new personal best. I just can't believe I died in such newbie ways, man. Fucking Shrine of Amana got me. It's because I didn't jump up on the ramp. It was like this ramp I always jump up on in Shrine of Amana, and I didn't jump up on it. And guess what? Then I died. Forlorn again, man. Forlorn's loving me today. I've been getting so many Forlorn invasions, it's wild. I'll just fight him right in this area, I think. Am I still getting chased by knights? We'll see, I guess. It was grout cleaning, right? Yeah, that's the one. I know a little bit about it thanks to my uncle who owned a business in it for a while. Ah. Yes, it will be grout cleaning. I don't know anything about it, but the guy who hired me is happy to train me. He said that's fine, that I don't know any... Uh, he's he said it's fine, I don't have any experience. Uh, because I don't have any bad habits to break then. He can just show me his way and I won't know any other way besides the way he wants me to do it. Like, cool. I don't know where Forlorn is. I don't think I can access the memory with Forlorn here. We could try, but I don't think it's going to work. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to kill Forlorn before we access the memory. Oh, there's going to be a fog wall up, isn't there? So Forlorn will just get sent home when I go through the fog wall. Yeah, I forgot about that. forgot about that part. All right, just get me through. Forlorn's gone. I've already fought him, like, three times this playthrough. Maybe only twice, but he's been invading a lot today. He's been invading, he's been invading a lot. But he's nowhere to be found. I don't feel like searching for him and he just got sent home by the fog wall. The opposite of when job requires college degrees. Forget everything you knew. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. All right. I always thought you had to go all the way upstairs. Honestly though, I think I'm still going to do it. Going all the way upstairs seems kind of safe, especially if I throw that silver cat ring on. We're not going to be fighting anything, so Silver Cat Ring can go on instead of Ring of Blades. So going all the way upstairs is kind of unnecessary because I'm just going to end up going all the way back down to the bottom floor and 
you can get outside on the bottom floor without going all the way up here. However, if I go all the way up here, I can just like skip right over. There's a bunch of enemies fighting down below. And I can just kind of avoid all of that. If I just go up here, there's this little platform that appears with the silver cat ring. I don't even take fall damage and boom. I didn't have to like get attacked by anything. Zero risk. I think even if I miss the platform wearing the silver cat ring, I would still survive. You wanted me to have this education. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, oh boy. College, totally necessary. I mean, it could be good. You can make good money by going to college. I'm like not in a good spot financially, so I don't know. But you can end up screwed financially because of college as well. I don't know, man. It's a weird world. It's a weird, it's a weird world and nothing is simple. Nothing is simple. All right, so I should have four Giants Memories. I have four Giants Memories, but I want to get the fifth one, which means we're headed to Black Gulch. So we go to Black Gulch, go to the mouth, as uh, as Grandall would say, he loves saying the mouth. Where am I at right now? Okay. Let's run, run, run. Run! Run! Oh, I got poisoned. Okay, we just drop off. Ooh, that was so fucking close, dude. I dropped off in the wrong spot, and the fact that I made it, it was a miracle, because I barely did. Holy shit, that was almost the third death. Should have taken my time. Should have taken my time. I'm still alive, but, oh, dude. Barely. By the hairs on my chinny-chin-chin. I'm still alive. That was close. That was way too close for comfort, dude. Holy shit. Alright, so we have to kill the two giants in here. I usually like to do some uh, baiting and kiting, and one of them de-aggros, and I re-aggro another. It's... I guess you could argue this is cheese, but as I always say, I just care about cheese and bosses. I don't want to cheese any bosses, but regular enemies? Fair game to cheese. Okay, let's just hope I don't get launched. You can get launched off the edge. Yeah, he's coming further this way. Are they both there? This is bad, actually. I'm gonna bail behind them, because this is not... That did not go the way it was supposed to. They, one of them was supposed to de-aggro, or they both de-aggro, and then I can go and re-aggro one of them after they both de-aggro. That's not at all what happened. No, they just kept going in that cave. Are they stuck? No, they're coming back out. This is uh, not a great situation. I'm amazed that didn't hit me, to tell you the truth. Is he still swinging? I'm not great at these giants. That one's trying to get me from... Oh, I guess he did. I can't... I can't really defend Dark Souls 2 hitboxes all the time. There's... There's... There's a high number of some giant hitboxes. Which just hit me there. Definitely want to kill one and then the other. I should be separating them, though, and... Not doing a good job of that. I'm gonna run back in here. Keep my HP topped off. You never know what could be the difference between life or death. They should de-aggro. I don't want to be too close to this edge. He's still coming this way, isn't he? No, I think he stopped. Wow, he's really... They're really booking it back to their spawn points. I hate when they do that. They don't always move fast. But for some reason, they like to move really fast to get back to their spawn points. That guy's still, like, de-aggro, though. Do you see that? He's just standing there. Well, I said that, and then he started moving. Got the one halfway dead, which is good. Oh, I didn't expect him to spin around like a Dark Souls 3 boss. Oh, come on, man. One of them, please. Jug him. Okay, that guy's gonna jump and slam. I can wail up on this guy. Okay, yeah, that was kind of a bad call on my part. Oh, go in the cave then. Ah, I fell to my death. I'm gonna do worse than my previous attempt, dude. I'm doing so bad today. I'm doing so fucking bad. Three is my personal best, and now we're at three again, so. Officially no new personal best set today. That sucks. That sucks so bad, dude. Ugh. Let's see if I can tie my personal best. I don't know, I've been playing like trash today. I've been playing like absolute trash today. I'm so upset with myself, dude. 
so many silly Billy deaths. It's like, what the hell am I even doing? What the hell am I even doing? Because I ain't doing anything right, that's for sure. These guys were not cooperating with my typical strategy, though. I like to get both their attention. I run in here. One of them de or they both de -aggro. I go get the attention of one of them, and I can have a little 1v1. That's how it's supposed to go. Is that what happened here? Do I just have one? No, I think there's another one behind him. Great. So they're still both after me. They're going way too far down this cave. This is fucked. This is not supposed to go this way. This is not how this is supposed to go at all. I've never seen them go this deep into this cave. I've never, I've never seen them get this deep in the cave. This is wild to me that they've even done this. I don't even... I'm... Ugh. I'm fucking irritated. I'm fucking irritated with these giants, dude. I don't know how I didn't get hit right there. All my homies love Dark Souls 2 for real? Hey, how you doing, Jet? No, I love Dark Souls 2 as well, but I'm, I'm upset because I've been dying like a scrub today. I don't know. My personal best is three deaths, and I just died a third time falling to my death, and we're not even at some of the hardest parts of this game, aka the DLC, so I don't know. I'll probably do worse than my personal best this playthrough, which is a shame. It's really a shame. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not one to typically take it easy on myself, so I'm, I'm pretty upset. I've been playing like trash today. I've been dying... I, I, I died making a silly mistake that I know better than what been doing that, but apparently not today. I couldn't remember to not go and get myself trapped in this... I, the first death. The first death I got trapped in this tiny little tunnel. It's on the way to Skeleton Lords, and there's this tiny little tunnel that a necromancer is in, and I know better than to try to kill that necromancer. But I was like, I want to kill this necromancer. So I went in the tiny little tunnel, and what do you know? I got trapped between a pack of skeletons and the necromancer, and I have got no poise, so they just beat on me, and I couldn't really do anything until I was dead. So that was the first death, something that I know better than to do. There's no point in me killing the necromancer. I just run into the cave before skeleton lords grab the estus shard and then get out i don't kill anything in there i'm just supposed to go in the cave get the estus shard and get out i know that's what i'm supposed to do but today for some reason i was like let me kill the necromancer even though i know that's a freaking death trap and what do you know i died in the necromancer death trap so stupid and then the second death was in shrine of amana dude Oh, it's because I jinxed myself. I was talking about how easy Shrine of Amana is in NG compared to NG plus Shrine of Amana. So live stream, live stream rules. I had to, I had to die like a scrub in Shrine of Amana because I was talking about how easy Shrine of Amana is. So that was the second death. And then the third death was just now, when I was fighting those giants, because they did not cooperate whatsoever today. My typical strategy against those giants is to aggro both of them, and then they get both of them de-aggro, and then I can get the aggression of one of them again, but not both of them. So I, I aggro both of them, they both de-aggro, and then I can re-aggro just one of them. And I can have a 1v1, and then another 1v1 against the giants. That's not how it played out at all today, and I had a little bit of a panicky moment, and and I rolled into a cave, and of course there's pits in the cave, so I fell down the pit, and I died. That was the third death. So, if I don't die a single time, the rest of this playthrough, we're on, we're, we're tied with my personal best, but we'll see. I'm just gonna keep going for the sake of practice, but I don't know, man. I'm playing like trash today. Have you tried getting good? Trying. Trying and failing. Isn't that Dark Souls 2? This is Dark Souls 2. I love me some Dark Souls 2. It's not what you say. Don't get me wrong. Dark Souls Trilogy used to take the stop, top spot, but as soon as you touch Dragon, Dragon's Dogma, you fell hard for the game? Interesting. So I do have all five Giants memories, right? Yep, we got five Giants memories. Vendrick should be easy. 
Upsetty spaghetti, dude. That's me today. I am upsetty spaghetti. What kind of rings I got on? What do I usually wear besides this? Nothing. That's it. I'm greedy for them souls. Hacking at Vendrick's ankles. Hey, he's mad. Smacking me. Smacking him. My damage is fantastic. Stamina. Got a huge stamina bar. Big swang and a miss. Same with me, though. What you got next, Vendrick? Show me what you got. Ooh, a little combo action. Some more damage dealt. You back on up. Big ol' swang. Ooh, two big ol' swangs. Slicing and dicing. He's gonna try to chop. He's gonna try to chop. I'm gonna hack and slash. I'm gonna step to the side. Up to the side. I rolled to the side just as good. Well, not just as good. Uses stamina, which is why it's not as good, but plain and safe. Vendrick's going down. You undead son of a bitch. You're going down. You missed, fool. Your right knee has to be decimated by now. I've been hitting nothing but his right knee this whole time. I don't know how that one didn't hit me. I guess he swung over my head. I don't know why they would program him to swing so high. Hacking and whacking at him. Stamina's back. Kendrick goes down. Alright, easy fight. Base game fights. Ain't got nothing. The fact that I've died three times in base game... Bro, I'm pissed. I'm pissed that I've died three times in base game. It's ridiculous. All right, so that is all of... Well, actually, Ventrix optional. Yeah, we're on to optional bosses. I've already done all of the mandatory bosses of base game outside of the final three bosses in the throne room. We're not going to be going there until the very end of the game. So we have Old Dragon Slayer, The Chariot, Belfry Gargoyles, Royal Rat Authority, and Dark Lurker, and then we'll be off to the DLC. I've been drinking a lot of coffee and water. I gotta pee real bad. I'll be right back. It's gonna be quick. It's gonna be quick. Don't you, don't you, don't you go changing that channel.
alright, alright, alright. I am back now. What time are you playing on the weekend, if not tomorrow? Um... I don't know, probably, probably like a little earlier than today, probably, probably like, like when did I start? Cause right, I don't know what time zone you're in right now. It's f like almost 5.30 in the afternoon for me. I've been streaming for four hours and 45 minutes. Um, I'll probably, I'll probably start like eight hours. From, from what time it is right now, I'll probably start eight hours earlier than what time it is right now uh, over the weekend. At least on Saturday, I think. Maybe Sunday. Maybe Sunday I'll do later than that. I don't know exactly to tell you, Keely. I don't I don't have a set schedule. I, I don't know. Um, I've tried having a set schedule in the past, and it was counterintuitive for me. I would actually stream less than they were scheduled because... If I had time to stream when I wasn't scheduled, I would feel like I shouldn't stream because I'm not scheduled to stream. And then I would sometimes cancel streams because I couldn't get to them. You know, stuff would pop up and I'd have to cancel streams that were scheduled. Oh damn, is it over? No, no, it's not over. I was just answering, answering questions coolly over on YouTube. But uh, no, we're continuing. I am pissed because we've died three times and my personal best is three deaths. So we're not setting a new personal best today, which sucks. But um, we're going off to the optional bosses now. We just killed Vendrick, who's like the first optional boss of the playthrough that I go after. Now we're going to go after Old Dragon Slayer, Chariot, Belfry, Gargoyle, Belfry Gargoyles, Royal Rat, Authority, and Dark Lurker. Um, I'm not too worried about any of them. Honestly, the run to Chariot, there's a bit of a risk involved in the, the run to Chariot. So that's a little concerning. And then um, Royal Rat Authority is actually kind of risky. I could possibly die there, but kind of a low chance, but still a possible chance of me dying there. Dark Lurker can get pretty nuts, so. And then we're off to the DLC where everything is pretty nuts, so. And again, this order is all sorts of wrong. I need to fix this. I'm so sorry, everybody. We are not going to. Um, we're not going to a Lamb Lois before we go to. Broom Tower. I'm doing Broom Tower before a Lamb Lois. Let me correct that right now. Flip those around. Boom. There it goes. So we're going to do Sholva, then Broom Tower, then a Lamb Lois. That's the way I'm going to do the DLC. Yeah, the DLCs are always hard. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just died in newbie ways today. The first way I died, like, I know better than that. And hopefully, I, hopefully I'll never do that stupid crap again. The second death, um, I jinxed myself. I was talking about how easy Shrine of Amana is in NG compared to NG+. So, of course, I died in Shrine of Amana. And then um, the giants. There's those two giants that you have to kill to get the Forgotten Key. In my typical strategy, just they weren't cooperating today whatsoever. And I had this panicky moment and I rolled. There's like the There's the cave that has like the Iron Maiden elevator that you go up. And I rolled into that cave trying to get some safety, and of course I rolled right off the edge, and that was the third death. So we've died three times, so we're tied with my personal best. We're getting some good practice in regardless. I'm hoping that we can finish with no more deaths, get a nice tie for the personal best. But even if we don't, we're still getting good practice in. Damn, gravity. Yeah, I know, man. Ah, silver cat ring can't save you from an abyss, unfortunately. And I probably wasn't even wearing it in that moment, to be honest. All right, so Old Dragon Slayer's next. He's a chump. Old Dragon Slayer's ain't gonna stand a chance. I'm just gonna homer bone out of here. Uh, getting to Old Dragon Slayer, we have to fight a little bit. Trying to run to Old Dragon Slayer doesn't work good. Because there's all those enemies and they all chase you up to the, there's like a guardian dragon who is um, the guardian dragon. You have to kill the guardian dragon in order to get to uh, in order to get to old dragon slayer so um we're gonna fight we're gonna fight like all the enemies pretty much on the way there which is a rarity for me i don't usually fight everything on the way to bosses but old dragon slayer it's way less risky to just fight everything on the way there and it'll be easy too because it's like uh, it's like it's it's 
possibly the first area you go to in the game. Actually, it is the first area I go. No, no, I do go to. I do actually go to Fo Forest of the Fallen Giants, but I don't fight any bosses in Forest of the Fallen Giants before I come to Hyde's Tower. Dragon Slayer is the first boss of the playthrough for me. So this area, this late in the game, should be no sweat. Even with the Hyde Knights alive, I'm not really concerned. He's after me. Let's kill this guy off. So it'll just be me versus the knight. Big swing and a miss. Oh, doing the doing the whip around on me, slapping me up. But yeah, he's not doing a lot of damage. We're fine. All right, those two go down. Honestly, that part right there was one of the hardest sections. The other the other part that's hardest coming up in the way to old dragon slayer is there's like a there's a there's a hide knight who have a, has a spear. The one with the spear does not fuck around, man. Pretorius with that soul lair giving me a reason to smile when I'm feeling down about my deaths. Thank you, thank you. My very right, we're just gonna kill big son. man with the sword in the oh, middle first. My dear son, my dear, dear son. The way I see it, what are you doing? Why are you attacking me already? You're not supposed to attack me until after this guy's dead. Two swings and he's down though. These guys always do their full like three swing combo and they should be dead in three hits as well. Well, I don't know why I said as well. The other guy died in two. Alright, down goes these guys. Now there's going to be a Hide Knight and another one of these knights who will come after me. A Hide Knight and then the, the, old, the old knight or whatever they're called. I don't really know exactly. We're just going to go ahead and drink one of these. We don't need all this Estus for the boss. So just play it safe, stay topped up, because these two are hugging each other, man. Wow, they are hugging. We're going to take out big guy first. I can't believe he landed that smack on me. Dude, they're just hugging. All right, cool. We're getting some separation here. But I'd like to see do your little three, three swang combo again. I'll probably get smacked. Yeah, I'm a fool. I'm just getting the shit beat out of me. Seriously. I'm just getting the shit beat out of me. All right, down goes that guy. So it's just me and the knight. He's dead now. All right, now this guy with the spear, we want to be careful. We want to bait him down. If I go up there and fight him, the dragon will wake up, and then it's, like, impossible to cross the bridge with the dragon breathing fire. So we want to get this guy's attention. He's waking, he's waking up now. So you see the dragon is still sleeping, and this guy is coming after me. This is exactly what we want. We forgot the Estus filled so slow. Yeah, I don't know. I'm fine with it. It's a little bit different. The Estus Flash drinking animation itself is a little bit slower too, but honestly, if you compare how slow it is to drink flasks in, like, Dark Souls 3 or Elden Ring, and you, like, keep in mind the tempo of the game, like, Dark Souls 2 has a way slower pace of combat than Dark Souls 3 or Elden Ring, but the Estus Flask drinking animation is only slightly slower. So I actually feel like I get caught drinking Estus more in Dark Souls 3 or Elden Ring than I do in Dark Souls 2. However, there is there is that part in Dark Souls 2 where it um, the health isn't instantly regained. It, it you know it, it's slow like that. Yep. All right. Ancient Dragon coming up. Or not Ancient Dragon. Old Dragon Slayer. He's no problem though. You know, I said that earlier and I jinxed myself and got myself killed, so maybe I should say, He's a big threat! I'm scared of dying right now. We'll see. If I die to this guy, I need to hang up the skates at that point. He's gonna do the butt slam. Classic Dark Souls moment. Where the, the animation of the effect is like over, so you walk in, but then you get hit by it anyway. Smo does the same thing. They fixed it in the remaster, except for on Switch. But like the original on PlayStation 3 and Prepare to Die Edition on PC, Smo's electric butt slam. The electricity dissipates before the hitbox dissipates. They made the electricity last longer in the remaster, so they, they fixed that at least. But not in the not in the version I prefer to play. <laughs> Alright, old Dragon Slayer goes down. Um yeah, that was pretty expected. I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't die to him. Now we have the chariot. I'm a little bit scared of the run to the chariot because, I don't know, it feels like a risk to fight my way to chariot, and it also feels like a risk to run past everything. I have like a neat little trick that I like to use to make the enemies leave me alone when I'm running, well, like, 
before I get to the fog wall, I have a neat little trick that I like to use to make the enemies leave me alone before I go after the fog wall. But that neat little trick requires jumping over a death gap, and then I have to jump the same death gap back onto a bridge, and it's, it's, it's kind of scary stuff. Hey, Better Gaming HD, what about Estus for Demon Souls? You did not find any. Yeah, there's no Estus in Demon Souls, there's the grass. Grass is the only way to go. That's your healing item in Demon Souls, is the grass. Yes, hello, Better Gaming HD, talking over from you too. Nice, nice, nice. Um, it's kind of like Bloodborne in that sense. Bloodborne has the blood vials, Demon Souls has the healing grass. What you want to do is you want to befriend Patches. If you befriend Patches in Demon Souls, he will move to the Nexus, you know, the hub area, the Nexus. Patches will move there, and he sells the cheapest... He has the cheapest prices for grass. He sells... He sells, like, he sells really good grass, and he has the cheapest prices for the grass. Compared to, like, the Dregling Merchant. You can buy nice grass off of the Dregling Merchant, but that guy sells it for a, a higher cost than what Patches does. Okay. Gotta make sure we don't step off the edge here. There's a bridge ain't doing so well. Bridge has seen better days. Okay, so what we want to do, we jump on the right here. This is how I do this every time. Jumping here is really not the scary part. It's jumping back. Sometimes something funny happens with the jump, and you do like this little pathetic jump. Since when do they still listen to battle music? Probably should have just kept it on, honestly. But all these guys kind of de-aggro, and half of them fall off the edge. See, they're all like falling off the edge all over the place. Getting a bunch of free souls as they de-aggro, and I don't, I don't know if they're... I don't really know what they're doing, but they they mess up bad when you jump over here and have them fall off the edge. You killed Firestone thing above him and he attacked you, so he had to kill him, Patches. Well, Patches doesn't attack you. You must have attacked him first. Because you just talked to him. Sucks that you killed Patches, man. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to kill Patches in Demon Souls. Alright. This is the part that scares me, jumping back. Sometimes a little, sometimes you do this little pathetic jump and I'm terrified of it because I know it's possible for me to do this stupid little pathetic jump. <sighs> okay, that was good, that was good. That was what we wanted, hell yes. Okay, now we just kind of bait an attack out of this guy. That's good enough and we get through the fog wall, should be able to. Hell yes, and here we are at the chariots. So we should be fine, we're nice and powerful. Got tons of iframes with 48 adaptability. I've got 111 agility, which means we have 14 iframes every time I dodge roll. It's a lot of freaking iframes. So we already took we already took out one necromancer. We need to go get the other necromancer. Here comes the chariot, dodging through it. More skeletons. All of them under control of this guy, who we just smacked a couple times. He's dead. Now the skeletons will stay dead permanently. I'm gonna run up here and dodge the chariot once again. We're going to come back and start murdering skeletons. Let's get this guy with the bow. Down he goes. I think that's it for the skeletons. Chariot coming around. I need to pull the lever. Pull the lever. Yeah, it seems all the skeletons are dead. Good, that's exactly what we want. This fight itself, this late in the game, this fight is nothing. I'm just always kind of scared of the bridge jump. This freaks me out. Freaks me out because I know sometimes you do this little fuddy-duddy jump that doesn't actually get you across the gap. And then you fall to your death. And that is what I don't want to happen, obviously. And I don't really know why the fuddy-duddy jump happens sometimes, but sometimes a fuddy-duddy- sometimes a little fuddy-duddy jump happens. It's no good. That was a weird attack. Oh, it's gonna slam down. I thought it was gonna die in that next hit, and then it didn't. Alright, Executioner's Chariot goes down, no surprise. Once we get in the fog wall, the boss fight's practically over when you come here this late in the game. Belfry Gargoyles is what's coming up next. They're a little bit scarier, but once again, with this broadsword being plus 10, it's a raw broadsword plus 10, dealing, ooh, 306 damage per hit. That's pretty damn good for these bosses. Alright, Homer Bone out of here. But Desiderium said that standard adaptability is fine in Dark Souls 2. My gosh, Desiderium. I can't believe you're bringing up Desiderium, Better Gaming HD. I didn't think anybody remembered that guy but me. It's been a long time since I've seen Desiderium. Damn, missed the old guy in our arguments. Dude, standard adaptability is not fine. I don't, I don't even remember him saying that, but I, I believe it. Uh-uh, dude. Yeah, do, do frigid outskirts. 
with standard adaptability. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. That's why I go all the way to 14. I would I would go to 13 adaptability, and that would be fine. But, like, I'm so scared of frigid outskirts that I go all the way to 14 iframes. Just, pretty much just because of frigid outskirts. Alright, so, uh, gargoyles. They are back in the Lost Steel Servants' Quarters. I haven't used the Fragrant Branch. No, what's it called? Pharaoh's Lockstone. I have not used the Pharaoh's Lockstone, but we have like five or six of them, and I only used the one here. So we'll be fine. Uh, not wearing the silver cat ring, but whatever, I'll just plop. I think I already killed the Pursuer down here, though. I think I came down here and killed the Pursuer early in the playthrough. I just didn't do the Lockstone. Yeah. Tony Ages, I believe, is what is Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3 with perfect iframe. What? No, it's it's 13 in, in like all of them. Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 3, Elden Ring. They all have 13 iframes when you dodge roll. Um at least when you when you light when you light roll. And the other one's medium roll as well, except for Dark Souls 1. And Demon Souls doesn't have a medium roll, it just has the regular roll and the fat roll. So Demon Souls regular roll is 13 iframes. Dark Souls 1 light roll is 13 iframes. Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring light and medium roll both have 13 iframes. Uh, Dark Souls 2, it depends on your adaptability. And, well, actually, it depends on your agility, not your adaptability. And then uh, in Bloodborne, you have 11 iframes when you dash or dodge roll. It's only 11 iframes in that game. So less, less, less in Bloodborne. I don't know, 28, dude. Holy shit, that'd be a lot of frames, man. 28? That'd be a lot of frames. It's like a full second. It's like a full second of invincibility at 30 FPS. Playing at 30 FPS, you dodge roll, you get 28 frames of dodge roll, and goodness. 28 adaptability. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Um, I, I know it's 105 agility, I'm pretty sure. I don't know exactly what level that is. 28, 28 sounds about right, but your, um, your attunement affects your agility as well. So you can have you can have higher agility by leveling attunement, but adaptability affects it a lot more. But attunement attunement also comes into play. So it's 105 agility. I'm at 111 agility, so I've got more than the average bear. I thought at least no 28 sounds about right. 28 sounds about right. Might even be a little high, honestly. Might be lower than 28. Ow, fucking firebombs at me. Not cool, dude. Slashed him up, though. The door is open. Probably don't need all 11, so we're walking and popped off. Attunement as well, I remember, but it scales meagerly in comparison about, yeah, compared to adaptability. Yes, you are exactly right about that. Um, I almost want to wear the steel, ring of steel protection. I don't know how many souls they give you, but I feel like it's not that many. We'll be all right, though. We'll be all right. I'm going in. Back me up, Vito. All right, gargoyles coming to life. I'm a smack. That did like no damage, but I think I think he had resistance or something because of the spawn in animation. Yeah, I hit him before he was done doing his spawn in anim spawn in animation. One gargoyle down. Like seven more where those came from. I'm not spamming rolls during this fight. No, thank you. I don't want to get overwhelmed. Thank you, Bagotus, for the rolling, 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 making me remember what I need to do in this game. Okay, well, I rolled at a terrible time. Drink one of these flasks. My HP is down to like two thirds, and I like to be nice and safe. Okay. Kind of standing next to each other, and I'm just getting the shit beat out of me. Playing like slop, because I can get away with it coming to this fight this late in the game. But this is why I go to these fights this late in the game, just to reduce the risk. There's no point in coming here earlier in the game when it's a way more challenging, way more risky fight. I can mitigate the risk significantly by coming here this late. And then the damage they do is kind of pathetic. The damage I deal is fantastic. And I believe it's just this one gargoyle that's left. And this is with a slash type weapon. Imagine if I was using a hammer. If I was using, that, if I was using like a mace plus 10 instead of the broadsword plus 10, this would be... Exactly. Get two birds stoned at once. Yeah, man. Getting these... Getting getting all... I don't know how many spawned. It's like seven or something. Let's, is it five? One, two, three, four, five. It's five. I knew it was a... 
I knew it was an odd number. I just had too high of a number. Getting five birds stoned at once, man. Hey, Patrick Skoglund, also talking over on YouTube. A lot of people talking from over on YouTube today. Good to have you guys here. In case you do not know, I kind of consider myself a Twitch streamer these days. I'm just on YouTube through multicasting. If you're interested in watching on Twitch, you can earn channel points. You get to see your messages on screen. You get to redeem your channel points. Uh, um, also, the Gamba. I died in base game. I'm just gonna I'm I'm just gonna refund the points though because there's no doubters. The doubters won. I died again in base game. But we're just gonna return the points because there was only believers. I'm gonna start a new prediction. Start a new prediction so you can gamble your channel points. Will I die again this whole playthrough? No 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 we say. No more deaths? Question mark. Will I play the rest of this? Will I get through the rest of these bosses that are on this list here? Will I get through all of those without dying again? Yes, no deaths will be option number one. No more. I'll put no more deaths. Yes, no more deaths. Or no, you will die again. We're gonna make this a mission period. Hmm. We got Dark Lurker coming up. Alright, we'll make it 30 minutes. 30 more minutes. Will I die again? Gamble your channel points. We got a 30 30 minute 30 minutes of being able to pick. Alright, alright, alright. Whoa, I've got all these boss souls. When did that happen? Is it regular NG or plus? No, it's regular NG. I don't... Who does... Who does no death runs in NG plus? I mean, I guess you could, but... When you do no... When you do no death runs, I feel like you you start a new character. You start a new character, like always. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Alright. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We're just gonna homeward bone out of here. And did I cross off Belfry Gargoyles? I forgot to cross off Belfry Gargoyles. Or Belfry? I think it might be Belfry. Pretty sure it's Belfry Gargoyles is actually the pronunciation. I always say Belfry because that's what it looks like. But it's Belfry, like Butterfree. Royal Rat Authority is coming up next. I'm actually a little scared of Royal Rat Authority, to tell you the truth. They could be scary. <laughs> oh, yeah? Rick's Rick's not believing, huh, Bigotus? I use Twitch mainly for getting footage. You haven't tried streaming on YouTube yet. Ah, okay. Never mind. He's not, he's not being a doubter or anything. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um... Streaming to YouTube's fine. I like, I like, I like that the recordings get saved forever. You know, Twitch, Twitch only saves the stream recording for two weeks, which is not great in comparison to YouTube's forever. But I don't know. I felt like, I feel like YouTube is a little bit more strict with like, you got to be family friendly. <laughs> Solar again, HLX. Good to have you here, man. I think it's the third time we're seeing Solar today. I love Solar though. Oh. My all right, all right, son, all right. What am I doing? My dear, dear son. The way, the way I, I see, see it, it, our, our fates, fates appear to be intertwined. I can never say it right, man. I always try to say it with him. I know the line. And I know the timing now after I messed it up so much yesterday, but I'm stuttering over my words and stuff. Royal Rat Authority. Yeah, I am actually scared of this boss. Laugh at me if you want, but this boss is scary to me, dude. This boss can... R, Y, N, O. Rip ya a new one and I don't want to get a new one ripped so I'm a little scared also we're gonna get invaded by Guthrie apparently Guthrie is a lady news to me but we're in offline mode because I don't want to get invaded since we're in offline mode Guthrie shows up she trying to cap me we just keep moving she follow me up the ladder I actually got this idea from watching a different streamer do this exact, well, not exact playthrough, because I don't think they do melee only. They might. I actually haven't watched that close. I got toxified, and we're not getting. Oh my god, dude! Stop trying to get up the ladder! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! And Guthrie, and these things biting me. We're gonna die right fucking here, dude! <laughs> oh my god! I'm pathetic today, dude. I'm pathetic today. It's so sad. It's so sad. It's so sad. Well, that Gambit died pretty quick. So yeah, we're not we're not tying with a personal best. 
officially doing worse today than my personal best. We're at four deaths. My personal best is three. I'm just playing like a scrub today. I'm just playing like a scrub today, dude. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Rick, you missed Mixer, even though you only used it for a few months before it got taken down. I never really used Mixer at all. I don't know anything about it. You get toxic at the beginning, it's a problem. <sighs> May help to have divine blessings on hand. Don't you have to like sit down? Oh, and divine blessings, you just chug them in this game. You just chug divine blessings in this game. I remember back in the day, like five, six years ago, when you tried no death run on Dark Souls 1. That's how I found you. Nice, nice. <sighs> I'm so upset, dude. I'm so upset. I think maybe we kill these things. Okay, where's my fucking weapon? What is that? Why did I have my weapon tucked to my side? Now I'll just have. Maybe just one. Maybe I could just kill that other one. I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe that just happened. So ridiculous. So ridiculous, man. How did I let that happen? It's because he... I wouldn't get on the damn ladder. That's why. Maybe we just kill these things? Because they're easy enough to kill at this point in the game. And it seems like way less risk than keeping them alive. Since they can stop me from getting on the ladder. Why don't you come over for a drink? Just got home again, Ard? Oh, Ruben. So I stopped out of my mom's house, and I see a friend passing by. He shouted, why don't you stop? O come over for a drink? You just got home. Good to have you back, Ruben. Thank you for the long lurk. Uh, yeah, we're playing like trash today. As you can see, we've died four times. So, yeah, I, I, I'm doing worse than my personal best. My personal best is three deaths. We're going to keep going, because, I don't know, I could use the practice, obviously. And we're learning little things that can kill me. I need to. I still got tricks that I need to do to help me stay alive. So I'm thinking on the way to Royal Rat Authority. Kill dogs on the way. Give myself a little note for future reference. Hopefully I'll see it in the future and remember, yeah, we need to kill the dogs on the way to Royal Rat Authority. Otherwise, I'm going to end up dead, perhaps. It's never happened to me before. I've never died there before. And I've been doing a good amount of Dark Souls 2 no-death attempts. But, you know, you find new ways to die every playthrough, I guess. Man, that stings. That stings. They've all stung. All the deaths today. It's been newbie death after newbie death. I haven't died to a boss at all. Dark Souls 2 is most unpredictable, as always. How did I die, you're wondering, Patrick Skogland? I got... The freaking... The little toxic dogs toxified me, and then, then they hit me again before I could heal, and I was, I was dead. <sighs> the only time I have the sense to use them is when you fight Sin. Ah... Yeah, I don't know. I just bring repair powders and try my best to not get poisoned. I probably have this aged feather on. I shouldn't. I don't like having three things on. Alright, man. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. We gotta kill the little dogs. Otherwise, we'll be in trouble. We gotta kill them quick. Big dog shows up fast. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm toxified. And there's still three dogs alive. This is gonna happen. Just like I died a second ago. We're gonna die again! Holy shit, dude. Get up, please. I need to heal now. Little dog coming to cancel it. Oh, thank you, big dog. Thank you, big dog, for hitting the little dog. Oh, man, I hate this fight. I hate this fight. Okay, thank you, big dog. Thank you, big dog. Can you I can't hit them? Never mind. Not thank you, big dog. I thought, I thought thank you, big dog, but then I couldn't hit the little ones while they're on the ground. So never mind. I need to kill them before I get toxified again. Oh my god, why can't I get them? This is such a disaster. Like I said, I'm playing like trash today. Just playing like absolute trash today, and I hate myself for it so much. Die. Alright, now we just got one little dog. They're the real threat. The big dog ain't got nothing in comparison to these freaking toxic, stunning little dogs. It's craziness. This is just craziness. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we... Maybe we, like... Maybe I start thinking about poise? I don't know. I never think about poison Dark Souls 2, to tell you the truth. I, like, never think about it. The fact that I didn't die is such a miracle. It's such a miracle that I didn't die. We got this in the bag now that it's just me versus Big Dog. Poison's still wearing down my HP, but it's alright. Poison's about to be gone. The toxic is about to be gone. So it's just me versus Big Dog, and... It's 
nothing really. It's got nothing really, but I just... That was so bad. I don't know. That was so bad. It's like, I don't even... I don't even know what to think. Uh... Other than, like, maybe I should have poise, but I... I don't know. I don't want to level vitality a whole bunch. I would prefer very much to not level vitality a whole bunch. Maybe I could just, like, armor up just for this fight? I don't know, man. I don't like that at all. You see why I saved this boss fight for so late? This boss fight's horrifying, man. The chance of death in this boss fight for me is so crazy high. If I don't kill those little dogs off fast, which I did not kill those little dogs off fast at all, like, the chance of death is crazy high. It's really, really bad. Usually just ignore Poison Dark Souls 2 and stick with armor that gets you extra souls. I mean, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm wearing this armor that gives me extra souls. That was scary, indeed. What does the royal rat... Why does the royal rat look like a dog? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they're dogs that kill rats. I don't know, man. Or maybe they're dogs that kill rats. That's what I meant to say. Did I say it the other way around? Maybe they're dogs that kill rats. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I know the lore is probably not that at all. We got Dark Lurker coming up next. I love Dark Lurker, but dude, I'm terrified. I'm terrified right now of everything. The way I've been playing today, I'm officially terrified of everything. But yeah, I, I don't know. That feels like way too big of a risk. Every playthrough, to, to have that fight be that much of a risk every playthrough, it just... I, I don't know. I need I need to come up with a solution for that. I can't really think of a better one than poise, but I, I don't know. Like maybe, maybe I just maybe I just wear some poisey armor just for that fight. Say screw the long distance dodge rolls. I can just have short distance dodge rolls and have poise. I don't know. Is broadsword important for this run? It's just what I want to use. Hey, don't talk trash about broadsword, okay? I love Broadsword. I know there's better weapons, I don't care. I use Broadsword in all of them. Demon Souls, Broadsword. Dark Souls 1, Broadsword. Dark Souls 2, Broadsword. Dark Souls 3, Broadsword. Elden Ring, Broadsword. It's my choice. It's the weapon I want to use. Uh, I, I get more fun out of it. Yeah, I could just use Black Knight Halberd in Dark Souls 1. But at that point, are you, are you really fighting anything? Or are you just more walking to fights and then melting the boss? I'd rather actually fight the bosses. So I like using I like using the dinky weapon. I like using the dinky weapon. I don't know why I skipped that track. I just I, just, I wasn't feeling it, so I skipped it. All right, Grandall, let's roll. I die more. I die here more than I died to Throne Watcher and Throne Defender. I believe it, Rick. I believe it. I have no doubt about that. Like I said, I need to come up with a solution for that one. I'm thinking maybe poise. And most of the times I couldn't hit the dogs because they were laying on the ground, which I think maybe they just had iframes. I don't think it had to do with my weapon. The big dog would, like, knock the little dogs down. And then I wasn't able to hit them while they were down on the ground. But I don't know if that was a broadsword issue. Ooh, I might have aggroed more than I meant to. I think I just... I may have made things, har I may have made things harder for myself than I should have. It looks like we're good. I don't see the pyromancer. I got lucky the pyromancer didn't notice me. I didn't mean to walk that far down the slope despite the fact that i walked further down the slope oh no they noticed me they noticed they're on their way up son of a bitch man we need to get these we need to get this guy killed off asap i don't know what happened to the pyromancer i saw him on the way up and now he's not coming anymore run back here chugging one of these making sure i don't get backstabbed by turning around this guy despite his heavy heavy armor has like no poise for some reason until he has hyper armor swinging his weapon all right down goes that guy he's the major threat Ooh, a bonfire ascetic. I'll never use that. Not this playthrough. Bonfire ascetics were sick, but not during, like, no death practice. I don't use bonfire ascetics. Alright, pyromancer over here. Yeah, this is weird. This guy was, like, aggroed. I saw him running up the slope, and then he de-aggroed? That's really strange. That's really strange. But whatever. He ain't got nothing compared to dual great demon hammer guy. He's almost dead. If I could just land the freaking hit on him, he keeps rolling away from me. Slap him down. Hey, get over here. Get over here. Alright. We need to kill little homie, too. I like how I can see his reflection in the water. 
He's on the other side of this rock, so you should not be able to see him in the reflection of the water, but I guess there's no rocks in the reflections, so you can just see the enemy through the rock in the reflection. I do have, I do have, uh, flame butterflies. Okay. Yeah, you cannot light, you have to light these flames in the dark chasms of old, and if you don't have flame butterflies, you just straight up can't do it. Even if you try to bring a torch in here, like, if you, if you bring a torch to where Grandal teleports you in to the dark chasm of old, you will spawn in the dark chasm of old without a torch. It's great. So you gotta have flame butterflies in order to complete these, which is... A little crazy, but that's all right. I always make sure I have flame butterflies. Yo, hey, yo, 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 hey, 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 yo, yo. All right, he's coming up here. This guy, it's so crazy, his lack of poise. And he's not power stancing, despite the fact that he's got two great hammers. He does the one, he does the one handed move set with both of them. So he just has he just has a great hammer in his right hand as well as a great hammer in his left hand, but he's not power stancing them. He's just one-handing two hammers. Which is kind of funny. It's just it's just a strange just a strange choice, I feel like, for, to have this guy not be power stancing when it seems very much like he should be power stancing his weapons. He's just not. Took him down, no problem. These other two chumps got squat. And those are the last two enemies of this dark chasm. The dude's like trying to get to me, but he's stuck. I guess we'll come down to them. Killed the weird wizard dude. Got this pyromancer, the Jeremiah wannabe. Be hacking and whacking and slashing at him though. Trapped in a little corner. <laughs> Got him really trapped in a little corner. He's trying to, ow, hit me with combustion or something. But that's it. He's dead. All right. No sweat. I mean, a little bit of sweat at the beginning, but whatever. We made it through, and you drop off here. That's it for that dark chasm. Hey, hey, Agnes Falls. Good to have you here. Let me out. More like, let me out. Let me out. All right. So, I'm a little upset today. Agnes Falls to fill you in. My personal best is three deaths, and we've died four times today, so... Doing worse this playthrough than my personal best playthrough of three deaths only, and honestly, all the deaths were pretty newbie. I haven't died to any, like, tough bosses or anything. You could argue I've been to barely any tough bosses this whole playthrough, because we haven't even gone to the DLC yet. We're going to be going after Dark Lurker right now, if that wasn't obvious by me going through the Dark Chasms of Old. So we have Dark Lurker. Dark Lurker is the last base game boss that is not in the final throne room. There's still all three bosses alive in the final throne room, but we're saving that for the end. So Dark Lurker is the last base game boss. Then it's off to Shulva. Then it's off to Broom Tower. Then it's off to Aleum Lois. All right, so where do we need to go next? I want to go to under Castle Drang Lake. I like saving the, um, I like saving the shaded ruins. I like saving the shaded ruins, dark chasm of old for last, because the last dark chasm of old that you do is the boss run essentially to Dark Lurker, and I find that one to be the easiest. So I want to have the easiest boss run to Dark Lurker. So therefore, I save the shaded ruins one. Give him a human effigy, and he will open up the portal. This Dark Chasm of Old is kind of scary, too. There's this Havel Knight in here. Apparently, apparently, like, Dark Souls 2, um, I think it's like the manual or something? It refers to this enemy as a chip off the old rock. Like, Havel the rock? Chip off the old rock. But I just call him a Havel Knight. And he's the scariest part about this. I, I wonder where the best place for me to fight him is without chance of falling to my death. It seems like no matter where I fight him, I'm in risk of falling to my death. I'm also in risk of aggroing multiple enemies and having to deal with a big cluster, which would be no good. So you basically give yourself additional challenge by using broadsword. Yeah, it's it's melee only, and, and I try to do broadsword only as much as possible. I say, I'll say broadsword only in Demon Souls, because you can start with broadsword. I'll say broadsword only in Dark Souls 2, because you can start with the broadsword. And I say broadsword only in Elden Ring. You can start with the broadsword, but I actually don't. I start as a wretch, 
but I can run around in Elden Ring and acquire golden runes. I can pop the golden runes, and then I can go buy the broadsword. So I don't have to fight anything in Elden Ring without the broadsword, even though I choose Wretch, who doesn't start with the broadsword. I still don't fight anything until I have the broadsword. So for those three, it's broadsword only. And then for Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3... I say melee only, it practically is broadsword only, but you can't start with a broadsword in Dark Souls 1, and I'm not about to punch out uh, Stray Demon. I don't want to punch out Stray Demon, so uh, I, I, uh, I, I just say melee only because we have to kill Stray Demon with something besides the broadsword, and then I can make my way to Andre and purchase the broadsword. Dark Souls 3 is kind of a similar thing, you cannot start with the broadsword. Uh, and I don't want to, I don't want to punch out Udex Gundir, so I, I, I start with a long sword, I kill, I kill Gundir, and then I, and then I go to get the broadsword as soon as possible. So it's pretty much broadsword only, I could probably say broadsword only and get away with it, because it's broadsword only for everything except for the tutorial boss, but whatever. And then, uh, in, in, um, not cheesing ceaseless discharge would be nice, shut up Ruben! Uh, you know, you know you're just trolling me. You know you're just trolling me. I don't do no cheese against ceaseless discharge. I use the gimmick that is intended for that gimmick boss fight. Um, and then, um, Bloodborne, I use saw cleaver only. So, I don't, I don't even allow parrying. I don't parry in Bloodborne, because I'm not allowed to use the gun. So it's saw cleaver only in Bloodborne. And then for Sekiro... Um, I want to do katana only, so I won't be using I won't be using prosthetics. Um, I'm also honestly I just don't really like using the what are they called like arts of war? What is it exactly? I can't remember the name of what it is, but like you press L1 and R1 at the same time to do them, and that fucks me up because you're constantly switching between L1 and R1 very rapidly in Sekiro. So sometimes I accidentally use the ability if I have an ability equipped. So I just prefer not to use them, actually. Um, and then also, I don't really use any ninjutsus. So I don't use any ninjutsus. I don't use any of the combat abilities, whatever they're called. I don't use any prosthetics. That's how I do it in Sekiro. So yeah, I just hate myself, I guess. When Elden Ring came out, you could let the fire giant fall to his death. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's the difference between like a glitch and something they animated into the game. What's this? What's with this clickbait title? I thought this was supposed to be a no death run. You guys are just, you guys are just mean, okay? Yeah, I fucked up and I died four times in newbie ways and I'm real pissed about it because my personal best is three deaths and I was really hoping I could beat my personal best today, if not end up with zero deaths. But we're all the way up to four deaths and I haven't even gone to the DLC yet where the game actually gets hard. So just rub salt in my wound, Michael. Just rub salt in my wound. Thanks for that. We aren't mean, we're just chat. You can be both. You can be both, okay? Saw Spear is better in my opinion. Well, you can't get Saw Spear until when? Takes a little bit. Takes a little bit to get to Saw, Cle Saw Spear. I'm scared of this chip off the old rock, to be honest with you. This chip off the old rock scares the shit out of me. There he is. I have a decent strategy, actually. I just remembered it. You can abuse the poise mechanics a little bit in this game by using a guard break. Hit him. Fuck, it didn't work. I hit him too I hit him too late after. I don't want to walk too far this way. This is where other enemies are. I'll get more I'll get more enemies aggroed on me if I walk too far that way. I blocked it. Because I don't want to roll off the edge. Dude, he scares the shit out of me. It's the ed it's him and the edges combined. With Havel plus gravity, dude. A Havel Knight plus gravity, like scary business. Ah, oh, see. I'm afraid to dodge around. I'm afraid to dodge around. That's why he's hitting me so much. Because I'm just straight up afraid. I'm trying to get him with a guard break. And Oh, wait. There we go. Keep hitting him. He might go off the edge. He might go off the edge. Hell yes. Wait, he's stuck. Okay, there he goes. So, it never goes smoothly. That fight never goes smoothly. But the rest of this Dark Chasm of Old is nothing. That's the only hard part. The rest of this is nothing. So I don't even need the battle music anymore, honestly. As much as I love the battle arena from Donkey Kong 64, we don't need it. Alright, we have this Rogier wannabe. He can be a little scary with that attack. You just gotta watch out for that. Ow. Nice backstep, dude. 
That was a solid back step. I gotta give it to you. I'm gonna bait and attack out. I don't want to get, like, caught in his crazy pokes. Man, he's being, being a little pain in the ass, ain't he? Okay, he's not stunning at all, which is weird. Now he's getting stunned. It's R1 spamming the shit out of him. Classic straight sword gameplay. That's the scary attack. I think I said some other combo he did was the scary attack, but no, that was actually the one where it pokes a whole bunch rapidly. Alright, we're almost done with this Dark Chasm already. There's one more enemy, and honestly, she falls off the edge most of the time. You can run to it without killing anything. Well, it doesn't count as completing it. And also, I'm pretty sure you're wrong. There's a fog wall. You have to light this thing, and you have to kill all of the enemies in order to complete the Dark Chasm of old. Better gaming HD, you play without lock-on, and Spirit is not really good for playing not being locked. I do a little mix of both. Sometimes I lock on, sometimes I don't. Kind of depends on how I'm feeling in the moment. Alright, 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 alright. Alright. Yeah, look, there's a fog wall. You have to kill everything. You can't get through. There's a fog wall. It, there's literally a fog wall blocking you. So you have to kill everything in order to exit. This lady, a lot of times she just falls off the edge, especially if you get her attacking at you. She can, like, do this little combo, and there she goes. Yep, just like that. She does the little combo, and she stays locked onto you, so if you change your position while she's mid-combo to, like, make her fall in the pit, she falls in the pit. And that's that. That's that for that Dark Chasm of Old. The last Dark Chasm of Old, I think, is the easiest one, and we have Dark Lurker after, immediately after. You don't get to bonfire or anything, you do the final Dark Chasm of Old, and then instead of spawning back where you started, you spawn in the Dark Lurker boss room. So we have another Dark Chasm of Old to do, Dark Lurker's immediately after it. Alright, 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 so I like to go to Shaded Ruins. Shaded Ruins, I think, is the easiest one, so I save it for last. Yeah, I meant getting to Saw Spear. Oh, I'm sorry, you can just run to it without fighting anything. Where is it at? So did you start to enjoy Dark Souls 3? I remember very vividly how much you disliked it. Um, I've been coming around because it's like Elden Ring 0.5. I like Demon Souls because Demon Souls is like Dark Souls 0.5. And Dark Souls 3 is like Elden Ring 0.5. And I really, really enjoy Elden Ring. So I've been coming around. I've been coming around about Dark Souls 3. I've been I've been starting to enjoy it more. I just I just pretend I just pretend I'm playing Elden Ring when I'm playing Dark Souls 3 these days. And I have a little bit of a better time. Um, I still... There's still some bo classic bosses that I am not so big on, though, that other people seem to really like. I don't like Champion Gundyr. I think Champion Gundyr is, like... He's, like... He twists way too much. He, like, twists and spins, and his, his hitboxes are kind of bad. And, uh... And then, um, I've never been a fan, I've never been a fan of the Dancer. I don't really understand why people like that fight. I fucking hate that Dancer fight, to tell you the truth. Uh, other than that, I can't really think of anything else. Other than the fact that, like, in general, the bosses are talked very highly of, and I don't really think it deserves that. There's a lot of boss fights in Dark Souls 3 that aren't that great. And everyone's always like, Dark Souls 3 has the best pool of bosses in all of the Souls games. And I don't I don't really agree with that, to be honest. Like 40%. It's like 40% of the bosses in that game are pretty meh. Saw Spear, I kind of, it's kind of where you find Eileen the Crow Lady. Ah, interesting. Yeah, I don't know, I could, I could give it a go instead of Saw Cleaver, but I've been getting so used to Saw Cleaver. I honestly, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Hunter's Axe man at heart, but I I see all the challenge runners using Saw Cleaver, so I just conformed. Demon Souls has been really tough on me. I wanted to give up two times already. Demon Souls is tough, man. Demon Souls is tough. When you're ignorant in Demon Souls, you can screw yourself over so easily, it's not even funny. So, oddly enough, the guy all the way in the back is the one who aggros first. So we got this dude's attention. He's always annoying. He stops to do magic, and then if I walk too far away... If I walk too far away trying to bait him over here, then he just turns around and walks back. He's really annoying. But if we can get him to walk over here... Okay, he seems like he's making his way, but now he's casting magic again, isn't he? That's exactly what he's doing, isn't he? Yeah, he's being obnoxious. He does this all the time. I hate this guy. I just want to get him over here. So I can kill him before those two dudes notice me. 
And the way those two guys are, like, hugging each other, I'm also not a fan of. Okay, he's gotten a lot closer. He's back to casting magic, though. Oh, wow, he got me just barely. I have a feeling the other guys are going to notice me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, at least the one with the bow did. Well, I think just the one with the bow noticed me. That's fine. That's fine. So we shove these guys off the edge because they're decently challenging. But you can shove them off the edge. Oh, I'm actually standing in the wrong spot for the bow guy. We stand over here for the bow guy. He'll come up the stairs. We rush him. Smack him. Smack him. Smack him. Smack him. Down he goes. Hell yes. Alright, now we have the guy who has the dagger. And the guy with the dagger is a little bit scary. We're gonna have to fight another copy of him. There's two of these guys with the daggers in this dark chasm of old. So, um, we can't... We have to fight the other one legit. I can't get the other guy to fall off the edge. Am I chat bugged or are you streaming on YouTube? I, yeah, I'm multi-streaming, I'm multi -streaming, so I stream to YouTube as well, and it's actually it's actually pretty busy over in the YouTube chat today, which is a little bit of a rarity. And, um, Twitch rules, you're not allowed to have YouTube chat. Anything, any, any on-screen notifications for anything besides Twitch is against Twitch rules. So there's no on-screen chat for YouTube. Is Demon Souls that hard? I'm gonna try it for the first time tomorrow. I think Demon Souls, so the thing with Demon Souls is it's easiest, I think, once you're familiar. But when you're new to Demon Souls and you're ignorant to the mechanics of the game or just helpful things to know, like being friends with patches and world tendency and character tendency, if you're if you're ignorant about how to acquire healing grasses, world tendency and character tendency, you're you're in you're in for a tough time in that game. Better gaming HD on YouTube saying running around in tunnels before Fire Demon in Demon Souls made me panic. Those narrow tunnels and firebugs that take like five minutes to kill, I was asking myself, what the hell? You just gotta take the shortcut. You gotta take the you gotta take the cliff diving shortcut. That's the way you do it. Screw those tunnels. All my homies hate those tunnels. Patrick, dude. Patrick talking over from YouTube saying you don't know anything about Demon Souls. You're scared now? <laughs> it's tough. I think it's arguably the toughest one when you're ignorant. It's kind of like Dark Souls 2 kind of does the same thing. Where if you're ignorant to stuff in Dark Souls 2, like adaptability, uh, where to go to find fragrant branches, where to go... It's kind of got Metroidvania stuff. I'm not really that into the Metroidvania stuff, because it just means you get lost easily. So, like, I don't know. It's kind of tough to find your way in Dark Souls 2 when you don't know where to go. And if you don't know about adaptability, the game itself is just really effing hard. Unless you're going for, like, a tank build. Ruben's telling Michael if you have Dark Souls 3 on PC, try the Arch Thrones mod. It has some Demon Souls in it. I was going to give that a go one of these days. If not tomorrow, maybe the day after. As tempting, it is, as tempting as it is to try another Dark Souls 2 no-death run and do better than four deaths. Hopefully only four deaths. We'll see. Alright, Dark Lurker is pretty effing scary. So, let's go in here. I've been playing like trash today. So, I'm a little nervous that I'm going to F up during this fight and I'm going to end up dead. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. Really like the mod? I've heard like nothing but good things. I did like the fire, right? I'm pretty sure. I want to go and double check. I can't remember if I lit the fire or not. I don't want to do this whole dark chasm of old over just because I forgot to light the fire. So let me make sure I did it. The mod sounds and looks really good. I never personally modded my Dark Souls 3 because I'm heavily in the PvP and you don't want to get banned. That makes sense. But now that you're mostly playing Elden Ring, you might decide to give it a shot. I think if you keep it in offline mode at all times, you should be good. Okay, the fire is definitely lit, so we can just head right back down. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really into modding either just because, I don't know, I've kind of got like bad experiences with mods. They always like corrupt my save data or they just make my game crash a whole bunch. Uh... I was told, I think there's like, you, you like, I was told that Arch Thrones is decently crash heavy unless you downgrade to like, I can't remember what the patch number was. It was like 1.15 or something like that. See, we got more people talking from YouTube today. It's a lot. Obdo SL, I don't know how to say your last name. I'll just call you Obdo. Welcome in. If you guys want to watch on Twitch, um, it's actually... I, I, like I said, I consider myself a Twitch streamer. You earn your channel points on Twitch. 
you get to see your messages on chat, uh, and it's just kind of nice having everybody in one place, so there's not, like, people not seeing each other's messages. It kind of separates the, uh, kind of separates the viewers, which is a shame. Alright, let's do this. Dark Lurker Time, boys and girls. Dark Lurker Time, boys and girls. Alright, starts off with just the one. That's the easy part. Damage is not impressive at all against this boss. Usually, I, I, I'm, I'm so used to just melting bosses in base game, but you do not just melt Dark Lurker. Dark Lurker's actually got a nice big ol' health pool for a base game boss. All the other base game bosses, like even, even Giant Lord. I just annihilated Giant Lord in like 45 seconds. We're doing good so far, but we're still in the easy part. We're still in the mellow. Still in the mellow part. Got a stun. Probably gonna split in two soon. Oh, teleporting somewhere. Probably gonna split in two as soon as they teleport. Where are they at? Okay, like, get on them. I can get hits on both of them at once. Okay, they're splitting, I think. Oh, they're not splitting. This is crazy. Usually they have split by now. Here it goes. Here it goes. They're splitting into two. Nice. I got some double hits while they were conjoined, pretty much. I got some double hits, which felt good. Now things are going to get pretty hairy, but luckily we're already pretty late in the fight. They didn't split into two until quite late. That was rather lucky, I gotta say. Okay, I can see where that orb is going to come from. I need to run now. There's fireballs on the way. The orb is coming. We need to roll. Uh, looks like more fireballs. I don't know what the other one's doing. Ooh, what was it doing? I think the other one was trying to get me with a hand blade, and I wasn't paying any attention. We've got a laser beam on the way as well. We run. Okay, we're good. More fireballs. Uh, we'll just stay over here then. Punish you now. Hand blade coming in. I need to dodge that. More fireballs coming in. I have to avoid those. Okay. Another hand blade. Dodge that bad boy. Looks like more fireballs again. Thank you, other flame lurker. A laser beam yet again. This one's coming in close. This is actually really good. We got the we got the one doing the laser beam directly above the other one who's down here and just teleported away. We're standing right next to each other. I got a double hit. That doesn't usually happen mid-fight. That usually only happens right when they split. Ooh, I don't know if that would have hit me, but I dodged anyway. Oh, that one's gonna get me. Ah, yeah, you see the damage? Holy shit, I'm in panic mode now. I'm in panic mode now. Where's that one? Holy shit, I did not realize it teleported right next to me. We need to not choke. We need to finish this fight. We need to finish this fight. We need to not choke. I'm shaky. I'm in choke mode. I can feel it. I know what it feels like to choke. Boy, I can tell you right now, I feel like I'm about to choke. But we just finished it. No? Are they still alive? What's happening? That was weird. That was weird. The fight ended, and it was still attacking me. All right. All right. We did pretty good. I only got hit once, but dude, all it took was getting hit once and I was immediately panicky. I got hit once and I was I was in I was full. I got the shakes right away. But we did it. That was quick. That was quick. Hey Gonzo, good to have you. Indeed, I got it. Your damage is so low. My damage isn't low. This boss just has a lot of health. I do 300 damage per swing. 306 damage per swing. That's a lot for a straight sword. What is the number one tip for first time playthrough on Demon Souls? Uh, befriend patches. And be wary of how many times you die in human form. I'll just say that much. You don't want to die too much in human form. And you want to be friends with patches. All right, all right, all right. Uh, pfft, let's get the hell out of here. That was that. So the only base game bosses that remain are in the final throne room. We are not going to go after Throne Watcher and Defender or Nishantra or Aldia until the very end of the playthrough, though. I just like saving that for last. The Dark Lurker goes down, so we're off to Sholva officially. And, oh boy, all right. I'm actually not too concerned about DLC bosses until Aleum Lois. That being said, on my three deaths personal best playthrough blue smelter demon killed me twice i got killed twice by blue smelter demon and the other death the other death royal rat vanguard but that's because i didn't know the difference between curse and petrification i thought royal rat vanguard built up your curse and in dark souls 2 curse doesn't kill you so i wasn't worried about the curse build up and then and then the curse bar got full, and I was dead, and I was like, what the hell? It's because it's not curse, it's petrification, which does kill you. So that was something I learned that playthrough. And then the other two deaths were to Blue Smelter Demon. So, I don't know, I thought we were closing in on a no-death run for Dark Souls 2. 
The fact that I've died four times today, and they were all in such newbie ways. Ah, oh, except for maybe the Shrine of Amana one, but I usually do Shrine of Amana like a champ. Like, borderline hitless is how I typically do Shrine of Amana. So the fact that I got died, I died there today is like, ah, oh, dude, that felt so bad. That felt so bad. And then all the other three deaths were such newbie mistakes, man. Rolling into a pit in a panic, I fell to my death because I rolled into an abyss while I was panicking. I got trapped in this little tunnel surrounded by skeletons, and I know, I know to not go in that tunnel because it's a death trap, but I did it today anyway. Stupid, I know better than that. Now, what was, what was the second death? I don't remember the second death. Maybe I said it already, but then there was the fourth death where I, what did I do? I got killed by those toxic rats. Not even in, not even in the Royal Rat Authority boss room, but on the way to Royal Rat Authority I died. Oh, dude, I don't want to relive these moments. I don't want to relive these moments at all. Yikes. Hey, Vito, thank you so much for following me on Twitch, man. I appreciate that. Vito Pursuer! Classic, man. So happy to have you. All right, let's, let's slap on that silver cat ring. We need to go get the dragon talon? Yes, the dragon talon for Sholva. Yes. Miyazaki in the boardroom. We need a boss here, guys, but we're running out. <laughs> Why is there so much bare feet in Dark Souls 1? It's because Miyazaki. Miyazaki reasons, that's why. Oh, I already read that one. Rats, said one of the developers. Brilliant, said Miyazaki, but make sure there's a lot of rats. It's a pack of rats. I mean, like a rat king boss? You know, you know, like a rat king? I don't, I, I don't know if a, you know what I'm talking about when I say that. Apparently, I've never seen one, thank God. I don't really live in a place where I see rats. I'm sure they exist. Uh, rodents are everywhere. But, um... Apparently, there's something that they call a rat king that is possible. Where a whole bunch of rats get their tails stuck together. And then they all have to, like, live as like one being because all their tails are tied up it actually doesn't seem that realistic to me because don't rats have like a crazy um rats have like a crazy survival instinct and if they get trapped by a limb they will like chew off their own limb to get out of that situation so I, how is a rat king possible i feel like the rats would like chew themselves out of the the tied up tails. I don't know, man. This is like disturbing just talking about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the disturbing discussion. All right. So we need to go to Shulva, which means we need to go to Hidden Chamber. Well, just Black Gulch. We need to go to Black Gulch. We can access Shulva and we'll be fighting Sora, Varg, and Afflicted Grave Robber first. Now, this is where you got a small part wrong. It is called a Rat King, but they don't live like that. They actually die. And apparently the phenomenon is natural. Oh, so they, they die like that. Okay. That's some um, poor rats, man. I mean, I know they're like vermin, but I love animals. Okay, even even filthy nasty rats. I I got a soft spot for all animals. They got it tough, man. They got it tough. All right. There's a lot of opportunity to f up in Sholva. I'm scared. Rats have feelings too. You ever see that video of that one rat showering with soap? I'm scared of this place, right? I'm scared. I'm scared of this whole game right now. After, ah, man, so many newbie deaths. So many newbie deaths. Open the door. Very intricate door. It's got like all sorts of runes graved into it. Uh, in, engraved into it. Hi hieroglyphs engraved into it. All right, all right, all right. Sholva, Sanctum City. I used to hate this place so much. But I don't mind Sholva anymore. I don't mind Sholva at all. And I actually kind of like the bosses here. Honestly, I think Sin the Dragon is the worst fight in Sholva. I don't really like the Sin the Dragon fight that much. But I like Afflicted Grave Robber, uh, Sora, and... What's the other guy's name? Varg? Yeah. He's like the Havel Knight. It's like Ancient Soldier Varg. 
Afflicted Grave Robber, and I can't remember Sarah's title. And I think Afflicted Grave Robber is a lady? Yeah, so you have Sarah, who's a guy. You have, I assume, the Havel Knight, Varg. I assume that's also a dude. And then Afflicted Grave Robber is a lady. Are you winning? No, I'm losing. My personal best is three, and we've died four times, and honestly, they've been pretty newbie deaths all four times. Uh, whoa, I'm going way the wrong way. What the hell? Wait, no, this is right. This is right. I got confused for a second. Sorry. Nothing like Animal Crossing music in Cholva, am I right? Are you winning, son? Exactly. That guy... Why is that guy there already? I don't like where he's standing. He's just staying there. He's just standing there. Menacingly. Alright, alright, alright. I really wanted to get the Thunder Quartz Ring plus three. But... I don't allow myself to use ranged. And you can get the Thunder Quartz Ring plus three without using range, but it is way too risky. Honestly, I think I think going through frigid outskirts without the Thunder Quartz Ring plus three is actually less risky than acquiring the Thunder Quartz Ring plus three. I do have just the regular Thunder Quartz Ring that you can buy off of... No, I don't remember her name. But that lady who's petrified and then you give her clothes... You can, you can buy the Thunder Quartz Ring off of her, but it's just, it's plus zero. It's just base Thunder Quartz Ring, which isn't so great, but it's better than nothing. Ruben, you gotta go to sleep. All right, man. Thank you so much for the lurk today and hanging out, talking a bit. Still got your six hour, still got six hours till your alarm goes off. Damn, man. Yeah, go get some sleep. Till next time, good luck with the rest of the run. All right, thank you very much. Have a good rest, Ruben. Thank you so much for being here today. Appreciate you. All right, so usually I just like killing this lady. Boom. Down she goes. These dudes will get me with poison if I get too close to them or I let them hit me. They're all over the button I need to press. Ooh. Whoa, that poison built up way fast. What the hell? All right, well, we're poisoned. It's not a huge deal. Kind of a minor nuisance more than anything. All right, we press the button all the time, so the button needs to be pressed. I like pressing it again as I exit because then they can't follow me. Ha-ha! Not that it really matters. They can't follow me once I... Once I drop down this hole they don't they don't follow you past this point right here so it doesn't really matter uh, I'm, i went the wrong way yeah, see i don't know little mistakes like that it's just little mistakes that can end up getting you killed so i don't like that i'm making a bunch of little mistakes like that <sighs> okay okay things can get a little dicey right now right now with what we're doing i don't know maybe i should put the battle music on instead of this peaceful shit get me up the ladder get me up the ladder right now all right, cool, but the scary parts are not over yet. Ow, what the hell hit me? It was that lady. Yeah, we need to take her out. I'm chugging through a lot of flasks here, which isn't super great. I do have life gems and stuff to use. Patrick from YouTube, you think that this DLC is great? I like I like Sholva a lot these days. <clears throat> when I didn't know my way around Sholva, I struggled to enjoy Sholva when I didn't know it because it's very much a maze. Okay, I guess that's on me. I ran in there way too early. It's very much a maze, and it can be very frustrating. But now that I understand where the items are that I need to get, and I understand where I need to go, I'm, I'm into shoulder these days. I'm scared. I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared, y'all. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. All right. What's up, dude? I can see you now. Boom. Ooh. Let's keep moving. Boom. Let's keep it moving. Ha, that guy fell off the edge in ghost form. One of the ghosty dudes fell off the edge. Nice. Love to see it. Love to see it. One less dude that I have to deal with because one of them slipped and fell to his death. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. If I get lucky, that'll happen again. Bopping all the statues. They're over there shooting projectiles. This one right here is the Eternal Sanctum key. I think another one fell to its death. It was like four of them chasing me. Now there's only two. Another one fell to his death. I am the luckiest MFer right now. That was some lucky stuff. That was some lucky stuff. I can't believe they're all dead. There was like four of them after me. Now they're all gone. Three of them fell off the edge. Oh, my butt. My butt's kind of hurting. Oh, I've been sitting in it all day. Demon Souls, all 18 bosses, broadsword only, zero deaths. Wow, you're good at Demon Souls. I mean, yeah. Wait, 
Yeah, that's true. I did that. I did that. Just the other. I, I just did that not that long ago. I was about to say, wait, did I actually do that? Yeah, I did that. I did that. It was, exactly. Get two birds stoned at once. Yeah, I got two birds stoned at once. I don't know. Demon Souls, I feel like when you are very familiar with Demon Souls, I think it's the easiest out of all the Souls games. Why is that guy still in ghost form? Did I miss one? I thought I got all the statues. Yes, it says in your description. Yep, yep, yep. No, I, 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 I added that recently. I didn't, I didn't have that until recently, but I added in the little about section on Twitch, my personal bests. Ah, there is a statue I missed. I didn't realize I missed one. Okay, we can probably chill with the battle music now. As much as I love this Valorant loading music. All right. <sighs> Honestly, I should refresh my coffee grounds. And I've got these two peanut butter and jellies I made myself for a snack during the live stream, and I'm, I'm kind of hungry. I'd go for some coffee and some peanut butter and jelly. Some, some fresh poured coffee out of fresh coffee grounds. Hey, watch where you're shooting, buddy. I'm still kind of scared to go down there. Just because I don't want to get beat up by both of them at once. They have, like, infinite poise. So there's no, like, stunning them. Okay, this guy's dead. I don't even think the other guy's after me. Did I ever press the button? Okay, I did press the button. Sick. I don't know how to make the spikes leave. Apparently, you can press a button that makes the spikes no longer exist. And, uh, I didn't... I, I... That's a thing? Since when? Why is this guy being so weird and switching his weapons around like that? Can you backstab these guys? Oh, what? That was weird. I, like, hit him... I hit him with the backstab and he fell down to his knee like I was doing the backstab animation, but I wasn't doing the backstab animation. Oh, come on. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. So I won't have these guys chasing me. Honestly, I probably didn't need to kill that dude. I cannot get the bonfire. You need to hit that button right there in order to get the bonfire. And I'm doing broadsword only, so I can't get the bonfire here. This guy we don't have to fight either. He can't fit through all these doors, I don't think. So you just run through all this jazz, and then that dude can't follow you. However, we're about to get invaded by, um, ooh, what's his name? Jester Thomas? We're about to get invaded by Jester Thomas. And I have to fight Jester Thomas. I've seen people skip him. I don't understand how that's possible. I can't get through the fog wall. Wait, it let me through the fog wall? What? It never lets me through the fog wall. It, no, Thomas is still here, though. I have a feeling I can't use any bonfires while he's here, so we're going to kill him. Because keeping him alive sounds like a nightmare, to tell you the truth. This game does not make the invaders go home until you go through a boss fog wall. I'm not about to go all the way to a boss fog wall in order to make Jester Thomas go home. We're just going to kill him. He's really not that tough of a fight. You can't backstab him because he's wearing Gower's Ring. It's an item the player can get as well. That's why I know it by name. Gower's Ring, you cannot get backstabbed while wearing. But it's a really it's like the heaviest ring in all of Souls history. Uh, but he's really not that bad of a fight. Despite not being able to backstab him. He's got a lot of HP. So you gotta sit here and hack and whack at him for a while. He's got so much freaking health. But he's dead. See, that wasn't challenging. Alright, now we need to run through this place. I don't want to fight any of these things. There's a bonfire over there I could go to. But honestly, bonfire's not really worth it in this spot. I'm just gonna book it. As fast as I can, even though this water is slowing me down a lot. I should be watching behind me for stuff like that. Ooh, man, I need to be able to dodge if they shoot projectiles. I used all my stamina. It looks like he's... Oh, no, he's charging me again. They're both charging me. This is kind of freaky. Kind of freaking me out, man. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. My brother's calling me, but I really can't talk right now. Uh, all right. So, we made it to where I could place that. There's, like, another key item in this game. The internal sanctum key. Did I get that already? I may have gotten that already. I don't know. Let me see. Internal sanctity. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I remember now. That was over uh, over by all the statues I destroyed. For real, though, Gonzo. What the hell even was that? That creepy little... The weird little... I don't know what to call those things, man. Those things are weird. The little... Abyss T-Rexes. I don't know what they are, man. Those things are creepy. So we have the internal sanctum key, so we'll be able to go to Sarah, Varg, and Afflicted Grave Robber, which is pretty sick. They... oh, they're not that way. We'll come back here later, 
because that's that's the direction the 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 door I just passed by. That's the way that takes me to uh, the other two bosses. Elena, Squalid Queen, and Sin, the Dragon. They are that way. My greedy ass with the Silver Serpent Ring, dude. I should not be using the Silver Serpent Ring in Saldora set this late in the playthrough, but I just can't help myself. What can I say? Alright, so we skipped all the bonfires and made it all the way back around to the first bonfire. Amazing. A-Rexes. <laughs> yeah, like, this is like Star Wars logic. A at ats I think those are the big ones. I can't ever keep track of what AT, AT, and ATST. I don't, I don't know, dude. This is not the hole I meant to drop down, but it's okay. Worked anyway. Avoid that guy. That kind of scared the piss out of me. Oh, uh, that's the wrong building. Uh, whew. All right. Yeah, see, little mistakes like that can get you killed, and I am just a slop master today. Why well, we've died four times, because I've just been sloppy, sloppy, sloppy all day long. All right, uh, bait this guy into here. What's up, dude? How you doing? Why won't this guy enter the room? Okay, he's entering the room now. Nice. Exit the room. All right, so we have a little strategy here to get past the two guys on the bridge. The first time I was here, Sin the Dragon roasted these two dudes on the bridge for me. Unfortunately, that won't happen again. So we have to get past them somehow, and they are really good at defending this bridge, and I have these guys following me from over here. So we gotta be pretty freaking careful here. What's up, dude? I need to get up those stairs. Cool, 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 cool. Where are the other guys? All right, that's fine. Jump for it. Hell yeah. Now we're past them. That's the strategy. Bait them over there and then jump right past them. Now we can travel on. Your bro just wanted to ask how you've already died four times. For real, Bogotas. Why you gotta go and remind me like that? Leave me alone. I forgot that there was ladies in this room. That guy is still chasing after me. Get up the ladder. He better not climb the ladder. Okay, he looks like he started to de-aggro. I got invaded by Forlorn while I was right here once, and honestly, I, I wish that happened every time. Because the guy who does invade here, he's like uh, Stone Shield Baldier or something. I can't remember exactly his name. Parkour! Parkhurst. That's when you do parkour in Kanehurst in Bloodborne. You know how you gotta do a little bit of parkour in order to get to, uh... What's his name? Logarius. In order to get to Logarius, you gotta do a little bit of parkour. That's that's what they call that in Kanehurst. It's, it's, uh... Oh, whoa, whoa, not the acid. Come on, dude. Don't be a dick like that. Whoa, he's just spewing it all out? You break my shit. I'm gonna be pissed. Alright, um, how's my stuff doing after that? I was standing in some acid. Okay, my stuff is good. My stuff is good. Stone Shield Baldir is gonna show up, and I'm not excited. Belchek hates me, daddy. Dude. <laughs> you funny, Bogotis. Why did he spawn in front of me? Okay, we were able to just shove him out of the way. Good, 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 good. So this guy, he can't get on the elevator. He just can't. He's stuck up here. There's no, there's no, even when the elevator is here, he doesn't go on the elevator. So we can kind of abuse that a little bit by getting the elevator here, and then we essentially have a safe spot from him, because he will not go on the elevator. He will always act as if the elevator is not here. So we can use it as a bit of a safe zone that I know he will not access. He will not cross over onto the elevator. This guy's kind of scary. He's trying to hit me with an undead hunter's charm. I don't know if that's what it's called in Dark Souls 2, but it stops you from healing. All these NPC invaders in the DLC, this Shulva DLC, they got so much health, man. They're absolute beefcakes. Oh, daddy. I see you, Michael. I see you. Ow, man. He spun on me like a Dark Souls 3 boss. I was not expecting that. Sucker. Got my safe spot on the elevator. Trying to get me with another Undead Hunter's Charm or whatever it's called in Dark Souls 2 that stops you from healing. The backstabs in Dark Souls 2 are the best, so brutal. I like them even more in Demon Souls. I think Demon Souls got the most brutal, critical animations of them all, and it's it's nice. It's nice. <laughs> Dude, my crotch hurts just hearing that, Michael. Oh man. Alright, alright. So we're here, and we can now enter the way to the boss. 
We can get petrified on the way to this boss. There's all these statues, and they hit you with these projectiles, and the projectiles build up your petrification. So there's a chance I die on the way to this boss. Which again, we're on to Sarah, Varg, and Afflicted Grave Robber. A boss that I'm pretty sure is intended for co-op. But I ain't doing no co-op. This is a solo playthrough. This here is solo. Even the dead. Alright. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. How you guys doing? Bye. Ooh, there's a lot of projectiles flying around. I only got hit by one, though, luckily. Oh, got hit by a second one. Petrification building, man. Every little bit of petrification makes me nervous. I almost, I almost like hanging out here for a moment. That dude's chasing me. Okay, F this, then. Keep it moving. Keep it moving towards the boss, not the other way. All right. Ow, another petrification hit on me, but we're okay. We're okay. Just keep on going. Not too much left. Oh, got hit by another one. Okay, we're fine. We're, oh, got hit by another one. All right, we didn't even get, like, halfway up, though. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, we're fine. Start the boss fight. Okay, so I like taking out, uh, I believe it's Sarah is the one with the bow in the background. That's, ow, you gotta be kidding me. Knocked me on my ass and everything. Gotta love having no poise. This is the guy I like taking out first. It's pain in my ass. His buddies are on the way and, ouch, I thought he would miss and he didn't. Okay, off to a terrible start. I got all sorts of slapped up. Bonk, deserved. Because that was a, just atrocious beginning, I gotta say. Luckily, I got moves. I got moves in this boss room, man. I know how to get away. Look at that. Okay. Sarah is very separate from the rest of them. Separate. So let's go after. Oh, what the fuck? No, they're gonna be on my ass now. Dude, I'm doing terrible. Um, it's kind of freaky. Oh fuck! I forgot there's these petrification statues over here, and I think one of them shot me in the head because I did a real long animation. Hop down here, another petrification statue. Dude, they're all over the place. God damn boss room gonna get me petrified. All right, cool, cool, cool. Are they behind me? They're behind me. I wonder where Sarah is. Is Sarah still up here, or did Sarah also jump down? Looks like Sarah also jumped down. Damn, that's a shame. I was hoping they were still up here. Okay, we can probably separate them. Jump the gap. Ooh, I think that guy fell down, which actually it might be counterintuitive, because now he's gonna come right up this ramp. Okay, got some nice hits on Sarah there, though. Got some real nice hits on Sarah. He needs to go first. And then we can deal with those two chumps. This dude needs to go first. He gets hyper armor. When he, when he whips out the rapier, he's got hyper armor at first for some reason. It drives me nuts, to tell you the truth. I hate nothing more than hyper armor. Except for maybe motion blur. I can't ever pick what's worse in a video game. Hyper armor or motion blur. I think maybe the motion blur is worse. Damn it. Oh, that, this should be it for Seraph. Dude, stop dodging like a champ, man. What's up? How you doing, Varg? Okay. Sarah's hanging out back there behind them all. We can jump the gap. We can run across. They're going to be coming this way towards me. Okay. This is silly. I need some Benny Hill music for this first part of this boss fight. I swear to God. Eat it. All right. Cool. Now we just got these two. And they're pretty separate already. Um... Varg will drink flasks, and I don't think Afflicted Grave Robber drinks flasks, so I usually like to get Afflicted Grave Robber first. We need to separate them in order to give me a chance. Damn it. I was hoping they would separate there. I have kind of a... I have sort of a strategy for... Oh, they, they're separate. Hell yes. Well, on Afflicted Grave Robber while Varg is nowhere to be seen. He's right there, though. Ow, I'm getting chopped up by... Afflicted Grave Robber. I don't even... He doesn't even ow, made me bleed out. Goodness gracious. That was unexpected. I got a little over-aggressive, I guess, was just kind of R1 spamming with zero effort uh, put into my attacks. We're down to seven flasks, but I do only have 12 total, so I'm not doing too bad. Oh, they're separate again. Hell yeah, that was lucky. That was lucky. God damn, I'm getting my ass kicked by Afflicted Grave Robber. It's really unexpected, I gotta say. Okay, they're like hugging each other again, aren't they? Son of a bitch, they are. I like get them over here. You try to get them over here and then you split them apart while they're over here just a little bit. Kind of like they are now. That's my perfect chance chance to make this work and I biffed the jump real bad. So, yeesh, man. Not my best day in Dark Souls 2, I gotta say. Their AI also gets kind of weird if you hang out right here. <laughs> Woo, they're separate now. They're separate now. 
Afflicted Grave Robber, not making this easy on me, I gotta say. Usually Afflicted Grave Robber goes down pretty easy. Okay, let's bail. I need to drink a flask. They're coming. Oh lord, they coming! Separate them, maybe. They go separate ways. Uh, they went separate ways. Let's go get Afflicted Grave Robber. Come on, finish him off. Or her, actually. Nice, it's just me and Varg. Varg ain't got a, He don't stand a chance by himself. We pretty much got this in the bag. Isn't this song from Subnautica? Um, I missed the message until now, so I, I'm not sure what track it was, to tell you the truth. Probably was a Subnautica track, Patrick. I know I give you a hard time, but I just want to say I appreciate your streams and, of course, your talent. Hey, Michael, I appreciate I appreciate you saying that. It means it means a lot. You don't hear that much, to tell you the truth. Well, snap, it's Havel, everybody. Run for their lives! It's a Havel Knight, that's for damn sure. But now that it's just Havel Knight Varg, we got this. I'm not going to follow him down there. He is not affected by the deep water. I get my movement affected by the deep water. The NPCs do not. But you can abuse the poise mechanics. So if you stun an enemy in Dark Souls 2, and then you continuously hit them, they will get stunned over and over again. So if you use the guard break like this, and see it stunned him, we can keep hitting him and you see he's stunned. He's just perma-stunned. So you can stun lock any enemy, no matter what their poise is, if you hit him with a guard break first, and then you start swinging regularly. So, like, even though this guy's got tons of poise, because he's wearing the full Havel set, we can start, we can initiate with a guard break, and then just stun lock him down. Busted. Busted. Down goes, down goes Sarah Varg and Grave Robber. Don't mind if I do, don't mind if I do at all. That was pretty well done. That took some, that took some, that took some practice to be able to have the know-how to maneuver around in that boss room and all that. It was not, it was not something I just, like, did accidentally. I had to do a little bit of practice against this boss to get my skills up to snuff for no death runs. And now I do it quite well. Hell yeah. Let's go! Hell yeah! A bunch of hype, Michael. A bunch of hype. Whew. Whew. Alright, um, I don't think you get a boss soul for that one. Yeah, I was already looking. You don't get a boss soul. I'm gonna go level up at Majula. And then we will be off to Elena, Squalid Queen. I'm scared of Blue Smelter Demon. Blue Smelter Demon killed me twice last time, dude. I can't let, I can't let that happen again. I can't let that happen again. Okay. Uh, no, not Vigor. Endurance. You keep getting this. You get the same stamina gains all the way to 99. So I can just get more and more stamina, which is huge. All right, uh, Shulva, Shanktum City, Shanktum Shitty. Sorry, I'm just entertaining myself at this point. Hi. <laughs> this track's on the battle playlist, and it does not belong, dude. That is a peaceful track if I've ever heard it. Oh, I just switched to a different piece battle track i meant to switch it to another peaceful track all right all right all right well that's weird that you can see it's right there that's where i go you can see the bonfire right across see the bonfire right there i didn't realize it was right there it's so hard to get there if, if you don't know how to get there and you don't know where the eternal sanctum key is it's so hard to find that spot so it's just weird to see it right there like that how I feel. Going down. Alright. Moving on out. So I will... I will be getting the bonfire against Elena. So, um, actually, come to think of it, let me throw it on now. The Aged Feather. If Elena summons Velstat first, I leave the boss room. I am against quit loading in challenge runs. But I've got the Age Feather, I've got if I've got the foresight, if I've got the foresight to think about using a homeward bone, I have, I purchase homeward bones in advance, or I make sure I acquire the aged feather. I think it's totally fair game in a challenge run to um 
to use Homeward Bones or the Aged Feather, or I guess in Sekiro you could use the Homeward Idol, but good luck using that in the middle of a boss fight. I think that's totally fair game. The Quit Loads, I'm kinda against, which feels a little silly, because how is using a Homeward Bone really all that different than just quitting out of the boss room? But it is, it is different. It's a, it's a, it's a slight nuance, but it is different. I will stand by that. Alright, this is where the bonfire is, I think? Hell yeah. Alright. So I just, I want this bonfire in case I need, in case Velstat gets summoned right away. That's the whole reason I want this bonfire. Hey, Mario Lopez! Hi, um, did I miss something? What about... Uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Freaking Mario coming in here confused by Michael's message. <laughs> Too funny, too funny. Look what you've done, Michael! Say, that's my streamer. Using that D&D &D bros emote. Love those guys, man. Love those guys. Those guys are great. Alright, so... Um, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I am freaking starving, and I need a refresh on my coffee. I've been streaming for like 7 hours. I'm gonna take a 15 minute break. We're doing this whole playthrough, this live stream. How long have I been going for? 6 hours and 15 minutes? Okay, yeah, I haven't eaten anything in 6 hours and 15 minutes. I've been using the same coffee grounds over and over again for the last 6 hours. So, I'm gonna take a 15 minute break. I'm gonna eat these two peanut butter and jellies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy some fresh coffee. I'm gonna be back in 15 minutes, guys. We got, a, we got a timer for you to see. So, here's the timer up on the screen so you'll know exactly when I'm back. But I need a break, man. I've been going six hours. I'm freaking hungry. The coffee is all watered down and shitty. So I'm going to take a break. I'll be back in 15 minutes. I appreciate you guys a lot. Uh, I'll see you in 15 minutes. We'll keep going. We're finishing this playthrough this live stream. I'll be back soon, guys.
I'm back a little early. Uh, we'll just chill for like another minute though, since that's what was on the timer. I have... I don't have any better way to describe this than to call it a gaming callus. Which I'm a little ashamed of, but I'm sharing it anyway. My finger. This is where this is where my PS5 controller rests. Gonzo, it's your Friday, you're off work at 3 a.m. and then it's a five-day weekend. Damn, that's a long weekend. My other finger, look, there's no bump. You see the difference? You see like the 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 last knuckle, the end knuckle on my my ring fingers are what I'm trying to show you. My ring fingers, goodness, I can't do this. So like my right hand is this one. It has a big old bump on the end of my ring finger. It's a big old bump with a callus on it. And it's literally from holding my PS5 controller, and I guess I squeeze maybe extra hard with my right hand, and I don't squeeze with my left hand. And I get this, like, swollen bump. It literally has, like, a callus forming on the top of it now. And it's because when I hold my PS5 controller, I wrap my finger around, and it rests, it, like, rests on that spot. And I literally... I literally am forming like a gaming bump, a gaming callus. It's ridiculous, dude. Your hands are delicate and smooth. Bro's got smooth and silky hands. What? How can you tell what my hands are like just from looking at them? My hands ain't that smooth. Especially, I'm gonna be starting this job as like a grout cleaning guy. I'm gonna have some. I'm gonna have some working hands. Right now, I got dishwasher hands, which dishwasher hands ain't that great either. I assure you. I think I'll be grout cleaning hands starting in April. I'm super excited. I've never done it before. All the jobs I've had in the past have been jobs. You know, they pay the bills, I guess, but I haven't been happy with them. And this job is going to be the most paying job I've ever had and, and something I've never done before, which I'm excited about because I think I might like it more than stuff I've done in the past. Only time will tell, but I'm excited. I'm excited. Yes, yes, give us sm silky. All right, calm down, Pickle P. That's the one from Dark Souls 3, Gonzo. I guess you're probably not familiar with that. Because they're called, like, it's like Snuggly the Crow and Fluffy the Crow. And there's one other one as well. I can't remember what it is. Sparkly? Yeah, it's. I think it's Fluffy and Demon Souls. It's Fluffy the Crow in Demon Souls. I think it's Snuggly the Crow in Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 2, I believe it's Sparkly the Crow. And then Dark Souls 3, they went and named it Pickle P. Are you kidding me? You got Fluffy, Snuggly, Sparkly, and then Pickle P? Pickle P. Really? That's what they went with? Are you kidding me? Not yet, but soon. Real soon. Like tomorrow, right, Gonzo? Come on, man. You don't need a real job. You're soon going to be living off just streaming. <sighs> yeah, man. Right now, I get like 25 bucks a month. Rolling, rolling it in, living large. Yes, sir, tomorrow, hell yeah, Gonzo, hell yeah. Yeah, Bogotas with the bitty. That is one tasty bitty, thank you, Bogotas. All right, it's boss time. I'm sick of hearing her going, oh. You know what I never get sick of hearing, though? Your mama going, oh. But I'm sick of hearing it with Elena, so let's go in there and fight her. My PS4, is it dead? It's low on battery. I'll just swap it out. I have a bad habit of, it'll be like, your PS5 controller is low on battery. And I'll be like, ah, oh, shoot, I gotta swap it out soon. And then I don't. You have a gift. Hey, hey. Gifting away subs. Michael, aka DAP. Gifting a sub to Sir Jags. I don't know if Sir Jags is here right now, but Sir Jags will be happy when he... Doesn't have to watch ads anymore. And he gets the cool emotes. And he gets the cool emotes. Oh, that's not how I do emotes. These are the channel point redeems. I was going to show off the cool emotes. And then I accidentally clicked the channel point redeem. And my chat's too skinny, so I can't close the window. I'm kind of a boomer when it comes to emotes. The freaking broadsword hype emote? Dude, that's all you need. That's all you need. You don't even need the other ones. You just need the broadsword hype emote. That's all you need on this channel. <laughs> There are other ones, but Broadsword Hype's one of my favorite. Because I love that Broadsword. 
Ardcore Broadsword Challenge Run. Alright, so if she summons Velstaddy, we're out of there. Cause I don't wanna I don't wanna get I don't wanna get stuck between Velstaddy and I don't know, Elena, mommy. So, uh We're out of there if Velstat shows up first. If she summons skeletons first and then she summons Velstat, I'll probably stick around. Cause at that point the fight's probably gonna be nearing completion anyway. One day I'll have to subscribe to myself. I created myself! Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Bronson Enjoyer, Stream Katana fans. Keep moving. <laughs> I'm confused. I've never been that into the katanas in the Souls games. I think I kinda I like kinda dig them in Elden Ring. I wonder if I would like them in Dark Souls 3. I don't know if I've ever really given them much of a chance in Dark Souls 3. I think I have actually. I've kicked some ass with one of them. I think it might be Chaos Blade. Chaos Blade in Dark Souls 3 is the bee's freaking knees. Alright. The power stancing too is sick. Oh, I'm so happy they brought power stancing back for Elden Ring. Yeah, power stancing is sick. There's Elena in all her glory, bearing it all. I can hear her voice. Isn't that weird? I have the dialogue all muted, but you can still hear Elena. Isn't that strange? She's gonna explode? She's gonna explode. Yeah, I knew it was gonna happen. I stood there and, like, let it happen. I'm a big dingus. Alright, we need to get back in the... Oh my god, yeah, we're really out of it. I didn't even get rid of the freaking boss list. Alright, boss list is gone. I need to take this earbud out so I can focus a little bit better. Having one earbud in... It's a completely different vibe than having both earbuds in. Okay, these are skeletons or pigs, but more, more likely skeletons. The pigs are really rare. She can summon skeletons. So, I've been meaning to test something, and I think I just might. Somebody said that if you keep one skeleton alive, she will not summon anything else. And to me, that's not true, because I've done that in NG+. And she definitely summons Velstat, even if you keep one skeleton alive. So I just kind of want to test this out right now, and see, will she ever spawn anything else? I, you know what, fuck this. No, I don't want to, I don't want to, this skeleton... Suck a fat one. Just kill him. Just kill him. I don't feel like dealing with the skeleton and her. What's she doing? A blamo. Kaboom. Another kablamo. I don't like the way she's backed in the corner. There's Velstaddy. Oh shit, Velstaddy's here. Alright, well now we're dealing with her and Velstaddy. But she's not doing too good. Ooh. Velstat smacked me. I think twice. I think he smacked me twice. She's going she's going with her dark. AoE explosion. She needs to get out of that corner. Pain in the ass dealing with her and Velstat while she's hanging out in the corner like this. Oh man, yeah. Not let myself get smacked like that. Whoa, the fact that didn't get me. He swung the weapon so late. Oh. Alright, thank you. Got my health back. Regardless of the fact that I got hit, my HP still restored quite a bit because of the delayed healing effect of Dark Souls 2. It can play in your favor. Most of the time, the delayed healing of Dark Souls 2 bones you, but it can actually play in your favor, which it just did there. Whoa, lady. Shows up right behind Belstat. I thought she would get some distance from him. She keeps showing up directly behind him. It's like she's hiding behind him. I used all my stamina, and I swung twice, which left me with no time. Dodge out. She's gonna slam me. Ooh, that hurt. Didn't feel too good. I'm gonna drink another one of them. One of them, please. Like Nico Bellic ordering a... Hamburger. She's doing a kablamo or something? Oh, it's the AoE kablamo. If Velstat would get away from her, I can punish this pretty good. I didn't get to punish it as much as I wanted to because Velstat was kind of inconvenient. It's all good. Fight's almost over anyway. Okay, finish her off. Oh, Velstat. I didn't expect him to come back that quick. What's she doing? What's she doing? Kablamo. A one-handed for the quick sprinting. Boom. Down she goes. And Velstat. Bye-bye, Velstaddy. All right. Mommy and Daddy are done. And uh, it's time for Sin. The dragon. Hell yeah. That went well. Despite the fact that I came back, I was kind of like... I don't know. I was almost like... I was almost like out of it at first because I took that break. So I came back and I just like charged right into that boss room. And yeah, I don't know. I was kind of concerned with where my headspace was at, because my headspace didn't feel like it was in the right place. But it went good, it went good. Using a flask in Dark Souls 2, it's like playing a game of poker. 
Hey, I, like, I don't mind the flasks in Dark Souls 2. I don't mind the flasks. Every time you play Dark Souls 2, you just never have a good time. Ah. Uh, it's, uh, it's got a different feel to it, for sure. I don't know. My first three playthroughs. I did try them blind. I did... I, I The first three playthroughs of Dark Souls 2 that I played, I quit. They were blind playthroughs. And I would end up not knowing where to go. I would have statues in my way, but I wouldn't have fragrant branches of yore. I didn't know about agility and adaptability and how it affects you. So those three things made me quit my first three attempts of enjoying Dark Souls 2. But uh, then I started Google searching stuff. And I've been, I've been enjoying Dark Souls 2 ever since I started allowing myself to Google search stuff, to tell you the truth. All right, all right, all right. What is that agility or uh, endurance at level 79? Damn, boy. Oh, I didn't wear the silver serpent rings. Shit. Could have got even more souls for that fight. Oh, well. All right, we head back to Sholva. Not Sholva. We head back to Dragon Sanctum. Pretty much is Sholva, though. Yeah, I read from Factor Comics comments that if you leave the skeletons and pigs alive, she won't summon again. But it didn't seem like even two Velstats would stop you. Two Velstats might stop me. Two Velstats, that'd be a lot. Uh, oh, actually, wait, this isn't where I meant to go. Where is it? It's its own- why are there so many different locations here? Like this one, this one, and this one? They could have put them all under the same window, or at least two different ones. The fact that Sanctum Interior has its own, like, location. Dragon Sanctum, pretty sure the only bonfire in Dragon Sanctum is Sanctum Interior. And then you got this one, Dragon's Rest. The only bonfire at Dragon's Rest is Sanctum Nadir. But yeah, I, I don't know. I like, I want to test out that, what you're talking about, Treble Six, with the extra comment thing that you read, but I, just, I don't have the patience for it, I guess. I, I wanted to do it, and then I was like, to hell with this, I'm just going to fight her. I actually think Dark Souls 2 has a lot of unique mechanics that I wish were explored more in future series, but the most concerning thing you have about the game is that you feel like it's difficult for all the wrong reasons. I thought everybody says this game is easy. Um... For base game, though, like, yeah, getting getting to the bosses in base game is tougher than the bosses themselves. DLC, it flips that around a bit, and fighting the bosses is, like, the harder part. Because that's how most Souls games go, but yeah, Dark Souls 2, it's like the air, it's kind of, Demon Souls kind of has a similar vibe, where it's like, getting to the boss is the hard part of Demon Souls. The boss itself is not the hard part. That's kind of the way Dark Souls 2 is as well. I don't really mind it that much. I just like, I don't know. You just gotta like, you almost gotta think of the area as a challenge that you need to, you need to like learn how to do the right things to not get yourself screwed over. And you need to acquire a little bit of skill just through practice. It's, it's like spat, I'm sorry. Uh, you need to like acquire skill through practice and like get knowledge about how to get through it kind of like kind of like fighting a tough boss you know you need to you need to become knowledgeable about what the boss is capable of and you need to have some skill in order to react properly to what the boss is capable of it's kind of how i feel about like demon souls and dark souls 2 areas you have to like know how the enemies are going to react according to the what you do and you got to like acquire some skill to kind of like you know when things when things because not everything happens the same way so you can't just do you can't just do the same thing in Souls games over and over, because the enemies don't do the same things all the time. So you kind of have to like you kind of gotta like have a plan of what you're expecting to happen. But if things deviate from your expectations a little bit, you have to improvise, adapt, and overcome. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's kind of it can be kind of tricky to like enjoy that. I guess a lot of people are here for the boss fights, and I'm here for the boss fights too. Um, but I almost think of, like, getting to the boss itself as not quite like a boss fight in its own, but it's just kind of like a, it's a similar feeling of, like, overcoming the challenge, and it feels so good when you get through Iron Keep without too much trouble, and you know that there's all these people screaming about how much they hate Iron Keep, and I'm like, watch this, I kill five enemies, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, we're in the boss fog. That didn't happen that way today, I'm not gonna lie, I almost died in Iron Keep today, but 
Today's been a fluke, man. I've been playing like crap today. Yui Tanamara. I really just intended you to kill everything leading up to the boss. Eh. That's why the AI is so strong at attacking the fog walls. And don't give iframes. You don't really have to fight everything, though. You don't. I don't fight all the enemies. Have you seen me fighting all the enemies in these areas? Hell no. I run through them. Maybe I kill an enemy or two. The only time I kill all the enemies is on the way to Old Dragon Slayer. Uh, that's the only time I kill all the enemies. And that's because you have to kill that Guardian Dragon to get to Old Dragon Slayer. And if you have a mass enemy, if you have like a mass of enemies following you to Guardian Dragon, the one that's guarding Old Dragon Slayer, it's a nightmare. Um, that's the only time I kill all the enemies. I kill, like, five in Iron Keep, and other than that, do I fight any enemies? I think I just kill five enemies in Iron Keep, and I kill all the bosses to Old Dragon Slayer, and I don't really think there's any other point in the game where I feel like I need to kill enemies to get to the Fog Wall. It's literally just those two spots, and Old Dragon Slayer is, like, a optional boss. He's, like, he's just easy Ornstein. He's not that special. Uh, so like, just skip that boss, honestly, unless you're doing all boss playthroughs like I am. It's because you're a pro gamer. I've played a lot of Dark Souls 2, that's true. I have played a lot of Dark Souls 2, but I, I ain't no pro gamer, man. I'm such a jackass. That's why I don't do hitless runs. Too much of a jackass for hitless runs. Alright, Sin, we need to have... I only have three repair powders. And I have no souls. I spent all my souls. We're going to have to make sure I buy some repair powders after I kill Sin. All right, all right, all right. That's enough Animal Crossing music. Let's go in here. I'm doing it, Artorius. I'm doing it. Get rid of this boss list. What am I doing here? I thought that was my music playing for a second. I was like, what the hell is this track? It was the sound of Sin getting up. Okay, I have the repair powders ready to go. He's a butthole. Who will Break down your weapon. This is my least favorite fight in this DLC. I, I don't really... I don't know. This fight's kind of whack, yo. I do like the way he breaks all the stalagmites and shit, though. That's always cool. I, like, I know he's a dragon, and dragons fly and shoot fireballs, but he's just he's a dick about it. I don't know. Oof. Going for this back leg. He's hopping around. What you got for me, Sinny boy? Where you going, city boy? What's he doing right now? Oh, this is, this is kind of weird. He's staying on the ground so much. I'm so used to him flying every two seconds and me barely having any opportunity to attack him. I can't believe I'm this far through the fight and it just started. Because usually he's up in the air for ages and I can never land a damn hit on him. Used all my stamina like a scrub, but he's pretty slow, and I don't know, he's just swinging. He's trying to attack where I'm not. I'm not even standing where he's trying to hit. It's kind of strange. But yeah, oh, oh shit, don't get in the toxic. Don't get in the toxic fog. Uh, he's breathing fire straight at me. Hit him in the face. How you like them apples? Flying up in the air again. Shooting another toxic ball. Is he going to plop or is he going to swoop? He's swooping, damn. I was hoping he would plop, but he swooped. I'm in the toxic fog again. Did a big swing and a miss on my part. Oh, that bite. Yeah, that that bite's the one that gets me the most. Okay, he's flying up in the air. I've got time to drink one of these flasks. Shooting another toxic fireball. Dropping down. I can smack him at least once. But, oh man, what the heck is... I kind of lost control of myself for a second there. Ooh, broadsword's at risk. We need to use a repair powder. Boom. Whoa, get away from that. Should probably just use two repair powders, honestly. Another repair powder. Boom. Use it up, use it up. What's he doing? Oh, breathing fire. I'm right here. I can punish the hell out of him with how much stamina I have and how long this fire breathing animation is. Hell yeah. What's he doing now? Oh, he's going to breathe fire straight down. We need to get to the tail. It's like fighting Midir or Lacidisax in that sense. He just stood there for like a solid two seconds doing nothing. Is he going to plop? Is he going to plop? Is he going to plop? He plopped it. No, he swooped. He swooped. He did not plop. He swooped. Uh, what's he doing? He's flying up in the air again. Pretty typical dragon shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he swooped right back down. He didn't shoot a fireball. Shocker. I thought he was going to shoot a fireball for damn sure. What's he doing now? Flying back up in the air again. Yeah, this is a little bit more typical for how Sin acts. He loves to leave. Makes him a pain in the ass. When you have, when you have this fantastic reach of the broadsword, it can be difficult to hit him. 
He's just swinging and missing. I'm nowhere near the front of him, and he keeps trying to get... Oh, he's breathing backwards. Run, run! Almost reacted too slow to that. All right, he's flying up in the air again. He's shooting the fireball again. He's going to bop it, or he's going to swoop. He's bopped, and I'm a little far away to hit him, but ha! I got him in the face once anyway. That's what I love to see. Jumping in the air again. Yep, this is how Sin is. He's kind of a tedious fight. This is why is my least favorite fight in this DLC. Because usually he spends more time in the air than on the ground, which just drives me insane. I got really lucky this attempt. He spent a lot of time on the ground this attempt. And boom, down goes Sin. Making him look easy, honestly. He ain't that easy of a boss. He's kind of he's kind of a real... He's a major dickhead, to tell you the truth. Hey, and I was wearing the Silver Serpent Ring. I love it. I love it. Dragon, I chose you! Use Flamethrower! It missed. Flamethrower missed. Do you have any intention of power stancing broadswords? It would be sick. Um... I don't know. I'd have to collect a lot more upgrade materials, though. So, I, I will not be power stancing broadswords, even though it would, be, it would be sick. I think that'd be pretty sick for broadsword only challenge run. Do some power stanced broadswords. Um, I think you can just buy a broadsword off of Leningrast, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure you can just buy a... Pretty sure you can just buy a broadsword off Leningrast. But mostly, I think like Titanite chunks is where the issue is. I guess that one lady... That one lady sells a whole bunch of them. So, like, I probably could... I think I'm short on regular Titanite chunk or shards now. No, no, I could, I could, I could, I could do some power stancing of broadswords, but I, I don't really have any intention to do it. To tell you the truth, all my practice is with a solo broadsword. Um, so I, I could do some power stance broadsorting. I don't think I'm gonna because I just like I don't know. It's just not what I'm used to doing. I'm scared to break from the norm. And I'm also, I don't know, I'm a little concerned about the, uh... Ooh, I probably don't have, I probably don't have the stat requirements. I'd have to, I'd have to get the stats correct. And one of the broadswords is raw. I'd have, what, a raw broadsword and then a non-raw broadsword? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It just it seems weird to me. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Give him a bop. The rare lightning attack. Got some got himself backstabbed. I probably don't need to kill this guy, honestly. I don't need to do... Ah, hello. Hello, Sikus. I probably don't need to do all of the... Oh, oh, by the way, Michael, thank you for the GG. I didn't say so. Probably don't need to kill that guy, because I already exhausted all the dialogue from this dude, so I can just run up here and buy some repair powders. That's what I'm here for, is repair powders. Let's buy, like, ten. It's a little overkill to buy ten, but whatever. This dude's trying to get to me... Oh, I don't have him equipped anymore. Alright, we'll just kill him then. He's not that far from death, I don't think. It's not like he's that hard either. Oh yeah, the great reach of the broadsword's heavy attack. Especially the the, the combo of the heavy attack. <laughs> the combos in general. They they get pushed away from you and they're immediately too far. <laughs> so you gotta what you gotta do is you gotta do a light attack and then a heavy attack, because you step forward like that. So you gotta do light attack, heavy attack. L light attack. Heavy attack. That's how you chase an enemy who's getting pushed away from you. It's a little, it's a little rough. All right, all right, all right. So, aged feather. That's the one. I'm too lazy to walk back to the bonfire. I didn't cross out the bosses, did I? I crossed out Elena. I just didn't cross out Sin. We have Blue Smelter Demon coming up next. We got a ways to go before we get to him, but I've got it out. I, I, I I'm. I want a rematch against Blue Smelter Demon so bad. My last playthrough, he killed me twice. I need to, I need to, I need to redeem myself against Blue Smelter Demon. Even though I haven't redeemed myself this playthrough, I'm doing worse this playthrough than, uh, I'm doing worse this playthrough than I was last playthrough, but... I can, if I can go through without dying the rest of the way, I'd be pretty happy. What makes Blue Smelter Demon any different than the version before, other than color? He does more damage, he has more health. Other than that, yeah, it's just color. I don't know, his hitboxes seem like they're even worse. They probably have the same hitboxes, I'm sure. But that's what caused me to die on the previous attempt on the previous attempt. He's got He's got some horrendous hitboxes, to tell you the truth. Alright, so. We need to go to uh, Iron Keep, Igles, Idol, or Igel. I don't know how to pronounce it. Igel, Igel, Igel. 
OBS hitboxes. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I mean, I love me some Dark Souls too, but I, I, I do feel, I do feel like there's a higher number of bad hitboxes in Dark Souls 2 than there is in the other Souls games. Who needs ladders when you can just take falling damage? Hey, that guy didn't notice me. I'm kind of shocked to tell you the truth. I thought for sure he would notice me. Bop. Ain't gonna bop me, son. Nuh uh We're gonna keep on running. Gonzo, you gotta start working. Alright, have a good day at work, Gonzo. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out. Oh, I don't think I gave you a shout out all day long. I'm so sorry, Gonzo. You deserve it. Gonzo's a pretty entertaining guy. Go over there and check out his channel. Shout out to Gonzo's World. Alright, alright, alright. But yes, have a good day at work. I'll for sure watch more of your stream tomorrow. Alright, hell yeah, Gonzo, hell yeah. See you around, man. Have a good night as well. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. It's the least I could do. The least I could do. Alright. We got two DLCs left and all three bosses in the final throne room. I love some I love uh, Broom Tower. Broom Tower is my favorite DLC. I used to save Broom Tower for last because I love saving what I like the most for the end of the game, but I, I think I can't deny that Aleum Lois is tougher than Broom Tower. But I love this place. This place is sick. Broom Tower is so cool. The level design, so good. And Fume and Alon are great. Blue Smelter Demon's kind of lazy. I mean, literally, they just put a base game boss in the DLC with extra HP and extra damage. That's that's kind of <clears throat> that's a little lazy, if you ask me. What are you doing from software? What the hell is that? But um, but the level design of this place, Fume Knight, Sir Alon, amazing. And <clears throat> they got kind of lazy with Alayum Lois as well. I mean, you have um, you have Ava, and then you have Ludin Zolin, and all three of those are the same enemy. It's the same like big cat boss. So you have the solo big cat boss, and then you have the duo big cat boss, and it's just like this is DLC content, and they're reusing bosses, really. Silver Cat Ring makes this place even more fun. I love the Silver Cat Ring, dude. It's so much fun. I have so much fun using this Silver Cat Ring, it's not even funny. Hell yeah. This is exactly where I wanted to land. Even though, honestly, this guy's so easy to kill, we don't even need to land in the cheese spot. We just kill him regularly. His homie heard, but didn't come walking over. Hit him with the light attack. Hit him with the heavy attack. Finish him off with another light attack. Alright, nobody else heard me. Miyazaki had a plan with Blue Smelter Demon, or our, our small mortal minds couldn't comprehend the true plan. You know how I know Miyazaki didn't have a big hand in Dark Souls 2? There are way less bare feet in Dark Souls 2 than Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, and Dark Souls 3. There's more bare feet in all the games that Miyazaki is, like, the head director of. I'm on to you. I'm on to you, Miyazaki. Come on, barrel guys, do your thing. Do your thing, barrel guys. Kaboom. Alright, cool. Barrel guys did their thing. We can proceed. Silver cat ring. Making it more fun. Because I don't have to climb down a bunch of ladders. Uh, fuck that bonfire. No, no, no. Let's get that bonfire. Never mind. Ooh, we're getting chased. Shit. I, my hesitation. It's going to lead to defeat. It's going to lead to defeat. Speaking of, speaking of Miyazaki, hesitation. Lead to defeat. Alright. Let's add the bonfire. I don't really know why. I just wanted my flasks back, I think. Just wanted my flasks back. That was really why. If I would have had 12 flasks, I probably would have been fine with skipping that bonfire. And honestly, I probably would have been okay with just 10 flasks. But I didn't I didn't feel like risking it for the biscuit. Play it play it slow, play it smart. Alright, so I like knocking this guy down here or scaring him down there. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. Alright, down he goes. Alright, and then we're gonna go over here. There's three more of those guys. We're gonna drop down a trapdoor. Miyazaki seems like the kind of guy that loves to interact with his fans. It's just some meme he's in on. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, the, uh, the whole thing with feet. If you translate it, I'll just show you. I can't really put it in words that well. 
You may have already seen this because I, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I meme about this pretty frequently. Display capture. Google Translate English Japanese. I spelled it wrong, but Google's got me. Feet. Look. Ashy. Ashy. You got Ashen One from Dark Souls 3. You got Ashina Castle from Sekiro. Feet. Ashy. Feet. Ashy. Ashen One. Ashina Castle. Coincidence? I think not! Mind blown. Hey, Amateur Menace. Good to have you here. No death run. Let's fucking go. Yeah, I mean, I've already failed. I'm at four deaths down here. Down, down, down like here. Four deaths. Uh, my personal best is three. So we're doing worse than my personal best. But we're still going through with the entire playthrough just for some just for some practice. Uh, and I learned I learned a couple lessons along the way. I died like a scrub a couple of times. Actually all four times. I died like a scrub all four times. But we learned some uh, we learned some lessons, so at least there's that. Still love Dark Souls 2. Yeah, no, me too. Amateur menace. I'm glad. Dark Souls 2 doesn't get enough love, so it's nice to hear you. Nice to hear you spreading some love for uh, Dark Souls 2, that's for sure. I know I like just gave a shout out to somebody else, but shout out to Amateur Amateur Menace as well. Amateur Menace is an awesome guy. I love hanging out with Amateur Menace. Make sure I spell this right. Yes. Sorry for the absolute butcher. Oh my god. My dumbass. I just have to do like shout out. I have your name copy and pasted, so I don't even have to do it. There it goes. Goodness gracious. Sorry for the sloppiest shout out ever, but Amateur Menace is a cool guy. Check him out. Alright, to be fair, I couldn't do what you're doing. I was always more into PvP. Ah, uh, PvP, PvP's fun. Dark Souls 2 PvP is solid. But, um... Problem with Souls PvP is always the peer-to-peer -peer connection. If they had some dedicated servers for their games, like even Elden Ring is on peer-to-peer -peer connection. That's kind of trash. A 2022 release game that's got like high pace combat and it's still on peer to peer connection. Not to mention it doesn't even have cross play. I'm disappointed to say the least. All right, so we swing twice. It breaks the boxes the second time. Why it doesn't break the boxes the first time, I don't know. But we swing twice, breaks the boxes the second time, and then we can go down over here and pummel this guy so he doesn't shoot arrows and throw firebombs at us while we're down there. There was an explosion that happened, and I don't think it hurt Big Man at all. My whole plan is to get these barrel guys down there. There's like this barrel guy up at the corner, and then there's this other barrel guy over here. And, and these two barrel guys, well, there was four of them down there. Now I only see these two. There was an explosion that I heard... But Big Man, I don't think Big Man is even injured. Which, that's my whole plan, is get the barrel dudes down there, and then they'll explode Big Man when they get near him. That's my entire strategy for that room there. So I'm a little upset that an explosion happened, and Big Man still seems totally fine. Can't wait to do another playthrough of this. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Amateur Menace. I'll try, I'll try to catch you live sometime. I feel like I haven't been in your stream in a while. Not since, not since you like first started playing Minecraft. It's the last time I was there. I need to come around some more. I've been real busy lately, though. I've <clears throat> I I quit my job and I was doing I was going really ham on job hunting, and I landed I landed a nice one. I've only ever worked in fast food or worked in uh, grocery stores or worked in like a restaurant. Those are the only jobs I've ever had. I am starting April 1st, and it's not an April Fool's joke, but starting at the beginning of April, I'm going to be a grout cleaner. Yes, moving on up in the world. So I'm excited. I'm excited to do something I've never done before because, I don't know, I'm kind of like sick of the jobs that I have had. 
So it's cool to do something different. Okay, big man, that worked perfectly. Big man got baited over here. That's exactly what I wanted because the barrel guys are over here. I want big man to get exploded by the barrel guys. They're pretty close right now. There's a barrel guy directly underneath me. And big man's right there. There's also a barrel guy directly behind big man. But neither of them are moving to where they need to go. This is frustrating. This is why it sucks. I don't know what happened to the other two. Two of them exploded, and I don't know where they are. Again, another one exploded, but Big Man's still perfectly fine. I'm getting really unlucky. Honestly, though, now it's just Big Man. It's just Big Man and this guy with the bow right here. So if I can get the guy with the bow, it would be just Big Man, and I think I could handle Big Man solo. It's Big Man plus all the other guys that make it difficult. That was the last time you streamed you were on vacation. Ah, no wonder I haven't caught you live at all. You haven't even going live. No wonder, no wonder. That makes sense. <clears throat> Michael, you say you get the criticism about the peer-to-peer. -peer. It's not what I would prefer. I can't tell you with my experience that it's calculable. Once you understand how everything works, it starts to become easy to always have an advantage. Kind of difficult to explain. I've done a decent amount of D PvP, so I, I kind of get it. I get it. You like... That's why people throw the daggers at each other. They use, like, throwing daggers at the beginning of the fight. They're testing the latency. And then depending on the latency, you actually, like, fight differently. Depending on how much latency there is between you and your opponent. You kind of have to, like, fight in a different manner. I've done a decent amount of PvP. I think that's what you're trying to say. Yeah, that's exactly correct. Yeah, yeah, no, I've, do, I've done a, I've done a good amount of PvP, mostly in Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. That's where I've done the most of P, most of my PvPing. Third, maybe Elden Ring. I should do some more Elden Ring PvP, to be honest with you. I'm scared to go down here. I'm, I'm scared to go down here, dude. I don't know. The guy with the bow is hanging... Uh, the statue right there, this statue, will make the guy with the bow way tougher if I go close to it. I don't know. I think we just have to go down there and try. It's either that or I go back to the bonfire and try the whole scenario again, which I don't really want to do because I'm one impatient fucker. So we're just going to go down here. Bowman's going to be shooting at me, and then we have Big Man that we're trying to deal with as well. Big Man's got to, like, go pretty much. Oh, he is weak. He's weak as hell. Perfect. I didn't know he got weakened by the explosions. God, his lava pits keep... keep sweating on me. It's gross. I smell like his B.O. now. I keep getting hit by the damn lava. I get hit by the lava, and I'm getting hit by the dude with the bow. It's making me kind of nervous, to tell you the truth. I need to kill this dude. A couple more swings ought to do it. Oh, just one. Hell yeah. All right, big man goes down. I didn't realize he was weak. I would have been way less intimidated if I realized he was weak. Now that that guy's dead, only with the bow can't really do anything to stop me from opening the door, and we can be on our merry way. Elden Ring PvP used to be terrible before the patch. People used to die in seconds. Now you have 15 to 20 minute fights. Yeah, it's... The gank central is... Because I do invasions. I, I'm a red phantom at heart. Uh, it's kind of overwhelming in Elden Ring. It gets old kind of quick. It's, it's fun and exciting, but it's like... It's overwhelming having to deal with, if you're lucky, only three other people at once. A lot of times, isn't it like four? You walk in, they got their two white phantoms, and then a blue phantom shows up as well. You got like four versus one in Elden Ring PvP. And it could be sick to be able to like decimate a gang squad, but it's just like, it takes so much effort and it's like stressful. I just, I don't know, I get sick of it after a while. And I don't know, I'm not big on the arena. I think I'm just not like, I'm not sweaty enough for the arena. I feel like Elden Ring normalized things like weapon swaps. I used to think of weapon swapping mid-fight. That's dirty, in my opinion. And that's just like the normal in Elden Ring. If you're in the arena and you're not swapping weapons to try to like counter, I guess, what your opponent is trying to do, then you're like, then you're fighting with your arm tied behind your back. I just, I don't know, I missed the days in Souls PvP before I before weapon swapping was a thing. I honestly wish, I wish in the arena, it would lock in your gear. You'd go into the arena, and you'd have your build set up, and it would lock you in. You wouldn't be able to change stuff mid-fight. That's how I wish it was. That would be way better, in my opinion. If you couldn't change equipment mid-arena fight, I would like the arena more. I'd like the arena a lot more. I'm just, I'm not into all that menu 
stuff, mid thing. I've only ever seen three people at most of one team. It could be quite overwhelming. And also, if you password summon, gates the stats down mechanic if you're too high level from whoever's the host. Gates the stats down mechanic. You just mean it doesn't nerf them as much? Yeah, no, the overleveled phantoms is definitely an issue in Elden Ring as well. It's... Yeah, the, the, the over-leveled, password-summoned phantoms, they're pretty nuts in Elden Ring, that's for damn sure. The gates. I see. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, it's not cool. It's not cool. And then you get killed by them in like two hits after you hit them like ten times, and then they point down on you. <laughs> okay, big man's following, let's book it. What's up, dudes? If you guys could blow up big man for me... Be a homie. Homies help homies. To battle. To battle, my men. To battle. Stop. Stop hitting the wall. What are you idiots? Stop hitting the wall, idiots. Stop it. What are you doing? Here comes big man. Flying past all the guys I was hoping he would explode upon. Didn't explode upon any of them. Oh, he exploded on one. One of them got exploded upon. Coming after me... Doing a jab. I like making him go up here. He gets pretty weird. He gets pretty weird when you get him up here. So it's easy to dodge away and then make a dash for the lever. Honestly, this music's way too peaceful. It's Maiden in Black from Demon Souls. Just run through the fire. How did I not take any damage? What? Oh, Big Man just got exploded again. Is he dead? Big Man's still kicking? I'm shocked. Homie got exploded like twice and he's still kicking. It's actually pretty impressive I gotta say yeah see I should have had this music playing the whole time instead I was listening to Maiden in Black from Demon Souls really the heck man if you ever get interested in trying Elden Ring PvP I'll say again because I I, I mean I dabbled I never got that deep in it I suggest you make a level 30 character with only a plus 2 weapon it would be much easier to get into of course that also means you could run through most of the game as a low level but knowing you you probably would like the challenge um I have a level 1 character who has, like, all of the spells and incantations that I could possibly ever be interested in using in PvP, but the weapons are plus 10, so the intention with that character is, is just using a PlayStation save scum. I essentially, has an, I essentially have an infinite respec character who has all of the gear to be any PvP build, so I could be any build that I want. And then respec back down to level 1. But yeah, the intention is for that character to be like, what, like, I think it's like 137. When you're level 137, you can connect with the 125s and the level 150s. But yeah, maybe, I, I don't know, low level PvP characters. I usually do like low level PvP characters more than high level PvP characters. So you could be onto something with that, Michael, for sure. You definitely could be onto something there. A lot of times I try to shove her off the edge. It can be tricky, though. It can be really tricky. She ain't easy to shove off the edge. I need to not chug through every flask, but I'm just I'm, if I'm gonna be doing if I'm gonna <clears throat> if I'm gonna be messing around with the edge like this, I need to make sure my HP is good. God damn! Guard break on her, nice. Got the critical. Oh, she's poisy as hell. I forgot. She's a, she's like one of the toughest NPCs. NPC invaders in the game, I swear. She's not easy. I used to cheese her. If you light one of these things on fire, she doesn't recognize the fire as a threat, and you can just bait her around like this, and she'll slowly burn to death. You can just, I guess, kite is the term. You can just kite her around, and she'll just burn, burn, burn. And it burns, burns, burns. The Goblet of Fire. This isn't a Harry Potter movie. Book, I guess, sorry. Nice, she's weak. Boom. Alright, we fought her legit. You guys want to see something that'll probably make you piss your pants? Oh no, I fell off the edge! Silver cat ring. Silver cat ring. I fucking love it, man. I love that silver cat ring. That thing is awesome. Who needs ladders when you got the silver cat ring? Alright, these dudes don't like it when you take their flame. Run. Run. My, my. Alright, we're just gonna age feather the hell out of here. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Whew. Whew, 
Ooh. All right. Uh, now that I have the Scorching Iron Scepter, I can go ahead and place this bad lad right here. Boom. Something else, please. Okay. I want to go down. I want to get the, um, I think it's called, like, Tower Key? I can't actually remember the name. Oh! I used a Homeward Bone, but I didn't sit to the bonfire. I have Forestus. Let's remedy that. We run and explode! I'm gonna blow up now! <laughs> yeah, those, those guys that crawl around and blow up, they sure do. They... Look out! It's gonna blow! But yeah, like, uh, Dark Souls 2. When I do Dark Souls 2 PvP... I do Tier 1 Soul Memory Invasions. So using the PlayStation save scum, I can keep my character at tier 1 soul memory, and I muled a bunch of items over. Now, I'm not the type of red phantom who just wants to kill you. I want to have a good fight. So I use crappy gear, unupgraded weapons, and like I use crappy weapons most of the time, because even, even the best unupgraded weapons are still way overpowered. So I use like bad unupgraded weapons and I do tier one soul memory invasions at cardinal tower and I gotta say like I could probably go do it right now and get like invasion after invasion after invasion it's awesome I love the tier one soul memory invasions at cardinal tower in dark souls 2 whoa I forgot there was two of these guys and I put myself in a corner that was some risky business uh I'm kind of peeing myself a little bit right now for some reason just having these two guys after me. Okay, they die in like three swings. What are you so scared about? Plus, they have no poise. Just kill them. Kill them. Get away from the flamey axe guy. Now kill him. I said kill him. All right, he's dead. Cool. It's so evil, it's funny. Yeah, the tier one soul memory invasion. It's evil. It's evil to do tier one soul memory invasion. It's always like, I don't know. It's always, it's always people in starting gear for the most part. I do have the gear to twink up as they say for some reason uh but i only do that if i come across somebody who's like clearly a thirty thousand soul memory build because thirty thousand soul memory that's when you can get the agape ring and the agape ring stops you from getting any souls so there's a lot of thirty thousand agape ring builds that are powerful for thirty thousand soul memory um And I'll I'll try to use my I'll try to use my most powerful gear gear available. I'll try to use my most powerful gear available if I come across that type of player. I mean that's pretty much what a level 30 Elden Ring build is. Yeah, no, I I like that low level PvP better. I think I think that initiated for me in Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 1, the meta is like SL100 to SL125 in Ulusil, but honestly, it's like the most toxic PvP experience I've ever had. Ulusil at SL100 plus. The heck did he just do? What was that? He just did the weirdest animation ever. Why is he stopped? What is happening? Did you see that? He did like a weird thing with his weapon. And now we're just chilling. What happened? You think he'll let me pull the lever? He just decided we're not done fighting. He's like, nah, bro, I'm not fighting you anymore. Yeah! I don't know what the heck happened. That was the weirdest thing. That was the weirdest thing. So, um, most, most of the PvP I've done in Dark Souls 1 is actually SL45. I would do SL45. I had two characters. I had one that had plus 5 weapons at SL45, and I had another one that had plus 10 weapons at SL45. And I would invade at An Orlando before Ornstein and Smo. So you'd find a lot of people who are turning human to try to summon people to help them with Ornstein and Smo. Or maybe they're just trying to summon Solaire. I did a lot of bullying noobs in my Dark Souls 1 PvP days, to be honest. I, I would carry around copies of unupgraded weapons. So if I came across somebody who was clearly like their build was shit and they were bad at the game compared to like all the practice I had in PvP. I would switch to unupgraded weapons just to be like a cat playing with a mouse. You know how cats like they don't necessarily kill the mouse right away. They just kind of like bat it around and play with it for a while. It's pretty much what I did 
in Anne Orlando at SL45. Oh my, that's so smart. <laughs> you always did PvP in Anne Orlando at about SL150 or SL50. Yeah, that's, that's about. I, I I don't know why I did SL45 instead of 50, but I did. That's my. That's the most respectful thing to do, even if they don't know that. I mean, it could be a little disrespectful when they barely stand a chance, and it just it pretty much just leads to you abusing them for longer. Yeah, I don't know what happened with this guy. His AI just broke. His AI just completely broke. It's so strange. He's not fighting back anymore. This is so weird. I've never seen this happen. This is the weirdest thing ever. Well, he can stay alive then. He doesn't want to fight. He doesn't have to die then. He let me open the gate in peace. So him and I are chill. Me and that guy are chill now. He's totally... He's fine with me. I'm fine with him. Why am I going to Fume Night? I was supposed to go to... Uh, I was supposed to go to Blue Smelter Demon. We're fighting Blue Smelter Demon before I fight Fume Knight. But we'll go get the Fume Knight bonfire, I guess. HLX, you always use bleed weapons as well, so if they panic and just block you, then you can bleed them. Rough. Rough. Uh, Valker Tahoe is a guy who comes around on here pretty often. He's the biggest bully I've ever heard of in Souls games. Demon Souls is his favorite one. There's this weapon called the Scraping Spear in Demon Souls. It breaks your equipment in literally like three or four hits. Everything you're wearing is going to be broken by the Scraping Spear. And he would invade people at the earliest point in the game that you can invade and break all of their shit with Scraping Spear. Just fucking mean. Oh god, he's so mean. Like, I'm sure people have quit Demon Souls because of what he's done to them in PvP. I have no doubt about it. Those poor victims of Valkyr Tahoe, dude. Oh my god. So in Demon Souls, uh, the Great Swords, they have this heavy attack. The Great Swords have this heavy attack where you swing it like a baseball bat, and if you hit a fellow player with the baseball swing heavy attack of the Great Sword, it'll send them like flying. They'll like fly backwards and land on their back, and they move like far. So there's Storm Ruler in Demon Souls. Storm Ruler in Demon Souls is like Storm Ruler in Dark Souls 3. It doesn't have any stat requirements. So he would have a super low level character and he would put a broken Storm Ruler as his like weapon. And because it was broken, it would do like no damage, but it would still send the enemy flying. Who the poor victim that he invaded. It would still send them flying. So he would just hit them over and over again with the broken storm ruler and just sweep them off their feet and sweep them off their feet and sweep them off their feet and sweep them off their feet like the poor victims. The poor victims of Valkyr Tahoe, dude. Oh, I feel bad for the people who have to deal with him in PvP. I do. I do. Michael's taking notes. <laughs> Uh man, you should think of it another way. You're giving them a chance to learn from their mistakes by keeping them around longer. That is true. And um, a lot of times what I do these days is I, if I find some host who's like clearly low in skill level, I'll bat them around for a while and then I'll drop items and leave their world. I'll be like, all right, obviously I could kill you if I wanted to. There's really no point in killing you. I've had my fun. Here, have some stuff, and then I leave. Dark Souls 2 is actually my favorite in that sense, because Dark Souls 2, the items don't disappear when they die. So, in Dark Souls 2, I'll kill people, and then I'll drop them five human effigies and 5,000 souls. That's like a consolation prize. Here you go, you lost the fight, but here's five human effigies, and here's 5,000 souls sitting on the ground near where I killed you. So they return to get their souls, I would assume, and uh, then they can find the five human effigies and 5,000 souls that I left them, even though like the area, even though the area has reloaded because they died and then I dropped the items, then the loading screen pops up and then they have to return to that area. Um, the items will still be there in Dark Souls 2, which I really wish it was that way in all of these Souls games. We're getting the hope back to the host. To show that invaders aren't bad guys, but a Chad. Yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good guy, Red Phantom. 
but I do I do some trolling myself. I like having a low level character in a high NG plus cycle. And I'll dress up I'll dress up in starting class gear to make the charade even more believable. And I'll summon white phantoms at a low level in a high NG plus cycle. And then I'll be dressed in the starting class gear as well. So they think I'm just like some new character, maybe not somebody who's any good at the game, perhaps even. And then they go to help me out. And then it's like, everything is crazy difficult because it's a high NG cycle and they're not used to that because they usually co-op with people who are in, you know, their first NG cycle. And then they die. And I laugh. Ha! Ha ha! So I like to troll the cooperators. I like to tr I like to I like to troll the co-op players by summoning them into my high NG plus world while I'm dressed up in starting class gear. I love doing that. I love doing that. Bring my red phantom act antics to co-op. It's great. All right, we're supposed to go fight Blue Smelter Demon. It's great that I made my way to Fume Knight. Neon coming in with the raid. God damn. Thank you so much, Neon. That is awesome. I appreciate you so much, my guy. What is up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, unfortunately, the no death run is a failure. I've died four times, and it's not even a new personal best, because my personal best is three deaths, and we've died four times, so we're just finishing the playthrough to get some good old practice. We're having fun regardless, though. Hello, Yagami Bean. Hello, Queer Ratbag. Hello, Neon himself. Sakus, Sakus says, Ard, evil arc? <laughs> I've always been evil, secretly. Damn, a whole four times, I know, too many, too many. Too many, that's for damn sure. Guys, Neon, he's a great guy. I love hanging out with Neon. His voice, uh, it'll make you wet. Just his voice alone, you don't need anything else. I do like cosplay streams and shit. Dude's awesome. Damn, bro, better restart, eh? Back in the day, I used to do Dark Souls 1 no death challenge runs, and I wouldn't go for personal bests. I would just delete the character as soon as I died. I don't do that anymore. Now I actually like play the entire playthrough for the sake of practice. But I used to not I used to not practice any further than how far I got until I died once. I would die once, delete the character. That's how I used to do it. And honestly, there's like there's like a level of excitement to that that I kind of I almost wish I would bring it back. I don't I, I I don't know if I have the balls to do it that way anymore. To tell you the truth, you know, I used to be I used to be quite the young stud. Uh, I don't know if I could do the delete characters upon death thing anymore. Am I going the right way? This is the wrong way. Oh, I just need to go back up. Hey, who's wet from what? Everybody gets wet from Neon's voices. Many thanks. I only got my personal best on Dark Souls 1 of one death, because you died with only Gwyn left! Oh, That had to be soul-crushing, Neon. That had to be soul-crushing. I wish I was there to witness that, man. Oh, man. I'd be feeling so bad. I bet everybody who was watching was. That's rough. I was devastated and have not tried again since. I don't blame you for being devastated. You want to hear the deaths for my personal best of three? I died. To Royal Rat Vanguard, the rat boss. Not even like the big dog rat boss. No, the regular rat boss. That was the first death of the playthrough. And then two deaths to Blue Smelter Demon. We're going to Blue Smelter Demon right now. My last attempt before this one, my, my previous attempt before this attempt was that three death personal best. I died once to Royal, Royal Rat Vanguard. And then I died twice to Blue Smelter Demon. Bruh. What the hell? So, I'm here to redeem myself against Blue Smelter Demon right now. I don't want to die any more times, obviously, the rest of this playthrough. But I really don't want to die to Blue Smelter Demon again. I can do this fight, no problem, without dying. But what do I do? I go get myself killed twice. Make my personal best only three. <laughs> Rat balls for the win, just hordes of rats. Yeah, I got killed by the, I got killed by the, they, they build up your... Petrification. I got killed by the petrification. Smells redeem is mean, but you got this. Thank you for believing in me, Neon. Royal MF'er. I mean, to be fair, they did take me by surprise, but still. 
Yeah, just get good. I'm trying, Neon. I'm trying. I'm putting in a lot of practice these days. I'm trying. <sighs> Alright. What do I all got here? Nothing but Estus? That's my... Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. Let's put on... Let's put on, like... I've got eight Radiant Life Gems. Alright, put on the Radiant Life Gems. Eh, just, just regular Life Gems. Probably won't even need them. Alright. Let's go. Let's roll. Did I go the right way? I feel like I went the wrong way. Oh, because I can take the left here. Okay, we went the right way. I just misremembered. Ah, uh, you smash it easy. I gotta go grab me some food, but I'm lurking it up. Thank you so much for the raid. I don't mind you raiding and running whatsoever, Neon. I do it all the time myself. Go get yourself some much-needed food. I'm sure you're hungry. All right, all right, all right. So far, so good. So far, so good. Something that is a little bit more battle-esque, eh? Let's run. Probably gonna get slowed. I've not gotten slowed yet. Oh, there it goes. I'm slowed now. Alright, things are getting scary. Okay, we run. We run, we dodge. Big man! We keep on running. Don't stop me at the fog wall. Sometimes they hit you with lightning. Alright, cool, cool, cool. I don't want to listen to this track for the fight. I want to listen to something else. Hell yeah, this one's a banger. Oh yeah, that's a lot of damage per hit if I've ever seen it. He's gonna go kaboom. He went kaboom. Go and hit him. This place looks like my first apartment. Must have been a Just studio. Less blood. Less blood? Yeah, yeah, Smelter Demon doesn't really bleed, so it makes sense that it's less blood than your first apartment. Uh. Ooh. No kablammo that time. But yeah, must have been a studio apartment if this looks like it, man. It's all just open space. Alright, let's punish the hell out of him. Nicely done. He's backing up. What you got, Blue Smelter? Big slam and jam. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm a little tired today, so no head. Sorry. Smash your cell phone. Break your skateboard. I don't care. Hey, I feel like I should heal. I'm that much of a scared baby. I said no head, okay, Sakuz? You're not allowed to go, oh. I love how fast you spin in Dark Souls 2. The movement speed in Dark Souls 2 is so crazy high. Spinning in circles, you're just like going lightning fast. A thousand miles per hour spinning in circles. Dragler had enough of this. Dragler going home. <laughs> just, you guys just checking out the sound effects? What's going on in here? Or you've taken off, Michael. Had enough of this? Going home? Ooh, hit me. I might be dead. I might... I like it rough, but not that rough. What's exactly. that smell? Maybe I sharted. Yeah, I just sharted the bed real hard with that. <sighs> we Two playthroughs in a row I've died to Smelter Demon? Are you kidding me? What's wrong with me? Why can't I do this boss fight? No head. Definitely not any head now, motherfucker. I'm pissed. Why am I bad at this fight? Why am I so bad at this fight? Oh no. No. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Yeah, but I can't dodge a smelter demon. It's the same attack that got me killed last playthrough, too. I was supposed to redeem myself. I was supposed to redeem myself. <laughs> I feel you, Miko Lash. I feel you, Miko Lash. I'm gonna die on the way here this time. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna make it to the boss this time. I'm gonna be dead. I'm gonna be dead on the way to the damn boss. Goodness gracious, dude. I'll be down bad. I'll be down bad because of Blue Smelter Demon, the the duplicate. It's a base game boss that they put in a DLC and it's getting me. Ooh. Two playthroughs in a row? I'm dying to blue smelter demon? It was supposed to be a fluke! You were supposed to bring balance to the world, not leave it all in darkness! I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. 
fucking blue smelter demon. I gotta like practice this boss. Are you kidding me? Blue smelter demon. He is the last DLC boss that I would have guessed I needed to practice. Like what? Blue smelter demon? I need to practice blue smelter demon? What? That doesn't even make sense. How is that possible? How is it possible that this is the boss that kills me the most in Dark Souls 2? Blue Smelter Demon is the boss that kills me the most. Is that attack? No, it's not even that attack. It's a different one where he like does a swipe and then combos into a jump and stab. That's the one that gets me. It's not... Oh, it might be that one. He's, he, oh, he's not exploding. Dang it. It's hard to tell if he's going to explode or not. You have to just kind of wait and see... Okay, he's buffing his weapon. I'll chug one of them, please. If you kill me twice this playthrough, just like you killed me twice last playthrough, I'm gonna be so pissed. I can't even blame it on lack of iframes. I have 48 adaptability. I have 14 iframes per dodge roll. Got plenty of frames. I've got plenty of frame frames. Why is Blue Smelter Demon... The one that kills me the most. I'm so disappointed in myself today, man. Oh, I'm much better at this game than this. I'm much better at this game than this. Come on. I need to be setting new personal bests. Not doing worse. Not doing worse. What's he doing? He's freaking me out, man. He's getting freaky. He's getting freaky with it. He keeps doing that stab for some reason. He just got stunned? Hell yeah, he just got stunned. Tons of damage. That's what I like to see. Swanging. Swanging. Is he gun jumping? That's the one that keeps getting me. That's the one that keeps getting me. Is that combo right there. At least we survived that combo this time. Doing it again. The hitbox. I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that. Because the hitbox on it's wild. He's going to go kablammo. I almost ran up to him. Not realizing he was going to go kablammo right away. But I saw it. I saw it coming. Swing. Swing. Swung. Dodge the stab. Swang on him. Dodge the swing. Uh, whoa, that really weirded me out. The way he, like, changed directions and followed up. It was like the same exact attack again. It was really, kind of caught me off guard, but really didn't hit me at all. No kablamo. Get in there. Finish this. Damn it, it's not over yet. Ooh, I can't believe that didn't hit me. I can't believe that didn't hit me. He goes down on the second attempt, but... Why, Gwyn? Why did I have to die again? The blue smelter demon? Thank you, Sakuz. Thank you for the very good. I still feel like I didn't redeem myself. We're gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to wait for the next playthrough of Dark Souls 2 to redeem myself against blue smelter demon. Because I wasn't able to do it this playthrough. I'm angie. I'm angie. Thank you, Patrick. Chat over from YouTube saying, nice one. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I mean, we know you're good. You don't have to prove it to us. I gotta prove it to myself, damn it! I gotta prove it to myself! It's got nothing to do with you, it's about me! <laughs> Alright, I'll stop being a self-obsessed asshole now. <laughs> I'm just joking anyway. I'm just joking anyway. It's all about you. It's all about you. I'm trying to show off for you guys. And I can't do it, because I'm not good enough to show off the way I wanna. We got Fume Knight coming up next. Fume Knight's my favorite fight in this DLC. I love Fume Knight. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> I think Sir Alon is more challenging than Fume Knight, but I like Fume Knight better. It's just, it's just cool. Fume Knight's cooler than Sir Alon, in my opinion. You know how I feel about Katanas, Sekiro fans. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've been enjoying Sekiro, okay? My last playthrough, there's only three things about my last playthrough. My second playthrough. My second playthrough of Sekiro, there was only three things that I had a bad time with. The second memory of Harada Estate. Ugh, I had a bad time in the second memory of Harada Estate. And then the Headless and the Chi Chi Men. I don't like those either. Fuck Headless. Fuck Chi Chi Men. Fuck the second memory of Harada Estate. Other than that, I had a great time playing Sekiro on my second playthrough, to tell you the truth. Big ol' swoop. Bam. Bam. I used to come to this DLC and I would only fight Fume Knight. <laughs> I would probably gonna stab me one. Yeah, ooh, he didn't. Wow. Uh, I would I would go through all of Broom Tower just to fight Fume Knight, and then I would leave. And that was I think the only DLC content I did. 
I wouldn't go to Sholva, because I didn't like Sholva. I didn't go to a Lamlois, because I didn't like a Lamlois. I would just come to Broom Tower and fight Fume Knight, and that was it for my DLC experience. I mean, it's been like years, I think, since I've done that. Ooh, God. He's gonna hit me good. What in the 14 iframes? What in the 48 adaptability was that? I definitely should have been hit, man. I definitely should have been hit. Homie's got 48 adaptability. He's still getting killed by blue smelter demon. Get good scrub dub, dude. I can't believe myself. Alright, he's switching to phase two. I didn't have a lot of stamina, so we couldn't punish too hard. Making weird laser beam sword sounds now. His big ol' great sword. Okay, you gotta make sure he truly is done with his combo. Fume Knight will trick you into thinking that he's done with his combo, and then he will keep swinging after pausing for a moment. So you always gotta make sure, are you actually done swinging with your combo, Fume Knight? Or are you just faking me out? And right now, he could keep going, so I usually wait for a moment. See if he's gonna keep going or nah. Big swangs, big misses. Oh, see, he's not done with his combo! He got me! He got me with the fake out! Oh, now he's trying to kill me. He's, getting me. he's pulling out the finish move. All right, I need to heal now before he comes and stabs me. All right, cool. Oh, uh, he's trying this one again. That ain't gonna work. He got me with the fake out. I can't, I was talking about it. I was so wary of the fake outs. He got me with one. Slash, smack, slash. See you later, Fume Knight. Catch you on the flippity flip. I love that fight. I've gotten a little too good at it, so it's not really a challenge anymore, which is a bit of a shame. So I would love to be challenged by Fume Knight. I need to get. F I should do an unupgraded weapon playthrough of Dark Souls 2. I don't know, Blue Smelter Demon with an unupgraded weapon? I'd have to bring in a lot of life gems for that to be fun. Why can't I? Oh, it's the Soul of Nadalia. That's why I can't use it. I'm not feeling Sea Shanty. I'm sorry. I'm just not. Hey, Great Hat Flev. 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 Flevrelius. I'm sorry. I don't know how to say your last part. Ah, Great Hat. I'll just call you Great Hat. Is that okay? I'm doing all right, Great Hat. I'm a little upset because I'm playing like trash today. Died five times. My personal best is three. We died four times in spectacularly newbie manners. And then I got killed by Blue Smelter Demon. I died on my, my personal best of three. Two of those deaths were to Blue Smelter Demon. And that was on the playthrough before this one. So I was really hoping that I would redeem myself against Blue Smelter Demon this playthrough and what do i go and do get myself killed by blue smelter demon again so i'm uh, i'm good i'm good my like my life outside of this live stream is going like better than ever but this current live stream i've died too damn much i'm playing like a noob <sighs> not every day can be a good day i guess some days sometimes you just got off days you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying Melty Demon is personally the hardest effing boss in Dark Souls 2. <laughs> I think I might be in agreement with you. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I wouldn't have agreed at all. I definitely would not have agreed with that. If you asked me, you know, two playthroughs ago, do you think Blue Smelter Demon's the hardest boss in the game? I'd be like, what? Hell no. Are you crazy? But now that I've died three times to him in the last two playthroughs that were supposed to be deathless attempts... I don't know, he might be the hardest boss in the game. He might be the hardest boss in the game. I wanted to roll through that door so bad, but it looked like I was going to fall to my death if I went for it, so I did not go for it. I was supposed to go spend these souls. I have 266,000 souls. That's a lot of freaking souls, man. I was supposed to go spend those at Mahula. Alright, we get invaded by Prowlers, but it doesn't matter. We're just going to book it. We're not going to bother with the bonfire. We're just heading for Sir Alon. Ivory King was really hard for me, but it was my favorite, even beating some bosses from other Souls games. The Ivory King fight, I'm not gonna lie, I have a harder time getting through the fight before Ivory King than the boss himself. Dealing with all those charred Aleum Lois knights, oh, dude, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Maybe if my damage per second was better, but I use this, I use this broadsword and... 
you really gotta be, like, aggressive and fighting well against those charred Aleum Lois knights. Otherwise, you get overwhelmed by how many of them spawn. Forlorn invasion waiting room. I love the Forlorn invasions, just to be honest. His entrance is so fucking badass. It's a really cool, like, it's it's a cool fight for sure, but it's it's hard. Oh my god, that fight, that fight to Ivory King. Like I said, I think it's harder than Ivory King himself. That's just, like, my opinion, though, man. I got blasted a couple times, didn't feel too good. But it's okay, nothing a flask can't fix. A lawn captain made his way down, but they usually don't aggro once you get past. I like going over here to the right side, because then the dudes with the arrows... Look how fast they are! Wow, why do you zoom up like that and then shoot the bow? Son of a bitch. All right, this guy's gonna fire. Hell yes. Killing it, killing it, killing it. Jump down. Jumping down isn't any better than not jumping down. If you hug up against the fog wall, they get kind of weird. But sometimes they whip a bow out and they'll come down here and shoot you. Thinking about You think you hate about the knights is that they sacrifice, sacrifice themselves at full health. Yeah, they're not really smart about who sacrifices when. See, yeah, he came down here and he shot me with a bow. They get weird when you're up against the fog wall, but they'll come down here and shoot you with a bow. When he enters through the giant portal thing, it's like, oh man, Big Dick is back in town. It are, have you ever played Oblivion? Elder Scrolls Oblivion? It always reminds me of a uh, Oblivion gate. That's what it looks like he spawns out of. There's like this giant Oblivion gate that appears and then out comes Ivory King. I just need, like, a breather for a moment. I feel like I'm going a thousand miles per hour. I just need to, like, I need to recollect myself a little bit here. Because I'm just <sighs> going, 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 going. I just, I just need a minute. I just need a minute before I go in this boss fight. Why is she co so cute, though? Oh, the character? I make pretty decent looking female characters. I'm not gonna lie. I, I put very little effort into it. Uh, It's just, it, there's, like, so there's the homelands that you can pick, you know? So I pick the first homeland option, and then I... The Artorius has got no patience. He's like, oh, you want to sit here and take a little break before the fight? No, start the game. I just pick the, uh, I pick the first homeland, and then I make her a little bit more pale. It's like four, I go to like, I go to like the skin shader two, and I bump it up four notches in paleness. So it's just a default, default homeland. Or preset homeland face with a little bit more pale skin. Drinking my water bottle with both hands like a child. All right. <clears throat> All right, Nook's Cranny. That's enough of Nook's Cranny. Play something I can fight to. Hell yeah. Some Red Dead music. Dear Uncle. It's like Dear Uncle Tactitious or something. I can't remember the name. It's something weird. It's cut off on my music player, so I don't get to see it. I love the Red Dead music, though. Ow. Ow. Okay, bad, bad, bad start. Okay. Get your shit together, boy. Get your shit together. This is Sir Alon. He's the toughest fight in Broom Tower. Uh, what about Blue Smelter Demon? Shut up. We don't talk about Blue Smelter Demon in this house. I feel like he has the non-janky version of the Alant Scoot. So the Alant Scoot, that's a boss in Demon Souls. He does this scoot attack where he scoots all the way across the floor. Now Ornstein, you're probably a lot more of you are probably familiar with Ornstein than King Alant. Ornstein's got that janky attack where he scoots across the floor and he like he stops and he starts and he stops and he starts and he's like scooting across the floor super quick. That's the Alant Scoot. King Alant from Demon Souls will do the Alant scoot, and it's all janky like that. He's, he scoots really fast across the floor, he stops and he starts, and he stops and he starts, and they gave the exact same attack to Ornstein in Dark Souls 1. I feel like Sir Ow, I feel like Sir Alan kind of does the Alant scoot a bit, but he's not janky about it. That right there. He's like doing the Alant scoot, but not the, they, they like, they made it finally not janky as hell. I don't know. I could be totally wrong, but that's just, that's just like, I guess, my own personal headcanon, as the kids say. Alright. Hit him! I've never made him, uh, play Sudoku in my life. I really, I... That'd be sick, but don't you have to hitless him? And I thought, I used to think it was hitless him to half health. And he would, at half health, he would do the Sudoku puzzle. But, um... 
No, I'm pretty sure you have to hitless him all the way to the end of the fight, don't you? And then he does it? You have to hitless him from full. Yeah, like his entire HP bar. It's not it's not half the fight. I used to think it was half the fight, but it's it's all the it's the whole fight hitless, isn't it? It's cool that they have that programming in there to know that you hit list him, though. That's pretty neat. What's he doing? Lance Scoot. Boom. I guess it's the improved. It's the improved Alant Scoot. Woo! He's got moves, man. He's got moves. Suralan is swift. He's a swifty. Whoa! That was weird. I should have been hit by that. See, it's the Alant Scoot, man. I'm telling you. Ornstein does that as well. They just made it not so fucking janky. Smack him up. Don't ask me why I switched to one-handed suddenly. He's doing the Alant Scoot again. Missed. Oh, I missed with that second heavy. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! I reacted a little bit late. I thought he was going to get me with that one, but he didn't. Another stun? Wow, we got two stuns in one boss fight? That never happens in Dark Souls 2. Crazy. Down he goes, down he goes. Oh, I wasn't wearing the Silver Serpent Ring. I haven't been wearing the Silver Serpent Ring this whole DLC. I could have, I could have even more souls than that, but I haven't been wearing the Silver Serpent Ring. Darn. Sapuko or play Sudoku, that number game. <laughs> I'm just being stupid. You know what I mean, Tahoe. We were talking about you, Tahoe. I was telling people about how you troll in Demon Souls. What's the highest level of broadsword in Dark Souls 2? What's yours at? Plus 10. Plus 10 is the max. I have a... I've got a raw broadsword. We're going in raw with the broadsword. New name for my... Johnson. Broadsword. Yes, you have to kill him fully without getting hit. So he can't so do good himself. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I never have done that, Sikus. I've never done that. Great hat, you're gonna go stream snipe somebody? Have a good time. I'm sorry I play in offline mode, so you can't stream snipe me. Raw dog in the game, I like that. Heck yeah, man. You have a good one? You have a good you have a good one as well, Great Hat. Thanks for stopping by, saying hello. Alright, alright. Let's go spend these 38... 380... 380,000 souls. I'm sorry. I haven't been crossing off bosses. The whole DLC. I did I did all three bosses. And I, didn't, I didn't cross off any of them. I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm good about crossing off bosses. Sometimes I'm not. What can I say? Doesn't really matter that much, does it? I feel like it matters a little bit. Alright. So we're fighting Ava. Then we're fighting... Or Ava. Whatever the saying is. And then we'll be fighting... Then we'll be fighting Ivory King. And then we're doing Lud and Zalin. Because I'm kind of scared of... Frigid Outskirts and Lud and Zalin. I'm pretty scared of Ivory King as well. Honestly, the solo Ava is the only easy fight in that entire DLC. Sometimes Miyazaki Raw Dog's back, but that's alright. Hands up if you can get Raw Dog by Miyazaki. All right, endurance, 91 endurance. That's a build. That's a build if I've ever seen one. You ever see? You ever see a build as OP as this? <laughs> these, these stats, bro. What are these stats? Just nothing but HP, stamina, and adaptability. That's it. That's it. HP, stamina, adaptability. I did level up vitality, like three times. I think it was like three levels into Vitality. That was it. <laughs> Siku was raising his hand. That's my streamer. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Alright, 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 alright. It's a Laum Lois time. I'm scared of Laum Lois just as a whole. It's the entirety, the entirety of a Laum Lois. I'm scared, man, but at least there's not a blue smelter demon. We gotta go back to Ruined Fork Road, the second most popular bonfire behind Majula. <sighs> 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 
That's how I feel right now. Oh shit, wait, 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 wait. You know how I feel right now? You know how I feel right now? This is how I feel right now. Turn it up. This is how I feel right now. That's me, after dying to Blue Smelter Demon. I'm just... After dying to Blue Smelter Demon. I'm not happy. <laughs> all the Dark Souls 1 sound effects going off right now. It's my fault, I'm the one that's playing them all. I, I'll, I'm gonna add that for you guys to use. The Fromped noise. Uh, but I haven't added it yet. I've actually got a good number of noise. I'm gonna add this. Well, oh, well, this is for me. That's for my soundboard. I need a butt um -tsh. Um... This one's gonna be for you guys. Fucking guy. I'll turn it up a little louder so you can actually hear it. This is Nandor from What We Do in the Shadows. Fucking guy. I don't know if I want this one for you guys or for me. No. I think I might want that one for me so I can like spam it. No, no, no. I'm also gonna go with this one for you guys. But they be careful. <laughs> All right. So those are some sound effects. That's a little. That's a little preview of some sound effects I'll be adding in the in the near future. But I haven't gotten around to doing it yet. But I already have them made, as you can see. I'm playing them for you right now. But they be careful. That's not what I was supposed to play. My bad. I'm supposed to go back to music. Did you have Flynn's ring on? No. Flynn's ring comes from one of the DLCs in this game, doesn't it? These are my rings. Really good rings, aren't they? The goat is with the nine bits. <laughs> I'm getting hungry over here, so thank you for the snack of the nine bits. I appreciate it. Tasty, tasty. Uh, yeah, I got the ring of blades plus zero. I got the third dragon ring. I got the chloranthi ring plus one, and then the silver cat ring. We could probably take that off at this point, to tell you the truth, and play trade it out for this covetous silver serpent ring plus one. Op. Uh, where the hell am I going? Aleum Lois. I love Animal Crossing music from GameCube. This is noon. This is the music that plays at noon, dude. That walk animation. <laughs> See him just like jogging up to me like that. <laughs> Watch him play. <laughs> <laughs> so janky. That walk animation's classic, dude. That's a classic walk animation, I gotta say. Look at him go! Look at him go! <laughs> Look at him, man! Look at him come after me! Look at him go! <laughs> oh, man. Everybody, everybody loves the Falconer run animation. What a nice day to stroll through Drang Lake. Just some hollows trying to F you up. Don't worry, I ain't worried. I ain't scared of no ghosts. Roll in the snow, I'm covered in the snow now. I love that effect. It's such a like simple little effect. I mean, it's the same thing as like when you get covered in the poison, but they changed it to snow and I love it. How cold's the coffee? Ice cold. Don't pay attention to how much coffee I drink during my live streams, okay? Because I don't. So if I'm not paying attention to how much coffee I'm drinking, that means you shouldn't either. I'm pretty goddamn sure I filled this coffee machine up like two or three times during this live stream, and it's like a lot of water that goes into this thing, so... I've been drinking hella coffee today, but to be fair to me, uh, I didn't sleep very much last night. I, I've been staying up until like two or three in the morning on the regular. And then I had a job interview this morning at 8 a.m. and I had a 30 minute commute to that job interview. So I had to like wait, I woke up at like six in the morning today so I could wake up and, and have plenty of time to get myself ready for the interview and get there on time. So I've been going to sleep at like 2 or 3 in the morning. And then today I had to wake up at 6 a.m. So I went to sleep earlier, of course. I went to sleep, I think, at like midnight. Um, 
So I was shooting for six hours of sleep. But I was kind of restless all night long because it was it was like I went to sleep way earlier than I had been. And, and I was kind of antsy about the interview itself. Uh, so I didn't really sleep that well. So I'm keeping myself going with the coffee. Whoa, man. You, approaching Aleum Lois. Turn back. Return the slab. Return the slab. Anybody else got trauma from fucking Courage the Cowardly Dog? That episode scared the piss out of me when I was a little kid. There's like the weird Egyptian dude who like makes all the... He makes all the, um, what do they call them? Plagues? Plagues. He makes, like, a bunch of different plagues attack Courage in, in family's house. And he's outside. He's outside in the distance, all creepy. Return the slab. Dude, that shit was scary as fuck. This guy's, like, de or something. Did you see that? That was weird. Bopping him with this straight sword, though. Broadsword. Turn back! Put it in reverse, Terry! <laughs> yeah, that episode was pretty scary for me when I was a kid, too. That show really went with a lot of creepy stuff. I mean, it was supposed to be a scary show. That was, like, the whole thing. It was a good kid. It was a good show as a kid. Um, the computer is the best. That's definitely my favorite character by far in uh, Curse the Cowardly Dog. It's gotta be the computer. Such a smart-ass computer. I love it. And also just the way it works, Courage just go and goes and puts like anything into the computer scanner and it knows what it is. It's great. For me, the walrus in Pingu haunted me as, as a child. I know the one you're talking about. It's a pretty scary one. I didn't, I didn't watch any Pingu. Uh, that's like a Canadian thing. I didn't know about Pingu until I was much older. But even being older and seeing that walrus, yeah, dude, that's a, that's a creepy ass walrus. The computer was a good character. It was. It was. I love that computer. Alright, alright, alright. We keep on running. I had to kill, like, what was it? Four or five enemies. But that's just because you'll get stuck in the hallway if you don't. But we're just gonna run past the rest of these chumps. Hey, man. You shot me. Whoa. A swing and a miss. Okay, this room can get dicey. Sometimes you get stuck on the door. Seems like I should be fine. Whoa, I thought that I thought that projectile was gonna stun me and stop me from opening the door, but I think it actually hit me while I had iframes. The the rarely seen door opening iframes of Dark Souls 2 actually come in handy from time to time. Bonfire Liddy, Bonfire City. Give me a second to uh I thought of something. I just want to. I just want to write a note down for myself because I will not remember it if I don't write a note down for myself. So let me do exactly that. Um, shit. See, I'm already forgetting it. I already forgot what it was. All I did was open up my phone, and I, it was something I just said too. I just said it a couple seconds ago, and now I can't remember what the hell it was. Piss. Whatever. I said it out loud, and that's what made me think, ah, I need to remind myself about that. Now it's gone. Just immediately. Note to self, forgot to give head to blue smelter demon. Dude, I think it would burn. You'd have the burning sensation during, not burning sensation after. Probably more concerning, perhaps. Note to self, oh. No skeleton trap with necromancers around tight corners. I I already made that note. That note's that note's already in existence. Ow. Oh, I forgot he pierces you. Oh, ooh, that hurt pretty bad actually. Fuck. I need to get serious here. Heal! The other dudes won't aggro if I hang out over here. They're not supposed to. Yeah, see, he's fucking off. I can't see the main dude I'm fighting though. Too goofy of music from Stray. You see, that guy's, like, not coming here to fight me. Because I'm hanging out. You hang out behind this line here. This line right here. This this one. You hang out behind that. And they, see, they, they piss off.
I need some comic relief. So we're gonna go to the best ladder. It's coming up in the near future. Some of you might already know what I'm talking about, just by saying the best ladder and being in the area that I am. I like spicy stuff anyways. <laughs> You see, I like spicy stuff until it's like, I have to digest it. I don't like digest- I like eating spicy things, I don't like digesting spicy things. Watch, I'm gonna do some parkour. Boom. Parkour. Parkour. Who needs a ladder? I'll just climb right up the wall. Parkour. 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 Ow! Hey, dick! I'm trying to do parkour! How dare you! You can always spit. Spit mad rhymes. All the time. Don't gotta pay me a dime. Uh, something about crime. <laughs> Alright, I stop now. Oh, I get it now. I didn't I didn't get it at first. I see. With the spicy stuff. Don't like digesting the spicy stuff from Blue Smelter Demon. You funny, Sakuz. You funny. No horny for Blue Smelter Demon. Nah. I'm horny for... Who was I horny for? Entree. But Dark Souls 1 Entree. By the time he's Dark Souls 3 Entree, he's like a pathetic old man. Hey, hey! Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Eficom. Uh, did I say that right? Uh, uh, ooh, that's a hard one. Ehipicom. Eh, eh, Ehipicom. Eh, uh, that's hard to say, man. But I'm trying. I'm trying. Thank you for the follow. Glad you're enjoying the stream. But yeah, Andre. Dark Souls 1 Andre. Whew. That's one hell of a man. Dark Souls 3 Andre. He's just kind of like... He's kind of like old and withered. I'm not really into Dark Souls 3 Andre. But Dark Souls 1 Andre? Punk, dude. Oh my gosh. Dark Souls 2. The best souls. I love me some Dark Souls 2. I love me some Dark Souls 2. I love, I love them all. You got it. Last one. Oh, goodness. I gotta remember what I said. I'm really bad at that part. Okay, so I don't want to continue from here yet, but I'm happy to have the inner wall bonfire. Uh, now that I have the eyeball of the priestess, or was it just this eye? Eye of the priestess? We can go fight Ava. Andre from Dark Souls 1 over Priscilla's feet. Oh. Yeah, what the hell am I doing now? I'm slacking. I'm slacking. We got Miko Lash. We got Miko Lash moaning. Where's Priscilla moaning? We got the, we got the Dark Souls one guy going. Oh, we got Miko Lash going. Oh, I need to have Priscilla. Hard, huh? <laughs> like a fucking rock, man. I'm playing Dark Souls two. What do you think? I'm about to call the doctor because this shit lasted way longer than six hours. All right. Trying to warn me to go back, and I forgot about the dang uh, repair powders. Very important repair powders. It's a good thing I got 11 of them. Probably overkill. Now you are asking the right questions. Yeah, where is the Priscilla Moan soundboard? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I've been letting you guys down. We're listening to peaceful music. Exactly. Get two birds stoned at once. Yeah, man. Get them both. We're not at Ludden's all in yet, so we're not getting two birds stoned at once yet, but kind of like a kind of like a practice fight. We're getting two birds stoned at once. What is she doing? Faking me out so she can smack me. Damn. All right. Well played. Well played, Ava. Or Ava. Whatever the hell your name is. Your statue killing skills are amazing. Chug a lug. Chug a lug. All right. I need to start fighting her. I was like busy playing DJ. I was busy putting on the repair powders. Busy making silly jokes. Is she going to toot? She's going to toot. All right. Cool. Dodge the toot. Now we're right where it's stankiest. Sorry, I get a kick out of spinning in circles in Dark Souls 2. You just, you spin so fast. You're just like a flurry. Look at me, dude. I'm just, you put some, you put some, you put some ice and some fruit near the, uh, near the bearer of the curse. You just have that bearer of the curse spin in circles. Brrr, blend, blends it up, makes a great smoothie. You missed. I ain't no cat food. Do I look like tuna? Get away. Oh, she running. Oh, Lord, she running. Yes. 
That hit me. Come on, if I do with the heal, drink one of them flasks. What's she doing? Oh, she's swanging. I'm glad I dodged, even though I didn't really know what was happening. Otherwise, I would have been hit by it. Doing a lot of swing swanging, slicing, dicing. How's my broadsword doing? It looks like it's a repair powder time. Throw one of those bad boys on. All right. Oh, that's the two. Easy. Easy. She hasn't done the projectiles. Hey, speak of the devil. There we go. Hang out back here and just smack her. Easy, easy damage. Why is she just sitting here for so long? That was weird. She just stood there for half a second. Or several seconds. It was like it was like one second. But in the heat of battle, one second feels like an eternity. Come on, Abba. It's almost over with. Slice! Dice! Oh, she's still kicking. Alright, there we go. Ava, Ava, whatever you want to call her. She dead now. Rip Ava. Oh my goodness, you can't see anything. The it, the green, the green is... Wait, why is Fume and Alon not crossed off? I killed Fume and Alon, and I didn't cross them off. Oh, Alon is crossed off. No, I, I, I just forgot to... I see what happened. They're crossed off now. Okay. Ava, Ava, whatever you want to call her. Oh, they are crossed off. It's just, it's so hard to see. You can't really see it because it's so difficult to see. I wish I had like, I don't know. I could add, there's like the option. Oh, never mind. Actually, nah, nah, fuck it. now you can see it pretty well. So Avo goes down. We have Ivory King coming up next. We have a decent amount of setup for Ivory King though. We need to get all the knights, which takes some time. Then we're off to Ludden's All and freaking frigid outskirts, man. And then after that, we just have the final three in the throne room. But yeah, we gotta get these knights. This takes a decent amount of setting up. I'm gonna get rid of the boss list now. Just did a no death. AOTC? I don't really know what that means. Dragon Incants in Gargoyle Halberd on Elden Ring. Would love to replay the old ones again now. I, I love the slow combat ones. I like them all. Aspects of the Crucible. Oh, okay. No death. Aspects of the Crucible. Dragon Incantations in Gargoyle Halberd on Elden Ring. Sounds, sounds pretty cool. Sounds pretty cool. And was it... I assume, I assume it was any percentage... I'm like the only jackass out here who does all boss runs in Elden Ring, I feel like. But hey, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. This is like 165. 165 is a lot of bosses. Uh, no. Ow, bosses. I don't know what OW stands for. You, you use a lot of abbreviations and it's kind of going over my head. I'm sorry for being such a screw. Overworld. I think maybe, is that like the type of bosses? I usually refer to them as field bosses, where there's like no fog wall, they're just out in the open. Is that is that an overworld boss? I usually call them field bosses, but I think it's the same thing, we just use different terms. No worries, no worries. Oh god, I gotta say it again. So difficult. A, hippi a hippicom, a hippicom. Whew. I think I got it right. Yeah, same, same. Cool, 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 cool. The 360 before the slap, that's just disrespectful to poor Ava. <laughs> ha ha ha. Bearer of the curse go Alright, so the ice is all gone now. So we can run around and get the knights. Am I wearing that silver cat ring? Put that silver cat ring on. Yo, put that bag back on! Sorry, it's from Adventure Time. It's so, it's so not correct at all for Adventure Time. It's like a kid's show. <laughs> Yo, put that bag back on! And the, the cow covers up its ugly udder with a bag. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so... Uh, there's, what, three knights to get? There's one down the stairs. There's the one here in Inner Wall. And there's another one... I'll remember. I'll remember as we go. I always end up remembering where all three are, but I'm always here at, like, I've been streaming for long hours. We get to a Lam Lois. I gotta remember where the hell the three knights are, and then I'm like, where are they? And I forget for a moment, but then I'll remember. Yeah, we've been going for eight hours. I know there's one over here. Nailed it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
Dude, I poured more coffee, that's right. Oh shit, yeah, by the power of coffee, I shall remember all the night locations. Mmm. Yeah, I remember now, the one that's down the elevator and across the across the river and through the woods to Grandma's house. That's where we gotta go. Grandma's house, it's like way up on a hill, there's a giant snowball that you knock down and it crushes the dudes and turns into a bridge. That's Grandma's house. So yeah, we go down the elevator, over the river and through the woods to Grandma's house and that- Oh, right, Arheim. That's alright, no worries. It's easy. He's a barrel. He's gonna stay hidden as a barrel until we run past him. And then he'll stay- ow. He'll stay hidden as a barrel, but we're, just, we're not even gonna fight him. I don't think I've ever fought that guy. I just always- I just enter the Ava Ava boss room. And then he- and then he fucks off. Ow. Don't hit me, dude. What's up, guy? How you doing? Wanna help me with this guy? I don't really need to fight this guy. It's all good. I thought I dodged it. 48 adaptability. I still can't dodge anything. Can you say noob? <laughs> Apparently I can't. My vocal cord's giving out as I try to hit that. I mean, I'm, I can't do high-pitched notes, but I was just trying to, like, I don't know. I wasn't even trying to go that high. and still strained. So I don't know exactly what barrel is our high in. He's one of them. I think he's that barrel. Pretty sure he's this one. Okay. Who throws an ice projectile? Honestly. Oh, no. Punched the wrong barrel. He's one of these barrels. He'll follow me. There he is! There he is! Dark Souls 2 Invaders are the best. Like, this is an NPC! This is a freaking NPC! It's so classic. <laughs> Who does he think he's tricking? Whoa! Alright, I guess he I guess he figured it out that I was onto him. Yeah, I don't know. I probably could fight the guy, but... Why bother? Alright. And away he goes. How am I doing on flasks? Nine. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go stop at the bonfire real quick. I'll get my flasks up to 12. We're going to go save the pain in the ass night. And then I'll go save the third one after that. Coffee. Coffee. What's the other one? It's coughing and wheezing, wheezing. That's it. That's it. <laughs> they just named the Pokemon coughing and wheezing. All right, these guys we gotta kill, otherwise they'll gank me in the hallway, and I don't want to get ganked in the hallway, so we gotta kill them. Try me, punk. Oh, what in the? Where'd this Joker come from? Couldn't even see you before I locked onto you, and I still got you, broadsword superiority. <laughs> it's a good weapon, okay? Can't convince me otherwise. No, I actually I agree that it's a little bit of a toothpick, but I don't know. I get a real I get a real sense of a joy. I I just I just like I feel like I get to play more of the game if I use a somewhat dinky weapon. I love the broadsword because of its dinkiness. Oh, she's trapping me. Oh, this might be bad. This might be bad. Okay, cool. I got out. That was... Whoo. Almost had six deaths because I forgot about the lady. I forgot about the lady. She almost got me, bro. Oh, we could just... Oh, god damn it. I was like, we could just go past. He's all the way here now. We don't even have to fight him. But then he blocked this entry. What a jerk. <sighs> Watch this. Cool shit, right? I'm running down the handrail now. That's what a pro gamer looks like. Take notes. That projectile was close, man. I want to go up there. Let me up there. How you doing, fellas? Remember when it was, like, icier? And I was passing through the first time? Now it's not so icy, and I'm passing through a second time. Don't mind me. Jump. Okie dokie. Down the elevator. Um, It gets scary down here. Ooh, yeah, it gets scary down here. With the invader that shows up, and then there's all those magical dudes. And the magical dudes are deadly in a Laum Lace. They're not the dark chasm of old magic guys. No. They're deadlier. that elevator go back up, or is that just the sound of the ice rat Pikachus? 
Pretty sure that's uh, Ice Rat, Sonic, Pikachu. I don't fucking know, man. One of them. One of them. You know what I'm talking about? Those things. Yeah, Hexer Nikolai. Nikolai cannot die. He's... Ugh. Dude, Hexer Nikolai is... He puts the fear of Gwyn into me. I gotta say. Hoo -hoo. Whoa, man. It's a bullet hell around here. It's a friggin' bullet hell. All right. Problem is, we're gonna get followed by one of those magic guys. It's not gonna be just Nikolai. There's gonna be some magic dudes as well who track me down. What in the frig? Nikolai, stop with the shield, mongrel. You got me out here where I'm gonna get hit by all these dudes' projectiles. Yeah, I don't wanna... I don't wanna fuck with that. Here. Catch me inside. How about that? Whoops, that's a repair powder. Not what I meant to use. Good job with the lightning. You almost got me. I love guard breaks. I get such a kick out of guard breaks. Ooh. Ow. Ow. Okay, run. Magic dude's here. We probably should kill magic dude. He's way easier to kill than Nikolai. I don't actually know about that. I think. What the hell? This is, I always get a little scared here. These dudes are powerful. Welcome to Mario Kart. I probably should have some battle music playing. Did you just heal? Fuck you, Nikolai. Probably should kill that guy, eh? Alright. I can't do the Mario Kart music. I'm sorry. We need something I can fight to. I got slowed? I think it was Nikolai that slowed me. Ow. Jerk. Eat it. Oh, I could have got a critical when I was too busy R1 spamming to do it. I thought that guy came in here. Hell no. Get me back outside. Get me back outside. I don't want anything to do with both of them at once. Is he healing again? Fucker. I need to kill that other guy so I can focus on Nikolai. You need to go, dude. Alright, he's dead now. Just me and you, Nikolai. We're all alone. Me and you, baby. Hey, 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 hey. Watch it. That's a guard break. No critical. I tried to get I tried to get it, but I failed. Is he gonna heal again? Stop healing, Nikolai. I'm sick of you. I'm just bashing him with no stamina. <laughs> this is working a little out too well, I was gonna say, and then he pulled that maneuver out. Whipped up that he's gonna heal again, dude. I'm so sick of him. I'm so sick of him. Oh my god. I need to stop letting this happen. Nikolai looks like a mimic tier version of you. <laughs> a little bit. We've got pretty similar headgear. I've never thought about that. We've got pretty goddamn similar headgear. I'm gonna try to heal again, I bet. No! Stop him! Stop him! Come on. Why can't I stop him from healing? God damn. He's gonna he's gonna end up killing me in the long run because he keeps healing and ow! Holy shit. Yeah, he almost killed me in the short run. He keeps healing, and I'm gonna run out of flasks at this rate, dude. We need to take him down. Cracks me up when he does that in the doorway and it destroys all of the projectiles. He would. He would dodge away from the guard break. Fat rolling? I think he's dead. Oh my god. It's about time. Told you. Hexer Nikolai puts the fear of God in me. I meant Gwyn. I'm sorry. Nikolai puts the fear of Gwyn in me, and also Nikolai cannot die. That's a lot. Abba Eva, use it. Holy piss, man. <sighs> Alright, keep the intense music going, because it ain't over yet. Dun, dun. Okay, we got the silver cat ring on, which means we're slick. We're quick. Like a little kitty. You just run along, hold the lever. Okay, I got hit, but it's cool. We just hop right on off. Ooh. Doesn't matter that I fell so far, because silver cat ring... Whoa! That projectile ran out of range right behind me. Silver cat ring for the dub again. I... Fucked up the angle a little bit, my bad. How you doing? Nice to see you again, Covetous Demon. You're looking a little pale, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Get the fuck away from that! Ugh, I hate those things. I hate those things. <clears throat> okay, we gotta keep heading uphill. I believe it's on the right. We take a right, we keep going up, up, up. Okay, I'm not getting chased by those things, at least not too quickly. 
Take the right slightly uphill. That's the way we're going. Is this Inspector Clank music? This is uh, Mr. Big from Max Payne. I don't have any Inspector Clank music. I should maybe look into that. It's a. Uh, it's uh, not Inspector. It's um. Secret Agent. Secret Agent Clank. <laughs> Inspector. Just making me think of Inspector Gadget. Yeah, I'm over that track. Just making me think of Inspector Gadget. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Okay. Uh, we've made it far. Oh, I need to go the other way. Keep that HP topped off, eh? Alright, alright, alright. So, do I have a homeward bone ready to go? Why do I still have these repair powders? I get the. Where the fuck's the aged feather? There it is. Aged feather. Keep her going. What's up? How you doing, rats? How you doing, Mr. Ice Golem? How you doing, other Ice Golem? How you doing, other rat? How you doing, big Ice Golem? Alright, alright, alright. We made it to Grandma's house, but we're not safe. And we have to go in there. Which, as you can see, is a little bit scary. Please, 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 please. Yes! Did I do it too soon? It didn't give me the thing at the top that says, A knight has returned. Oh, shit. Let's go see how many there are. I may have done that too soon. I might have to do that again. Because I homeward boned as soon as I did. It might not have triggered. I have a feeling there's not going to be three knights here. I have a feeling there's only going to be two knights here. And I'm going to have to do that one again. And that's the pain in the ass one. Even though I already did most of the pain in the ass. I just don't want to have to run it all again, man. Let's just see. Let's see. Shit. Shit, man. Shit. Three! There's three! Yes! It counted! It counted! It didn't bring the thing up that says, Imaleum Lois has returned to the old chaos. It didn't bring that up at all, but it still counted. Whoo! I'm happy. I'm happy. I thought for sure it wasn't gonna count it. You know, it's like in Bloodborne. When you're going to fight, uh, when you're going to fight living failures, you have to make that elevator, or you have to make the whole staircase rise by pushing the lever. If you push the lever and then immediately use a bold hunter's mark, you have to go all the way to the top again and do it again. It does not register that you pushed the lever until the whole animation of the thing rising completes, which is pretty freaking brutal if you use a homeward bone as soon as pushing that lever it's oh man it's oh man it's oh man all right we're going back to lower garrison because um there's like a staircase i need to go down and it's the closest bonfire i have is this one even though it seems counterintuitive because we have to take an elevator up it's it's the, it's the most convenient bonfire i have i intentionally waited until i had this bonfire to go after this uh I'll lay him voice night up this, up this, up this way. Jesus. <sighs> My daughter tells me you're a man who's good with his hands, Ratchet. Sir, I, I swear I never... This... That little audio clip cracks me up every time. My daughter tells me you're a man who's good with his hands, Ratchet. <laughs> Sir, I swear, I never... This is not what I thought it was. Where did I mean to go? Where was I trying to go? Ah, well, it's all right. I had something else in mind. This is how we get the uh, lower garrison. Is it lower garrison key? I can't remember the name of it. But there's that key that I need to get in order to fight Ludd and Zolin. And that, this is, this is, that's what this is. I messed it up. We were just supposed to go to that bonfire. The bonfire I just passed. I was just supposed to go there. But, um, we'll just do this now since I, since I slipped up and was like, I need to go get the third knight. And then I, I came here instead. It don't matter, though. Hey, Mario. Welcome back. Good to have you here. I'm wondering, what's up? We're just, we're just practicing at this point. We have five deaths. Two more deaths than my personal best. And we still have... Uh, we still have Ivory King to kill. We still have Ludd and Zolin to kill. And then the three bosses in the final throne room. Not really too worried about them. I'm not gonna, I, I don't plan on fighting them back to back to back. Um, like maybe if I'm feeling cocky, we could give it a try, but usually that type of stuff gets me killed, so I don't typically do that in that final throne room. 
but there's a pretty good chance I will die again to one of these two bosses that are left here in Lamb Loises. How did you ever get 36 Crystal Soul Spears? Super OP. Well, that character, that character is just nuts. That character has, uh, like... That character has 10 attunement slots worth of every single spell, miracle, and pyromancy. I did that for both Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. It was a lot of work. I spent a lot of hours running NG plus cycles on those characters, collecting all that stuff. Is that NG 7 or 8? Uh, we could go look. Let's just go look. It's uh, Let's go see what NG cycle that character's on. Because it's much higher than 7 or 8, I assure you. You gotta... I don't know how many... I don't know how many attunement slots it takes. But I'm pretty sure you can only get one per playthrough. So that's this one right here. 170 hours of playtime on this one. That character destroyed Dark Lurker in 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. It's, it's ridiculous if you use the full power. Full power. Okay, what the hell am I doing here? This is a weird spot. Look at me with Claymore. The fuck is this? I mean, I'm not even in human form. What the hell is going on? All right, let's go see what, let's go see what the bonfires are. I've never used a bonfire aesthetic on this character. I made a point. I, I wanted every single bonfire to have the same number. I guess you could burn a bonfire ascetic at every single bonfire, but I didn't do that. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. If I try to travel. 23! You see the little number? 23! They're all 23. They are all 23. <laughs> NG23 for the win! <laughs> I'm playing a lot of Dark Souls 2, man. Yeah, this is a Toon Spells page. This is nuts. This is nuts right here. Like, what the fuck, man? I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this. It's everyone that attacks. I didn't get all Pyromancy's spells and miracles. I got all the ones that are attacks. That's what it is. Every single one that you can do damage with... I got at least 10 copies of attunement slots. See, like these ones, uh, I only I only have five fire snakes. But fire snake requires two. Oh, it's six actually, isn't it? How many is it? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven copies of fire snake. They take two attunement slots each. I did kind of the same thing uh, with here outcry. I have seven copies of outcry. But they take two attunement slots each. Go fight blue smell, blue demon and f them. This character would. This character would. Um, no, we're we're not we're not gonna switch characters mid live stream. I just I wanted to show that because Valkyr Tahoe was asking about it. And yeah, that character is nuts. So I need to do some more of those streams. I haven't done one of those streams in a while where I play on my max level NG maximum character, and then I let you guys choose my weapons. Pick any weapon in the game, I have it fully upgraded. Pick any pyromancy, miracle, or spell that you can use as an attack in the game. I'll use just that. Uh, I, I, haven't, I haven't done one of those streams in a while, and I put a lot of work into setting those characters up, so I really should do that again. Alright, alright, alright. So... We need to go to... Abandoned Dwelling. Tahoe, you say NG23. I've never seen anyone so high. Noise! <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Dark Souls, I see. Yeah, a whole lot of Dark Souls. Whole lot of Dark Souls. That's what I'm all about, man. I'm all about Dark Souls. Whew. What am I doing? What am I doing here? There's a couple of things I can do, actually. We can go get the bonfire that leads to Frigid Outskirts, because I got the key for that already. Nice, 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 nice. And then... I can... Uh... Make my way off to get that final knight. I don't want to fight Ludden Zolin until after I've killed Ivory King. 
Oh, my favorite part of Dark Souls 2, rolling through the door. Feels good every fucking time. Every fucking time. Feels good as hell, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not an Estus Flask. That's an Estus Flask. Dodge him. Love backstabbing these guys. Eh, uh, well, I failed to. Ow, his homie slapping me. Ow, his other homie slapping me. Okay, we're gonna walk back out here now. Whoa, who's that? Hello? Hello? That didn't kill that guy? A little scrub? This dude's back up to full HP. Kill his scrub friends. It's like fighting a gank squad. The host, the host is always the scrub. So I guess this isn't really a good analogy. Alright, backstab him. Boom. Can I sit at the bonfire while you're just like flopping around out there? Oh, I never even lit the bonfire. Well, I'm glad I didn't take off. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We can just sit. We need to kill him. One day you'll have to get me some Demon Souls Soul Suck to get to the highest level. What is the Demon Souls highest? It's like level 800 something. Um, I think. Or is it 500? Is it 500? I think it might be 500 something. I can't really keep all the numbers straight. I'm bad at remembering the numbers. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Um, it takes a lot of time, Valkyr Tahoe. It takes a lot of time. I don't know how many hours I spent soul-sucking myself when I had two PlayStations in my home. I don't have two PS5s in my home anymore, because one of them is my now ex's, so she took the, you know, she took her PS5 with her when she moved out. Sup, fellas? Don't mind me, I'm just trying to drink a flask. Uh, what's the way? I got the silver cat ring on. Whoa, that's too big of a pit to drop down. Okay, this is the way. Ow, could you guys cut it out? Give it a fucking rest, a-holes. What's up, pal? How you doing? I just have a PS4 and a PS5. Yeah, but Demon Souls be PS5 only, so you can't really do no soul sucking on yourself. And I, I just have a PS4 and a PS5 now too. I used to have two, two PS5s in the home, but one of them was, like I said, one of them was my exes. No longer a, quite, uh, no, no longer an option, unfortunately. Silver cat ring for the dub. I love this silver cat ring, dude. That's what she said. I think your highest is level 200-ish. That's still crazy high. But yeah, I don't know. It takes it takes a long time. I, I I don't I don't I don't know if I'd be willing to just like put the time in again. I don't know. I feel kinda selfish saying that, to tell you the truth. Maybe just every once in a while I could just like AFK and let you do your thing, you know? Maybe we could do like I could just set it up for you like once a day, maybe just be like, yo, I'll just like I don't know. I don't, I don't know, man. We can figure it out. I don't want to do it all in one day, though. Or I don't want I don't want to sit there for hours and have to be like, okay, I can't use my PS5 right now. I have to. I don't know. It's like a. It's a pain in the ass. It's definitely. Oh fuck! I got them both after me. I forgot about the dude. Honestly, just completely forgot about the dude. This is way more of a hassle than it should be now because I have both of them on me. I don't know how long that guy's gonna aggro for. Okay, he looks like he de-aggroed already. Sick. I thought he was going to chase me for a lot further than that. People are always like, Dark Souls 2 enemies chase you for so long. Look at this guy. He already gave up. I'm not even that far away. People are so wrong. It's not even funny. Don't listen to anything anybody says. Nobody knows what the hell they're talking about. I just mean generally with that. Like, anything. It, just don't listen to what people have to say. Nobody knows what the hell they're talking about. Or they might misspeak. You know? A lot of times I say things, and then, like immediately like the next day i'll disagree with what i said in a recording the day before there's one or two sections if you have 99 spice you can get a lot of souls yeah but you'd be surprised how how little those souls get you when you get to the crazy high levels not many peeps on demon souls so no worries yeah i mean you show up as a red phantom anyway so you don't you wouldn't have to worry about like getting invaded because you're a red phantom, so you already are. You already are the invader. Alrighty. Cool, cool, cool. So we have everything set up. I can just fight the bosses here now. We have the four knights for Ivory King. I already got the key and the bonfire, so we can just teleport to Frigid Outskirts. That's where I am right now. When it's time to do so, yep, that's what I wanted to do. The 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 freaking torch. All right, but we're not doing frigid outskirts right now. We're doing frigid outskirts after Ivory King. Which might seem a little backwards to you. 
but it's the way I want to do it. I'll be honest though, I got pee pretty bad, and this boss fight's pretty long, so I'm gonna go pee real quick before the fight. I'll be right back. When your character goes white, looks like an overdose of sunscreen. It's supposed to be covered in snow, but, you know, you know. It's a From Software game from 2014, they did what they could. Sorry about that, but I am only human. I've been drinking a lot of freaking coffee and water today. What can I say? <sighs> Damn, Dark Souls 2. <clears throat> you kind of like a long game. can't believe I do all this in one sitting. What the hell's wrong with me? I have my limits, though. I don't do all bosses in Elden Ring in one sitting. <laughs> that'd be that'd be one long live stream. It takes me like three or four days. Like three or four days, man. <sighs> all four nights. All four nights. Fuck, I'm scared of this fight, dude. I'm scared of this fight. This is such a... This is such a brawl. When I get down there, it's freaking crazy. It's a crazy fight. I honestly think the fight is, like, more intense when you're trying to get Ivory King to show up. Once Ivory King is there, that's the easy part. man. Let's roll. The old chaos. Here we are. Me and the boys have dropped. This guy took forever to show up. Damn it. I like it better when he shows up first. We can start smacking him right away. I got myself burned. Off to a terrible start. We need to have good damage all the time during this. Let's get rid of the pyromancer. This dude's so annoying. Yeah, me and the homies agree. Me and, me and all my homies fucking hate Pyromancers. I'm just kidding. Pyromancy is my favorite magic type in these Souls games. But we need to keep the damage per second up for sure. <sighs> otherwise, otherwise we get over... Ugh, we get overwhelmed by Char to Lamb Lois Knights otherwise. That Pyromancer's not doing too good. We need to finish him off. The Pyromancer's a pain in the ass. He needs to go. See, there's already another one here. Pyromancer's dead. Second one's dead. This is the guy that just showed up. I probably should focus on weak ones other than him. Ooh. Damn it. He's swinging again. My buddy's trying to help. Pyromancer making flames get me. Dude, I'm doing terrible. I always do terrible in this section. This is bad. This is bad. I don't know who's weak. 
This guy's at full HP and I'm swinging on him. That guy's weak. That's who I need to get. Another both like equal though. Oh, see, I'm doing so bad. Oh my god. I do so bad in this section every time. It's not good. Here, homie's coming to hit me. Luckily, he did some type of slow attack and I dodged his friends as well, seemingly at the same time, which was pretty damn lucky. But now we're just running around, not even attacking anything. We need to be killing and I keep hitting ones that have like full HP. Got another dude sacrificing himself, so we're down another knight. Meanwhile, one of theirs are showing up. We need to thin their numbers out. This is bad. There's too many of them. Okay, that's one less. That guy's not doing too good. We could Oh, that one's almost dead. Get him. Nice. Whale well on this guy. All right, we're not overwhelmed by numbers anymore. Let's go get the pyromancer. The pyromancers are the ones that are the most annoying in my opinion. Okay, could you guys help my knights? Could you help? Just like sitting around, they're just putzing around, twiddling their thumbs like a couple idiots they are. All right, hell yeah, we're wailing on this dude. Pyromancer just watched us obliterate that guy. Woo, don't ask me how I didn't get hit by that. 14 iframes because I have 48 adaptability. Hell yeah, that was sick. We were overwhelmed for a moment there, and then we killed it. I'm gonna get radiant life gems, regular life gems. Shit, he is showing up already? Homie, oh, fuck, I fucked up. There's gonna be another knight that comes out of that gate. So we're gonna have to fight a charred Aleum Lois Knight and the final boss. Shit, man, shit. I don't like that. Another charred Aleum Lois Knight's gonna show up. I know it. I know he is. Can somebody block off the gate? They're waiting for the next one. Yeah, see, there he is. I knew they were waiting for him to show up. I knew they were waiting for him to show up. Ow! Thanks for choosing me to attack. It's a pyromancer, of course. Most like annoying type that he could be. They're keeping, they're keeping the king distracted while I'm wailing on this guy. See, they waited for one more to spawn and then they went and filled it up. They always do that. They wait, they wait for the final guy to spawn and then they go and close it. All right. I'll just wait for the king to kill that knight. I'm interested in soloing bosses. He's coming after me now. We did pretty good there, actually. It got a little scary for a moment. Ow! I did, I did that pivot. Everybody's favorite Dark Souls maneuver, the pivot. Could you kill the knight? I don't really want to fight you with my knight still alive, to tell you the truth. I'd prefer you took out the knight, and he's buffing himself. I can, like, beat the crap out of him while he's buffing himself, but of course... I'm like, I don't, I don't like ganking bosses. Ow! Oh, what was I thinking? Oof. All right. Fine. <sighs> okay, switching targets. Yeah, kill the knight. Kill the knight, damn it. I can't believe his health is halfway down. His health is halfway down. The, the freaking Aleum Lois knight of mine is still alive. Look at that Oblivion Gate, though. By the nine! Stop right there, criminal scum! This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death! Ow. Thanks for that. Dude, my Alayam Lois Knight. This is the longest I've ever seen an Alayam Lois Knight of mine stay alive. I don't usually fight the boss with the Alayam Lois Knight alive, but whatever. I guess this time we're doing it. Usually I, usually I try to hang back as much as possible until... Oh, my knight's dead. Oh shit, okay. That could have killed me if I got hit by it. Oh, I'm glad I dodged properly. I was scared there. I thought I was about to die. Whee! Hit him. Just me and you, Burnt Ivory King. Dodged way too early, but light rolls for the dub. I got out of the way of danger, despite the fact that I rolled way too early. Get the hell away. Stay nice and safe. Oh, there, there was a Radiant Life Gem. Kind of a waste, but whatever. I don't really plan on using them at any other point anyway. And hey, look at that. Radiant Life Gem coming in handy by healing me. Still, after I took damage. Why won't you die? Buffing his weapon, we might be able to finish this right here. Burnt Ivory King goes down. Nice, nice. That was, I think, one of my smoother attempts. It got scary a couple of moments. There was a couple of scary moments, but I think that was one of my smoother attempts against old Ivory King. Usually it does not go that well. 
No, be cool if you could use Bloodborne weapons and if could use Bloodborne guns. I guess, but I, I... I don't know, it sounds like they'd be way too powerful. Especially the guns in Dark Souls 2, being able to do... I mean, I guess in Dark Souls 2, could you really be able to, like, get up to them and land the riposte after doing a ranged parry? I just, I feel like they'd be way too good. Bloodborne's such a, like, fast-paced game. They'd have to be, like... I don't know, they'd have to be dumbed down somehow. It'd, it'd have to be like Bloodborne weapons in Dark Souls 2, but they're like slowed way down to match the tempo of Dark Souls 2. Otherwise, you just wreck everything, I feel like. Alright, we are going to go get some levels in Majula with my 328,000 souls. And then, it's Ludenzalen time. Ivory King is dead. The only boss outside of... The, the only boss left alive outside of the final throne room is Ludenzalen. It's freaking frigid outskirts time. It's freaking frigid outskirts time. By the way, I never paid out the gamba, I don't think. Oh, I never I started a prediction. I never started one. Okay. That's fine. I'm gonna get rid of the boss list. All that's on there is Ludenzalen, Throne Watcher, and Defender, Nashandra, and all the, uh... So, get rid of that. What's up, lady? I'm here to level up, like, one of the last few times this playthrough. Will I get endurance to 99? Ooh, it's at 98. I think we'll get it to 99 for that final boss room. This is, this is ridiculous. This is so much. This is so much endurance, dude. Oh my lord. My lord, man. All right. Dark quartz ring plus one. It's plus one? No. Thunder Quartz Ring. Whew, I'm glad it was plus one, otherwise I wouldn't have noticed that anything was amiss. Just the Thunder Quartz Ring. I looked into getting better Thunder Quartz Rings, and... The Thunder Quartz Ring plus three, trying to get that melee only, is scary as hell. So I'm not doing that during no death runs. If, you could, if I could use a bow, I could make it easy for me to get, but doing it melee only, the platform that you're supposed to make rise... You can't make it rise unless you have a ranged attack. So you have to do like this super precarious drop, super precarious drop in order to get it. And it's, it's not worth the risk of death. It's just not. Holy shit, we're doing frigid outskirts. It's not that hard. You came up, I came up with a nice strategy for this, but I haven't practiced this in like two weeks, so... Spilled coffee all over myself, to be honest with you. 12 Estus flasks. Yeah, 12 Estus flasks. And away we go! Frigid outskirts, man. Come on, no deaths. No deaths in frigid outskirts. I've done it before. We can do it again. If I die another time this playthrough, I'm going to be pissed at myself. Here we are. No more peaceful music. Take the left. Can't see a goddamn thing in this place. Oh, man. Yeah, I haven't practiced it in two weeks. I should be fine. I should be fine. This is a relatively new strategy for me. I used to just always run straight there, and I'd end up with three of them after me, but for a no-death run, that's way too much risk. I can't just run there with three of them after me. You got this, bro? I'm hoping. If you could use Dragon Ball Z characters, boss would be easy. <laughs> Have you used Dragon Bone Fist? That's probably about as close as you can get. Dragon Bone Fist is pretty sick. I think it's Power Stance. If you can somehow get two of them, you can Power Stance two Dragon Bone Fist. There's the Pain Deer getting hit by the first attack. Don't like that. Bad omen right there. Sounds like lightning. No? I don't know what I'm hearing. Keep running. I don't know where the structure is. There it is. It was a little off course. Lightning. Heard it. Heard that shit. Dodged that shit. 
All right, I'm gonna pop a mushroom right now. Smack up this punk. Oh, not the not the wrong way. Smack up this punk. Okay. What's up? Kill this punk. Okay, this punk. Kill him. All right. I'm gonna use the Pharaoh's lockstone so we have a healing pool. Pain Deer is in the building. Let's kill it. It's not that tough. Elizabeth Mushroom clutch with the healing. Ow! Again, Elizabeth Mushroom clutch with the healing. Down goes the first Pain Deer. Let's hang out. Get my health all the way up real quick. <sighs> Alright, here comes the hard part. Pop another Elizabeth Mushroom. I'm supposed to have... I'm supposed to have... Repair powders on, and I don't. I have plenty in my inventory, though. We just have to get them on once I get into the Ludden's All in Boss Room. I have a moment. I could do it real quick when I get there. I don't know if I headed out the right way. I need to go a little bit left. So I changed my direction to head out a little bit left. There's a pain deer! Second one's gonna show up sometime soon. There it is. Cool. Run. I am totally lost in this snowstorm right now. Shit, I'm so off track. This is not good, but we should be okay. I don't know how long the Elizabeth Mushroom lasts. It's tempting to crack another one, but we might be okay without it. Ooh! You're fucking kidding me. They both got me. Drop on down. I have no silver cat ring, but it's okay. Elizabeth Mushroom it. Run, run, run. Thank you. Move it. Move it, Fox. He's right behind you. We should be fine. They're pretty slow getting across the bridge. We can get stopped at the fog wall, though. But I think we're good. I think we're good. Hell yeah, we made it through. All right, repair powders. Boom. Made it to Ludden's All, and we made it through Frigid Outskirts. That's the hard part. We just have to not choke. I have to not choke at Ludden Zollin. Should be able to do okay. So much sunscreen winter storm. <laughs> yes. Strats on strats on strats. Indeed. Indeed. It's all about the strategies for getting through that place. With the... You know, without like... With, you can despawn them. You can, you can kill them so many times that they despawn. And what's interesting is they will respawn over and over again, right? But if you kill them 12 times, they'll stop respawning. However, each spawn point counts as a different reindeer. So you have to kill them 12 times, and then the, the spawn point will, like, despawn, basically. Use a repair powder. I'm surprised Zolin hasn't hopped down yet. Zolin's probably going to hop down, like, the next hit. So I'm actually going to wait for an opportune moment to deal a lot of damage. Hopefully the projectile attack. That's what I'm hoping for. You can, you can deal a lot of damage to them when they're doing the projectiles. So I'm waiting for that. Damn. I'm waiting for the projectile attack before I continue attacking. I want to do as much damage to Lud while Zolin's spawning into the boss room. That's just going to be a toot. I want the crystal projectiles. I want the crystal projectiles. Come on, Lud. Do the crystal projectiles, damn it. That's the one, right? That's the one. Get in there. Swang on him. Here comes Zolin. Got some nice damage on Lud. Zolin's still not here yet, so we can keep fighting him. Zolin's over there, doing his own crystal projectiles. Uh, we should probably keep moving, rather than fighting. I probably had time to smack there, but I didn't want to risk it, and I was not paying attention to Zolin, or Lud. <gasps> I wasn't paying attention to Zolin there, I'm lucky I didn't get hit. Okay, Lud's running off, Zolin is missing. I'm getting so lucky right now, I'm playing like slop. What's up, bro? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Projectiles coming from Zolin. I don't know how I'm not getting smacked around right now. I'm playing like slop. I'm just getting super lucky. More crystal projectiles. Down goes Lud. It's just me and Zolin. I got hit by a crystal projectile to do it, but you know what? It was worth it. Dodge, fool. Nice. All right, me and Zolin. Me and Zolin. Toot. Get in here. Smack. 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 Alright, cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna use a repair powder while he's all the way over there. Coming back trying to fight me? I don't think so. I ain't no cat food. Mm. Alright, yeah, I got a little carried away with the aggression. Um, we need to wait for a good moment to heal, like right now. 
Hell yes. Uh, tooting? No, projectiles. Tons of damage for me. Hell yes. Some nice punishing, if I do say so myself. Keep on swinging on him. Keep on dodging him. Fight's not as close to being over as it looks. He's putting on his buff. He heals and he takes reduced damage now. So we have a lot more fight left. The buff will eventually... Ow, does he do more damage too? That shit hurt! Holy fuck, dude. I'm in full choke mode right now. I'm in full choke mode right now. I might die! Oh! Oh, that was close. Holy shit. Projectiles? Double chug, bro. Double chug. Oh, dude. I can't believe how close that was. I can't believe how close that was to a choke. Holy shit. Holy shit. Dodge that one. He hits... Does he hit extra hard like this, too? I swear he hits extra hard. Less is all in, in general, just hits harder than Lud and Ava. Ava? What the hell the pronunciation is? I can never get it right. I don't know what it is, that's why. Woo! Or one of the two is correct. Who the hell knows? Dodging. Smacking. Smacking. Dodging. Smacking. Projectile- er, uh, buff is gone. I don't know if it can be reapplied. I have a feeling the answer is yes, it can be reapplied. Repair powder to keep my weapon in good shape. You need it for this long-ass fight. And these bosses, these cat bosses, deal extra damage to your weapon. My final swing missing, and then me getting hit. My, my final swing missing, and then me getting hit because my final swing missed. Down they go. Oh my god, that was way too close. There was like two times. Actually, honestly, when, when Zalin first joined in the fight, it... Ooh, ooh, the pain deer right outside the fog wall. When Zalin first joined in the fight, I... I did not do well, and I got super lucky. I was, like, roll spamming around. Amateur Menace, you hated this part. We just did it. No deaths! But I got strategies. Zalin's buff is insane. You can't imagine how many people thought they'd almost won just to see Kitty's health start rising. Yeah, and then you think, like, ooh, all we have to do is go and smack the thing. Congratulations! Thanks so much for the congrats. All we have to do is go and smack the thing. I was doing a lot of damage before. Hey, five bits. Thank you, Bagotis, for the five bitties. I don't know what I was doing. I was just trying something new. <laughs> Thank you for the GGs. Thank you for the GGs. But the fact that, the fact that Zolan takes reduced damage, so... You see that Zolin is healing, but it's a slow healing effect. And you're used to the damage that you've been doing. So you're like, well, we just have to go and be aggressive, and we can keep the health from rising. But it's way harder than you think to stop that healing from healing him up, because your damage gets super reduced as well. It's like his resistances increase greatly, and he heals. It's ridiculous. We have 99 endurance. I officially don't know what to do with this level up. Uh, Five more HP? We get five more HP? How about that? Five more HP? Huh? <laughs> five more HP. So his weakness was when he looks constipated? What? What? Weakness? They ain't got no weakness, man. They ain't got no weakness. They ain't got no weakness. The weakness, to me, is when they shoot the projectiles. Because you can get behind them, and then the projectiles will completely miss. So you can just get behind them as they spawn the projectiles, and you don't have to worry about them hitting you whatsoever. You can just keep on swinging on them, and then the projectiles will, will fire and they'll miss you because you're standing behind them. So you don't have to worry about even dodging the projectile attack, and it takes them a while to cast them. So you can get a lot of hits in while they're summoning the projectiles, uh, and you don't have to worry about dodging any attack either. Whew... <sighs> all that leads all that leaves left alive this playthrough in terms of bosses is throne watcher and defender nishandra and aldia i could try to do them all in one go but that usually leads to me dead to tell you the truth if I put a bunch of shit on we could probably do it i mean i got an elizabeth mushroom i could go get more elizabeth mushrooms too i've got this old radiant life gem maybe keep that one off i've got radiant life gem i've got 13 life gems oh let's try to do them all three at once that sounds fun let's try to do all three at once but in order to do that i 
first, I want to go back to, uh, I want to go back to the Undead Crypts. Hold up. I spoke to Aldia in all the places yet. Whoa, what is this? How long has my display capture been up? How long has my display capture been up? You have clones, Mike? Yeah! I didn't even I didn't even realize I opened that. How long has that been open for? Uh, for the entirety of the frigid outskirts. <laughs> you just missed all of it because I had my display capture up by accident the whole time. <laughs> oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Human, do not produce light. Yeah, 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 dude, whatever. Uh, so this dude sells you Elizabeth mushrooms. I don't have enough to buy them all because I spent all my souls getting five more HP. <laughs> and yeah, Soul of the Lost Undead and Fading Soul ain't gonna give me squat, which is why I haven't popped them. Okay. Uh, brr, 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 brr. Two minutes it was up? No way it was that long. Was it really two minutes? It was up for two minutes? Are you sure? That's a long freaking time. Did you even see me teleport to Majula? Did you see me teleport to Majula and level up? Alright. Uh, King's Gate. King's Gate. Got three bosses left alive. Three bosses left alive. Oh, I know why I brought display capture up. It was supposed to be it was supposed to be this. But my stupid brain. I brought up the display capture instead of the boss list. That's what happened. So I, I meant to bring up the boss list and I hit display capture like a bozo. I'm not wearing the king's ring. The door's not going to open. Whoops. Forgot about that part. Hey, you're supposed to let me backstab you. Yeah, yeah, I know what to do, game. You don't got to tell me. You ain't got to tell me what to do. I get it. I get it. Uh, this one. Slice. Dice. I said slice dice. I don't want your item. Where's one of the crappy life gems? Use a crappy life gem. Okay. We're gonna try all three of them. We're gonna try to do Throne Watcher and Defender, Nashandra and Aldia. Just all in one go. We're just gonna try it all in one go. I wouldn't typically do this, but it's not like we're going for a personal best anymore anyway. I'm long past that. I'm three the three deaths back, you know? When I died when I died and it was the third death of the playthrough, that was that was it for the personal best. We're just we're just practicing at this point. But good to good to have the practice anyway. Good to have the practice anyway. Honestly, at this point. My two biggest concerns are bosses I would not have guessed would be my biggest concerns whatsoever. Royal Rat Authority and Blue Smelter Demon. Those are my two biggest fears of Dark Souls 2. Is Royal Rat Authority and Blue Smelter Demon. That's just, that doesn't even sound right as I say it, dude. Don't talk shit about life gems, man. They're a hidden gem and can be bought for very little. Yeah. <laughs> Artorius. Artorius with that, uh. <sighs> and Bogotis. And a bonk. Man, all sorts of shit. Um, I can't really buy life gems because I kill Melentia. I kill Melentia at the very beginning of the playthrough for the Silver Serpent Ring plus one. Where the hell is that thing? Silver Serpent Ring plus one. I kill Melentia at like the very beginning of the playthrough, so I can't really buy life gems. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get rid of that boss list and let's go in here. It's going to be a gauntlet. We got essentially four bosses to kill. Shid, man, shid. I already listened to this one. Ah, eh, let it play anyway. I like Red Wolf of Radigan. Big whiffer. Go one-handed mode. Swiftness. You want to be. You want to. You. I am speed. You want to be fast in this boss fight. I feel like the slower your weapon, the tougher this fight is. Why should you just go in circles like that? <laughs> I'm having too much fun right now. Look at her just going in circles. I need to get serious. I need to get serious. Ugh, I don't know why I expected... I didn't expect her to do the three swing combo, which is just silly of me to not expect that. 
What you got, lady? Nothing. I thought you were gonna do backflips. You did not do backflips. There's the backflip. It's actually a backwards handspring, okay? Ow! Uh, I'm thinking first Estus. Thinking first Estus before I really slip up and end up dead. That was close. What's up, big man? What you doing? Big whiffer. Good lady. I'll go hit your dude then. No, nope, she put her sword down, which means she's about to attack her. She put her What's shield that down. Smell? Maybe I shot it. Yeah, when do you think the last time these two showered was? Holy freaking stun lock, dude. Yikes. Going for a chug. That was scary stuff. That's why you level your Vigor all the way to 50. For when shit like that happens, especially when you're wearing poiseless armor like my jackass does. Because, yeah, I need extra souls at this point, you know? So I should be I definitely should be wearing the Seldora set, because I definitely don't plan on killing all three bosses in one run. Or anything like that. I'm being sarcastic, because that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. Hey, smack him. Smack him again. Smack him a third time. Get the fuck out of here! Come on, man! What are you doing? What are you doing? Why do you got Oh shit, he's coming. What the fuck? I'm pressing circle and nothing's fucking happening, dude. This is bad. This is bad. Elizabeth Mushroom. Yikes. Dodging. 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 Swanging. Dodging. Swang, swanging. Dodging. Swanging. Swanging. Dodging, damn, a little bit late on the dodging, but life, uh, uh, Elizabeth Mushroom's still doing his thing. So I'm still gaining HP back, despite the fact that I got hit and I used the Elizabeth Mushroom god knows how long ago. Lasts for like a whole minute or something wild, it's pretty sick. He's already got his buff on him. Fucking A, dude. Thank you, Elizabeth Mushroom. I gotta stop being so aggressive, I'm getting my ass handed to me. Double chug. Here she comes, and here he is right behind her. They're doing their thing. Going up and smacking her, and I completely whiffed. He doesn't have a shield anymore, which is a big help for dealing damage to him, but I need to whittle her HP down as well. You can't kill one and then the other. For anybody who does not know, they will revive each other back to 100% HP. So you need to kill them both in rapid succession. You cannot kill one and then wait a long time to kill the other. You need to kill them both as close together as possible, pretty much. You don't want you don't want a lot of time. He swung right over my head! My overaggression, I got I got lucky and he missed, he just swung right over my head. You do not want to ow fucker. You do not want for them to end up dead and the other one has a lot of HP left. You want both their HP to be low, and then you finish one off, and then you can quickly kill off the other. That's the way you do it. Makes this fight a little tedious. She's buffing. I was waiting for her to do that so I can smack her up. See, she's one hit away from death, so I think I'm going to focus on him now, especially because he doesn't have a shield. I'm going to use a Radiant Life Gem. Boom. I need to focus on him. He doesn't have a shield, so I can get damage on him pretty easy, but I need to make sure he's not attacking. Oh, his buff is gone now, too, so he's going to have to reapply at some point. Way less scary without his buff. Buff adds a lot of damage. They got some nice buffs. Don't want to get penetrated by him, though, like that. Ooh. What did I just do? Oh, I accidentally hit L1. My, my panicky ass accidentally hit L1. My character punched. That's what happened. Surprised he didn't rebuff right there. I was waiting for it. I could probably kill her at this point, it would be fine. Especially because he doesn't have a shield. He doesn't have a shield, he's not buffed. I had no stamina. I tried to kill her and I had no stamina. Scrub mistake, dude. I need to get rid of one of them. One of them has got to go. They're both so low on HP. Now she, she's still alive? No, she did her backwards handspring and then died. That was kind of hilarious, actually. Alright. Throne Watcher and Throne Defender are dead. We're off to Nishandra. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they're like. They're like Nani. That was that was close calls there though. That was a little too close for comfort. I I've been playing like slop all day, man. Getting away with it at times.
Throne Washer and Throne Defender are dead. That's the hardest of the three bosses in here. Nishandra is the easy one. Aldia is a little bit tougher than Nishandra. Playing like Slop, you haven't died in so long, dude. Rough first half, but promising second half, especially if you finish off these final two bozos. I died to Blue Smelter Demon! Not again, dude! Not again! Where's the Curse Wells? Yeah. I just like getting rid of the front one and then luring her out. Ah, she's doing laser beams, though, so maybe get rid of this other one as well. Oh, I actually got cursed. Doesn't count as a death, but now I'm all gross looking. Makes me want to pop a human, human effigy mid-fight. Alright, she's coming closer. Come a little closer, sexy thing. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but... Oh, that's why I shouldn't have been doing that. I don't like... I don't like being all gross and green and ghouly. I don't like it. If you, uh, so I could get the crown. You can get the crown from the three DLC crowns plus, uh, plus, what's his name? Vendrix crown? You get the three DLC crowns plus Vendrix crown. And you can, you can get this crown. Actually, it's at that point if you wear it, you just, I think you just have to collect all four of them and then speak with, uh, you just speak with Vendrick after getting all four, I believe. And then if you wear one of the four crowns, you cannot get cursed. So it's actually quite helpful for the Nishandra fight. You, you don't get cursed whatsoever. If you get all four... Oh, she's making more curse wells, the absolute biatch, dude. Okay, let's get rid of this one. Let's get away. She might come out to play. She did not, unfortunately. Elizabeth's Mushroom, I guess. Radiant Life Gem would have been fine, too. She might come closer now, though. Yep, she's walking away from her Curse Wells. That's exactly what we want. Cool, 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 cool. It's me and her in close quarters combat now. She's actually a way... She's way deadlier from close up than from a distance. Ooh, she's gonna explode! I want her to do the Laser Beam. You can punish the Laser Beam so easy. That's the one. You can just sit here and wail on her for so long. She does this whole, like, arm curl back animation. Yeah, that. And you can just beat the shit out of her. That was a little close. Alright, well, she doesn't seem interested in shooting the laser beam again. Laser beam. Damn it. I wanted the laser beam. Just fight her, then. Still trying to bait out the laser beam. I need to. I need to forget about it. I need to forget about it. She's just gonna make more curse wells. Yeah, let's. I'd like to kill her before she makes more. Ooh. Boom. Nishandra goes down just like that. No problem. But she's the easiest out of the three that are in this boss room. God dang it! Did I bring up the display capture again? No, I didn't. I keep pressing the wrong things though. I gotta say. I don't know what's with me in doing that. All right, all right, all right. Nishandra do be dead. Boom. Down she goes. Nito's wife ain't got shit. It's Manus's daughter, okay? Get it right. <laughs> but it is. Uh, the, the four queens of Dark Souls 2 are, uh, they're, they're born of the shards of Manus. So, you could say they're Manus's daughters. Give me something else to fight, too. Hell yeah. Alright, Aldia. Starting with that one? This is the, this is the one that you can punish the most. I'm happy to see him start with this, because I can really wail on him for doing that one. It's a lot of damage right out the gates. It's gonna go kaboom! Alright. Got the fire burning. Aldia's burning. He's burning. Oh, this one I can also punish pretty good as long as I don't... I, I can get lucky. Yeah, see, we got lucky. We got an opportunity to squeeze our way in here, and we can wail on him pretty good. Hell yes. Aldia's already, like, halfway dead. Maybe maybe 60% of H HP left. Maybe he might be only 40% of the way dead. Smack him right in those weird chops of his. Ooh, I got burned a little bit. That's all right. That's all right. He's doing this one again. Is the one I can punish if I get lucky. And we got pretty lucky. I can get right in here and wail on him. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. We're making Aldia look even easier than he is. He's not that tough. 
but he's tougher than Nishandra, and right now I'm making him look easier than Nishandra. Okay, I can't really punish this one. I just have to run, 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 run. I can't really punish this other one with the, with the root coming up. Okay. He might teleport. After he teleports, we can hit him. Where's he showing up? Where are you going, Aldia? Where are you going, Aldia? Oh, he's not going anywhere. He's staying right in the same spot. Smack him in the weird chops. Smack him in the weird chops. Oh, it burns. All right, all right, all right. Doing the weird root one. Just got to avoid it. What you got, Aldia? What you got? Show me. Oh, sweet. Oh, wait, that's a different one than I thought, but still sweet. This is actually the one I like the most. Hey, hey. Boom, dude. We got really lucky with the attacks he did. He did the most punishable attacks the most. God damn, dude. God damn. We got two flasks to spare because I had some life gems. And that's it. That's all 41 bosses in Dark Souls 2. Killed using nothing but a broadsword. We did it in... Nine hours and twenty minutes. So no head? Uh, yeah, no head. I'm a little tired after streaming for nine hours and twenty minutes. Damn, so that's how long it takes me for Dark Souls 2. It takes me nine hours to do this, because that's how long it took me last time, too. My last my last all-boss, broadsword-only playthrough was like nine hours long, and this one was like nine hours long, so... Ugh. At least I know what to expect for length. That's for damn sure. But we died five times this time, which is unfortunate. Um, it's way too many deaths. I wanted to die at least three deaths less than that. I wanted to have my lowest be two, so I could have it be a new personal best. But I learned that I need a reminder to not go after the Necromancer in Huntsman's Copes of all places. Of all places, I need a reminder of what not to do in Huntsman Scopes, so I don't get myself killed, which is pretty scrubby. I found a new way to die, which isn't great. So, now when we're going to fight Royal Rat Authority, we're going to kill the toxic rat dogs that are en route to the boss... We gotta kill the dogs on the way, otherwise it turns into a gank mess and I can get toxified and they're so swift and I don't have any poise ever, so they stun me. And when you get stunned, it cancels your flask drinking animation and it does damage when they hit you and then you're toxified and your health drains. It's, it's a nightmare, so. What were the five deaths? Can I even remember? First one's in Huntsman Copes. Do the freaking Necromancer death trap. Second death. What the hell was the second death? I don't remember the second death. What the hell was the second death? I don't know, dude. I can't remember it all. My brain's mush. My brain's mush. I can't remember the deaths. You can say easy peasy lemon squeezy in the most dramatic way. <laughs> easy peasy lemon squeezy. You just made that up, didn't you? What, easy peasy lemon squeeze boss? Or what lore? You just made that lore up, didn't you? The manish shards thing? No. I didn't make that up. That's for real. The two giant. The two gains. Two gains. The Oh, the two giants. That was my second death. That wasn't the third? I guess not. The two giants was the second death. Thank you for the reminder, Rotor. So we died. We died to the Huntsman Cope's Necromancer Death Trap. We died to the two giants that have the forgotten key. I'm pretty sure that was the third death. I rolled off the edge. That was the third death. So I don't remember the second death, but the third death was those two giants. I don't remember the second. I don't remember the fourth death either. Oh, the fourth death was to the poison, the, the toxic rats. The toxic dog rats was the fourth death. And then the fifth death was blue smelter demon. I just don't remember the second one for some reason. Awesome. Said it great. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Nicely done. The only death you witnessed was those rat dogs when you were trying to get up the ladder. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's never happened to me before, but we need to make sure that doesn't happen again. Because that sucked. That sucked. Um, Sister, Sisters of Dark. I think this is it. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's a wiki thing about it. I don't know what the hell this website is, but... These are the four queens of Dark Souls 2. Nishandra. I think her name's Alasana. Uh, Nadalia. And who the fuck is that? Oh, that's, uh, that's Elena, Squalid Queen. The Sisters of Dark refer to Nishandra, Elenia, Nadalia, and Alsana. These four sisters are fragments of Manus soul that have coalesced and taken on new forms. I didn't just come up with that, Bogotas. That's a thing. That's a, that's a, that's a real thing. Well, it's good practice. I didn't do as good as I wanted to. Soul Air, one last time seeing you. I didn't do as good. My very I love you, Soul Air. I love you, Soul Air. Oh, oh, my man. dear son. My dear, dear oh, son. Man. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. <laughs> All right, guys. We are going to raid out at this moment. Thank you so much for that final Solaire redemption. Good, good to see Solaire. But we're gonna go ahead and raid out here. We're gonna be raiding oh, Solaire again. Not a final Solaire guest. We're gonna raid out to it be Joe. Um, I'm not gonna. Lie. I need to talk, so I gotta mute him. I'm sorry. I just I want I want to talk. I don't want to have him talking. So we're gonna raid out to it be Joe. She's playing Dark Souls One. I believe it's her first playthrough ever. She's a cool streamer. She's like real chill. I don't know. She's not like me where I get all angry and I scream and I'm saying crazy shit the whole time. She's like really, she's really chill. So I like, I like watching it be Joe. Cause like, it's just like, it's like a calming Dark Souls experience, which I feel is quite opposite of what I do in Dark Souls. She's like, she's got like this calming Zen vibe and I like it a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and raid it be Joe. She's a cool streamer playing Dark Souls one for the very first time ever. So join us in the raid if you would, please. Thank you so much for watching my stream today, though. Had a lot of fun. Didn't do as good as I wanted to, but that's okay. We still got a lot of practice. Give Joe a The Aardvark Army has arrived. I sent the message in the chat, so you can just copy and paste it yourself. We're going to start up that raid, and... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hang out with Ippy Joe. She's a cool streamer. All right, guys. I will see you likely tomorrow afternoon. I'm not going to be streaming early in the morning tomorrow. I'll be streaming later in the day. So, I mean, it's later in the day right now, but this was a nine hour stream. I'm probably going to do more like maybe a five hour stream tomorrow, starting from like five hours earlier. Starting five hours earlier than what it is right now is when I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. All right. Thanks again for watching. See you guys over in It Be Joe's live stream.